when I was six years old, I pulled out my teeth one by one and ground them into powder to feed my parents as milk powder. They thought I was crazy and forcibly sent me to a mental hospital. Only my innocent and lovely sister treated me as a normal person. She would visit me every three days and bring me her favorite snacks. But later I found out that my sister was being bullied at school, to the point where she ended up with multiple fractures and lying in the intensive care unit of the hospital. And those bullies, taking advantage of their status as minors, did whatever they wanted. They didn't know that the girl they had been bullying had not only a younger sibling but also a mentally ill older brother. At this moment in the mental hospital, brother, I brought you your favorite cake. I prepared it with my own pocket money. Outside the ward, a clean girl with a smile on her face. This girl is my sister, who is still underage. I am only one year older than my sister, but I already look unusually tall. Brother, I'm feeling a little unwell today, like I have a fever. Maybe I can't stay with you for too long. You have to be good in the hospital, okay? Then she opened her arms and hugged me. Seeing this, I tentatively reached out my hand. It was so soft, as if I had returned to my childhood, when everyone was accusing me. Only my sister was willing to stand up and protect me. I couldn't control my emotions, and I didn't know why I had become like this. I only knew that since I could remember, it had been difficult to control these almost abnormal emotions. But when I looked up, I found a large bruise on my sister's neck and a small cut in the corner of her eye. If you didn't look carefully, you wouldn't notice it at all. As a patient who was skilled with knives and has caused harm to others multiple times, I am very familiar with this situation. The scar on her neck was caused by a blunt object, and the small cut in the corner of her eye looked more like a knife mark. The final result. I carefully examined my sister's clothes again and found that the left sleeve was stained with blue paint, and her third finger couldn't stop trembling, as if her nerves had lost control. I wanted to reach out and lift up my sister's sleeve, but she was startled and quickly stepped back several steps. Brother, I'm fine. I just have a fever. I'll come see you again in a few days. The girl smiled brightly. Even the surrounding nurses couldn't help but look at my sister a few more times. But now, it seems that I can't understand the consequences of these injuries. Usually, I often cause harm to certain things because I can't control my emotions. My sister said she was fine, so she should be fine. I frowned. By the way, brother, I have a small bag of jelly here. You used to like eating it, but this time you have to remember to eat less. The girl blinked her eyes. The bag of jelly was almost a month's worth and it seemed heavy in her hand. The surrounding nurses seemed to sense that something was wrong. Their tones sounded like they were giving instructions for after death. But it's not their business, and they don't bother to ask more. After saying those words, the girl left. Looking back three times, I stood dumbfounded at the door of the ward, watching the girl leave, feeling a vague emotional fluctuation in my heart. Will she come back? I asked myself this question, but I couldn't get any answer. In the following days, the inexplicable emotional fluctuations became stronger and stronger. Every day, I would sit at the door of the ward, waiting blankly. This guy has been acting strange lately. He hasn't hurt anyone or done anything else. He just sits at the door every day. And I don't know what he's thinking. Maybe he's getting better from his illness. Why bother so much? As long as he doesn't hurt anyone, it's a good thing. Many caregivers discussed among themselves. To be honest, in these four years, they have been scared of me from the bottom of their hearts. No matter what methods they used on me, I would recover the next day as if nothing happened. Moreover, if they dared to use electric shocks or beatings, I would repay them tenfold, without anyone noticing, to the point where no one dared to trouble me anymore. Unfortunately, what these people don't know is that I have actually been using a skill proficiency system since I was seven years old. From childhood to adulthood, I have used various methods to improve my skill proficiency. Although I haven't shown many things, such as playing musical instruments, chess, calligraphy, painting, martial arts, and knife skills, I have already reached the highest level. Especially in these four years in the mental hospital, where I had nothing to do, I devoted myself to improving my skill level every day. Just half a year ago, after I reached the pinnacle of the last assassination skill, there was nothing else for me to learn. My sister used to come every three days. Will she come today? At this moment, I sit at the door, staring at the clock on the wall. My sister usually comes after school, mostly around 6.30. Even if something delays her, it won't be later than 7 o'clock. But today, strangely, it's already 7.20, and my sister still hasn't arrived. The feeling of impatience and unease spreads infinitely at this moment, as if something important is being stripped away from deep within my heart. Time freezes at 8 o'clock in the evening, and my face becomes gloomy. 
I return to my room and lie on the bed, unable to sleep. Subconsciously, I pick up the remote control and turn on the TV. As soon as I turn on the TV, a news report is playing. Several women in Shanghai City have recently died unexpectedly, and a new body has been found in the mountains. The modus operandi is extremely cruel. The police have sealed off the scene and believe that they will soon catch the killer. Then there is a live report. But I can tell that the body definitely isn't my sister's. My sister is not that tall, and her legs are not that long. The body has a mole on its left hand. I clearly remember that my sister's left hand is exceptionally fair and smooth. It's not my sister who died. So will she come tomorrow? I gradually fall asleep amidst the sound of the TV. But the next evening, my sister still hasn't come. What's even stranger is that my parents usually come once a week. And today is Sunday. They should have come in the morning. But I haven't seen them by evening. Have I been abandoned? I feel itchy all over my body and keep scratching myself. The itch feels like it's deep in my bones, giving me a nearly maddening sensation, to the point where I start banging my head against the wall. I don't know how long it has been, but my forehead is already covered in blood. Yet, I am like a cold machine, tireless, until I eventually lose consciousness due to excessive force and blood loss, and the nurses find me. They bandage my wounds, and the doctor comes as well. Looking at the empty eyes on the hospital bed, devoid of any emotion, I sighed deeply and asked the nurses around me about the past two days. The doctor furrowed his brow tightly. Are you saying his parents didn't come today? The other nurses nodded, and a new nurse chimed in. Yesterday was supposed to be the day his sister visited, but she didn't come either. The doctor seemed to understand something, walked out of the ward, and made a phone call. After a while, the doctor returned, his face showing a hint of pity. Your parents have some important matters to attend to these days, so they were delayed. They will definitely come to see you once they're done. As for your sister, she just has a cold and fever. I believe she will recover soon. My eyes flickered, then returned to lifelessness. Afterwards, the doctor had someone give me two sedative injections, and after everything was over, they led me out of the ward. Just an illness? I climbed off the bed, remembering my sister saying she had a fever and would get better soon. Perhaps my parents didn't come to see me because of my sister's illness, I thought to myself, but it felt as if another soul was tearing me apart. Your sister might be in trouble, even though you're mentally ill. Your parents have never given up on you all these years. Even if your sister has a fever and is left alone, it should be enough. Why haven't your father or mother visited you all day? My empty eyes suddenly twisted. I took a deep breath, then got off the hospital bed and walked towards the exit. A nurse near the door wanted to stop me. But when she saw that I was heading towards the restroom, she didn't say anything. However, when I reached the entrance of the restroom, there happened to be a female nurse washing her hands at the sink. With a vacant gaze, I approached the nurse from behind, covered her mouth with my hand, and lightly tapped the back of her neck. The force was just right, and when the nurse fell into unconsciousness, I dragged her into the men's restroom, took off her white coat, put it on myself, hung her ID badge on my chest, and put on a hat. Then, I walked straight towards the exit and quickly arrived at the entrance of the psychiatric hospital. Stop. It's already past the time to leave the night shift. If you want to go out, first get a permit. A permit? Yes. The two security guards at the entrance frowned, realizing that something was not right. Just as they were about to say something, I suddenly rushed towards them, before they could sound the alarm. I landed a heavy punch on one of their stomachs. The hit security guard doubled over in pain, unable to speak. The other security guard tried to rush into the security booth but was hit in the face by a black object, falling to the ground. The object that was thrown turned out to be the keychain for the shift change. Immediately, I quickly ran over and kicked the figure at the entrance of the security booth hard in the chest. Seeing that the person had lost the ability to resist, I finally breathed a sigh of relief. Using the blood-stained keychain, I opened the iron gate in front of me and stood outside the mental hospital, taking deep breaths of the air. The air outside was indeed better than inside, although I knew it was just psychological, the feeling of freedom made me excited and trembling all over. It has been four years since I last went home, but I remember the way back home clearly. Two hours later, I arrived at the familiar doorstep of my house. I reached out to knock on the door, but quickly withdrew my hand and turned into the adjacent alley. I climbed up the walls with my hands and feet supporting both sides. Then I climbed through the second floor window and found the inside dimly lit. Frowning, I opened another door. My dad, mom, and younger sister were not at home, but I discovered a hospital bill on the table next to the television, with a payment of 35,861 yuan, 
and my dad's signature below. I opened another bag and saw several CT scan photos of a frail figure with multiple fractures in the hands, feet, and ribs, and even the first bone of the left finger was crushed. I remembered my sister trembling when she saw me a few days ago, her finger unable to stop shaking, and it seemed like I understood. Someone had used the same methods I used to deal with mice on my sister. I was all too familiar with this scene. Because of its familiarity, I understood the methods and tools used in each crime. The injuries on the hands were caused by blunt objects, possibly stones, possibly a table being knocked over, or even a hammer. The rib fractures were mainly caused by falling from a height. Someone forcibly broke my legs. I used to feel extremely excited when I saw these things, wishing I could experience it myself. But when I saw what was in the CT scan, I opened my mouth but couldn't say a word. A clear but inexplicable emotion made it hard for me to breathe. At this moment, a sound came from outside, and the front door was opened. Soon, the lights in the hallway were turned on, and a figure with a haggard appearance and white hair walked into the room. It was my father. When we last met, he was still fine, occasionally finding a few strands of white hair on his head. But now, in just a week's time, he had aged several decades. My dad walked to the kitchen, poured a glass of water, and made several phone calls in a row. Yes, 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 wine gu, can you lend me another 20? 000 yuan? I will definitely pay you back when I have the money. Second uncle, you know my current situation. I'm planning to sell the house. Can you lend me some money first so I can cover the medical expenses? Big sister, I'm begging you. I know, just 20, 000 yuan is enough. He made a total of seven phone calls, his voice clear and humble, afraid that if he said something wrong, the other person would hang up. 20, 000 yuan still seemed like a lot, not something my family could easily come up with. Although they spoke harshly, in the end, the money was borrowed. Some borrowed four or five thousand, some borrowed seven or eight thousand, when all the relatives and friends had been borrowed from. 25, 000 yuan was transferred to my dad's account. Seeing the money finally arrive, the man who had raised and supported me, the man who was now restarting his shop and treating me, sat paralyzed on the sofa. His slightly thin figure was that of a hero who was gradually aging but still stood tall. As someone who hid in the shadows like me, my eyes felt a bit dry, but the brief calm was quickly shattered by a phone call. The sharp female voice from across the room said, What have you decided about what I told you? My daughter is not here now, and her grades are good, even if she does something excessive she won't be punished by the law. You better be sensible and not delay your daughter's treatment by not getting the money on time. Upon hearing the woman's voice, my father angrily pounded the table, seemingly furious to the extreme. I have already gathered the medical expenses, and we are not finished with this matter of gathering them. Gathered? You don't even know your own family's situation? This time it's only 20,000. But what about the follow-up surgery fees? 100,000. 200,000 or even four or five hundred thousand is not impossible. I advise you, it's best not to let your daughter suffer because of your impulsive actions. Get out of here. My father shouted hysterically, and a disdainful voice came from inside. My father's cup smashed onto the table with a bang, shattering the table and the cup, and blood flowed all over his hands. My father seemed to be in pain all over his body, and he lay on the sofa with lifeless eyes. Soon, my father went out again probably to pay for my sister's medical expenses, I hid behind the cabinet and silently walked out. Before, I didn't understand what unintentional meant, but just now, I overheard their conversation and became somewhat confused. So, am I not 15 years old anymore? I scratched my head and then climbed out of the window. As I climbed down, I heard three faint voices nearby. I saw a girl in a blue dress with a few young boys who seemed unfamiliar, and they were spraying something red. When I went out, I found the walls covered in all kinds of filthy words. I frowned, and I could still vaguely hear the girl in the blue dress and the boys cursing, saying, they're lying in the hospital and still causing trouble. People like this should die in the hospital. What's the use of taking us to the police station? After speaking, they sprayed a few more words on the wall. As I walked away, they didn't expect it. I advise you to pretend you didn't see anything, otherwise you'll be in trouble later. The girl aimed the spray paint at me with one hand but before she could clearly see my face, she suddenly remembered that my sister had mentioned having a brother whom they had never met. Seeing that they had already noticed me, the leading girl not only wasn't afraid, but instead mockingly shouted a few times and ran away with her companions. Cheering, one of the boys even flipped me off in panic. For some reason, an inexplicable emotion surged within me. I immediately closed my eyes, 
took a deep breath, and a cruel smile appeared on my face as I silently followed them. If they were to compare physical strength, these few teenagers, how could they be his match? However, this group of people were obviously also very smart, when they were at a corner, they directly scattered. Chen Zhe did not go after those boys, instead, he kept staring at the girl with the red spray paint, even if he was stupid, he could tell that this girl was the culprit. After spending almost half an hour, he blocked the girl in the entrance of the alley. The girl took the spray paint in her hand and shook it. Stupid X thing, if you dare to touch me, you're dead. Your sister, deserves to be unlucky, so do you, a family out, all of them are bitches. Chen Zhe didn't get angry when he heard this, instead he revealed a happy smile. His body could not stop trembling, and his eyes gradually became crazy. It was as if some kind of unknown genetic chain had been turned on, causing him to gulp violently and copy to stone from the ground. Step by step, he walked over. What are you going to do? Let me tell you, I am. Pung. A huge muffled sound echoed in the alley. The stone was precise and accurate, smashing into the girl's head. The girl, who was still backing up, only felt dizzy and fell to the ground. But her mouth still couldn't stop hurling curses. Dog thing, I want you not to die well, I want my boyfriend, to get you killed, your sister left the hospital, is she still going to school? No matter which school she goes to, I will make his life worse than death. Is that so? Chen Zhe's voice was flat. It was as if nothing could arouse his interest, the only thing that made him feel his body tremble was when he looked at the bleeding wound on the girl's forehead, an inexplicable sense of comfort filled his heart. He stepped on the girl's sea of wrists, only to hear a click, the bones seemed to be stepped on and broken. The girl let out a mournful scream, her eyes also revealed a touch of fear at this moment, but she still couldn't stop threatening. Do you know who my father is? My family runs a company, casually spending a few dollars can get you killed, I'm going to let my dad, break your limbs, and then let your family die. The girl's voice was hysterical. The family was in business. Very rich. There were always people who were willing to risk their lives for money. If the girl's family was willing to pay tens of millions of dollars to find someone to waste Chen Zhe, I'm afraid there were people who would be happy to do it. After all, an ordinary person would not necessarily be able to earn these tens of millions of dollars in their entire life. The girl even thought that Chen Zhe would be afraid and would back off, but what greeted her was still the same cold to the core face. He stepped on the girl's foot at the wrist, and almost propped up the whole person, constantly rotating, and exerting. The girl's tears came out from the pain, she wanted to pull her hand back, but the back of her hand had already been bloodied. Until not far away, a panicked voice, pulled him back from the madness. Ah Zhe, you, why are you here? It was the voice of his mother, holding a lunchbox inside her hand, standing at the entrance of the alley staring blankly at the bloody scene in front of her. Chen Zhe snapped back to his senses, as if he didn't want his mother to see his morbid sight any longer, but in the distance was a dead end, so he couldn't leave at all. The mother walked in. There was no fear because of his crazy side. No matter what, this was her child. Becoming like this nowadays, it actually didn't have much to do with Chen Zhe. Their family lived in a relatively cozy environment, but Chen Zhe didn't know what was going on, growing up as if he was born evil. His personality was twisted to the extreme, and no matter what methods they used, they couldn't change Chen Zhe's psychology. Even the doctors, they all exclaimed that this was the first time they had ever seen it. Even Chen Zhe himself admitted that his parents were very good to him, and he loved his parents and his sister very much. The surrounding neighbors were also well aware of how harmonious their family really was. But it was just such a harmonious family that gave birth to a person who was like a devil. Mom! Chen Zhe's voice trembled. It was very tempting to cover his face, but he was afraid of rushing out, being stopped by his mother, and ending up bumping into her. The woman outside, however, just red-eyed, stretched out her own hands and went up to hold Chen Zhe's head. Chen Zhe, who was almost sick, came to his senses at this moment. Having his wrist stepped on and broken, the bloody, blurred girl, even took advantage of this opening to climb up and frantically charge outside. I'll make you all not die well. The girl's voice was shrill. Surprisingly and inside the room, the woman who called Pop's voice, there are a few points of overlap. Simply a mold carved out. What kind of family? There is what kind of child? The mother also recognized the girl, from the initial pain, turned into anger, and then reluctantly shed tears. Son, mom is sorry, and sorry for your sister, it's all mom's fault for not protecting her. The tear-stained mother reached out and stroked her son's face. Chen Zhe did not say a word. Just snuggled in his mother's arms until ten minutes had passed. The mother seemed to remember something, I still have to send something to your sister, you go back. First, but go back, where to go back? Psychiatric hospital? The mother obviously also thought of this problem, seemed to call was just now Chen Zhe's madness, let her afraid of Chen Zhe to do more morbid things. Hurriedly called a cab and personally sent Chen Zhe back to the mental hospital. When he went back inside the mental hospital, looking at his mother who was outside full of tears and leaving, he didn't say a word. He just let out a long breath. 
The nurses around him obviously saw the blood stained on his shoes, as well as the downcast face, and one or two of them didn't dare to come forward. Luckily, Chen Ze was obedient and returned to the ward. After closing the door behind him, he began to not say a word. Outside the glass window. From time to time, there were nurses, looking inside. By the time the next morning came. Outside the mental hospital, a lot of people came. One of them, a man in a suit, pushed aside the doctor in a white coat in front of him, holding a pile of documents and constantly slapping them on the table. On top of the documents, was none other than Chen Zhe's case, and everything about it. Even this man in a suit, came outside Chen Zhe's window, his eyes staring resentfully at Chen Zhe inside. It was only then that Chen Zhe realized that this man resembled the girl from last night. The man picked up a photo and pointed to the girl on it, verifying his suspicions. I will make your life worse than death. Although the man's voice could not be heard. However, Chen Zhe was able to distinguish the meaning of the words from the other party's mouth. Facing the man's threat. Instead, Chen Zhe just climbed up and walked to the edge of the window. Slowly cracked open his mouth. Morphological white teeth. Emotionless eyes. Paired with that, under the light, half white and half black face. It was inexplicably creepy. The man in the suit, took a step backwards, his eyes changed again as if they were shady hooks, grunted, and turned to leave. Was it last night, that girl's father? I just stepped on her hand and broke it, and he was so angry, but my sister, who has multiple fractures all over her body, is still lying in a hospital bed, life and death unknown. Chen Zhe laughed. Laughing happily. Like a devil, who was swearing that he was coming. The man was gone. But on the doctor's desktop, there were several piles of money, as well as a check. The $500,000 in capital letters on top of the check was particularly striking. The doctor in the white coat also seemed to be in a constant struggle between the two. The big. Around 8 o'clock in the evening, the doctor got up, put the money into his bag and the check into his pocket. Turning his head into the infirmary, he grabbed a few things and walked towards Chin Zhe's room. Inside, Chin Zhe seemed to be asleep. Both eyes were tightly closed. Breathing steadily. The lights were also turned off. The nurses outside, not knowing what methods they had used, could not see a trace. The doctor who was holding a hanging bottle, gently, opened the door to the room and looked at the sleeping Chen Zhe inside. The complexity in his eyes was self-evident. But in the end, he still took the hanging bottle and hung it on the wall. Extraordinarily skillfully, he drew out the needle, connected the tube, and aimed it at the back of Chen Zhe's hand. In the dimly lit environment, the doctor in the white coat took a long glance. It was about to be stabbed down. In the darkness, a pair of calm, ice-cold eyes suddenly opened. An odd smile appeared on his face, and the doctor, who was about to make a move, noticed the pair of opened eyes. An inexplicable feeling of fear surged to his heart. He stood up and was just about to back away when a pair of large palms had grabbed his collar. The immense strength made it impossible for the doctor in front of him to resist. He wanted to call for help. However, his mouth was covered with a deadly grip, and immediately afterward, that syringe from earlier, was pierced into the doctor's skin. He struggled a few times, and then his body began to go weak. Symptoms such as trembling hands, panic, dizziness, and so on appeared. Chen Zhe looked up. Hurriedly, he saw that above the glass bottle, the words insulin were written. Wait until the doctor stopped struggling. Chen Zhe picked up the other party's body and quickly returned to the infirmary. Perhaps because the other party had arranged it in advance, no matter if it was the nurses outside, or the cameras, they were no longer visible. Originally, he wanted to put Chen Zhe to death but he had never thought that he had helped Chen Zhe in disguise. After cleaning up all the traces, Chen Zhe once again inserted the syringe into the doctor's hand, looked at the insulin that hadn't finished dripping, and turned around to return to his own ward. It was around 3 o'clock or so. A female nurse's scream pierced the silent night sky. The dead doctor was found. Many people came outside. Only Chen Zhe stayed in the ward, holding a check for half a million dollars in his hand, looking it up and down. In addition to this, there was a note with a phone number, an address, all of which he put into his pocket. This type of anyone to see it, begging for recommendations, monthly votes, collection, reward. The dead doctor, name is called Wang Yang, was once the attending physician of a large hospital. Later, because of doing surgery, received the patients $50,000, but also the person to death. Back on the lawsuit, if not proved that the accident has nothing to do with their own, I'm afraid that now would have squatted in jail. Also because of the receipt of the patient red envelope thing, lost the hospital work. Introduced by acquaintances and friends, and made a lot of connections. Only then came to this mental hospital. All of this information, are the previous Chen Zhe learned from the nurses, not just Wang Yang. Inside the entire hospital, everyone's information, he had memorized in his own mind. More so, thanks to the various types of skills he had turned on over the years, his memory, was far stronger than that of an ordinary person. After the police came, they quickly began to investigate the beginning and end of the matter. 
But because the doctor, Wang Yang, had done the arrangement in advance, even if the police came, they could not investigate any problems. In the end things were delayed. After all, this is a mental hospital, if the other nurses and caregivers have no problem, there is only one last reason. Things were done by mental illness, even if they wanted to pursue the matter, it would be difficult. After a whole night of tossing and turning, the person finally left. The next day, the sky had just dawned. A man wearing blue work clothes and carrying food was seen arriving at the hospital entrance on a motorcycle. Perhaps it was because his mother had told him about Chun Zhe, coupled with the fact that someone had died in the hospital last night, his father looked a little flustered when he came over. He vaguely felt that this matter must have something to do with his son. Yet there was no substantial proof. He could only explain a few words to the nurse and carried his things inside. Inside the room, Chen Zhe was sitting on the stool at the doorway as usual, staring blankly outside. It wasn't until the arrival of his father. Only then did his demeanor change a little. It seemed like it had been more than a week since he had seen Chen Zhe, and seeing Chen Zhe again, his old father's eyes were a little moist. The recent changes that had occurred within the family had caused him to pine away, and it was even likely that he would not even be able to make up for the expenses that Chen Zhe needed at the hospital. Ah Zhe, Pops stepped forward. With one hand, he hugged him. Tears unconsciously, slipped down from that wrinkled face. Unspeakable sadness. Chen Zhe, who was hugged, had some hidden ripples in his heart. Reaching out his hand, he patted his old man's back, and he reacted. Dumbfounded, he looked at him for several seconds, seemingly not expecting that this son of his would also comfort him. Ever since Chen Zhe had grown up and displayed that almost perverted personality, although he had also felt horrified in his heart, he had never given up on this child. He even dumped his family's money for Chen Zhe, transferring all the stores in his home. He wanted Chen Zhe to live a normal life. Unfortunately, this kind of thought, in today's view was just a foolish thought. You have, before, gone back to your home, right? Chen Zhe nodded. Pop sighed and continued, you saw what was on the table? Chen Zhe didn't say anything, but from the slight change in the middle of his gaze, Pops guessed it. This son of his, definitely saw what was on the table. Your sister is still in the hospital, intensive care. Ward, with a comminuted fracture of her ring finger and multiple injuries from a blunt object. It's dad who's useless, can't protect you guys or give you a rich life, but there's only so much dad can do, A's. I'm sorry. Pops opened the things he brought in and took out an apple from it, peeling it and then stuffing it into his hand. Chen Zhe didn't put it in his mouth, instead he calmly said, last night, a man came, wearing a suit, and kept staring at me outside the window. Looked a lot like the girl I injured. Perhaps because Chen Zhe was mentally ill and not very old, even if the police were called, they would not be able to deal with it. So the other party didn't choose to call the police, instead, they used money to buy the psychiatric hospital's doctor, only the crowd didn't expect that Chen Zhe didn't have an accident, instead, the doctor died that night. Heard a man in a suit, with a slight resemblance to the girl who was injured, and came to the hospital. And that night, a doctor died as a result. Chen Yuzhang, who knew his son's character beyond measure, seemed to understand something, and then patted his shoulder. Another strand of struggle flashed in his eyes, but he always clenched his fist and did not say anything. Looking at the son in front of him, he eventually sighed deeply. He did not want to harm Chen Zhe, compared to the son he once had, the current Chen Zhe had changed a lot. At least he didn't move around and lose control of his emotions. It was also because of the changes in these four years that had given them renewed hope for their son, that he might actually be cured one day. But if they released their son's nature, who knows what would happen. All the things that happened in the past were like nightmares hovering over their heads. You don't have to care about your sister's matter, dad will have his own way of handling it. Chen Zhe did not utter a word. Didn't say yes, didn't say no, just hung his head low. Burying his entire face into the shadows, he seemed to be silently saying something. Ah Zhe, alas. Chen Yuzhang once again let out a sigh. The expression became even more disheveled. Realizing that as the head of the family, he actually could not change anything. A deep sense of powerlessness drained his spine. That old face looked especially uncertain and helpless. If, I mean if, pops, you can't handle it, come over and take me out. Sh, what? Chen Yuzhang seemed to have heard the most unbelievable thing. Pick up his own son out? What did he mean? A near manic psychosis, unable to control his emotions, once he unleashed his nature, the consequences would be unpredictable. It was also tantamount to destroying his own son in disguise. I'm afraid it would be impossible to cure him by then. I know, I know it all, you want to help dad and also your sister, but I can't destroy you. Pops was inside the hospital room again and stayed with him for half a day. Father and son talked a lot. Today, Chen Zhe's mood was extraordinarily stable, not like a mental patient at all, but rather like a child who was in high school. All of this. It was just Chen Zhe trying his best to suppress his emotions. I don't know since when, that almost perverted personality would also consider his old man's feelings. 
would worry about his sister because of his mania never coming over again. Witnessing the departure of his old dad, Chen Zhe's face that had been buried in the shadows finally revealed itself, the face that was supposed to be calm. It gradually became distorted, as if something called the devil had been completely unleashed. Your old man can't handle it anymore, can he? He's at this age, the other party has power and influence, your old man would just be sending him to his death if he went. If he can take half a million dollars to buy your life inside the hospital, he can take a million and ten million dollars to break up your family, and make your sister, who is lying in the hospital, a life worse than death. Think about your sister's current situation, will he be able to visit you in the future? The voice in the heart. Like the devil's compulsion, it broke down Chen Zhe's psychological defense little by little. He stared dead outside, all the way from noon, to the evening, like a wooden stake, even if the nurse asked, he did not say anything. Until the sky completely dimmed. He looked behind him at the covers and stuffed miscellaneous items into them, and then took out the black plastic bag from under the bed, which contained the very same white coat he had left behind the last time he knocked out the nurse. He had been carrying it with him since he came back, and with the fruit and snacks in his other hand, the nurse and caretaker hadn't cared. Until now. It finally came in handy. They think, it's going to be okay? They think, my sister, my parents, are so easy to bully. They think, I can only be slaughtered when I'm inside a mental hospital. Inside the darkened room. Like a ghostly murmur, it echoed lazily. He also noticed it. The nurses outside, the caretakers, would change shifts in half an hour. Time passed bit by bit, and half an hour was up. He took advantage of the gap, changed into the clothes of a white coat, hung his head low, and left the room silently. When the shift ended, the nurse, from the window, saw the bed quilt inside, the raised figure, thought Chen Zhe was still in the room, and did not care too much. Chen Zhe did not rush to leave, but instead went to the warehouse, changed into a security uniform, and quietly came to the monitoring room. Inside the surveillance room, there was a security guard playing a cell phone game. He didn't even put his attention on the monitoring above, the people who work the night shift here are either lazy or sleeping, and the time they put on the monitoring above can be said to be very little. Only if something really happened. Only then will they call up the surveillance. Waiting for the security guard inside the room to turn around and go out with his cell phone because he had to pee, he entered the surveillance room and deleted the surveillance video of himself leaving the ward. The action was quick. The whole process only took a few dozen seconds, and by the time he left again, the security guard hadn't even finished using the restroom. Chen Zhe again climbed out from a hidden enclosure outside where there was no surveillance. Breathing that clear air again, Chen Zhe smiled. This time, the smile was extraordinarily hideous, with a split mouth and white teeth, more like an evil ghost out of a cage. He took from inside his pocket, took off the slip of paper with the phone number, as well as the address. It was clearly labeled, the location of a villa area. He followed the location and quickly found the place. This place was worthy of being a villa where rich people lived, from afar, it was heavily guarded and opulent. On both sides of the entrance alone, there were several security guards on night duty. He even saw numerous cameras. But these were too trivial for Chen Zhe to stop him from advancing. Choosing an area that wasn't covered by cameras, he silently sneaked into it, and in his hand, at some point, there was an extra silver white scalpel. When he arrived at the number 8 villa where the address was located, only the second floor window inside was lit up, and when he climbed up from the wall to the second floor, he saw two figures inside through the window. A man and a woman sitting on the edge of the bed. The male even patted the girl's shoulder. Cousin. Sister, don't worry about it, it will definitely be fine. But cousin I'm scared, that guy is a madman, my wrist was broken by him stepping on it. Thinking back to all the things that had happened the night before, Zhou Shushue felt goosebumps popping up. She heard her dad say, that person, it seems that he still escaped from inside the mental hospital, although it was locked back up, but still let her feel disturbed. Turning her head but then said, isn't it just a little bitch? Other students who were bullied by me, did not say anything, obviously it is her body bones are too weak, she fell down from the second floor, why should it be counted on my head? And that brother of his, what kind of bitch there is, what kind of family there is, I hope my dad gets them killed early. The cousin next to him, who was wearing a tracksuit, also smiled and nodded, then put his hands on the girl's shoulders. I can't, my hands are hurt. What's not okay? As long as you don't touch your hands isn't it okay? It just so happens that your parents aren't here today, no one will notice said a disgusting voice from inside the room. Chen Zhe frowned. Holding a breath in his heart, he froze and stood outside on the parapet, waiting for more than an hour's time. The matter was over. Cousin left the room with a face full of relief, and inside, Zhou Shushua, whose face was as red as a drunken blush, took out her cell phone and used her voice to say inside the group, You guys go to the hospital tomorrow to take a look at that bitch, it's best if you can pull out the oxygen tube, that bitch's brother hurt me, I can't let her have a good time either. After sending this voice, Zhou Shushua laid down on the bed, revealing a satisfied smile. 
That pervert was locked back in the mental hospital, and they had no more worries. If they didn't take revenge, they were really sorry for themselves. Moreover, those two old things have been guarding the hospital, even if the oxygen tube is pulled out, within 10 minutes will soon come back, and will not cause a death at all. But it is this paragraph. Let the outside Chinze, from the fence, climb to the balcony. Standing straight outside the balcony, under the dim moonlight, the silver-white scalpel, flashing with a suffocating luster. Zhou Shushue, who was lying in a big shape, seemed to have sensed something. Confused, he twisted his head, and when he saw Chen Zhe's face, subconsciously, his eyes widened, and then, in shock, he tried to make a sound, but was stunned by Chen Zhe, who violently smashed the glass and barged in. You, what are you doing? Doing this is against the law, do you know? Breaking the law? When you guys hurt my sister, did you ever think of breaking the law? Chen Zhe took a healthy step forward and stepped on the gauze-wrapped hand. Zhou Shushue let out a piercing scream in pain and was slapped in the face again, followed by Chen Zhe grabbing his head. Like a dead dog, he was dragged into the hall. Outside came the inquiries from the security. Miss Zhou, is everything alright? Zhou Shushue wanted to call for help. The cold scalpel on her neck had the effect of sending chills down her spine. No, it's fine, there are rats inside the room. The security outside, after hearing that it was fine, said a few words of something to call for help, then left. Seeing that everything was back to normal, grabbing Zhou Shushua's hair, all the way, came outside, found the bathroom and started to put water inside the bathtub. Wait until the water is full. Holding down Zhou Shushua's head, submerged in the bathtub. After half a minute or so, he pulled Zhou Shushua out. Choking on several mouthfuls of water, Zhou Shushua seemed to have been enraged, and instead of being afraid just now, she threatened, my cousin won't let you go, and my boyfriend won't let you go. My father and my mom, will make your life worse than death. By this time, still talking big, Zhou Shushua's barbaric willfulness from childhood was almost manifested to the fullest. Her eyes stared resentfully at Chen Zhe, itching to dismantle him. But Chen Zhe just turned his back to the bathroom light and revealed a sickly smile. Only at this time did Zhou Shushue remember that the person in front of her was a mental illness, and the piece of information that his father had brought back yesterday, it was labeled that Chen Zhe was only 15 years old today, not much older than her. What's more, that information, recorded Chen Zhe had done all kinds of perverted deeds. What with a pencil directly piercing through someone's palm? At the drop of a hat, he would use a rock and smash someone's head to the point of bleeding. What's more, launching into a frenzy, even his mom and dad were injured. Such a barely half-rational to psychotic, you expect to reason with him and threaten him, is not a joke? I'm wrong, you let me off this time, okay? I'll definitely let my parents, make up for your sister's medical bills. I'll never find anyone to mess with your family again. As long as you let me go, I can pretend that this thing has not happened, just as, just as I and your sister's things are right off. Book Group, 92150-7559, welcome to enter the group female costumes to the author. And I'm not the only one who bullied your sister, furthermore, so many people bullied her, there's no shortage of me. Why must you make things difficult for me? Facing Zhou Shushue's words, Chen Zhe did not say a word. Once again, he pushed her head into the water. After a minute or so, Zhou Shushue struggled desperately in the water. Choking on several mouthfuls of water in a row, she peed. The rancid odor filled the middle of the bathroom, grabbing the other party's hair, he violently pulled it out. Zhou Shushue's eyes widened, but he heard a commotion coming from outside. The voices of several security guards reached his ears. It's inside, just now we heard some strange sounds, it always felt vaguely wrong, so we called the police, you guys go in and see what's going on. Then the sound of the door lock opening, came into the ears. Chen Zhe also didn't rush to kill Zhou Shushue, because he wanted this girl in front of him, to suffer the same pain as his own sister. In the end, he would then make her watch her family break up, and in the midst of endless torture, she would eventually die. Only to see him raise his right leg, ruthlessly stepping down on Zhou Shushue's joints. Only a click was heard. The bones at the joints shattered hard. He grabbed the other party's hair again and slammed it against the wall again and again. Miserable screams and cries resounded throughout the bathroom. By the time the Zhou Shushue in front of him had long been covered in blood, he used the scalpel in his hand again, picking off her hamstring, before he acted as if he was a demon. Licked his mouth. Zhou Shushue had been terrorized to the extreme, tears mixed with blood, kept sliding down her face. I'm wrong, I'm wrong, please don't torture me anymore, is it not okay for me to apologize to your sister? I will never call her a bitch again, please let me go, let me go okay. Chen Zhe, however, just took the blood on top of the scalpel and smeared it on Zhou Shushua's clothes, waiting until the sound of footsteps, outside the door of the hall, suddenly disappeared. It was only then that Chen Zhe ran to the balcony, and then leapt down at the ground. The security that was watching outside, immediately pulled the alarm, and for a while, the entire villa area became chaotic. There were even quite a few tycoons who started to observe the situation outside with binoculars. But these security guards, 
although they were somewhat competent, but in front of Chen Zhe, they were simply not enough. But in just a few minutes, they lost track of Chen Zhe. Those police who rushed upstairs, broke open the door of the room, and saw only the bathroom, the miserable Zhou Shushue. At this time, Zhou Shushue's forehead was sunken in a large piece, and her face was covered in blood. Even the bones on her feet were stepped on and broken, and she could even see two wounds from her feet, as if something had been cut open. Zhou Shushue hadn't yet recovered from the shock, and inside her mouth she kept murmuring. I was wrong, please let me go. I won't dare anymore, I will definitely go apologize to your sister. Even the police who had seen a lot of things couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air when they saw this scene. Who did this? How big of a grudge is it to torture someone like this? Yet there was also a policeman who recognized Zhou Shushue in front of him, remembering a case from not too many days ago. Again, it was an old father. Relative came to report the case, saying that it was their daughter, who had fallen down from an upper floor and suffered a generalized fracture. Before jumping off the building, she had suffered inhuman abuse. They followed the trail and quickly found the suspects. One of them was Zhou Shushue, who at the time was unrepentant and made a big deal out of it at the station. To that old father, cursing. Because she is not yet an adult, so from the beginning to the end, there is no deeper treatment. I didn't expect to see Zhou Shushue again, would be inside such a scene. The first time he thought of it, that tall, thin, old father who had gone white overnight. But on second thought it wasn't right. Because just now from the window, jumped out of the figure. Clearly young and strong. More like an 18 to 20 year old boy. Just what they didn't know was that Chen Zhe was only 15 years old, and the reason why he was tall and big. It was also just because his body was rather special. Seeing that the person had already run away, they could only call for help, and more than 10 minutes later, an ambulance came to the villa downstairs, and took the person down to the hospital. Zhou Shushue's parents also got the news. Soon came to the ward where Zhou Shushue was. Looking at her daughter who was inserted with oxygen tubes, her eyes were empty, and her face was still vaguely fearful. The man wearing a suit and holding a briefcase punched the wall. Seems to think of something. Sourly said, it's him, it's definitely him. Other than him, there can't be a second person. Obviously he had gotten some clues from the police side. In his heart, he had probably guessed who it was. After all, the one who matched a series of characteristics. There was only Chen Zhe who was inside the mental hospital. But Chen Zhe's identity was likewise underage. What's even more terrifying is that this guy is carrying a get out of jail free card on his body. That is the mental illness certificate. Nowadays, he's still living inside the mental hospital. Even the doctor he had bought off earlier that night had died unexpectedly during the night. Even if he is a fool, it could all be guessed. Old Joe, who the hell is it? Since the last time my daughter was injured, every time I asked you, you wouldn't say anything. Now that my daughter is like this, do you still want to hide it from me? They were all prominent figures in the city. Even the several buildings inside the previous reading school were constructed with their funding. It was also because of this. Their daughters had never been dealt with in the school, no matter how lawless they were. Can only be regarded as Chen Xiaomei unlucky, was their daughter to run into. And their daughter, with a poor family's child, can be compared? One is a golden lady. One is a dead girl from a stinky working family. Even if it's really gone, they have the means to send their daughters abroad. By then, the emperor will be far away. No one can control them. I didn't let you know because I didn't want you to mess up because of this matter. Recently, inside the company, many things still need you to step in and deal with them, if even you are messed up, what about the company? But the woman obviously didn't buy it. Coldly grunted. That trivial matter inside the company, does it still have our daughter's importance? Seeing that the woman has already hardened her heart. To ask a clear question. Old Joe can only helplessly from inside the briefcase. Took out a pile of documents. Handed to the hands of the woman in front of him. The woman opened the file. Looked at the content inside also couldn't help but be alarmed. For years of time, how many people were injured in total? No matter what means are used, the next day, they can all recover as before. Inside the entire mental hospital, even with more than two dozen caretakers, taking turns to supervise, they can't watch over such a child? All of the above. These were the simplest information. In addition to inquiring about this information, Old Joe also spent a large sum of money to carefully interrogate the caretakers who had been injured by Chen Zhe in the past. A uniform retort was obtained. That teenager who didn't look like much was like a nightmare that lingered in the eyes of all the caregivers. If you dared to take a shot at him, he would dare to pay back tenfold. Wasn't the doctor who died earlier a good example? That kid is evil. What I've investigated is just the tip of the iceberg. The first time our daughter was injured, it was him who broke out of the mental hospital. I asked the retired bodyguards around me, and after watching the video, they all said that this kid is extremely difficult to deal with. This is also the reason why I didn't tell you. The woman listened. Yet, she was somewhat unimpressed. 
Since those bodyguards can't do it, then spend more money on foreign mercenaries, they shoot all day long, can't they still solve a brat? Wife's words. Let the old weak covered his forehead with his hand, he still has a sentence not said. These bodyguards under his own hands were actually foreign retired mercenaries. Each and every one of them was the best of the mercenaries. Even they had said that Chen Zhe was difficult to deal with. It meant that it was useless to invite anyone. What's more, on the streets outside the villa area, he had actually arranged a dozen bodyguards, watching every intersection. The result is, the person has entered the villa area and went upstairs silently, wasted their daughter. Those bodyguards couldn't see a thing. If you think you have a way, you can also find someone yourself, I have to go to the station again. The two were still conversing. Not far away, a figure in a white coat. Pushing a small cart, he walked over. Please make way, it's time for anti-inflammatory medicine. Otherwise the wound will get infected and the consequences will be unimaginable. The voice was very old-fashioned. It gave off a muffled feeling. The white coat figure was like this, from in front of old Joe and the woman. Pushing the cart into the hospital room. The syringe was then removed and inserted. Under the overhead lamp, only the forehead, eyes, and nose were revealed, but Joe Shushue, who was lying on the bed. But a glance recognized Chen Zhe, before she could open her mouth to call for help, a large hand covered her mouth. The liquid from the syringe in her hand was silently injected into her veins. Zhou Shushue struggled for a moment, then her eyes rolled upwards. There was no more movement. As for what Chen Zhe had injected, it was actually just a relatively common drug called fluoroquinolone, and there were many types that would cause some adverse reactions. Insanity was one of them. When he finished injecting the drug and walked towards the outside, old Zhou raised his head and met Chen Zhe's eyes, and the two of them staggered past. He only felt that Chen Zhe made him look a little familiar, but he couldn't remember who he was for a moment. Until Chen Zhe walked away, he took another look at his daughter in the hospital room. Zhou Shushue, who had previously kept her eyes open and mumbled from time to time, now she was lying motionless on the bed, just like a mummy. Old Zhou had been in the shopping mall for many years and had encountered countless things, instantly noticing his daughter's abnormality, hurriedly pushed open the door, and rang the call bell next to it, called the doctor to come. After a series of examinations, it was soon clear. It was someone who gave Joe Shushua injected fluoroquinolones so that the old Joe next to him was unconsciously shocked out of a cold sweat. At once understood. Why did you just look at the figure of that white coat, so familiar, that pair of cold to the extreme, almost no emotional color? That pair of cold to the extreme, almost emotionless eyes. Wasn't it the same pair of eyes he saw through the window in the mental hospital? To this day, he recalled. He felt that it was vivid in his mind. Is, is he, that mental illness? But when he said this, he even felt that he was a bit abnormal. With the other party doing things in such a calm manner, it didn't look like a mental illness at all. If the other party was a mental illness, then he felt that he was even worse than a mental illness. His wife heard him say the words mental illness, frowned tightly. I'm afraid that it was Chen Zhe who was talking about, that guy had just done this to his daughter a few hours ago inside the villa area. Now he dared to impersonate a doctor, run inside the ward, and inject his daughter with fluoroquinolones. He's a madman. Oh no, he himself is a lunatic. When doing things, can't be judged according to normal people's thoughts. Old Joe, that guy is too reckless, there are still police guarding outside, he dared to sneak into the hospital and even injected our daughter with drugs, if we continue to let it go, hell knows what will happen. What kind of thing is his sister, she's worthy of being compared to our daughter. With all the dirty blood flowing inside their bodies, they can't even compare to a single finger of my daughter. Old Joe, who was a little annoyed by what was said, shook off his wife's hand. What's the use of you talking to me? People have the guts to run to the hospital and gaze at us face to face. The hell knows what will happen next? Tomorrow morning, you and I will go to meet their parents, pad the medical bills first, and see if we can use money to settle this matter. Hearing that her husband actually wanted to send money to the family that harmed her daughter, the wife was immediately unhappy. Why should I give them money? I had already told that old thing to go and get the case dismissed, and give him a large sum of money for medical expenses when the time came, but it turned out that they didn't agree. Even if we go again, what's the use? Old Joe grunted, I just got the news, the tens of thousands of dollars they put together before, only enough to pay the hospitalization fee, the next surgery, at least another 400,000 or so to spend. Even if they sold their house, that old remote place of theirs, it would be nice to sell it for a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars, it's the time when they are in desperate need of money. If they don't do this surgery, it's questionable whether their daughter will live or not. As long as we go over and say it properly, I believe they will agree. The wife was still a bit reluctant, but she glanced at her daughter inside the hospital room. She also took a deep breath, made up her mind. When we leave here, we must find someone to kill that mental illness called Chen Zhe. 
as long as he died, then they would be able to spare their hands to deal with that family of poor people. Since you've made up your mind, I'll go with you tomorrow, I don't believe it, we still can't fight them with such a big industry. Furthermore, it's not just our children who are involved in this matter. If they dare to stand by and do nothing, even if they poke a hole in the sky, I will never let them have a good time, said the husband and wife. They left quite a few more hands behind before they walked together towards the outside. Just as they arrived downstairs, again, they saw in the distance, beside a tree, there stood a figure wearing a duck-tongued cap. Slowly, he raised his head. This time Chen Zhe didn't wear a mask, and under the flickering dim streetlights, the face that was bright and dim, revealed a horrible smile. Two rows of white teeth, paired with that almost distorted face. It made old Zhou, who was walking out, stop in his tracks. Heart beating sharply a few times, actually inexplicably feel some legs soft, next to the wife did not notice the scene in the distance. Rush to help the old weak. What's wrong with you, didn't you just take the anti-hypertensive medicine when you came here? Old Joe violently swallowed saliva, once again look at the tree next to the time, the person has disappeared. God's ghostly figure, breathtaking smile, and that twisted face. Like a heavy hammer, it struck Lao Zhou's heart. But looking at his wife who was unaware next to him, he could only take a deep breath. It's nothing, just didn't eat dinner, maybe my blood sugar is a bit low. Chen Zhe though when he left at night, had already done so with care. But in the end, he was still discovered by the caretaker inside the mental hospital. His bed was just some miscellaneous items. The ones who received the brunt of the call were their parents. Chen Xiaomei's father who was looking after him. Hearing that his son had escaped from the mental hospital. Escaped from inside the mental hospital. It also couldn't help but have his eyelids flutter a bit. Are you saying that my son left the hospital unnoticed? Yes, mister. Chen, it's all our fault for not looking after him well. Your son's ability to escape is just too strong. Even our monitoring room couldn't find out half of it. So, now you don't even know where my son is? Sorry, Mr. Chen, we don't want to. The opposite party apologized quite sincerely. Even if there were complaints in his heart, Chen Yuzheng was not in, to continue. Turning his head, he hung up the phone. Next to Chen's mother, full of worry, asked. Son escaped again? Chen Yuzheng nodded his head, his heart had a mixture of flavors in general. Even Chen's mother, her throat rolled a bit, tears like beans, falling down. Unbeknownst to her, there was a figure outside quietly looking at the situation inside the ward. Included was the sister whose body was filled with tubes, now still unconscious, until a rush of footsteps came from outside. A man who wore glasses and looked well-mannered, pushed open the door of the room and walked in. As for Chen Zhe outside, dressed in a white coat, the man with glasses only thought it was a doctor, and staggered over. As the man walked into the ward, he could hear his father let out a cold snort. Hello, mister. Chen, I'm the investigator in charge of this case, I heard that your son, ran away from inside the mental hospital? Pops nodded. Rather, he did not deny it. The investigator took out another document, as you know, according to the current situation, your daughter's injuries, it's exactly the point in time when she needs to undergo surgery. Just now, there has been a person involved in the case, who came over to us, and is willing to provide $600,000 in medical expenses, as long as we get this money, your daughter will be able to safely get through the crisis. Pops gritted his teeth. What if I don't agree? The investigator sighed deeply. Your daughter always still has to go to school, and those people's identity and background are unusual, unless you guys leave Shanghai City, or else once you piss people off, the consequences will be unimaginable. And because of this incident, a reporter has already broadcasted the news out, it will easily bring us bad influence. So I would like to ask you to withdraw this case, and we will try to get you as much compensation as possible, so that you guys can feel better by then. Chen's mother, who was sitting next to her, angrily banged the table. It's clear that we are the victims, why should we be the ones to withdraw the case? The person who harmed my daughter hasn't given us a face-to-face -face apology to this day, are you just going to make things difficult for us, an old couple? The investigator was at a loss for words for a moment. A brief silence fell inside the room. The gods gradually became serious as well. You guys should also know the current situation, the other party is a minor, even if the investigation goes on, it, there won't be any results. But how do I remember that the last time we found out the people involved, several of them were already adults? Chen Yuzheng stared at the investigator, his gaze seeming as if it could emit fire. The investigator also narrowed his eyes at this moment, knowing that this old couple was not going to be kind. With that, he stood up and said in a deep voice, The reminder that should be given to you has already been given, if you are persistent, or if you make any mess that affects our reputation, don't blame us for turning the other cheek. After saying that the investigator got up and left. In fact, he wasn't really an investigator, but was just a player that the Zhou family had found. It was to use this identity to pressure the couple. Let them know that things cannot be done. In this way, tomorrow, during the negotiation, they will be able to back off. 
The investigator's purpose has been achieved. Following the corridor of the hospital, he entered the elevator. When he came to the first floor, Chen Zhe just happened to have finished paying his sister's medical bills with that $500,000 check. Earlier, he had also heard the attitude of the other party's speech, and without even having to hear the end, he knew what this person was here for. By the time the formalities were completed, the person just happened to walk to the door. Chen Zhe followed him out, seeing the other party get into a black sedan. If he hadn't recognized it correctly, the person driving the car was none other than the Zhou family's driver. Then he began to walk out in big strides, coming to the side of the car window. He knocked on the car window with his hand. A few knocks passed, together with Chen Zhe wearing a white coat. The pretend investigator, as well as the driver, thought he was up to something and lowered the car window. Chen Zhe, however, at this time, punched the investigator in the face. The speed was fast. The punch was heavy. The punch made the investigator's eyes bleed and his nose bleed furiously. He opened the car door again quickly. A cold scalpel was pressed against the driver's back. The driver looked in the rearview mirror and saw Chen Zhe's appearance. Although he frowned, he obviously didn't know about Chen Zhe, and said in a low voice, Sir, what you're doing is against the law, do you know that? But the investigator next to him, who had read the information, was scared into a cold sweat. The person in front of him was a psychopath. What law or no law, underage, mentally ill, is a violation of the laws of heaven, but also cannot cure his crime. He wanted to remind the driver, but was afraid that saying the words mental illness would anger Chen Zhe and do something out of the ordinary. He could only remind, just hurry up and do what he says, don't talk nonsense. The driver looked a little sullen, but, there's no buts, go. The investigator almost shouted out. The driver also realized that something was wrong, and could only stiffen his heart and drive the car out. Chen Zhe raised the window of the car while strangling the investigator's neck with his hand in a death grip. Once again, he pressed the scalpel against the driver's back. Half an hour later, a deserted factory. The two men were tied up by Chen Zhe. Although the driver was flustered, he still braced himself and said, Nowadays, it's a society with the rule of law, you should understand the consequences of doing this. Chen Zhe narrowed his eyes, What about my sister? What consequences did she get for being a good student and bullying his people? The driver froze. Are you that girl's brother? Regarding the matter of Chen Zhe being a psychopath, currently only the Zhou family husband and wife, and the investigator knew about it, the driver was not clear about this at all. He was just on weekdays, helping Mr. Zhou to drive the car, and secretly helping to contact some unclean characters, so did not show too much fear. After all, in his opinion, if Chen Zhe wanted to kill someone, he would have done it long ago. Why wait until now? If he died, Chen Zhe wouldn't be able to live either. Our young lady is only 14 years old, she is young and doesn't know any better, please forgive me. It looked like he was speaking courteously, but in reality, his voice carried a bit of indifference. It seemed that in his heart, the thoughts were the same as the Zhou family couple. A little girl from an ordinary family, how could she compare to their young lady? Until, Chen Zhe raised his scalpel and narrowed his eyes, so, your young lady is not wrong at all? This, when, only just opening his mouth, the scalpel that Chen Zhe was holding, stabbed out. A poof sound. Without hesitation, it pierced through the driver's palm. The investigator next to him watched his scalp numb, his heart half cold. The heart said that this driver is really bold, this kid even if he kills you, he doesn't have to pay for his life. However, the matter is not a matter of concern. He can only choose to be silent. The driver let out a mournful scream. Tears of pain mixed with snot, tearing his heart and lungs, little brother, you still have a great future, why bother? Mister. Joe is very powerful, you can't fight him. Looking at Chen Zhe, he heard this. The face gradually surged a few points of mania, the investigator's heart trembled, whispered, look at the documents on the ground. It's this time, what documents are you looking at? Look, the investigator raised his voice. When he came in, the document fell on the ground. It was able to clearly see, Chen Zhe's personal page. The driver's gaze swept through it, and his face, which still had a few moments of hardness, suddenly went a few shades of white. Above it was clearly written, 15 years old, sent to a mental hospital for 4 years, injured more than 80 people. This is still information that has not been specifically counted, in the investigator's heart, the real injured people, definitely more than this. The driver's body stiffened and mechanically twisted his head over. As if saying again, why didn't T you remind me earlier? Looking at it, Chen Zhe was about to raise the scalpel again. The driver panicked. Don't, don't, mister. Chen, things are all arranged by Chairman Zhou, we're just following orders. Chen Zhe looked at the investigator next to him again. The investigator only felt a chill underneath his body and froze, scared to death. Even though he had followed Mr. Joe's side and experienced countless things, he had never been as scared as he was today. In the past, most of the work was done by commercial means, or planting evidence, 
This kind of person who would lay down a deadly hand as soon as they met, who wouldn't be scared when they saw him. What's more, if you reason with a mental illness, is it possible that you yourself are mentally ill? Yes, yes, little brother, we are only following orders, please don't make things difficult for us anymore. Whether it was the investigator or the driver, they had all been scared out of their wits, afraid that Chun Zhe would do something even more out of the ordinary. It would be really cold by then. Tell me everything you know, or else. Chen Zhe pulled out his hand. Art knife and stabbed the driver's thigh again. The driver let out a wail of pain, thinking, why me again? I've already been stabbed in the palm once. Can't it be someone else? The thigh of the investigator next to him is also sticking out, you find him. But these words he can only think in his heart. Of course did not dare to say it. Brother, you say, don't, don't stab, I'm afraid. The driver just received $20,000, come over to do this matter, can't for $20,000, even his own life, right? How many people in total are the ones who harmed my sister? Asked here. Whether it was the investigator, or the driver, they all paused. How many individuals were there? They had heard that there seemed to be 7 or 8, but they were not too sure about the specifics. Just wanting to carefully to ponder for a moment, they saw Chen Zhe's knife raised once again, and aimed at the investigator. The investigator's heart thumped, and he said, Bad, it's coming at me. Hastily shouted. Seven, more than seven. In addition to Zhou Shushue, who else? Ah, uh, this time both men were confused. The investigator's head was even more buzzing. He only knew that there were roughly seven or eight people, and it was not for him to know exactly who they were. When they went to the bureau, there was only Zhou Shushue and another kid named Wang. The remaining people. Without even going inside the bureau, things had already been set right. I don't know ah, little brother, ah, don't don't don't, this investigator big brother next to me, he follows Chief Joe every day, he must be clear. Seeing that Chen Zhe was going to do it to himself again, the driver came with a move of woe. Chen Zhe's scalpel, aimed at the investigator next to him. Incredulous, the investigator glanced at the driver, his teeth unable to stop chattering. I only know that there is one who seems to be surnamed Wang, the youngest son of the Wang group, whose power is not inferior to that of the Zhou family, and is likewise a dignified figure in Shanghai City. As for the rest, they didn't even go inside the bureau, I'm not qualified to contact them at all. Surname Wang? Wang Group? Chen Zhe clenched his jaw. He had been locked up in the mental hospital all these years, and was not at all clear about what was going on outside. What Wang's group, he didn't recognize it either. After releasing the investigator again, he had the other party write out the address, as well as a few places that the other party frequented. Only then did he narrow his eyes and tie them up again, throwing them inside the factory. He went out on his own and drove the black sedan outside, speeding away. Bar Street. There were many social loafers gathered here. They had neither the ability nor the capacity to mingle here, adding many uncertainties to this street. As the time got later and later, the entire city gradually became depressed. Only this street became increasingly lively. Chen Zhe was squatting on the opposite side of a bar. He was wearing a blue long shirt from an unknown source, jeans, and a duckbill hat on his head. He was staring at a bar called Hazy Moon, watching the time, with a few murmurs coming out of his mouth from time to time. He didn't know what he was thinking about. Time passed little by little. It was finally fixed at 2.40 minutes past midnight. Several drunken figures surrounded behind the 14 or 15 year old teenager. Mouths were saying some complimentary words. Wang Xiao is bullish, last time at school, I saw you beat that girl up like that, and you actually took care of it. That's right, tonight is even more luxurious, even the manager inside the bar looked dumbfounded. Ha, huh, if I had half the strength of young Wang, I would be able to rest easy for the rest of my life. The teenager who was being complimented, with a black mole on his left cheek, looked mesmerized, but also enjoyed this feeling of being complimented. Thinking of the female student who was injured, he could not feel the slightest bit of guilt, but instead, because he was invited to the police station last time, deep down he held a grudge against Chen Xiaomei. If he was given another chance, he would make that girl's life worse than death. It's a pity that she didn't obey me that day, otherwise, she wouldn't be so miserable now. Just a stinking cousin from a poor family, it should be her honor to be played by us, it's good that I didn't dislike her for being dirty, she scratched me instead. Wang Dong said inside his mouth, took out another box of cigarettes, and the few people behind him, one person handed out one. 9 to 5. Normally, it was only when they drank with Wang Dong that they had the chance to smoke. Coupled with the fact that Wang Dong was generous, everyone was willing to make friends with him. However, in the face of the crowd's deadly following, Wang Dong waved his hand impatiently. All T and D get the hell out of here, what's the point of following me? Still wanna go home with me, no? You guys aren't pussies, otherwise I can consider it. The bystanders burst into laughter. Immediately after that, a yellow hair said, Young Wang, although I know that your family has great skills, but just this morning, I heard someone say a message, I wonder if you are clear about it? 
Wang Dong frowned, what news is mysterious? Zhou Shushui was wasted and is still lying in the hospital, it is said that when the police rushed in, her head was broken and her hamstring was picked off. Said here. Yellow hair subconsciously shrunk his body, although they always mix in a bar street. Belonging to the fringe of society. But now that the social control is getting tighter and tighter, they don't dare to hurt people easily. Only Wang Xiao's identity and background, the more intimidating group, can be peaceful. This is still because Wang Xiao is underage, otherwise there is no telling how many demons will be created. Zhou Shushui was suddenly wasted. Moreover, the Zhou family did not move at all, it would be a lie to say that it was not strange. Wang Dong also frowned. Brow, he really did not hear the news, perhaps his family already knew about it. Afraid that he would be worried. So they did not tell him. Even when he came out today, he hid it from his family and quietly came to the bar. If it was really as this yellow hair said, things were indeed odd, but soon he opened his mouth. Nonsense, those bodyguards of the Zhou family, are they just for show? I can hear, those people, are all foreign retired mercenaries, before the whole day gunfire, now back in the country, still cannot protect a little girl? Although there is some panic in his heart. But Wang Dong was still talking tough, when he was preparing to leave, he had already notified his own bodyguards. It should have almost arrived by now. Send the positioning again. Just raised his head. Just saw a tall figure wearing a blue shirt, jeans, and a duck tongue cap, running towards him step by step. A few dog legs next to him saw someone approaching Wang Xiao. At once, they were a little upset. What kind of person, you also dare to lean this way? Get the hell out of here. Yellow hair went forward and wanted to push Chen Ze. But he had just put his hand out. A click was heard. Immediately after that hand was grabbed by Chen Ze, elbow forcefully a little forward, huge force, directly dislocated the whole hand on top. Yellow hair let out a wail, the next two people look, turn their heads and run, who cares about you Wang Xiao not Wang Xiao. People are not good at first glance, meet with the dead hand. Even if the two of them went on, it would not have any effect. Wang Xiao's throat rolled a bit, scared to the point that goosebumps rose all over his body. Chen Ze even drew out a silver white scalpel, took a step forward and swung it at Wang Dong. Along with the silver white luster, a suffocating sense of oppression came to the surface. Wang Dong was so frightened that his legs went limp and he fell to the ground. The silver white scalpel grazed the top of his head, cutting off a large piece of flesh with hair. It was accompanied by a continuous gush of blood. Wang Dong let out a gurgling wail of pain. Where was the arrogance that he had just complained about his awesome deeds? Just as Chen Ze, once again, raised the scalpel. When Chen Ze raised the scalpel once more, he intended to do the same thing and waste the Wang Dong in front of him. A black sedan, emitting ear-piercing braking sounds. It crashed straight towards Chen Ze. Chen Ze frowned and dodged backwards. He saw three bodyguards, wearing black suits, protecting Wang Dong behind them. Seeing the bodyguards instantly, Wang Dong almost did not cry out with a wow. After all, no matter what, he was just a 14-year-old student. It was fine to bully other people on weekdays, but when he really encountered a tough opponent, he himself was scared to death. Seeing the other side came three bodyguards, Chen Ze did not fear. The three bodyguards were also standing by, intending to break bread with Chen Ze. After all, as Wang Dong's bodyguard, now that Wang Dong was injured, if there was no explanation, he would not know what kind of punishment he would face when he went back. Just when the crowd was about to make a move, a man with a country face who was pinching the steering wheel happened to look up and saw Chen Ze. He happened to look up and met Chen Ze's gaze. At this moment, he only felt a chill that bubbled up from the deepest part of his body. It was as if the person in front of him was not a person at all, but a flooding beast, a vague illusion. If they made a move, if they really tangled up, I'm afraid that all of them would have to stay here. No matter what, they were all people who had seen many storms. In the end there is no ability, in fact, a glance can be seen. He, who was already a bit entangled, saw Chen Zhe's posture of storing up his strength to jump, and took a deep breath. In a deep voice, he said, get in, brother Zhao. The three bodyguards below turned back in bewilderment. The one who was usually the most ruthless and courageous was brother Zhao. The one with the best hands within them was also the man holding the steering wheel. If there was an opportunity to strike, Zhao was often the first to rush ahead, and only later, because he had injured several people, did the boss arrange for Zhao to drive the car, and never allow Zhao Yong to strike until the critical moment. Instead, right now, it was Zhao Yong who was shouting for them to leave. Didn't you guys hear what I said? I told you guys to get in the car, if there's anything wrong with the young master, you'll be waiting to collect your corpses. Seeing that the three bodyguards below did not listen, Zhao Yong could only use Wang Dong to threaten. The three bodyguards, who then gritted their teeth, took the young master to the car and closed the door. The action was done in a single breath. Immediately after Zhao Yong kicked the gas, not dragging his feet at all, rushed out. Even if Chen Ze wanted to go after him, it was already too late. Sitting in the car. Seeing that Chen Ze didn't come after him, 
Zhao Yang's hanging heart had also been put down. Brother Zhao, why ah, uh, that kid doesn't look too old, and he even made the young master like this, if we don't catch him back, how are we going to deliver? But Zhao Yang just laughed coldly in his heart. How are we going to fulfill our duty? If you can go back alive, just laugh. However, he didn't say these things out loud, because based on intuition alone, if he said it out loud, people wouldn't necessarily believe it. It could only be said casually. If there's any problem, I'll take it on alone, go back first. The other three bodyguards, seeing that Zhao Yong had said so, could only grunt, to express the dissatisfaction in their hearts. As for Wang Dong, after his heart palpitated, feeling the gusts of pain coming from the top of his head, he thought that he might be going bald in the future. He was so angry that his breathing was a little short, and he spat fiercely at the outside of the window. Sooner or later, I'm going to get that kid killed. After going back, you guys give me a good investigation, things must not pass like this. Although his mouth said so. But recalling the scene just now, he still felt his heart palpitating. He could also see. The other party was clearly laying down a deadly hand. If it wasn't him at that time, he was so scared that he sat on his butt on the ground. I'm afraid that he wouldn't be able to survive now. A few bodyguards beside him, who could see his worries, comforted, young master don't worry, he only has two legs, even if he wanted to chase over, he wouldn't have a chance. Yeah, just now when I saw that kid strike, he does have some skills, but in a real fight, we don't necessarily fear him. Not to mention whether Chen Zhe could catch up with them or not. Even if he caught up, with many against few, would he be able to get the better of them? At that time, it would be impossible to say who the deer would die. By the way, I just heard someone say that Zhou Shushue was sent to the hospital with both of her legs ruined, do you guys know about this matter? The several bodyguards froze, they had also just received the news. Coupled with the fact that Wang Dong had sent them a positioning in advance, it allowed them to arrive in time. Otherwise, there was no telling what might have happened. Around 8 o'clock in the evening, Madam did send us a message, young master, it's better for you to be careful lately. This sentence undoubtedly confirmed it. Zhou Shushue was indeed lying in the hospital, having both her feet wasted, and the Zhou family and their Wang family were also considered to be titled figures in the upper class society of Shanghai City. To be able to quietly, to Zhou Shushue's legs abolished, can be imagined, the person who did this, the ability is definitely not small. But soon his heart dropped, because when they came to the intersection, several black sedans stopped. One after another, a dozen people came down from it. All of them were their family's bodyguards, with their protection. Even if the other party's skill was no longer high, I'm afraid it wouldn't help, so they narrowed their eyes and put Chen Zhe's matter behind them. Having lost track of Wang Dong, Chen Zhe was not in a hurry. This was because he still had the address of Wang's family on hand. This time didn't get the job done. There was still the next time, and the next time, and the next time. The other party had escaped the first day, but not the 15th. Sooner or later, he will die by his hand. More importantly, in addition to Zhou Shushua, Wang Dong, the remaining five people's information, he must also know, and the one who knows this the most. I am afraid that it is only the teacher in his sister's class. Since he could not solve Wang Dong for a while, he planned to go near the school first and squat for a few days to see. As long as he found the teacher who was in class that day, with accurate information about the others, it would not be too late to take revenge slowly. As he put away the scalpel, he walked through a few streets. Soon entering an urban village. This place was a mixed bag of fish and dragons, all of which were predominantly foreign workers. One could even see some shady alleys. There were vaguely a few women dressed up in flamboyant colors, waving to the outside non-stop. On Chen Zhe's body, in addition to that half a million dollar check from last time, there were actually several piles of money. All of them were seized from that dead doctor. There were probably around twenty thousand dollars, enough for his daily expenses. Big brother, do you want to come in? My mom is inside, it's cheap, only $200. A girl wearing a wash to white school uniform looked at Chen Zhe in front of her and opened her mouth to greet him. Chen Zhe glanced at the other party and also needed a place to rest. Coupled with the fact that he was relatively tall, although he was only 15 years old, he was half a head taller than an ordinary youth. It was also because of the unusual physique from childhood that made him look extraordinarily terrifying. 200 is 200, can we spend the night? Overnight? Big brother, 500 for overnight. So expensive? It's not expensive, everyone else has a thousand overnight, our house is considered cheap. Chen Zhe hadn't been out of the mental hospital since he was a child. He didn't know much about the prices outside. He didn't even know that the overnight stay that the little girl in front of him was talking about was by no means as simple as a hotel. Rather, it was hiding some irregular services. But after careful thought, time is also not early. After running to so many places in a row, he was also strangely tired now. So from his inner pocket, he drew out $500 bills, handed it to the little girl in front of him. When the little girl saw the money, her mouth was almost smiling. 
took Chin Zhe to fly up the stairs, just came upstairs. Just saw a woman around 20 years old, looking a bit rushed, but the little girl didn't care about this, and said with a thief's smile, Mom, I brought you the guest you wanted. But the words came out. The woman in her 20s, but opened her mouth and said, Why don't you still, return the money, I feel that it is still a little unacceptable. The money has been collected, if you don't do it, what about tomorrow's rent? Are we going to sleep on the streets? The little girl was used to seeing this in the urban village, and seemed to have little concept of this. Just like Chen Ze, she was influenced by certain aspects and felt as if making money was just a matter of taking a man upstairs and after a while, the money arrived. She had also never seen those messy things and didn't really know what was going on in it. The woman in her twenties sitting on the edge of the bed, crying, glanced at the tall Chen Ze, and inexplicably felt some panic in her heart. Chen Ze, who was equally young, couldn't help but resist frowning. He said to himself that he was just looking for a place to sleep. Why did it seem like it was killing her? So he turned his head to the girl next to him and asked, Where is the place where I live? There are two rooms inside, one is mine and one is my mom's, if you want to be here in the hall, you can also. Chen Zhe did not hesitate and entered a room at random. Immediately after the door was locked, collapsed and fell asleep. Hearing the sound of locking the door, the mother and daughter outside froze, not understanding what the other party meant. Staying in a hotel was only a hundred or so dollars, Chen Zhe spent five hundred dollars and ran to the middle of the city village. Entering the room and falling asleep, for a moment, made them a bit overwhelmed. Mom, why don't we climb up to the windowsill and see what that guy is doing? That's not good, is it? What's wrong with that? Let me. The little girl climbed directly from his mom's room, to the outside of the balcony, which just happened to be able to see the bed where Chen Zhe was sleeping. After realizing that the other party was indeed lying on the bed, covering his eyes with a duckbill hat, it didn't take long for him to start snoring. Only then did the little girl climb back with a sigh on her face. Mom, that guy seems to be really asleep? The woman, who was around 20 years old, froze in place. This is asleep? Going in for more than 3 minutes, the speed of falling asleep is also too fast. And spending $500 to come to this kind of place, as if it was really just to sleep? What a strange person. The woman around 20 years old scratched her head. She also brought her daughter and went back to her room to sleep. But if one thought about it carefully it wasn't right. The girl was at least 7 or 8 years old. The woman, however, was only around 20, so if the girl was really his daughter, wouldn't it mean that she gave birth to a child at the age of 12 or 13? But if one understands this aspect, definitely able to see that a woman in her 20s in no way looks like she has given birth to a child's physique. The next day, the sky had not yet dawned. Chen Zhe woke up. He slept relatively early last night, so he didn't feel the slightest bit tired when he got up. Instead, he was energized, stretching his waist. Opening the door, the mother and daughter duo seemed to be still awake. Chen Zhe then hurriedly went out the door, regarding the address of the school. In fact, during his time with his sister, he had heard quite a bit about it. Shanghai City Second Middle School, which was considered a good school, because Chen Zhe was sent to the mental hospital back then. Parents have always felt guilty. They also used this guilt on his sister's body. At that time, the younger sister's score is not enough, or parents find people to find connections to send in. As a result, this has become the sister's life-saving charm. Now my sister is lying in the hospital, unconscious, but those who committed the murder, get away with it. The school is not strictly guarded, only a security guard sits at the entrance. Chen Zhe wanted to blend in, there were a hundred ways to do so, but he didn't rush in. Instead, he watched from the outside, the crowd coming in and out. His sister hadn't told him much about the people at the school. For example, the fat-headed chemistry teacher, the very strict math teacher, the language teacher who often got her into trouble on weekdays. Chen Zhe more or less know some. After waiting for a long time, a tall woman wearing a black teacher's uniform appeared at the school entrance. The woman was about 30 years old, with a few points of vitriol on her face, as long as it was a passing student, the dress code was not considered rigorous. Immediately splitting her head and face, was a scolding. This situation, if you usually see, only thought that the school requirements are more strict. But from my sister's description, this teacher is their homeroom teacher, that is, language teacher. The teacher is the teacher of their class, that is, the teacher of the language. In the past, when my sister had an accident, she would also run to their home. The sentence most often said to their parents was, Why don't they bully others but your daughter? All things aside, is your daughter not at fault? Although the parents had their own store in their early years, they did business. But after the store was transferred out, the long time to live in the factory had long worn out their fighting spirit. Plus not a sharp tongue type, more or less will be this classroom teacher to bring bias. Now think about it, once my sister suffered those aggressions, in front of the eyes of this sharp looking woman, to bear most of the responsibility, having determined his goal, 
Chen Zhe did not rush to make a move, and now the sky had just dawned. It was the day when students came to class. There were many parents around, so it would be easy to cause a commotion. It would be better to wait until the evening. He was about to turn his head and leave. Just then he saw a few figures around the corner staring at him. These people were obviously highly trained. They were well camouflaged. Yet, they were still discovered by Chen Zhe. To these people, he only frowned. He then took large strides and walked out, testing to see if these people were truly following him. As expected, the moment Chen Zhe got up to leave, these people were moving in the direction he was in. Confirming the other party's target, it was himself. Chen Zhe had nothing to hesitate about. Leading them, came to a remote place, the few people who had followed him over. In an instant, they lost Chen Zhe's figure. One of them, a bearded man who walked in front. Frowning, he picked up the walkie-talkie. The person has disappeared, and I don't know where he ran off to. Immediately followed by an unpleasant voice from over there. What's going on? That guy is just a 15-year-old kid. You guys can't even watch a kid. What's the point of having you? The bodyguard manager who was questioned, wanted to retort, but didn't say much. Because this was indeed his problem. After all, the other party was only in the case of a child. They couldn't even keep up with a child, it was more or less a bit humiliating to say it. Just when he wanted to continue to go forward. However, he felt a silver white luster that flashed past his eyes, and was once considered to be a bodyguard manager who had experienced a lot of life and death. With the perception of danger, a step back. Narrowly avoided the knife, when he saw clearly what slipped past, actually a sharp scalpel, also can not help, forehead emerged a layer of cold sweat. If he had been hit by the scalpel just now, his neck, I'm afraid, would have to be sliced open. Even if the surrounding teammates timely rescue, sent him to the hospital, the chances of being able to save is also very low. The important thing was that the other party's strikes were tricky and vicious, not at all like what a child should do. It was hard to imagine. A 15-year-old teenager's hands would actually be so good. He was also considered one of the best among bodyguards. In his early years, he had a small reputation in the groups of foreign mercenaries, and within the Wang family's many bodyguards, his salary was one of the highest ones. There were a small few million dollars that he could get his hands on every year, precisely because of the much taken. His skills were also more than twice as strong as ordinary bodyguards. He subconsciously wanted to fight back, but before he could do so, there was another silver-white reflection that scared him into jumping backward, but the sharp blade light, followed by another, was so severe that it was overwhelming. Even the few bodyguards beside him, seeing this scene, couldn't help but have their eyebrows jump a little, wanting to step in. But the direction of this kid's knife, dripping with water, while swinging and stabbing at the bodyguard manager, and defended them to death, if they forced their way forward, I'm afraid they would have to fall in a pool of blood in the next second. They tried to try to close the circle from the back. With their old experience, they surrounded Chen Zhe. However, Chen Zhe suddenly made an acceleration. He brushed past the bodyguard manager who was five meters apart. Immediately after that, the bodyguard manager let out a mournful scream. It was seen that the opponent's abdomen, a thin slit had been cut. Blood could not stop gushing out. The bodyguard captain fell to the ground in response. The few bodyguards who followed over, scared to the point of numbness. The salary they took was only about 100,000 per year. It wasn't much more than a bodyguard manager, even with professional ethics. Seeing the bodyguard manager, who could usually put down four or five of them by himself, fall to the ground. They also immediately dispersed. Only Chen Zhe was left dragging the bodyguard manager, turning his head and getting into a black sedan, speeding towards the countryside. This black sedan. It was precisely the one with the driver and the investigator. It had previously been parked on the outskirts of a bar street. It happened to be coming to the school. He then drove the car over. Until Chen Zhe raised his head and left, those bodyguards who had fled, once again returned to the scene. One by one, they looked at each other. Someone took out a walkie-talkie. A man's muffled voice came from over there. Are you guys TMD or not? I spend nearly 10 million dollars a year to raise you people, and you can't even deal with a small child, what use do I have for you? But the prolonged silence over there made the man cursing, unconsciously frowned. A long time to calm down. The bodyguard's voice finally came from over there. Chairman, the person lost the followers, the bodyguard manager was put down by a photo and was also taken away by that person. Hearing these words, the man over there couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. Although he couldn't stop cursing just now, but he was well aware of the bodyguard manager's fighting strength. Back then, the rival company had bribed a group of punks to try to take a shot at him. It was the bodyguard manager who, with the power of one man in his bare hands, beat those dozen or so punks, to the point of crying out. Since then, he gave the bodyguard manager, a few million dollars a year. Later did prove that the bodyguard manager is very good, did not deserve this money. 
Even the newly recruited bodyguards, four or five are not necessarily able to beat the bodyguard manager. Result. Such a person who was extremely favored by him was result by that kid in a single shot. Thinking about last night. That group of bodyguards, coming back to report to him. He was still questioning why he didn't even bring that kid back as well. Now think about it. If it really started, not only their own bodyguards have to stay, even their own son cannot go. Just thinking about it made him feel scared. Shouldn't be ah, that kid has been living in the mental hospital, where to come so good hands? There was no way for the other party not to be suspicious. Their Wang family, as well as the Zhou family, had been business partners for more than 10 years, and had made an unknown number of enemies. These years of reckless expansion had offended many powerful families within Shanghai City. Could it be that it was those people who were behind the scenes? But when he thought of the other five people who hurt that little girl, he felt doubtful again. Could it be that all of these powerful families have been emboldened to such an extent that they even dared not to give face to those five people? How to think cannot be figured out. He also could only harden his head and commanded. No matter what, investigate the situation of that kid, if four people can't do it, then ten, twenty, or even fifty. I have plenty of money, and the Joe family is also looking for his whereabouts, I don't believe that kid, can escape from this dragnet. Originally, they had thought that it was just a small bullying case, and that they would be able to suppress it by casually arranging some people and creating some noise. As a result, Chen Zhe appeared as a variable, making him, as the head of the Wang family, vaguely aware of the uneasiness. It was quite the illusion that a mountain rain was coming, and the wind was filling the building. Those outsiders, they've also been acting foolishly lately, going on any longer is not a solution. It seems that we have to go and find those people, and meet them, do you really think that this is our Wang family and Zhou family, their own business? They have no part in it? The man on the other end of the intercom let out a cold snort, followed by the sound of slamming doors, restoring calm once again. On the other side, Zhao Yong, who was driving a black Buick, parked on the street, also got the news from the other bodyguards. Something happened to Sun Yao Yong? That guy's hands are second only to mine, his strength should not be underestimated, if it's true that he was fucked up in a single shot. That kid, isn't his strength even more terrifying than I imagined? Zhao Yong was exactly the driver who drove the car in a bar street last night, and it was because of his order that the other bodyguards would not hesitate to take away their young master first. And Zhao Yong's personal combat strength was a more perverted type within the entire Wang family's bodyguard group. Although Zhao Yong hadn't fought with Sun Yao Yang, Sun Yao Yang had repeatedly said on explicit occasions that he had absolutely no power to fight back when facing Zhao Yong. More importantly, behind Zhao Yong, it wasn't just as simple as a bodyguard. It is said that behind Zhao Yong is a fallen ancient martial arts family, and now there are only four people left. Now there are only four people left, but each one of them is a famous martial arts instructor in the country, and there is also a person who has been the presidential bodyguard of the Eagle Kingdom. Just later the heart of the country, and ultimately resigned from the position of bodyguard, into the army, specializing in close combat training, and now is also considered to be a prestigious ruthless. As for Zhao Yong, in his early years, he did not study and did not learn all the skills, and was often. He was spurned by several brothers. In the end, he was reduced to working as a bodyguard for some rich families, begging for a few minutes of subsistence. But even in such a situation, Zhao Yong is still far better than other bodyguards, this ancient martial arts heritage, in the end how horrible, can be imagined. Forget it, I'm just responsible for the security of the Wang family, and this thing is really the Wang family did wrong at first, just that there are too many people involved at the back, I'm afraid that the kid, and not really, can really take the revenge. He hadn't seen Chen Zhe do it himself. But for Chen Zhe, he dared to use the power of one person to fight against the Wang family and the Zhou family, and also to avenge his sister's character. It was still very favorable. As for whether Chen Zhe was mentally ill or not, it was not within his consideration. For those of them who practiced martial arts, I'm afraid that most of their personalities were more radical. It was hard to change what they had determined, and because of this, it didn't seem impossible to say that it was a mental illness. That kid is not very old, but his hands are so good, if he has my senior brother in their teaching, I'm afraid that he will be able to go to the next level. If he can escape, the pursuit of the Wang family and Zhou family, and end up surviving, perhaps he can get in touch with my senior brother and the others. Sighing leisurely. For this entire day, Zhao Yong was out of work. After all, the commission he received was money for watching over the family. If the Wang clan really wanted him to hunt down someone else, it would be a different price. Driving the black sedan. Chen Zhe stopped at a roadside stall and purchased quite a few things to eat. Then came to the outskirts, the abandoned factory. Looking at the two people who were still tied up tightly, he threw the food on the ground. He then dragged that bodyguard manager down from the car again, as for the wound on his abdomen. He had just bought stitches, and alcohol as well. He needed to get more useful information from these people, so of course he wouldn't get them killed easily. Furthermore, 
These marginalized little people, even if they were killed, it would still be hard to resolve Chen Zhe's heartfelt hatred. As he tied up the person, he also undid the clothes on the bodyguard manager, and with the needle and thread in his hand, he forcefully sewed up the wound on his abdomen. Alcohol was poured onto the wound without any treatment, and that sharp stinging pain, it made the bodyguard manager let out a wail of pain. Woke up from his coma, gasping for air in large gulps, when he looked up at the person in front of him, but he was met with, a pair of eyes that were cold to the extreme, inside those eyes, as if hiding another beast, vaguely flashing through brutality, madness, viciousness, all kinds of waves, especially when he saw the wound that opened up in his abdomen, that kind of berserkness that was like bloodlust could hardly be suppressed, it couldn't help but make him shiver, finally realizing, why the information given to them by the chairman was labeled, Chen Zhe was a psychopath, this kind of eyes, this kind of madness, an almost pathological look, just shouldn't be something that should be possessed on a normal person. It was no wonder. The chairman would be so flustered, after all, who wouldn't be scared when facing such a psychopathic patient with great skill? Little, little brother, go back, turn back to the shore. The wound was stitched up. The security manager, Sun Yao Yang, couldn't help but, couldn't help but remind a sentence. The two people next to him obviously also recognized Sun Yao Yang's identity. All of them revealed a look of horror. Who doesn't know, inside the Wang family? Who doesn't know that within the Wang family, there are five bodyguards who are very skilled and ruthless? These five people, in normal times, not less, to help the Wang family to do some unseemly hooks. Among them, Sun Yao Yang is even more famous. He is the right arm of the Wang group, and has helped the chairman of the Wang group to escape from death many times. It was such a terrifying character. Yet, he was sliced open by Chen Zhe and brought back to this abandoned factory. Just thinking about it. It made the two feel their scalps tingle, their limbs go limp, and their teeth couldn't stop chattering. Originally, I didn't want to use chains, but after thinking about it, let's do it. Chen Zhe returned to the car, took out a few more chains for tethering dogs, retied the three people, the investigator and the driver, it was nothing. Sun Ya Yang, who was quite proud in his heart, was so angry that he was trembling and felt humiliated. In addition to these things, Chen Zhe also bought several rabbits and put them all in the car. It had been a while since he left the mental hospital. The tranquilizers on his body gradually wore off. It had been a while since the medication was taken. The magnitude of the other voice in his head, appearing, was getting faster and faster. He was afraid that he wouldn't be able to contain the other evil thought and turn into a complete lunatic. Wanting to release this feeling, there had to be a channel for catharsis. Those rabbits were, without a doubt, the best choice out there. He didn't care about the three people present, and moved all the rabbits inside the car down. Looking at these rabbits, he subconsciously gulped. The almost maniacal demeanor in his eyes could no longer be contained. Immediately after, all kinds of chilling actions, means, so that the driver and investigator next to them, can't help it, stomach rolled. Immediately afterward, they dry heaved into the ground. Sun Yao Yang's eyebrows jumped. At first he thought Chen Zhe was using this way to threaten them, but gradually he realized that something was wrong, because from the change in Chen Zhe's eyes, he realized it. This madman wasn't threatening at all. Rather, he was venting his emotions. It was venting the mania, the madness that was pent up in his heart. If these means, as well as the way of venting, fell on their bodies. Sun Yao Sunshine couldn't help but get goosebumps just by thinking about it. Originally also wanted to speak the mouth, instantly gave closed. Realizing that with a mental illness, no matter what you say, the other party will not necessarily be able to listen. Even, it was very likely that they would hitch themselves inside. What a lunatic! Sun Yao Yang murmured in his heart. He became even more jealous of Chen Zhe. Book Group, 92150755, Welcome to enter the group female costumes to the author. Chen Zhe caught Sun Yao Yang, the place where the hospital is located, but ushered in a large group of people. The one walking in front was none other than Zhou Bu Wei, the chairman of the Zhou family. As one of the famous and powerful people in Shanghai City, Zhou Bu Wei's name is definitely not to be underestimated. At least with Zhou Bu Wei's name, he was able to smooth out a lot of things, but it was such a Zhou Bu Wei. Now he was forced into a corner by a 15-year-old kid, and now he could only make a trip to the hospital. You should have heard about the Wang family, when you go in later, speak in a better tone. Never push people too hard, or it will backfire. Zhou Bu Wei walked forward while having an imposing manner. Paired with his black suit, he gave off an extremely dull illusion. Following beside him was none other than his wife. It was also Zhou Xu Xue's mother. Originally. The matter of negotiation, they were wanting to wait a few more days. Wait until the date when the surgery was approaching, and then come over to have a good talk. But just last night, an old friend who was in the hospital called to tell them. Someone to the Chen family's account inside the 500,000 medical expenses, now people do not lack this money. 
Coupled with the news of the Wang family is more let Zhou Bui feel alarmed, vaguely aware of a sense of suffocation with a mountain rain. In addition to that, I heard that Sun Yaoyang has also disappeared. That person is the right-hand man of the Wang family, and the right-hand man of that Wang, who is also surnamed Wang, at hand. I don't know how many things he did for the Wang family on weekdays, his methods speak for themselves, but now even this person has disappeared, but anyone who thinks with their asses knows that something has happened. If something else goes wrong, the consequences will be unimaginable. Followed by his wife, still a little reluctant. Shushu a thing is not just let it go? Your daughter is in her own villa, being wasted, can you swallow this breath? Zhou Buwei, who was walking in front, had his figure lurched. His face was especially ugly. It would be fine if it was usual. With their Zhou and Wang families joining forces, even if Chen Zhe had three heads and six arms, they would have plenty of ways to clean him up. But on the contrary, those outsiders had recently made a big fuss in the city, and if there was one more hidden danger in their hearts at this time, the impact on them, the local forces, was just too great. Only to see Zhou Buwei turning back violently, coldly glancing at his wife, recognize your own identity, when you are with me, I've already made it clear to you. Although you are my wife on the surface, but eat my use my, all these years live villa drive luxury car, cart inside the money one how to use how to use. How do you think this is exchanged? Think about your identity, but in ordinary, even looking for a job are all around the wall of the college students, when it is your turn in front of me to dictate. Zhou Buwei's words made the woman next to him, heart a shock, recalling back to a time, the sword that had been hanging over her head. The reason why she and Zhou Buwei were able to be together, able to enjoy the scenery today, was that she was obedient enough? No matter what Zhou Buwei did outside, she would not interfere. It was because of this reason that more than 20 years of getting along, Zhou Buwei was also still. It's not a bad thing, but it is this gentleness, let her slowly bullying, seems to have forgotten the promise of the year. Once again being brought up by Zhou Buwei, she only felt her heart thump and instantly panicked. I, I don't mean that, I also know that you have other women outside. Xu Xue is not your only daughter, you still have several sons, but, but I only have a daughter like her. Speaking here the woman could not help but feel sad. Mournfully cried. Zhou Buwei remembered the 20 years together. Also could not help but soften his heart, okay, there are things to wait to settle those outsiders before saying, the mountains are high and the water is far away, the future days are still long. Even if there were 10,000 reluctance in her heart, the woman following beside her could only nod her head in humiliation. After all, she still had to rely on Zhou Bu for. She didn't have any business talent and couldn't do anything but spend money all these years. Aside from being pretty, it seemed like she was useless as well. In her early years, she had studied design, but more than 20 years of abandonment had long since made her forget those things she had learned in the past. Plus her parents are getting older. There were many places that needed to spend money. If Zhou Buwei cut off her financial resources, in the future, not to mention her parents, she wouldn't be able to hold her head up in front of her relatives and friends. The thought of losing Zhou Buwei would make her as terrified as a lost dog. The woman could only suppress the indignation in her heart as well. After all, her daughter was not dead today. Even if she had fallen into a coma, even if she had been injected with drugs by Chen Zhe before, resulting in some mental disorganization. But everything, all can be saved in time. It is that if she is discharged from the hospital in the future, more or less will leave some sequelae. But he believes that as long as she is still Zhou Buwei's wife on the surface, Zhou Shushue is still his daughter, in the future will still be able to enjoy the glory and wealth, rest and shine, leaving all thoughts behind. The two of them stepped into the hospital. Together, they came to the seventh floor of the hospital, the intensive care unit. All the bodyguards were guarding the outside. Zhou Buwei and his wife also pushed the door into the ward. Inside were two old men who were only in their forties, but already had gray hair. They remembered that the last time they saw Chen Yuzheng there, the other party's head was only, a few strands of white hair. But nowadays, this slightly thin-looking figure seemed to have aged a dozen or twenty years. It was hunched over and old. Zhou Bue sighed quietly, letting someone move a stool, slowly sitting in front of the two old people. But before he could open his mouth, he saw Chen Yuzheng's eyes widen violently as he angrily rebuked, Get out of here! You are not welcome here. Chen Yuzhing certainly knew why the other party had come. From the moment his son left the mental hospital, he was able to roughly guess what this son would go for. In fact, his mind was torn in a million directions. If you want to find it, according to his understanding of his son, from the clues, he could definitely find or contact his son. However, in the past two days, he had always stayed by his daughter's side, and had not gone looking for Chen Zhe's traces. Seems to be letting go, seems to have a touch of pain in his heart as well especially from the news, learned that Zhou Buwei's daughter, now also lying in the hospital. With his own daughter in this state, that kind of almost twisted madness and pain was able to overflow into words. He knew that this was not right. 
even many times in the middle of the night, washing his face with tears. He also knew, if he was willing, definitely able to bring his son back to the mental hospital. But then what? Thinking about the death of that doctor in the mental hospital, as well as his son's statement that he had seen Joe Buwe in the hospital, it was already clear to him, even if he brought his son back to the mental hospital, what he would be met with would be never-ending targeting. Instead, placing his son outside would perhaps be safer for him. Although Chen Yuzheng was pedantic, he knew that bringing his son back would serve no purpose. It might even harm his son. At the same time, he was hating his own incompetence, and could only let his son, in the midst of the blood and rain outside, little by little wear out the sanity in his heart. Can be said. This period of time he lived more torment than anyone else. Chen Yuzheng's angry voice was loud. Even the bodyguards outside heard it. But when he went in, the chairman had already explained that no one was allowed to enter without his orders. Seeing Chen Yuzheng with such a crazy demeanor, Zhou Buwei seemed to be able to understand, because when he saw his own daughter lying in the hospital, she was in the same crazy state. It was just that he was a businessman, most profit-seeking, and knew how to avoid harm. If there was a way, he would never have come over to compromise. Similarly he also had a way to make the Chen Yuzheng in front of him forgive himself, because the murderer who had victimized their daughter was not someone from their Zhou family. I know that you guys are in pain, when my daughter was lying on the hospital bed, I was equally as hard as you guys. But what is my daughter's situation, I know best, although she would also gang up with others inside the school, she never did anything that would beat someone to the point of hospitalization. Your daughter's medical expenses, I'm willing to bear all of them, in addition to that, I heard that you had a store before, I can help you get it back, and then give you a sum of money as compensation. How about we just write off the matter between the two families? After saying that, he also took out his daughter's video and placed it in front of the two. The mother and father looked at the video and sighed, and their daughter's age is similar to the figure. The body is also full of tubes, the appearance is even worse than their daughter. There were also a few moments of intolerance gradually revealed in their eyes, but soon firm up again. This is all because your daughter is to blame. Zhou Buwei opened his mouth, as if his throat was blocked by something. Originally, he was not going to bring out that video. But when he saw this pair of parents, it seemed that they would not fight for good and forget about it. He could only sigh leisurely as well. Because that video involved a great deal and concerned those five people, so even if he was suffering from a great injustice, he could only bear it with his head. Although his daughter's mouth was hard during this period of time, she also admitted it all, that she did it all by herself. But secretly. In the end who did it? Who taught his daughter to say so? Could Zhou Buwei not be clear? After all, with their current abilities, if they were to take on those five people, one of them, people could easily wipe out their Joe family. It was as simple as crushing an ant. The hatred in your hearts, the pain, I understand, but if my daughter is carrying an injustice, wouldn't it be even harder for me? After much hesitation, Joe Buwei once again raised his cell phone, played another video. This video was not taken by Joe Shushue herself. Rather, it was another boy with a somewhat cold, shrill voice, as if he was born with a voice problem. Coming from inside the cell phone, it was even more feminine, like a girl. But anyone who had heard the voice could tell that it was definitely a boy. If you guys have seen this video, you'll know that my daughter is wrongly accused. The husband and wife were a little suspicious, but they still looked at the video inside the cell phone. Zhou Shushue inside the video was quickly presented in front of them. During the entire process, Zhou Shushue stood by the side, also belonging to a state of confusion. Looking at the... At the scene in front of her, there were more than a few moments of panic in her eyes. Next to him was the back of a boy wearing a white shirt, constantly pushing Zhou Shushue, muttering under his breath. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and do it? That business with your family, don't you want it anymore? You're just a toy to keep us company, do you really think you're any more noble than her? If you don't do it again, take off your clothes when you get back and we'll call a few more people to give you a good taste of power. Zhou Shushue's body trembled at the words, and her eyes couldn't help but redden. Obviously this kind of thing, she hadn't taken the blame for it too often. Even the back of that boy in the white shirt, seeing her delay in making a move. Spitting at the ground, he pushed Zhou Shushue to the side and didn't know what happened. Anyway, Zhou Shushue's voice was a bit choked and enjoyable, gradually becoming motionless. By the time the camera fell on Zhou Shushue again, she had already left in a hurry with her backpack. Just clothes a little messy, she looked back, lying on the ground Shen Xiaomei. Then she left the classroom step by step. Such a scene. It made Chen Yuzhang and his mother feel greatly shocked. In their hearts, Zhou Buwei was already considered a dignified figure in Shanghai City. However, they did not expect it. Even a person like Zhou Buwei, the daughter he gave birth to, had to be humiliated in such a dignified manner, taking the blame for someone. On the contrary, Zhou Buwei still didn't dare to say anything and never made a sound. From this video, as well as among the confessions of yesteryear, it can be seen. 
Although Zhou Shushue was the one who asked his daughter inside the classroom, and had also once punched and kicked his daughter, but those were not fatal injuries. Behind the video, Zhou Shushue left, is the real violence began. Zhou Shushue inside the video, was certainly hateful, but the ones who really deserved to die, were the remaining ones. Just as the two finished watching the content of the video, Zhou Bue's hand quickly scratched again to the video of his own daughter lying in a hospital bed, plugged with tubes. Utilizing this contrast, as well as the grief in his voice, he said, By now, you should be clear that the person who truly harmed your Chin Xiaomei was not my daughter at all. That's right, my daughter was indeed the helper, and it was also her who made Chen Xiaomei go to the classroom. It was likewise her who had a conflict with Chen Xiaomei and ended up in this conflict. But my daughter has also been duly taught a lesson, as for these people who committed violence, I can't say who they are. Because once I say it, not only our Zhou family, including your son, and your daughter, will have to be involved in this storm. The person who can let our Zhou family perish with a single word, and let all the young and old up and down die, how much energy they have, can be imagined. Persuade your sons to stop before it's too late, don't wait until disaster really strikes before you realize your regrets. Now you guys stop, not only can you get a large sum of money for medical expenses, you can also dish out the previous store, I'll give you another large amount of check, so live on well, is it not good? Hearing this, the two old men also froze in place, unable to speak for a long time. In the end, a ghostly sighed, something seemed to have shaken in his heart. Zhou Buwei also did not speak again, instead he wrote a check for 3 million, placed it on the table next to them, gently knocked it, and turned to leave, waiting for Zhou Buwei to leave. The two parents clanked at the check, looking at each other without words. But when they walked outside, the woman who had been following beside them, her breathing suddenly became rapid. Surging forward, she grabbed Zhou Buwei. What was on the video just now, is it all true? Earlier when she was inside the room, she saw that video and was shocked beyond words. It was only when she came outside that she came back to her senses. But seeing his wife's expression, Zhou Buwei, however, just skimmed his mouth. What's going on inside your head? The one inside the video just now, the girl who was caught inside the corner and was being played with recklessly, had a large birthmark on her foot. Does your daughter have a birthmark on her foot? No, no, you mean. The video was purposely synthesized by someone I found, with a lot of things edited in it, and although our daughter took the blame, she is not yet reduced to this. After all, those five people, no matter how strong they are, they still have to count on our Joe family and give them things to do, therefore, they definitely won't lay their hands on our Joe family. Thinking about the girl who was humiliated inside the video, there was indeed a birthmark on her foot, the wife who was following behind, finally let out a long breath. Her own husband's words had finally brought her to her senses. Turning again, she continued to ask, then did our daughter participate in, or not, the atrocity of brutalizing Chen Xiaomei? Zhou Buwei opened his mouth, then shook his head, when our daughter left at the back, wasn't Chen Xiaomei in the video fine? Although the content in there is edited, it's all the real situation inside the video. The words I said were also true, otherwise those two old things, they wouldn't have believed it so easily. Our daughter's tragic encounter was a lie, but the conflict with Chen Xiaomei is real. It was our daughter who tricked Chen Xiaomei into the classroom, and in the end, even though she left, she was one of the culprits who caused Chen Xiaomei's current situation. So for the time being, you shouldn't think about those retaliation things, falling into today's situation, is also her deserving, again because of your indulgence, said Zhou Bue, cold snort, got into a black sedan, as for the wife in the back, not yet on the car, it has already gone away. His paragraph, the same is to warn his wife, never go and do something stupid. Their Zhou family situation today is no better than it was back then. Just like a small boat swaying in the storm, at any time will be drowned by the monstrous waves. Please ask for recommendation votes, monthly votes, rewards, new book for data, please big brother. The entrance of the second middle school. The sky gradually darkened. One after another around them, many students left the school gates. Some were staying at the school, some were picked up by their parents. Some were going home on their own. Chen Zhe sat in front of a kiosk, his hands resting on his legs, his fingertips crossed. The duckbill hat almost blocked his eyes, but he was vaguely able to see the situation outside. Ever since the abandoned factory on the outskirts, after taking a few rabbits to vent, he was now a lot more emotionally stable. The top priority is to get more important information from that teacher's body. Getting more important information. Although he also interrogated Sun Yao Yang. The other party didn't hesitate for half a second and said everything he wanted to know but it was still too little, pitifully little. There were only two pieces of information that had been obtained about the other bullies to his sister to the abuser. 1. Among the abusers were Wang Dong and Zhou Shushue, who even if they were not the ultimate culprits that led to their sister's current misery, they could not be dissociated from each other. The second. The second is that there are a total of seven abusers. 
In addition to Wang Dong and Zhou Shushua, the status of the remaining five people seems to be much higher than he imagined. What was more important was that these five people were not students of the second middle school. The day they entered second middle school, all video records had been erased. Even some of the personnel who had seen these five people had either traveled far away or their whereabouts were unknown. Trying to find these people back was undoubtedly like looking for a needle in a haystack. If one wanted to know the situation of these people, one could only integrate all the valuable clues, not letting go of even the slightest possibility. He waited until it was completely dark. There was no way for that female teacher to appear. Chen Ze frowned, thinking to himself, could it be that she left in the middle of the day? Chen Ze had really guessed right. The female teacher had taken a leave of absence at noon because of something. She didn't come to school at all in the afternoon. Looking at it, it was almost 8 o'clock. If you continue to wait, there will not be any result. So he frowned and came to the intersection and drove the black Buick away. At the same time, at the exit of the hospital, Chen Zhe's mother, Li Yuefen, was holding a lunchbox in her hand, as well as a change of clothes. Got on an old black lady's motorcycle. It looked like she should be going home, eating something, and preparing the next change of clothes. But at the same time that Li Yuefen left, at the entrance of the hospital, more than 10 men with tattoos engraved on their arms were also staring at the exit of the hospital parking lot. When they saw Li Yuefen come out, they took out a photo from their pockets and compared it slightly. The inch-headed man in front, immediately narrowed his eyes and gave a wink to the others. He soon followed them. On the way back, Li Yuefen also ran into quite a few acquaintances, and because everyone was on good terms, they could be said to be talking and laughing. At the same time, at the street corner, she also ran into her daughter's classmate. Called Zhao Minor, looks white and clean, not very high. However, she gave off a sense of beauty of being petite and shy. After seeing Li Yuefen, she hesitated for a long time. Finally, from inside her school bag, she rummaged out a small jar of thousand paper cranes. Auntie, how is Xiao Mei? Seeing this familiar girl, Li Yuefen couldn't help her eyes reddening, remembering the scene before when Zhao Minor often ran inside the house to play. Occasionally, she would also follow Chen Xiao Mei and go to the mental hospital together to visit Chen Zhe. Although Chen Zhe might not have a deep impression of this young girl, but if he saw it, it would also be recognized. Why did you come here? Isn't your home in the south of the city? Auntie, I purposely came here by car, I didn't dare to go to the hospital, I was afraid to see Xiao Mei in that state, so. She hesitated and continued. My mom said that a thousand paper cranes, representing happiness and goodness, can pray for blessings, so I folded a lot of them in the hope that Xiao Mei can get well soon, can you help me bring them to Xiao Mei? Zhao Miner's face was full of truth, regretting that when she went back that day, she didn't wait for Chen Xiao Mei. She had a car inside her home, if she had waited for Chen Xiaomei that day and went back together, the other party would not have been injured. Everything could still be undone, and whenever she thought of that incident, she felt incomparably remorseful and pained. Hearing her words, Li Yuefen's eyes became even redder, and she received the thousand paper cranes in a transparent jar. Relievedly, she said. Good child, Xiaomei has a friend like you, I am happy for her. By the way auntie, I also brought a bracelet for praying, can I personally put it under Xiaomei's pillow? Of course you can, auntie's house is right in front, let's go back together. Said, Li Yuefen also rolled down from the motorcycle. It was only less than a hundred meters anyway. She was happy to accompany this little girl and walk this stretch of road together. But just as they entered the mouth of the alley together, but there was a commotion behind them. Immediately after that, seven or eight men with tattoos covering their arms and above blocked the alleyway entrance behind them. At the same time, at the exit in front, the same seven or eight men with bad looks appeared. Some held water pipes inside their hands, some held an iron handle with the front end wrapped in newspaper. Seeing such a scene, regardless of whether it was the mother, Li Yuefen, or the young girl next to her, Zhao Minner, all of them were scared white. A single carelessness. The heavy motorcycle fell to the ground. The lunchboxes, spoons, and chopsticks hanging on top of the motorcycle, including numerous clothes, scattered on the ground. Li Yuefen seemed to realize something and hurriedly called out. No, don't come over, this little girl is innocent. She is not a member of our family, will you let her go back? But the dozen or so men who came over from the exit and entrance. But there was no half-hearted change of expression. The inch-headed man wearing a cloak, plus a pair of black pants, pushed away the surrounding men. Coldly glancing at Li Yuefen and Zhao Minor, he politely and respectfully bowed. I'm sorry big sister, take someone's money and do something for them. If you were the only one here just now, then there would definitely be no problem. But now that she's seen it too, we have no other choice. Even the others who had gathered around, all nodded to Li Yuefen, without any semblance of a street gangster. Speaking in an organized manner, yet everyone had weapons in their hands again. They were polite. The look was equally icy cold. It was because of this politeness and coldness that made Li Yuefen's heart thump, 
knowing that this was no ordinary street hooligan. I received $10 million from someone to buy the lives of your entire family. The other party's power is very strong. It's not something we can resist. I know that your son is still unaccounted for. I've seen his video. His hands are very good and his methods are extremely cruel. If another day your son really finds me, I am also willing to pay for your lives. The world is like this. There are times when everyone is forced to be helpless. The man carried the knife. The distance between each other was getting closer and closer. 100 steps, 80 steps, 60 steps, more than 40. Was able to feel a sense of oppression that came to the face. Making Li Yuefen, Zhao Miner, who had fallen to the ground, couldn't help but have her voice tremble. What is there to get over? You are all innocent, so why do you need to get involved in this kind of thing? Facing Li Yuefen's questioning, the man wearing a cloak, with arms covered in tattoos and an inch head, the body paused for a moment. My wife owes a gambling debt, a pair of children, their whereabouts are still unknown, they asked me to fill this 7 million gambling debt. If I get this done, not only will I be able to pay off the money and bring back my own son and daughter's wives, I will also be able to take a large sum of money and go far away. They gave me a good passport, a few million dollars, in some backward point of the country, enough for me to live a lifetime without worrying about food and clothing. My ticket of brothers, equally assured. They all have their own helplessness. The inch-headed man looked up at the dark night sky. The voice said in a dull voice, I don't want to kill you, nor do I want to kill your man, nor do I want to kill that girl lying in the hospital. But there is a big invisible hand behind me, pushing me here step by step. Still, if one day, your son comes looking for you, not just me, including my group of brothers, as long as he can fight, we are willing to pay for our lives. After saying that the distance between the two men had reached a stone's throw, the knife in the man's hand, slowly raised. The guilt in his eyes, lingered. He turned his head away and took a deep breath. The eyes were unconsciously a little more complicated. If there was a choice, why would he have to go down this road? Just when his blade was about to fall, along with that silver moon being covered by dark clouds, not far away, but a sound of breaking air came. Immediately after, a fist-sized stone smashed onto his head with a swift and powerful force. Only a booming sound was heard. The inch-haired man's body swayed, and a strong sense of dizziness swept over him. The eyes seemed to be blinded by blood. Even his sight as he looked out turned red. The other men around him also turned their heads to look at this moment and saw, under the moonlight, there was a tall-looking figure with a duck tongue cap, wearing a white shirt and blue jeans, appearing not far away. In his hand was a scalpel with a silver sheen. When his head was slightly raised, the flash of brutality revealed in his eyes. It made everyone present unable to stop their eyelids from jumping. It wasn't like a person's gaze at all. It was more like a fierce beast. It had been locked up in a cage for years. It had already gone mad with hunger. A trapped beast that no longer had any other emotions other than fighting and killing. Even the inch-haired man who was smashed in the head couldn't help but tremble a little with his hand holding the knife. After stabilizing himself, his gaze became icy cold again. Just as he did just now, he pushed through the crowd. Holding the long knife in his hand, he stepped across the crowd. The many men around him wanted to help, but they were stopped by the man. There's no need, remember the pictures you guys have seen? He is that woman's son. I said that if he finds his way over here and really gets right, my life can be given to him. Since he came here, I don't want to take advantage of people's danger, little brother, dare to fight with bare hands? The inch-haired man threw his long knife to the ground, twisting his neck. Chen Zhe also pinned the scalpel to his waist. With his feet padded back, like a swift cheetah, he darted over. The inch-haired man didn't hesitate and backhandedly ripped off the cloak on his body, revealing a body full of tendon flesh. It was like an Australian kangaroo, giving a very powerful impact. Li Yuefen, who was surrounded by the crowd inside, noticed the sense of oppression emanating from the fisted man. Even the numerous henchmen around her exhaled at this moment. All of them did not think. Chen Zhe was their boss's opponent. Zhao Miner, who was leaning against the wall, also recognized that it was her classmate's brother. She couldn't help but let her eyes redden. Auntie, hasn't he been locked up inside a mental hospital? Can it really, really be beaten? Li Yuefen clenched her teeth as a strong worry rose in her heart, along with their conversation. Two people brushed shoulders in the distance. Both sides exchanged moves. It was as if many punches were thrown in that one second of time. Yet it was also this momentary brush. It made the inch-haired man's hands couldn't help but tremble a little. A few moments of exuberance were revealed in his expression. This power. This kind of speed. As well as the fighting skills. Did it really come from inside a mental institution? In his impression. In a mental hospital, one would either be injected with all kinds of tranquilizing drugs, or lying in bed. Although there are opportunities to go out on weekdays, but with the prisoners inside the cage, there is actually not much difference. The supervision was even stricter. Where did such a person learn this skill? Again, 
The inch-haired man turned around and his fist was like wind and thunder, carrying an ear-piercing roar. Chen Zhe's head tilted to the left, lightly dodging the punch, lifting his own leg and using his knee to ruthlessly press against the man's abdomen. The man ate the pain, his footsteps staggered a little, Chen Zhe bulldozed up, the other party's speed, the reaction was very fast, raised his arms and started waving. Immediately down a flip, continuously rolled out more than two meters, fixed the body shape, and once again rushed over. Two people in this narrow alley, you and me, fists hit out of the speed, in the night under the addition of the color of the night, almost has been invisible. But it was undeniable. Whether the two were fighting in close quarters, or the force of their punches against each other, they were beyond everyone's expectations. Even the man's henchman in the distance hadn't expected their boss, in front of that teenager, to be somewhat vaguely unable to fight. One of the henchmen, glancing at Li Yuefen, Zhao Miner on the ground, just wanted to raise his own steel pipe as a way to threaten Chen Zhe. Right in the middle of the fight, he heard the inch-headed man roar, Stop, I, Sun Long, even if I'm just a dragon crossing the river, want this money, I will take it by frontal means. If I die, it's because I'm not as skillful as I should be, if you guys use this kind of tactic, it's simply an insult to old me. After saying that, he punched out again, this time with great force, hitting Chen Zhe's shoulder. Chen Zhe's arm was numb and in pain from the punch, and even began to hang down weakly, but he did not feel the slightest bit of fear or dread because of the injury. Instead, because of the pain, he became even more excited, even more frantic, and the speed of his punches became faster and faster. Sun Long, who was in front of him, clenched his teeth. In the midst of the exchange of punches, both of them were battered and bruised, until Sun Long was punched in the head. Clanging and clanging, he took several steps back. It was only at this moment that the battle between the two sides was considered to have come to a standstill. Sun Long panted heavily, the close-range fight just now had exhausted the strength in his body. After all, he was a bit old, and his strength was not enough, if it was 10 years ago, he would not necessarily be afraid of this teenager in front of him. But similarly, if this teenager was 10 years older, perhaps the peak of him would still be defeated in the other party's hands. Boss, no matter what, we are all in this together, even if he beats you, but it doesn't mean, he can take the people away from here. After saying that the remaining dozen or so people, rushed over in a swarm. Unlike their own bosses, they each held a weapon in their hands. Chen Zhe also fished out the silver-white scalpel from his waist. His waist was slightly bent, as if he was a tiger poised in the dark. The moment the crowd came in front of him, the scalpel went out as well. The ethereal silver-white lines were as if they were fluttering butterflies. Under the many sieges, it was also like a woman dancing on the tip of a knife. One couldn't help but reveal a few moments of infatuation and look deeply over. Every time he raised his hand and dropped his sword, it would always be accompanied by a bloody red color. It was imprinted in every person's heart. His movements did not stop for half a second. Traveling clouds and flowing water. Sometimes when faced with a pipe that smashed over, or a long knife, as long as it wasn't a fatal injury, he would always use his judgment to catch it hard. But it was this method. Under the siege of a dozen people. Surprisingly, he killed them with ease. When he came to the opposite side of those dozen people. Came to Sun Long's face, the scalpel, with blood still dripping from it. But there were already people who couldn't stand the pain. Covering their bodies, they began to fall to the ground and convulse. That scalpel was even gently raised. It was pressed against Sun Long's neck, and it seemed that as long as he exerted a slight force, Sun Long would have to die. He also did not hesitate, just like his cold heart, just like the Han Yu red that bloomed just now. As if a demon unsealed, those eyes were filled with blood, madness, and sickly distortion. Just as that scalpel was about to slit the other's throat, but a voice rose at first in the alley. Son, don't. After saying that the man had rushed over, blocking his son and grabbing his hand. A brief reminder, bringing him back from the killing. When he came to his senses again, his mother's voice had rung in his ears. Son, I know, you have no control over yourself. This son Long isn't a bad person, he only came over because his own wife and children are in the hands of others. Have you ever thought that you alone, your power is ultimately limited? During this period of time mother has also understood. The Wang family and the Zhou family, although they are equally damned, but those five people behind them, they are even more damned. If you want to kill them all handily, there has to be someone to help you, your mother is getting old, if she really is gone one day, I hope you can think more about yourself. Chen Zhe's body swayed, he didn't seem to understand his mother's words too well. Perhaps in his perception. Only when the dangers were all taken care of. Only then would they be safe. It seemed that the only way to do so was to be even more insane. Can only make the enemy feel intimidated, afraid, chilled. Just like in the mental hospital. Those nurses and doctors, used all kinds of means on him. He would return them all several times or even a dozen times, resulting in the end. No one dared to mess with him anymore. So when he looked up, although the fierce light on his face had disappeared without a trace, 
But still with a few moments of bewilderment, frowning, looked at, by the silver-white scalpel, the top of Sun Long. Another glance, not far away from the dozen or so people fell in a pool of blood. In his heart, he did not take his mother's words to heart. In fact, what he wanted to do more was to kill all these people. Then he would go and find the mastermind behind the scenes, who created this matter. But he couldn't go against his mother's words. Because before entering the mental hospital, or inside the mental hospital, his mother had given him great comfort, care. If anything, there was still a rope in his heart that could bind him, I'm afraid it was only his parents and sister. It was also because of their existence that Chun Zhe did not completely fall into madness. His mother didn't wait for him to open his mouth either, but reached out her hand and gently pressed his knife down. Speaking to Sun Long next to him, she said, Have you ever thought that this is a setup that someone else has laid for you? Your wife and children, for no reason, owed so many gambling debts, and for no reason at all, someone came to you and did all these things right afterward. Sun Long had actually already held the determination of certain death. But when he heard Li Yuefen's words, he couldn't help but be stunned. He hadn't thought about it carefully before. But now, after calming down, he also felt that what the other party said had a few points of truth. His wife was not a lousy gambler. Although his wife's best friend liked to play mahjong, also often take his wife in and out of some casinos, but his wife at most play a few thousand tens of thousands. This amount of money is nothing to him. Suddenly losing seven or eight million dollars, but any individual would feel that it was wrong. But even so, my wife and children are all in the hands of the other party, I still have no ability to resist. Sun Long clenched his fists and ruthlessly smashed them on the wall next to him, only hating himself for not having the ability to do so. Li Yuefen continued, with your skill, as long as you are willing to investigate and follow the trail, you can always find information about your wife and your children. Furthermore, even if you did accomplish the task they ordered, you dare to ensure that they will definitely let you leave alive, instead of settling you again in the outer sea? After all, this kind of thing, once it leaks out, the consequences are unimaginable. After your wife and children go back, if they really have any problems and tell you, with your character, I'm afraid you won't let the other party off the hook either. Then you living is a trouble, an uncertainty, why don't they kill you? Throw you into the outer sea to feed the fish, and spend a large sum of money to make you leave? Li Yuefen spoke with reason. Even Sun Long in front of him froze. According to his character, if his wife and children told him what had happened, that he was really being set up, I'm afraid that he would really bring people to kill back. But according to the current situation, if there is no set up, his wife will never lose seven or eight million dollars, because his wife is not that kind of person, more likely to bring his pair of children to the casino. From here it is clear that there is definitely something going on in there. The fact that the two are involved with each other proves that there is no way he could have made it alive to the foreign country he is talking about. Perhaps the other side. It hadn't occurred to him in the first place, to give him the money, or to release his wife and children. The moment he thought of this almost impossible to veto possibility, Sun Long couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. His voice became a little shaky. Then what should we do now? It was as if he was also starting to mess up. In the end, it was Li Yuefen who said, you should have seen my son's skill. Sun Long nodded, very strong, at least stronger than me. If the two of you join forces, do you think it's possible to get your wife and children back after finding clues to them? Sun Long scratched his head. Incredulously, he looked at Chun Zhe next to him. This guy just didn't seem like a normal person. Could he possibly help himself? If Li Yuefen hadn't stopped him, he had no doubt that this guy would have killed them all. Even Chen Zhe couldn't help but frown. The scalpel he was holding was slightly cocked upwards, because he felt it was too troublesome. Killing these people directly, it was only the best result. Li Yuefen, however, smiled and shook her head. He listens to me, right? Son, the mother looked at him. Chen Zhe fell into silence, and in the entire alley, for a moment, a pin dropped. There was no denial, it was an agreement. He would indeed listen to his mother. If his mother had to make him do so, then he wouldn't have killed the son long in front of him, but whether or not he would help him save his wife and children, it was impossible to say. Leaving his own mother's line of sight, when the time came to help or not, it wasn't just a thought. Son, I know you must not be happy in your heart. You saw the situation today, mom and dad don't have your skills, and your sister is still lying in the hospital. If something like this happens a few more times, do you dare to guarantee that the next time something won't happen to mom and dad and your sister? Can you guarantee that you'll be able to come on time and save us every time? Chen Zhe was silent. It was true that he could not. There was also a lack of separation. But if you have a group of like-minded friends, will they stand by and do nothing? Li Yuefen did not force her son to agree directly. Instead, she detached him little by little. She knew this son's paranoia, and also knew that many times he couldn't control his temper. Even a single carelessness it would affect the others. Only by allowing this son to accept these people from the bottom of his heart 
was it possible to change the ending? Even if one day she and her own old partner passed away because of certain people, his son would be able to rely on this group of like-minded friends to protect his sister and even himself. Chen Zhe still didn't say anything, but his mother had already sensed the change from among his eyes. He has agreed, don't worry, as long as you can investigate the situation of your wife and children, I believe he will help. The corners of Sun Long's mouth twitched, still somewhat unbelievable. After all, being able to convince a psychopath was an extremely bizarre thing in itself. But he now, there didn't seem to be a second choice. Auntie don't worry, it just so happens that my group of men are injured, so let them, go to the hospital where you are to heal their wounds, with them, even if they can't block the other side, they can still delay it for a moment or two. They can also send us a message to notify us at the first time. Definitely able to protect your safety. With these words, Li Yuefen was also relieved. In fact, what she cared more about was her own son, to whom they owed too much. Even if they died, they didn't want anything to happen to this son. If there were more friends like Sun Long, even if Chen Zhe's character was no matter how paranoid he was, there would always be some protection. I'm relieved with your words. The two definitely still needed to bond. Without saying more words, Li Yuefen instead pulled up. Zhao Minner who was still sitting on the ground. Zhao Minner looked deeply at Chen Zhe. Politely, she said, thank you, Xiao Mei's brother, thank you for saving me. Afterwards, led by Li Yuefen and the others, they returned to the room together, and then bandaged those who were injured. Seeing that it was almost time, the crowd sat in the middle of the hall looking at each other. Among them, Chen Zhe pulled his duckbill hat, blocking his eyes. It seemed that he was also unwilling to communicate with these people. It was Sun Long who took the lead to break the awkward atmosphere chatting with the crowd. Until the UFN was ready, Sun Long arranged for his men to follow him to the hospital. Reporting the situation to them at any time, only then did he put his heart down. Hospital entrance. Sun Long twisted his head and glanced at Chen Zhe, you're not going out to take a look at your sister? Chen Zhe did not say anything, turning into a black Buick on the street. Sun Long was quick on his feet and opened the passenger door and sat in it as well. Chen. Zhe tightened his hand, suppressed the idea of killing Sun Long and rushed out with a kick of the gas. At the same time, however, a group of people came and squared off in a fierce battle to the alley, examining the traces of the battle around them. The leader was a middle-aged man who looked around 40 years old, with a calm gaze. With a few sharp points, he waited until the inspection of the surrounding situation was over. A few of his men also came over to report. Master Lu, after checking, and after being reported by the scouts we have been monitoring, it should be that brat who came out of the mental hospital that won the fight. Hearing the words of the bystanders, the middle-aged man who was called Master Lu and was around 40 years old couldn't help but narrow his eyes. The group of people who struck out should be Sun Long, right? The person standing next to him nodded. It was indeed Sun Long, he should have been used as a gun as well. This idiot, he doesn't even know who has captured his own wife and children, he believes whatever others say, he is simply disgracing US outsiders. But that kid does have a few skills, he was actually able to single-handedly defeat Sun Long, if I remember correctly, the photos sent by our men just now, it was Sun Long who got into the same car as that kid. The others were also somewhat emotional. But they didn't dare to say much. Only the man known as Master Lu squinted his eyes and straightened up, looking into the distance. Only to see a woman in a red evening gown walking over with a smile on her face. The woman was very beautiful, probably around 24 or 25 years old with a small face that had been whitewashed, so exquisite that it was a little breathtaking. Paired with the body that could be described as perfect, it would not be an exaggeration to say that it was a special object, but any man who saw it was afraid that he would not be able to contain the evil thoughts in his heart. Miss Su, why do I have to trouble you to come over personally? The woman surnamed Su, however, just walked in afterward, and stretched out a luxuriant jade finger to touch the wall that had been smashed with her fist next to her. It seems like the fight just now was pretty intense. Indeed, after all, it was Sun Long himself who struck out. Aren't you guys going to help out, Sun Long, and that kid? Recently, the entire Shanghai city, stormy weather, seems to be related to that kid. Master Lu nodded, indeed related, after our investigation, that kid has been living in a mental hospital before, I don't know where he learned this skill, I guess there might be a master behind him. His sister, should be someone, thrown down from upstairs, exactly who did it, we can't find out any traces, but definitely related to the Wang family, Zhou family. The woman in the red evening gown, however, just smiled and shook her head. You should know that's not what I'm asking, that kid might be a breakthrough. Master Lu waved his hand, whether it's a breakthrough or not is still hard to say, right now our main force can't be exposed too early, behind Shanghai City, there is still the Tang family's group, it's not a good deal. Then your idea, is to treat it as if you didn't see it? Not exactly. Master Lu cupped his chin, Sun Long is in the north, although he is just a local snake, but his boxing skills are very good, and he is called one of the four tigers of Beichuan. 
This name alone is already not to be taken lightly. But if you want us to step in and help, you still need them to make a little more achievement. Furthermore, if even the Wang family, the Zhou family, they are exhausted, there is no need to help. After Master Lu finished, he took out another black and gold card. Recently, a shopping mall was opened in Shanghai City. If Miss Su is free, she can go over to take a stroll, take this card, and all the consumption will be paid by me. Then thank you Master Lu, I'll take the card, but I'll pay as usual. Miss Su is too polite. It's not family, it's better to be clearer. Master Lu Shan smiled, but didn't say much. Instead, he led his people away. As for Miss Su, she stared at the several fist marks left on the wall, not saying anything for a long time. I just don't know how much of a storm these two can create in Shanghai City, it would be the best if they can force that group of people out. It's a pity that there are ultimately too many outsiders, a scattered sand, it's difficult to coalesce, otherwise, that group of people in Shanghai City wouldn't be able to be arrogant for long. She shook her head, her delicate and colorful little waist, gently twisted, and with her own men, disappeared into the night. The silver-white moonlight. It was as if a thin veil was spread over the brightly lit city. It was also like a masked maiden, between the hidden and the hidden, with a few points that made people want to look deeper into the meaning of the situation. To the factory on the outskirts of the countryside, the path covered with moonlight, the black car slowly stopped at the entrance of the dilapidated factory. Inside walked down two people. One wore a duckbill hat, a white shirt, and blue jeans. One wore a black cape and was very tall, around 34 or 35 years of age, with a steady pace and a distant air. Together, they stepped into the factory in front of them. The three people locked inside were chained, tied to a pillar, if it was the case before with the rope, they still have a chance to escape. But now well. Chances are slim. Originally still dozing Sun Yayang, heard footsteps coming from outside, pupils slightly contracted, before Chen Zhe took Rabbit to vent to the scene, now still feel vivid. Thinking of that almost sickly kid, came back again, he could not help but feel a shock of sullenness in his heart. Even the other two, after sensing the commotion outside, quickly dropped their gazes to the entrance of the factory. However, they found that the person who came over this time, besides Chen Zhe, there was also a 35 or 36 year old man, his body's tendon flesh was clearly visible, and with every step he took, he gave people the feeling of being heavy and powerful. At a glance, he was a practicing man, and Sun Ya Yang, who had read countless people, was not low in strength himself. Otherwise, he could not become the right-hand man of the Wang family, when he saw the man in his thirties who walked in, subconsciously, his eyebrows trembled for a moment. Then his throat rolled. Swallowed his saliva. Another expert who was not inferior to Chen Zhe. And a few hideous knife scars could be seen extending from his left arm to his chest even if they were covered by the tattoos. Yet it was still discovered by him at a glance, in addition to being an expert, he had also experienced quite a lot of trials and tribulations of life and death, such a person, even if it was not as good as Chen Zhe, it made people feel the pressure of a mountain. That kid, where did he find another person from? It shouldn't be ah. This guy is a mental illness, locked up in the hospital for four years, how do I feel things are getting trickier and trickier? A small thing. To make it to the present day is something they can't imagine. After all, no matter what, Chen Xiaomei was just a child from a poor family. With the means of their Wang and Zhou families, it was simply not too easy to pin down. According to the previous situation, they would have already gotten rid of it many times over. However, this time, what they thought was a sure thing had become a big deal. It seemed that there were other forces joining in. Chairman Wang, I'm afraid I'm going to miscalculate. A sentence was murmured in his heart. Sun Yaoyan closed his eyes and stopped looking at the two men who approached. However, the Sun Long next to him clearly did not intend to let him go, after coming in, he realized that Sun Yao Yang was not simple. At the very least, he was a capable person who knew something. He glanced at Chen Zhe next to him and said with some itchy hands, give me the key, I wanna fight him. Didn't you fight enough earlier in the alley? Sun Long was a bit dumbfounded for a while, but still hummed, you are not the same as him, although there are techniques to fight with you, the chapters are too brute, and there is no path. And there is no path. It's just like a street gangster fight, I really don't know why I lost to you. For him. Fighting against Chen Zhe, that feeling was too stifling. First of all, the strength was no match for the other person. Secondly, the moves used by the other party did not have half the path to speak of, making you unable to feel or see through them. The more you fight, the more you feel your hands are tied. On the contrary, the other party fought harder and harder, striking faster and faster. Movements are still chaotic, cannot see half of the doorway, but able to beat you to the heart. As for Sun Ya Yang in front of him, it became his punching bag, after all, just now in the alley suffered that stifling, do not vent it out, always feel a little difficult. Good thing. Although Chen Zhe retorted, he still threw the key to Sun Long, even if in his heart of hearts, he did not think that Sun Long could help much. But for his mother's words, he still took it more to heart. Having gotten the key. Without half a hesitation, Sun Long opened the lock behind Sun Ya Yang and pulled the person out immediately afterward. 
tied up is still tied up, how about it? Fight, win and let you have a good time next, what do you want to eat? I'll buy it for you. Sun Ya Yan was no coward, otherwise he wouldn't be the right hand man of the Wang family. Only to see him spit on the ground, twisted his neck, and rushed over without hesitation. The speed of the two men's strikes were equally fast, but compared to Chen Zhe, they were still too slow. Therefore, Chen Zhe only looked at them for a few moments before not landing his eyes on them again, instead, he walked over to the investigator and the driver, pulling out their cell phones from their pockets. In your cell phones, you should have the Zhou family's internal group chat, open it for me, I want to see what has been said within your Zhou family in the past few days. How would the two dare to resist? Unlock the fingerprint lock of the phone, and flip to find the Zhou family's group chat, there were two groups inside, which had already been kicked out. Obviously people also realized that the investigator and the driver were probably caught and did a double take. But he still found clues from some chats. Someone from the Zhou family went to the hospital to find my parents, could it be them? He had some suspicions that it was the Zhou family, who had been behind the attack, causing his mother to be ambushed in the alley. If it was really the Zhou family, then they would have to make a trip to the hospital where Zhou Shushue was, and let them know what the consequences would be. Of course, the Wang family was likewise within his suspicions, after all, the other party was also highly suspected. Just as he cupped his chin, after thinking for a few minutes, only a bang was heard. Sun Ya Yang was knocked to the ground, the left side of his face was swollen high, and sucked in a mouthful of cool air. Half a day, he could not climb up. In his heart, he felt incomparably shocked, the man in front of him, who was in his early thirties and wearing a cloak, was much more terrifying than he had imagined. Really hand to hand, the entire Wang family's bodyguard team inside, it is estimated that only Zhao Yong can break hands with it. The rest could be said to be whoever came and died. At the same time, he moved his gaze to the side, frowning in deep and thought on Chen Zhe. Surprised at this kid, actually found a boxing expert, bare hands, I'm afraid that the entire Shanghai city can beat Sun Long only a few. It seems that Shanghai city is going to change the sky. A small matter in the eyes of a big shot, but in the eyes of this teenager who came out of a mental hospital, it's a big matter like the sky is falling. If it can't be resolved, the Zhou and Wang families will never have peace, and even those behind it may be implicated. Fixed his mind. Sun Ya Yang did not resist, reaching out his hand was once again tied to the pillar, Sun Long who walked up, but patted his shoulder. You kid has some skills, look at the way you strike, it should be the Xiang Sun family, but unfortunately, it's missing a few moments of divinity, otherwise it would have been able to go through two more moves with me. Of course it also has to do with the injury to your abdomen, but even if your injury is healed, the same, you can't pass ten moves in my hands. Finished speaking. Sun Long sat down next to him with satisfaction. The depression from earlier in the alley was swept away at this time. In the latter half of the night, he went out again and picked up some firewood, and raised a fire prairie inside the factory as a way to keep warm, and just leaned against that fire, unknowingly falling asleep. The night passed in a flash, and Chen Zhe got up early. Sitting next to the fire, he added a few logs, waiting until Sun Long next to him shrank from the cold. Only then did he speak. It's time to get up. Sun Long, who was lying on the ground, froze and took out his cell phone to look at it. It was only a little after four, the sky hadn't even dawned yet. What's the point of getting up? Even if he went out for breakfast, I'm afraid that the breakfast seller didn't even set it out. Last night, when you went to look for my mom, who contacted you and where, it's time to go find these people to settle this account. Hearing this, only then did Sun Long come back to his senses, he also needed to go find those people and figure out information about his wife and children. Immediately, he forced himself to get up and follow Chen Zhe to the car. Half an hour later, a remote village. At the very back was a small villa with fairly luxurious decoration. A middle-aged man in his forties was in the middle of the study, with a yellowish light on. In front of him was a laptop. There were also several cell phones. There were many messages coming from the cell phones one after another. But the man just rubbed his temples with his hands tiredly, feeling that his brain was about to explode. Until a woman, from outside, walked in with a cup of coffee. Brother Lu, why are you up so early? Is it that family that hasn't resolved things yet? They're just a few ants at the bottom of society, aren't they really afraid of death? There was confusion amongst the woman's expression. She really couldn't figure it out. Why would a small issue come to this point? The middle-aged man who was called Brother Lu, a touch of bitterness surfaced on his face. It was because the location where the alley fight occurred last night. Not only did their people appear, the figures of outsiders also appeared. This matter was delayed. In his opinion, it was most likely related to the outsiders. This time, they also only utilized Sun Long. But in reality, Sun Long's wife, and the pair of children, were not captured by them. Where exactly, they were actually not sure. But since the one above had already given the order, he could only carry out the mission to the end as well. 
Sun Long disappeared, and his group of men are now in the middle of the hospital, not carrying out our orders, and I'm afraid that an accident has happened inside. The woman placed her coffee in front of the computer table, glancing at the several cell phones that kept flashing. The stunned look on her face increased, no way, that guy is known as the Four Tigers of Baichuan, he is the most righteous person, and he is also famously good to his wife as well as his sons and daughters. This time came to Shanghai City, if I remember correctly, it is someone who promised him an official identity, in order to be able to let his wife and children out of the black background identity, only rushed over a thousand miles. Otherwise, with the money he earned, it would be enough for their family to live high on the hog. Brother Lu, who was in front of the computer desk, however, just snorted. Live high on the hog? With the kind of money he earns, his standard of living is just a little better than the average person, in the eyes of the truly big shots, it's not even a fart. Perhaps it was because of the internal structure of Shanghai City. There was no small amount of understanding. Every time Lu mentioned that person, time, it was always filled with awe. Just when he wanted to pick up one of the cell phones, check the information inside, a commotion was heard from outside, followed by cursing, and the sound of things being pushed over. Lu violently knocked on the table. Those guys, they're not having another conflict with the villagers, are they? I've long told them to restrain themselves, we can't afford to be exposed in this operation. The woman next to him frowned her good-looking eyebrows. It shouldn't be, at this point in time, it's not even time to rotate, they'd been sleepy for a long time, where would they still have the energy, to clash with the villagers? Furthermore, lately they've been quite peaceful, the villagers haven't risen up to be right. But before they could finish their words, there were several more thumps. Several miserable screams were emitted from below. The door of the room they were in was even kicked open by someone. A huge force. The kick caused the entire door to shake. The moment it hit the wall, even the door cracked. A person holding a silver white scalpel. A figure with a duck dung cap, white shirt, and blue jeans, coldly looking at them inside. What was even more terrifying was, he was also dragging a corpse in his hands. From the corridor outside, it was possible to see the blood stains left behind all the way down the slope. It was as if a god of death had walked out of the netherworld. The hostile aura that emanated from him made the depths of their heart shudder. After this person appeared, another loud bang was heard from below, as well as the sound of glass breaking. Another person quickly walked up the stairway, spitting a mouthful of bloodied saliva at the ground. Holding a large knife inside his hand, he looked at them with a gloomy gaze. Sun, Sun Long. Seeing the incoming person, Lu couldn't help but swallow his saliva. He was scared out of his wits. How could he not have thought that his hiding place had actually been discovered? In fact, it was also true that Sun Long was uneasy before. After meeting with the other party, he arranged for his men to follow him. Only then did he learn that the other party lived in a village on the outskirts. Although he usually seldom went out and didn't have too many conflicts with the villagers. But it was still marked on the map by Sun Long. Therefore when he came over, he had already made light work of it. That's the one surnamed Lu, he picked up with me. Lu's eyebrows trembled a bit, wanting to pick up one of the cell phones and ventilate, and he couldn't stop his mouth from saying, You guys, do you know? Boom. The words hadn't even finished. Chen Zhe had already rushed forward, grabbed the other party's hair, and ruthlessly slammed it on the desktop. Only a click was heard. The table froze and was smashed with a crack. Brother Lu was also confused. Without even the power to fight back, he was carried to the wall like a chicken. Immediately after that, Chen Zhe grabbed him by the hair. One after another, he slammed into the wall. The muffled sound of thumping echoed in the silent morning. The sky was not yet bright. The people outside were settled again. There were bloodstains all around. The woman who brought the coffee let out a scream of fear and went limp on the ground. Although she knew that Lu's business wasn't quite able to see the light of day. But she didn't expect it to be this dangerous. People were obviously coming over to seek revenge. As far as she knew, there were more than 20 fighters in this villa alone but all of them were resolved in a short period of time. The other party even dragged the bodies of the fighters upstairs, the middle of the road without a bit of obstruction, to be able to do all this, the body of how good it is self-evident. Even Brother Lu's eyes were smashed, his forehead was bloody, and the walls were scarlet. Sun Long, who had been standing at the back, saw that people were about to be smashed to death. He hurriedly stepped forward to stop Chin Zhe, Brother, stop, stop, aren't we here to investigate the mastermind behind the scene? If you get someone killed, who are we looking for? Chen Zhe, who had been grasping Lu's head, his hand finally paused, and the hostility in his eyes was forcibly swallowed by him. Another glance back, not far from the woman. Since this person couldn't be killed, then that woman would be killed first. The woman was also frightened. This Nima, simply a madman, from the time he rushed up to now, not a word was said, all he could think of was to bring people to death. Even Lu could tell. Chen Zhe's brain was clearly not normal. 
Thinking about the information that he got earlier, he realized that this person was afraid that he was the mental patient that was labeled inside the information. A psychopath who was unable to control his emotions, tyrannical to the extreme, and has pierced the palms of the ones he put in at the age of 7 or 8. You and a psychopath, I'm afraid you don't think you can die fast enough. As for the woman next to him, Lu could no longer care. Chen Zhe walked over and grabbed the other person's hair. The woman also panicked. Without even waiting for Lu to open his mouth, he hurriedly said, he, he won't say it, and he doesn't dare to say. It's, all of his family life, are in the body of that person, said, his whole family has to die, if not, at most he will die alone. Even if the opening, there will not be a word of truth. Lu listened to the stinky bitch and was scared to betray him by a look from others. Immediately angrily climbed up and wanted to give this bitch two slaps, but the result was that he hadn't even rushed over yet. A silver white sheen cut through his throat. Blood spurted out. Brother Lu covered his neck and looked at Chen Zhe incredulously, not even dreaming of it. The person who was full of calmness just now, would suddenly strike and still kill him with one blow. Blood stained the entire face of the woman in front of him. Feeling the hot blood and the suffocating sense of fear, the woman even had her teeth chattering. Sun Long was even more wide-eyed and thought to himself, buddy, there are some things that are really hard to communicate with you. In case that woman was not telling the truth, what should they do? But Chen Zhe didn't care about that, instead, he took a step towards the woman, who lost her voice and said, I, although I don't know much, but all of the secrets are inside those three cell phones, and I know what the password is. Usually I often watch him open the locks, there's no mistake, you guys can contact the guy on the phone and ask him out, you'll know if it's true or not. Please, don't kill me, I'm just a mistress who was paid by him to come here, the same struggling at the bottom, just to make some money to live a good life. Those things are not something I can get involved in either. The female knelt on the ground and couldn't stop kowtowing. The blood that permeated around her shattered all the defenses in her heart. Sun Long was afraid that Chin Zhe and Impulse, even the woman are to GA, quickly put the person, pulled to the table, let her enter the password. After opening the cell phone, several messages immediately popped up inside. Three cell phones. One was responsible for contacting the person above. One was for normal life. There was also one for contacting the people underneath the hands. In addition to arranging for Sun Long, the one surnamed Lu had also contacted several gold medalists, promising a lot of benefits. Two of them were moved, if all of these people were to go out, I'm afraid that Sun Long's men wouldn't necessarily be able to stop them. Then they opened the cell phone used to, contact that person's cell phone. Inside there is a communication software, there is only one person's avatar in the software, there is also only one friend. Inside, there was also a record of the usual communication left behind. After looking through it a little bit, Sun Long slammed his fist on the table. Sun Long slammed his fist on the table. It's really the same as what your mom said, they don't even intend to let me go, if I really get my hands on it, after sneaking out to the outer sea, they'll throw me down to feed the fish. Even my wife and children, they didn't catch them, and they're not sure whose hands they're in right now. Immediately after that they tried, again, to contact the person inside the cell phone. The reply received was, Okay, tomorrow night, 8.20, meet at the mouth of the South River. A short sentence. But the woman next to him, couldn't help but widen her eyes as she reminded. Don't, don't believe that person's words, I've been following that surnamed Lou for at least two years, that person has never specified a meeting place. I'm afraid that there are still people watching around, the information here has long since been the first to be passed out. The woman's reminder. It was just to save her life, after all, according to the ruthlessness of these two people. It was estimated that they had gotten the information they wanted. Turning their heads, they would kill her. If you guys don't believe me, you can also wait until tomorrow after 8 o'clock and look around Nanjianku, there will definitely be an ambush. I'm just trying to stay alive, this is also considered helping you guys, you guys can take me back first, if what I say is true, I just beg you guys can spare my life. Hearing the woman's words, it also made Sun Long next to him grow a little wary. He was not as bold as Chen Zhe, nor did he have Chen Zhe's godlike, breathtaking means, especially when he had just dived in. He then realized, he and Chen Zhe were simply not on the same level. That guy was able to determine the route and find out the hidden cameras just by taking a look, silently touching the back of the caretaker. With these tactics alone, he was far superior to him by several times, or even more than a dozen times. The best he could do was just boxing. For the assassination aspect of Kung Fu, it couldn't be said that he didn't know anything about it, but he only knew a little bit about it. Brother, I think this woman is still somewhat useful, why don't we bring it back to the abandoned factory first? There were already three people inside the factory anyway. One more was not much, one less was not less. Chen Zhe certainly wanted to obtain more information as well. After a slight hesitation, he agreed. The woman was tied up and stuffed into the car again. After glancing at the villa behind them and cleaning up the scene, they returned to the car as well. 
As for the situation inside the villa, in fact, they weren't worried at all, because this person surnamed Lu was involved in too much. There are countless secrets hidden inside, and I'm afraid that the black hand behind it doesn't want the secrets inside to be leaked out. Because once the trail leads to the melon, with the official background, we'll soon be able to discover the cat. As expected. When they were gone, the villa soon lit up a huge fire, burning the place to ashes. Several people could even be seen, moving in and out of the surrounding area, not knowing what they were doing. At this time, Shanghai City, in the middle of a mysterious manner. Sitting there was a man with a gloomy face. There was also a large black mole on the left side of his face. Looking at the real-time surveillance that surfaced inside the computer, his eyes narrowed to a slit. It looks like Sun Long has joined forces with that kid. Surname Lu doesn't dare to expose my business, but that woman is a scourge. When I have the chance, I have to make this woman disappear along with the villa's secrets. It's a pity, tomorrow we can try to see if we can squat these two people in Nanjianku. After saying that his face became a few more points grim, twisted his head to look outside, and made a phone call. Everything also passed after this operation. Gradually returned to calm. The woman who was caught. Just thrown behind the car seat, Chen Zhe drove the car all the way wildly. Midway also found several cars trying to follow. But in just a split second, they were thrown out for most of the street. Sun Long, who was sitting in the co-pilot, looked dumbfounded. There was no thought. Chen Zhe, who fought so fiercely, even drove so well, if this was put on the field, it could more or less win a place, right? The person following behind froze a few blocks later before being thrown clean off. Boss, we lost them. After a while, a black car behind them stopped. It said into the phone end. This was immediately followed by a scolding, causing a few bitter moments to appear on the face of the person who was following him. On the other side, Chen Zhe parked his car under an overpass, stepping down from the main driver. He wasn't planning to go back that quickly. Regarding that homeroom teacher at the school, he still had to make another trip. Last time, letting the other party get away with it was fine. This time it wouldn't be that simple. You drive the car back first, I still have some things to do. I'll send you a message when I need to use the car. Finished speaking. He left alone, leaving Sun Long with a confused look on his face, but still came to the driver's seat and scratched his head. This guy, isn't going to go back and interrogate this woman? Although he knew that from this woman's body, he could no longer obtain much information. But Sun Long still held, a glimmer of hope, as long as he could find his wife and children, what he would be willing to do nowadays. Thinking of this, he drove his car towards the dilapidated factory on the outskirts of the city. As the day has just brightened, the streets still seem incomparably cold. Chen Zhe headed in the direction of the school, jogging over step by step. Dispelling the last trace of cold in his body until he ran until he was covered in sweat, he finally stopped. Just then, he saw that at the street entrance, there stood a young girl about the same age as his sister, selling breakfast. Seemingly because the weather had turned a bit cold, the young girl rubbed her hands together, and put her hands in front of her again, next to the cage selling breakfast to warm up. The moment her hand was stretched out, Chen Zhe saw the circular scar that ran across her entire palm. It was as if it had been pierced by something. When he saw that ballpoint pen-sized scar, he couldn't help but frown as well. If it was before, he definitely didn't feel anything about this. But since experiencing what happened to his sister, vaguely he was about hurting others. It seemed like there was also a certain bottom line. It's like he can feel those emotions. When his parents used to teach him, when the doctor at the mental hospital said it, he didn't even take it to heart, or rather had no fluctuation for such emotions. Plus, it was as if he was born doomed. Just like a stubborn ox, on that road, unable to turn back. Now that he thought about it, he inexplicably felt that there was a strange emotion that spread in the bottom of his heart. He also could not tell this emotion, just frowned, silent for a long time, and then looked up at the young girl who was similar in age to his sister. The young girl also noticed him. When she saw Chen Zhe's face clearly, she couldn't help but let her body shiver, pulling the breakfast cart and wanting to run towards the alley. But the next. Second. Just because the movement was too big and her hands were too busy, the things on top of that cart scattered all over the place. Accompanied by clanking sounds, the young girl also collapsed in front of him. Chen Zhe didn't know what to say or what he should do. It just felt like staying here and the strange emotion that kept spreading in his heart made him a little fidgety. So, he pulled on his ducktail hat. Silently, he disappeared into the street. The young girl froze and looked at his departing back, and then looked at the scattered certain things. The fear in her eyes had yet to fully dissipate, if she remembered correctly. When she was a child, it was this man who used a pencil and pierced her palm, causing her hand to be permanently damaged, even if she couldn't even hold a pen. All these years, because of the damage to her right hand, she didn't know how many blank stares she had suffered. Thinking about it nowadays, since she felt aggrieved, her tears could not stop falling. Finally silently cleaned up the mess, pulled the breakfast cart back, 
but when she returned to the alley, there was a sound of bottles smashing. Accompanied by the man's curses and the woman's pleas for mercy, the young girl once again walked out in aggravation. The top of the breakfast cart had been replaced with a new one. She then stood at the street corner with a tired face and shivering body to continue the breakfast she was selling. Just the cold wind blowing on that thin dress. It made the young girl's face whiten a few more points. School entrance. Chen Zhe had squatted for a day, and he didn't know if that female teacher had gotten the message. Has not come to school. After all, when he came to the school to squat that day, he ran into an ambush by Sun Yao Yang and the others. His purpose didn't seem too hard to guess. It was to get more information from these teachers. It seems like this class teacher must know something, otherwise everyone else would still be in class, and she would be the only one unaccounted for. Chen Zhe frowned. The sky around him darkened. Around 8 o'clock, even he was a little unable to sit still. But he still wanted to wait for the end of the evening study hall and wait for one last moment, if the person was not found again, then he could only start from somewhere else. Time passed bit by bit. Accompanied by the ding 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 of the dismissal bell, the students were released from school. Some were staying inside the school, some were picked up by their parents, and some teachers could even be seen walking out of the school. Only his sister's homeroom teacher was not seen. It seems that it did get the news, and it's not expected to come back in a short period of time. He got up from the bench. With his head lowered, he left the school, now that it was already late. After 10 o'clock, he was too lazy to run back to the dilapidated factory. Intending to follow the side path, he went to the village in the city to find the mother and daughter and get a good night's rest. His footsteps were steady and there was a bar street in the neighborhood of the city village, which he crossed. Slowly walked into the piece, slightly a few chaotic places. As a result, the front foot had just come in, and then ran into, the young girl who sold breakfast at the street corner in the morning. The young girl was holding some plates and chopsticks in her hands. She walked out from a restaurant. Both hands were full of them, and her right hand, which had been pierced, couldn't help but shake gently as she held them. The young girl obviously also saw Chen Zhe so frightened that she took a deep breath and dang 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 took a few steps back. But considering, inside her hand, she was still carrying so many things. If all of them broke, her salary this month, do not know how much to deduct. If the money was less, she would be scolded by her stepfather again. Her mother didn't care about her, and was only interested in pleasing her stepfather. As a child, she was stabbed through the palm of her hand. While growing up, she was often beaten and scolded by her stepfather, allowing her to develop a very cowardly character. Seeing Chen Zhe walking towards her, she was so scared that she was on the verge of crying. Until it came closer. Chen Zhe realized that the clothes on this young girl had been washed until they were white, and did not know how long they had been worn. Under this kind of weather, it appeared slightly thin, perhaps because it was too frozen, a pair of small hands had long been red. Even the look was filled with fatigue. Fortunately, Chen Zhe did not say anything, just pulled his own duck tongue cap, and walked past the girl's side, as if he had never had a half-hearted encounter. The young girl sighed in relief not daring to approach this, the boy who had once hurt her. She had heard about it, of course. Chen Zhe was a complete psychopath, and was afraid of being, once again, victimized by the other party. Just want to desperately avoid him. Book Group, 92150755 You are welcome to enter the group female costumes for the author. As for Chen Zhe who walked past, he actually didn't go far. Because of the time when he ran into this young girl again. That inexplicable emotion. Once again spread in his heart, making him unable to resist touching his chest with his hand. It was as if someone was gripping something in his body. Unspeakable, unknown. Anyway, it felt a little difficult. Solely from the side alley, climbed to a small two-story building, stood on the roof, overlooking the situation below. The young girl looked busy, going in for a few minutes and coming out with a lot of stuff. When the pile was almost done, she would put on gloves and sit quietly at the back of the alley, cleaning those plates and dishes, obviously already tired and sweaty. Obviously the hand that had been injured would often tremble uncontrollably. But the girl still did not complain. Just tireless work. Until, a fat-headed, grease-stained man pushed open the back door of the kitchen. Kujaja, your wages are settled, this month, you because you knocked over a teapot, scalded the guests, just the medical expenses, compensation for more than a thousand dollars, and, the guests clothes, is not cheap, so deduct you six hundred well. But Gujiajia listened. But she couldn't help but widen her eyes and asked blankly, didn't the guest say that he didn't need me to compensate? At that time, because she knew Gu Judge's life, the guest didn't say anything and paid and left. How come now, they wanted to deduct her money again? The customer didn't say anything, but well, the customer probably won't come back in the future, so this loss has to be deducted from your salary. Gu Judge knew that the man was deliberately making things difficult for her. She also knew that the other party would find various reasons to deduct her wages. It's just that she didn't expect it to be that excessive this time. Deducting two-thirds of her salary in one go. 
if this is to go back, how should she explain to her stepfather and mother? I'm afraid it's inevitable, another beating. Love it or not, if you can't you pack up and get lost. Seeing the obese man covered in oil and dirt, his expression gradually became violent, Gu Jiajia, who was already a coward, bit her red lips and lowered her head without saying a word. Fat head and ears of the boss, pulled out another $1500, do not say that I do not take care of you, was going to deduct you 16000 see in your pity, deduct you a 1000 And the thing I proposed to you last time, what have you thought about it? Be my girlfriend, I'll pay your rent in the future, and you can get away from your parents. At that time you work for me, I'll raise your salary to 4000 you can still save some money, do whatever you want. The fat-headed man, looking up and down at the young girl, subconsciously swallowed his saliva. It seemed that he had been salivating for a long time, and his gaze became a bit slutty, cracking his mouth and smiling happily. Of course Gujaja would not agree, she usually received a salary, but also save a few hundred dollars every month, the rest to her stepfather and mother, when she saved enough money, she would leave the city, find a place she liked, and say goodbye to those unpleasant past. As for the offer from the man in front of her, after she received the money, she shook her head and went back to continue washing dishes. The fat-headed man bristled, A. Eh? Stinking dishwasher, the shelf is still set quite high, lousy casually spend three to five hundred dollars, go out and find one, that is not more beautiful than you? After saying that the boss went back, and closed the door, afraid that the warm air coming out from inside, was enjoyed by Gu Jiajia. Chen Zhe, who was on the roof of the second floor across the street, watching all this, his gaze remained calm. Only, when this restaurant, after work, saw Gu Jiajia leaving from the alley behind, the fat-headed boss, on the other hand, was carrying a bag, humming a little song and closing the door. He then climbed down from the upper floor, trailing the fat-headed man, and walked into a dimly lit path not far away. The man seemed to sense something, and the moment he turned back, a huge fist slammed into his face. The tremendous force lifted him off his feet, two incisors were knocked to the ground, and blood gushed out of his mouth. He let out a miserable scream and rolled several times in a row, when he looked up at the figure that hit him. Again, fists rained down on his face, each punch was so powerful that he cried out in pain. Wrong, brother, I'm wrong, did I offend you in some way, is it still okay for me to admit my mistake, please don't hit anymore. The fat head and ears of the boss, his face has long been blue and purple, his teeth have been broken several times again, his speech is a little leaky. Money, is there any? A silver white scalpel was placed on the boss's neck, and under the dim moonlight, a pair of eyes so cold that they were suffocating stared at the boss in front of him in death. He could feel that if he dared to say a single word of no, he was afraid that he would be killed on the spot. This Nima. Is it really the eyes of a person? The fat-headed boss in front of him suspected that the one staring at him in front of him was a fierce beast. Money, money, you said earlier ah, is not just to ask for money, you said earlier, I would have given you earlier and finished, you said why bother to beat me like this? The boss was on the verge of crying out. Isn't it just wanting money? He can't give it to him? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ouch. Knowing that Chun Ze wanted money, the next thing is easy. Because today is payday. He went to the bank and withdrew a large sum of money. Now after paying his salary, there was still about 30,000 left. All of them pulled out from the bag and gave it to Chen Zhe, while still being afraid that the other party didn't think it was enough. The gold watch on his hand, the necklace on his neck, and all the valuable belongings, all of them were taken off, for fear that Chen Zhe would continue to make a move on him. This guy. This guy has no sense of proportion in hitting people, others will at least avoid the fatal vitals. But just now he saw clearly, this guy hate a fatal place to hit, if it is not his luck, left and right swaying head, to avoid hitting the fist. Now I'm afraid that all have been killed. All, all here, if you think it's not enough, I, I'll go fetch it for you again, there's a 24 hour ATM nearby, I'll give you as much as you want. But facing the man's words, Chen Zhe, however, just got up, took these things, and silently walked away. Seeing that the surrounding area was once again quiet, the fat-headed boss looked around a few times. After making sure that no one was there, he ran out a few hundred meters again. Standing at the edge of a pool, he broke into a curse. What the hell, if it wasn't for the fact that I've gained weight over the years, I'd have to fight you for 300 rounds. Really think I'm a vegetarian? Once, no matter how to say that I am a Bar Street Cohen brother, don't let me run into you kid again, otherwise I have to waste you. As a result, next to the dangling sound, it seems that something has been knocked over by a cat. The fat head and ears of the boss, scared a shiver. Pissed on the spot. And with lightning speed, he used all his strength and fled outside like a madman. The mouth still couldn't stop shouting. Don't, don't hit me, I just get high on my mouth, wrong, brother, I won't dare again. Took the 30,000 cash in the hands of the fat boss. Together with the original money he had on hand, it was almost around 60,000. The inside pockets were stuffed to the brim. Even those gold watches and other items, sold it is estimated that there can be about 10,000. All the way to rush slowly. 
After crossing the street of the city center village, he finally found Gu Jiajia's house. He finally found the figure of Gu Jiajia and blocked in front of her. Ran into it twice in a row. Now it was even more so when Shenze blocked her face to face. It would be a lie for Gu Jiajia to say that she wasn't scared in her heart. Even a fat boss of a restaurant was able to bully her, let alone Chen Ze who had a nervous condition. You, what are you doing? You pierced through my palm when I was a child, and it has already affected me for the rest of my life. Why do you still want to come and make things difficult for me? The thought of being a child. One saw Chen Ze playing in the sand alone. Quite pitiful. He himself went over and wanted to join him. As a result, he was stabbed through the palm of his hand by the other party in one go. Couldn't help but have her eyes redden again. The stepfather and mother themselves were not very kind to her. And then there was that unpleasant past. It was even more so that she lived in deep water every day. Seeing the young girl in front of her, she was about to shed tears. Standing in front of Chen Ze, just opened his mouth, but not good at words. Do not know what to say. Just that inexplicable emotion in his heart. Let him panic from his pocket, took out the money, counted ten, stuffed into the hands of Gu Jiajia. He seemed to feel that it was not enough. He then stuffed all the money in his hand into her other hand. Gu Jiajia also looked at the money and froze for a long time. When she raised her head again, the person had already disappeared. A figure could still be seen flickering around the corner, and immediately afterward, no trace of the other party could be found. Gone, gone? Gu Jiajia looked at the thousand dollars in her right hand, and then looked at the roughly ten or twenty thousand dollars in her left hand. The mind was still buzzing. This guy who came out from inside the mental hospital. What the hell is he up to? Could it be that he felt that the things he did to her in the past were too much? Now he wants to make up for it? Also, this $1,000 is not, she was that fat boss deducted money? Cowardly by nature, she was bullied, did not dare to say anything. But in her heart there was more or less a little resentment. Nowadays, someone helped her to get this money back. Inexplicably there is a strange feeling. In the heart gently rippled, as if the two bottom of the soul. There was an inexplicable tug of war without words. But soon Gu Jiajia shook her head again. If you are thinking that you can make it up to me with this amount of money, Chen Ze, then you are too much of a bully. Gu Jiajia tugged the money inside her hand with a deadly grip. With red eyes, she walked forward. It gradually disappeared into the distance. At this time, Chen Ze returned to the corner of that street, silently looking at the figure of the young girl leaving. It was as if something had been put down in his heart. Yet it was not put down. It was probably because he himself felt that it was not enough or it was difficult to make up for it. But right now he desperately needed to find a place to rest, and didn't say anything. Turning to the downstairs of the strange mother and daughter, the lights were still on up there, and he walked up to the second floor, knocked on the door of the room. The door creaked open. It was the little girl from last time. After seeing Chen Ze, her eyes lit up. Big brother, are you coming over to stay for a night? Just charge you 300 this time. The little girl's voice was loud and clear. There was a fox-like smile on her face. Chen Zhe didn't have any nonsense, pulled out $300 and stuffed it into the girl's hand, and walked in on his own. Big brother, want other services? My mom is in the room right next to me. But Chen Zhe just pushed open the door of the last room. After going in and unlocking it, he lay down on the bed and covered his eyes with a duck-tongued cap. Without realizing it, he had already fallen asleep. The little girl was still standing in the doorway, and said to the doorway, Big brother, I'll prepare breakfast for you tomorrow, and if you don't have a place to stay in the future, you can all come here. Cheaper next time, just charge you 200 per night. Seeing that no one inside replied, the little girl skimmed her mouth, closed the outside door, and took the $300 to his mom's room. That strange man came again, I charged him $300, but he entered the room and fell asleep. The woman in her 20s next to her was also curious and came to the windowsill, surveying the figure that could be vaguely seen. Indeed quite strange, other men come to this area, are spending money to find pleasure. He's good, he doesn't live in a hotel and every time he comes to us, he falls asleep. Who cares, if he comes every night, even if he charges $200 for each stay, it's five or six thousand a month. The little girl laughed not to mention how happy she was. With this amount of money, they wouldn't have to go hungry, they could even buy nice clothes, and pay her school fees in the meantime. She could then happily go back to school. The woman couldn't figure out what was going on, but since it was all charged. Plus this side of the city center village is a mixed bag of fish and dragons. Every month is to pay the protection fee, very few people will come over to make trouble, also did not put this matter on the heart again. Anyway, the sky collapsed. There is a taller top, they also just earn a lodging fee, and do not know the other party's real identity. A sleepless night. Perhaps because there was a strange and weird person next door, the mother-daughter duo chatted until very late. When they woke up the next day, they had dark circles under their eyes. 
However, they still made a bowl of egg noodles. Seeing Chen Zhe come out, the little girl happily greeted. Big brother come and eat, my mom made egg noodles, it's fragrant, in the morning I specially went to buy pork, the most this bowl is yours. Last time, he spent $500, before dawn, Chen Zhe left. Unexpectedly this time, he was able to have a breakfast. Chen Zhe, who wasn't fussy about these things, sat down and began to work hard. Soon after, he ate the egg noodles inside the bowl. The little girl which was adding another bowl for her. Immediately after that, Chen Zhe gave money to the little girl. Let him help prepare a change of clothes. Self-consciously, he entered the bathroom to take a shower. Soon the little girl returned. Because inside the urban village there were stores selling clothes every few stores. All of them are some cheap goods. Ranging from a few dozen dollars to 80 or 90, Chen Zhe had given her 400 dollars, which was completely enough. Placing the clothes at the door, the little girl rushed inside to take a shower. Chen Zhe who said, Big brother, the stuff is placed outside, just reach out and take it after the bath. All bought according to your earlier style, there are still a few sets, I'll put them in the room for you, next time you come, you can change them directly. Reach out and take the clothes in. After changing, he walked out again. Hair dried with the hair dryer in the restroom. Put on a ducktail hat. Boldly pressed down so low it almost hit his eyes. Going out the door. He quickly arrived, at the location where Gu Jia sold breakfast yesterday. As expected, Gu Jia had already pulled a cart long ago, and it was filled with all sorts of things. There was bread, soy milk, donuts, and other things. He walked over to the side of the stall, his voice lowered. For loaves of bread, one cup of soy milk. Gu Jia was originally bending over to fiddle with the clutter below. Didn't pay attention to the situation in front of her. Hearing this voice. First straightening up, she took four loaves of bread and a cup of soy milk and was just about to hand it to Chen Zhe. Then he noticed the other party's appearance. First, his eyes widened, followed by a few moments of panic. But judging from last night's situation, Chen Zhe didn't have any malicious intent, and she also knew from inside the employee group that the boss had been beaten up last night. Also robbed tens of thousands of things, but the boss told them to keep it quiet, because the feeling that person gave him, too vicious. In case something really happened, it wouldn't be worth it to put himself on the line for these tens of thousands of dollars. Seven dollars, please. The young girl Gu Jia, boldly, began to measure the Chen Zhe in front of her, compared to his previous appearance as a child. The current Chen Zhe had short hair though, wearing a rather ordinary set of clothing. Yet, it gave off a feeling of clear-cut angles. A little bit handsome, but not much, the bones give people a cold feeling, as if there is always something hidden in the heart. Chen Zhe took out a hundred dollar bill, handed it over. Just as he wanted to turn around and leave, Gu Jia called out to him. I'll give you the change. No, there's no need. What don't need it? There's the thousand dollars you gave me last night, it's already enough for my paycheck, I'll pay you back the extra. Gu Jia was rummaging for change. While running to him, she shoved a large stack of money into his hands. There was also $93 in change mixed in there. Chen Zhe opened his mouth, looking at Gu Jia's pretty face, his heartbeat unconsciously sped up a few points. Sorry. Three simple words. It was as if they had used up all his strength. This was the first time in his life, he had ever said these three words. Gu Jia just frowned and went back to the side of the breakfast cart, continuing to organize her things. Only when Chen Zhe turned around did Gu Jia raise her head and look at his departing back, her eyes somewhat complicated but she was interrupted by a rough voice. You stinky girl, what are you looking at? Have you finished packing things inside the home? You don't even need to take the steamer, right? The bread is left outside, which guest will buy it if it's cold. Immediately afterward, a pair of big hands slapped Gu Jia's head. Gu Jia held her head with her hands in pain. No, no, I, I'll go in and get. It's, this was a man who looked to be in his forties. A scruffy man. His body carried a strong smell of cigarettes and alcohol. With hair like a chicken nest, he picked his ears and spat at the ground. He went back inside the room to sleep again. Gu Jia, on the other hand, was pulling on the thin clothes, wrapping her hands across her chest and hugging her arms, shivering from the cold, leaving the street entrance where breakfast was sold. Chen Zhe sent another message to Sun Long and waited in place for about an hour or so. Sun Long finally arrived. He opened the car door and breakfast was thrown over. Go! Go! Go where? Last night, Sun Long used various methods interrogating that woman, but he was never able to get the information he wanted, and the same also made him understand. Wanting to get key information from these minions, from their mouths. It was almost an impossible thing, if one wanted to know more, then one could only get a more established presence. Just like the person that had been mentioned inside the cell phone. Go to Nanjianku, and take a look at the surrounding terrain, as well as the situation first. Chen Zhe put the seat down and began to rest his eyes. Sun Long, who was driving next to him, understood what he meant. Both of their thoughts came together. 
If they could get that person under control, they had ways to make the other person talk. And so it was. The two arrived at the mouth of the South River, the surroundings looked relatively cold. There was a bridge in the distance, and after crossing it was the countryside. It was also because it was more remote. This place looked extraordinarily depressed, there were stores around, but none were open. The two pulled over and began to check the surrounding area. Again several men in suits were spotted. Started staring at them from all the way out. There was also one with binoculars in his hand. Immediately afterward, someone left. Looks like they've arranged for someone to be here a long time ago. Chen Zhe narrowed his eyes and checked a few times before. He had Sun Long drive away and waited until they were far away. On the opposite side of the bridge, out came a man in a tracksuit with hawk-like eyes, coldly glancing at Chen Zhe, the direction where Sun Long was. Those two are the psychopath that Brother Tang talked about, and Sun Long? The Brother Tang they were talking about was the second in command of the Shanghui Construction Group, and nowadays, in the entire Shanghai city, he was considered famous. When there was a slight demolition task around, the first one to find was Sheng Hui Group, and they worked under Brother Tang's hand. I don't know how many storms and waves they have experienced. To deal with a few people and make a scene to the present day was something they hadn't expected. The joint's dead, yesterday morning, before dawn, he was wiped out, and the villa was burned down in a fire. Someone else contacted Brother Tang and said for us to meet at the mouth of the South River, even swindling Sun Long was also Brother Zhao's idea. Now that Sun Long obviously knows what happened, he probably already hates us. But that eagle-eyed man just said grimly, Who the hell is Sun Long? How dare you also aid and abet in the territory of Shanghai City? Tonight, you guys arrange for good people to call me as soon as you find them coming over, I would love to try out what this Sun Long, one of the four tigers of the north, is capable of. As for Chen Zhe, he hadn't put it on his mind since the beginning. It was just a kid who came out of a mental hospital. He had solved a few bodyguards and wasted Miss Show, who was an ordinary person. In his opinion, anyone with a little bit of skill could do these things. He was also able to waste the Miss Joe family without God knowing it, with no effort. Could it be that he was also invincible? As the saying goes, there is a man outside of man and a sky outside of sky, he didn't think that Chen Zhe could be as powerful as he was. A few men in black suits beside him, hurriedly complimented and said, Boss Bull, worthy of being the gold medal fighter from above, last time I saw the boss. When fighting with the group of Green Snake, several practitioners, in the hands of the boss even 10 strokes cannot pass. This time, if the boss is the one to fight, it's sure to be a sure thing. A burst of bragging from the crowd. It made the eagle-hooked man nod his head, very flattered. Immediately after that, they began to arrange their manpower. Surrounding the inside and outside, one by one. Hidden behind various bunkers, quietly waiting, for the night to come. Without realizing it, the appointed time arrived. A round of bright moonlight hung high in the night sky. A silver-white glow enveloped the entire land. However, if you looked closely, you would be able to realize that the vicinity of the South River mouth was filled with figures that were vaguely hiding. In addition to these people. In fact, on the other side of the river, there were two groups of people quietly watching the situation here. These two groups of people were none other than Master Lu, Miss Su, who had previously been inside the alley, discussing Chen Zhe and Sun Long. Master Lu, nowadays, you have the most people in Shanghai City and you're already in trouble with the local forces, right? Isn't there any intention to help out? Miss Sue was still in a set of red evening dress, standing next to the gazebo on the opposite bank, her enchanting figure, extraordinarily eye-catching. Master Lu glanced at the YouTuber in front of him, but just shook his head, people just put a long line to catch a big fish, see the intersection over there, from that alleyway in, I'm afraid there have been people waiting for a long time. According to my observation, besides the people here, there are quite a few others, ambushing at the intersection a few blocks away. The second in command of the Shang Wei group, using his body as bait, do you think people would be unprepared? Master Lu shrugged. Although he had a lot of manpower here. But for the time being, he didn't want to go head to head with the local forces. Otherwise, even if he took advantage of the situation, he would lose a lot of money, and down the road, when it really came time to divide the cake, I'm afraid there would be no part for him. But M.S. Sue, you have quite a few people, why do you have to keep staring at, my family's this raggedy family belongings. Miss Sue couldn't help but giggle out at that. If Master Lu, my home is some rags, I'm afraid that the other forces, aren't even rags. But if these two really fold tonight, it's not good news for us. Indeed not good news. Master Lu narrowed his eyes, yet it shouldn't have been us who made the first move, I don't believe that the other people didn't know about tonight's matter, but it was only the two of us who came and it wasn't just to watch the fire from the other side of the river and conserve our strength. Even if I quit Shanghai City, I can't take my own life and fight them to the death. Master Lu skimmed his lips and found a seat. Miss Su, on the other hand, leaned against the railing of the gazebo, her gaze leisurely looking at the rippling river. 
I only hope that these two fools don't go biting other people's hooks before it's too late. Similarly, Chen Zhe and Sun Long, too, were looking at the people hidden around them. With the strength of the two of them, it was too easy to spot the hidden people. These little minions could not pose harm to them. Moreover, it was impossible for people to send out only these small minions. In the entire Shanghai city, there were many powerful people. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many people who were coveting the prosperity of Shanghai city. Brother Chen, looking at the current situation, even if we go over there, it will just be a bitter battle and we won't be able to curry any favors. Even more so, we won't be able to achieve our goal, so we might as well go back and forget about it. Sun Long frowned. His heart was in retreat. His idea was to capture one, a guy with a status level, to interrogate and obtain more useful clues. But the problem was, there wasn't even a bait here except for the ambushers. If you don't leave now, when will you wait? But in the face of Sun Long's words, Chen Zhe only shook his head. He walked towards the east on his own. Half an hour later, you go out for the appointment, leave the rest to me. Sun Long froze, and the man was dumbfounded. People had set up an ambush, clearly wanting their lives. If he still went out for the appointment, wasn't that looking for death? Brother Chen, would it be too risky to do so? Also, going to the appointment, I'm going alone? Even if I had three heads and six arms, I wouldn't be able to defeat so many people. Sun Long wanted to say something else, but when he turned his head, he had long since lost sight of Chen Zhe's figure. Angry, he punched the ground. Shit. Thinking that everyone is as godlike as you, if I had your skills, I wouldn't have been forced to this point now. But Chen Zhe was already gone. Relying on him alone, he wouldn't be able to save his wife and children, and if he lost Chen Zhe, it would be troublesome for him to do his job behind him. This bastard, is it possible that he wants me dead? But things have come to this, this guy swore, there must be a way, should I believe him for once? Sun Long was in place, clenching his teeth, his expression extraordinarily complicated. On the other side, Chen Zhe silently touched the opposite side of the river, not far away there was an alley, surrounded by a lot of people coming in and out. Chen Zhe braced the sides of the wall, climbed to a residential building, from the other end of the residential building, looking down. Then he saw a black Mercedes Benz parked at the intersection. A little brother was respectful and bent over. He didn't know what to say to the car window, nodding and groveling to the extreme. Is this the bait? Chen Zhe narrowed his eyes. When he was across the river just now, he had noticed it. This alley was frequented by people. The other party had laid a dragnet. It was impossible that there was no bait. Because in the absence of bait, knowing that there is an ambush, and who would be stupid to fall for it? I just don't know, how heavy is the weight of this bait? He glanced at the time again. Half an hour had already passed. Sun Long, who was across the river, clenched his teeth, and after half an hour, said viciously, I believe you once, don't victimize me. After saying this, he got up and walked toward the outside. Soon came to the bridge. Lao Zi Sun Long, came over to the appointment, hiding his head, what kind of thing, have the guts to come out and fight with Lao Zi in a fair and square manner? The eagle-eyed man who had been watching from the other side of the river, saw that someone really dared to come out for the appointment. Also looked stupefied, half a minute later shook his head. Still really big and bold, knowing that there is an ambush, he still dares to run out openly. I really don't know, the Wang family and the Zhou family, why have they gotten to this point nowadays? The eagle-eyed man twisted his neck. Instead, he did not show any weakness. He walked towards the bridge on his own, and there were quite a few people in black suits surrounding him. But because of the eagle hooked eye man, he raised his hand and signaled the, said, you guys watch from the side, if he dares to come alone, I dare to go to the appointment to fight him. Regardless of the two of us, who wins, when one of them dies, you guys will come up to collect the corpse. The other party had dared to jump out so blatantly. If he didn't even dare to fight, he wouldn't be worthy of the name Shang Hui Group, gold medal fighter. In the future, he would easily become the laughingstock of others after dinner. He cannot afford to lose this face. The pavilion sighed. Master Lu, Miss Su, who watched all this, were filled with bitterness and shook their heads. Although only one has come, it's estimated that we won't be able to return. If it's Sun Long and that kid teaming up and hiding in the shadows all the time, the Zhou and Wang families, there's really no way to take them. Even those behind them would have been scorched, in favor of two brainless guys. At this moment, they were suddenly a bit thankful. They didn't expose themselves, otherwise once they went head to head with the local forces in a hard fight, it would simply be a devastating blow to them. Sun Long is hopeless, by then only that kid out of the mental hospital will be left, so I guess he won't be able to make any waves. Miss Su, you've been urging me to step in and help, now you see, it's not that I'm unwilling, but these two are not worth it. Miss Su was originally quite optimistic about the two of them as well. It was because with them around, they would be able to keep the local forces in check. Because of these two people, they were still receiving backlash from the native forces though, but that kind of counterattack has been much lighter. 
and they had split up many of their manpower to poke around for news about Chen Zhe and Sun Long. For example, right now, Shanghui Construction Group had mobilized almost a third of their manpower. Because of this, they were able to take the time to come over and take a look at this good show. I never thought, good show is to see, but it was just a joke, and even they, couldn't help but shake their heads and laugh bitterly. It's me who thought too much, and hoped that these two people, would be able to hold the local forces in check, but now it seems that it will be difficult to create any more waves. Even the side of the alley, the man who had been sitting inside the car with a mole on his face, after getting the news, he was also somewhat speechless. Originally, I had set up a decoy, intending to use myself, to lure them out. I didn't expect Sun Long to be so brainless, but come to think of it, if Sun Long had a brain, his wife and children, how would they have been captured for no reason? It was a waste of time to make me come here for nothing. The people around them all left. Going over to the bridge, they surrounded Sun Long tightly. Sun Long stood alone on the bridge with a loud voice. Pulling the lab coat he was wearing, he violently ripped it off. Revealing a lean and sturdy body, he twisted his fists. The appearance was extraordinarily ferocious. The eagle-eyed man who came over from afar, the corner of his mouth rose, and dropped a short knife tied to his waist, onto the ground. One of the four tigers of the north, Sun Long, who was known to be unrivaled in boxing and hard to beat, I didn't expect that to be a brainless straw man. But since you're here, I won't let you down, before I beat you to death, the people around, will never come a step closer. It's up to you to see if you have the ability to pull me as your back. Seeing the imposing man in front of him, Sun Long took a deep breath, slowly cracked his own mouth, fiercely lucked out, the muscles on his body bulged and his bones crackled. With his legs padded towards the back, as if he was a human-sized cannonball, he rushed forward. The fist that was punched out was so powerful that it swept away with a sound of breaking air. The eagle-eyed man's body slightly tilted, and after dodging that punch, he also began to frantically counterattack. The speed of the two men's fight was very fast, and their fists were so powerful that an ordinary person who received such a blow would die a violent death on the spot. But the two people, in the process of fighting, hard to catch each other several punches, but still do not change color. Constantly staggered, and even sometimes fists will be bombarded together, even if they have already beaten hands numb, the two do not have the intention to retreat. Shen Zhe glanced at the bridge where Sun Long was located, and immediately understood that Sun Long's hands were indeed excellent, but when facing the eagle-eyed man, he was still a bit worse. According to this situation, I'm afraid that in less than 20 minutes, we'll have to exhaustion fall to the ground. Eagle-eyed man is not a good opponent, after winning the fight, naturally will not let go of Sun Long. However, it bought time for Chen Zhe. The people around have all withdrawn, there is no ambush on either side, only the black Mercedes is left, it seems like there should be no problem. Seeing Sun Long, still stalling for time for him, being beaten back, Chen Zhe's hand propped outwards, then flipped over and jumped. Immediately afterward, with a loud boom, he stepped on top of the black Mercedes. Still inside the car, the man with a mole on his face, using his cell phone, watched the live broadcast of the bridge scene. It felt a shaking of the body, accompanied by the muffled sound of a heavy object hitting the ground, and a large chunk of the roof was dented. Immediately afterward, someone flipped down, a fist, breaking the glass. The fist smashed into his face with horrible force. A punch that tilted his head, to the left. It shattered the glass on the left side again, and in a flash his head was broken. His face changed and changed, knowing that he had been hit. On the surface, Sun Long was out for an appointment. But in actuality? Sun Long was just the one who drew fire. The kid who came out of the mental hospital, on the other hand, had found this sedan he was in. He even wanted to open the car door and rush across that alley, but from the moment Chen Zhe struck just now, he knew. With the other party's skill, it was absolutely impossible for him to escape across that alley. Coupled with that punch just now, which had buzzed his brain, he could no longer think about that much right now. Driver. Sir, yes. You stop him first, I'll call the people on the other side of the bridge, as long as someone comes, we can still live. The driver also no longer hesitated, dragged out a steel pipe from the passenger side, opened the car door, and stepped down. It was then that Chen Zhe, who was not far away, slowly pulled out, from his pocket, a silver-white scalpel. Shook it at the driver in the distance, and did not hesitate to stab, the man with a mole on his face. Accompanied by a scream, the man's shoulder was cut out a, long blood scar, the smell of blood filled the car, so that Chen Zhe's looked more and more crazy. The man with a mole on his face, also opened the car at this moment, covering his injured hand, rushed out, and ran to the opposite side of the alley without looking back. The driver with the hose in front of him, glanced at Chen Zhe, and swallowed his saliva violently. He, who had wanted to stop Chen Zhe, only felt like he was being stared at by a flooding beast. His body could not stop trembling. The courage that he had just raised also disappeared at this moment. His legs went limp and he flopped down on the ground. I, I'm just a driver, if I didn't agree just now, I wouldn't be able to go back and live. I won't stop you, I only beg you to let me go. 
After saying that, he clunked his head three times, just sticking his head to the ground like that. As long as Chen Zhe made a move, he could take his life at any time. But Chen Zhe was just indifferent, walking past the driver, not too fast, not too slow, but followed, the man with the mole on his face. Until the moment the other party ran out of the alley and let out a shout. Chen Zhe inverted holding the silver white scalpel, aimed at the back of the man with a mole on his face, ruthlessly stabbed over. One, two, three, four. The man kept struggling, but he lost too much blood, his voice gradually became weak, and he fell to the ground with a bang. Blood stained, Chen Zhe all over. He stood on the opposite side of the river. His eyes were cold and brutal, sweeping over the people around him, carrying the man who was constantly bleeding on the ground, single-handedly. The fight on the bridge also came to an end at this moment. Only Sun Long, who was on the bridge, was beaten beyond recognition. Although the eagle-eyed man was also bruised, compared to Sun Long, he was a lot better. Until they heard their Shang Hui group, the second in command screams. Only then did the crowd turn back in shock, realizing that the man with the mole on his face had already been lifted up by Chen Zhe, with the silver-white scalpel resting on the man's neck. Sun Long, who was paralyzed by the beating and couldn't stop vomiting blood inside his mouth, cracked himself open. Only then did he realize that this kid originally wanted to let himself attract the firepower of the others while he went to the back to find the helmsman behind the scenes. Now that the helmsman had been captured, unless the people present disregarded each other's deaths, they would never dare to make another move. As you know, that kid came out from the mental hospital, at that time, your connector surnamed Lu, before he could interrogate the information, he was wiped out by that kid's neck, I still feel some regret. I just don't know, that person who was captured, was not that lucky to survive. Sun Long also stopped pretending. Lying directly into a big word, the teeth inside his mouth, couldn't stop spilling blood. Coughing a few more times, his mood relaxed a lot. The eagle-eyed man's face was dark and terrifying, his horizontal flesh couldn't stop twitching, clenching his teeth and looking towards where his boss was. Then he said in a loud voice, release our boss, today's matter, a write-off, I'll give Sun Long, back to you. Unfortunately, Chen Zhe did not reply. Just put the man with a mole on his face in front of him, pushed him down on the handrail made of lapis lazuli, and raised the silver-white scalpel, and stabbed down without hesitation. Only a poof was heard, and the entire left arm was penetrated. The man with a mole on his face let out a miserable scream. It was as if killing a pig. The corner of the hawk-eyed man's mouth twitched, clearly understanding what Sun Long's words meant. Negotiating with a psychopath, one was simply out of one's mind. I can let Sun Long go, but if something happens to my boss, not to mention the two of you, even your family members will be implicated as a result. Don't think that Sun Long's few henchmen will be able to protect their well-being, that's because we haven't pulled out from the other matter yet, otherwise it's not your turn to be arrogant in Shanghai City. The eagle-eyed man pulled Sun Long on the ground up, then pushed him, signaling him to hurry up and get lost. Afterward, he just stood on the bridge and watched as Sun Long rendezvoused with Chun Zhe and grabbed their boss and left. Unable to help himself, his face gradually grimaced. He violently kicked the bridge fence next to him and let out a hysterical roar. Sooner or later, I'm going to break you all into pieces. But things had already come to this. The second in command had been captured. When they returned, if the big boss knew about this, he would have to eat them alive. Even Master Lu, Miss Su, who was in the gazebo in the distance, watching all of this, couldn't help but have their eyes light up. They actually, caught that kid from the Tang family, this is a big fish. If we can get the Tang family involved, I'm afraid it won't be far from the group behind us making their move. The current Shanghai city, in the end, was still controlled by those five people behind the scenes. The last time they came to Shanghai City, it was by those five people who had joined forces to drive them out. Now that they were making a comeback, they didn't know whether the means of those five people were stronger or weaker. But according to the information they had investigated, those five people should already be strong in the middle and dry outside. Once it was tried out, the other party's situation, it wasn't enough to resist the outside forces, then the entire Shanghai city to face. It will be shaking, the building will fall. It seems like a violent wind and rain is about to come. These two brats, they have really pierced the sky, impressive. Maybe we can help appropriately, with their hands, maybe we can even recruit them in the future and use them for ourselves. Master Lu's old face revealed a few moments of frustration. After today, I'm afraid that there will be quite a few outsider forces. All of them would go and contact these two people, and even offer a little help. Without angering the Tang family and those five people, they would definitely help where they could, and as for Chen Zhe's parents, with them as outsiders, there would be no danger for the time being. Otherwise, since the last time they were attacked by Sun Long, why was the hospital calm until now? It's just that the people in the hospital have been replaced with theirs. There are a lot of outsiders around. No matter if it was the Tang family, the Wang family, or the Zhou family, all of them didn't dare to easily get involved here. 
However, we still have to focus on the hospital recently, we can't rule out that the Tang family and those five people will take desperate measures. Next to her, MS. Su was now also smiling like a flower, her watery eyes narrowed into a crescent moon, not to mention how charming she was. Although once Chen Zhe's parents, and even his sister, died, it would be the same as forcing that brat who came out of the mental hospital, to the brink of extinction. But likewise, without the bondage, the devil in that kid's heart would also be completely released. Those people behind him must have understood this as well. Will not be easy to strike. But, not afraid of 10,000, just afraid of what might happen. Regarding that kid's parents, sister, I heard that the next medical expenses, surgical expenses, add up to less than a million or so. M.S. Sue may be able to go to that kid, this one million. As selling personal love. Master Lu looked toward, next to the enchanting woman wearing a Changsam. But she just shook her head, I'm afraid it's not my turn, when the time comes, naturally someone will call the hospital's card, even if I really go, there are too many people, the effect will not be obvious. That's true, with Miss Sue's status, taking a million dollars to that brat is indeed out of character. Without saying anything else, Master Lu turned around and led his people, heading outside. He also urgently needed to go and arrange something. The Tang family members had been captured. It was impossible for the Tang family to stand idly by, and the big boss behind the Shangwei group was bound to be enraged by this. As long as the other party messed up and revealed their footsteps, they would be like gangrene on the bone, toppling the entire Shangwei group and destroying it completely. Shangwei Construction Group, Headquarters Building. The president's office, luxurious to the extreme, the floor was covered with animal skins, famous paintings hung on the wall, and gold and silver decorations were everywhere around. In the back, sat an old man with a cigar, nearly 60 years old. When the old man saw the message on the cell phone, the cigar that was clamped between his fingers, also could not stop shaking, and fell on the expensive carpet next to it. But the carpet burned a big hole. Yet he didn't notice it in the slightest, instead, he slapped the table and stood up. Little Tang was arrested? How did these assholes do their job? As the head of the Tang family, he actually stooped to be the bait, he's simply crazy. Doesn't he realize how sensitive his identity is? Those outsiders are now. Those outsiders are now watching intently, this idiot. The old man in his sixties in front of him, his face gradually turned red as he smashed whatever he could around him, accompanied by clanking sounds, as well as the old man's roar. The door quickly opened. The one who walked in was a 24 or 25 year old woman, seeing the scene in front of her. There was also the old man who was gritting his teeth and gasping for breath, and also asked with a face full of shock, Chairman, what's wrong with you? Did something happen, something big? The old man, however, snorted coldly, glanced at the still burning cigar next to him, and stepped on it with his foot. It's not because of little Tang, oh no, it's because of what those little princes did a while ago. The secretary was confused. One moment it was talking about Mr. Tang, the other moment it was talking about the little princes, what the hell was going on? And, the things that the little princes did before. The other party's family was just ordinary employees. With their ability to penetrate the sky and earth in Shanghai City. It should have been resolved a long time ago. It shouldn't be, chairman, isn't it a mistake? Mistake? Those little bastards, they wasted someone's sister, but their family has a son who came out of the mental hospital. I don't know where he learned his skills, even Sun Long, one of the four tigers of the north, lost to him. First he wasted the Zhou family's daughter, and then he cut off half of the Wang family's kid's scalp. It's gotten the whole city into a frenzy. Now even Xiao Tang has been stabbed several times and has been captured by others, his whereabouts unknown. Hearing Chen Zhe's various deeds, the secretary in the distance sucked in a mouthful of cool air, feeling somewhat heavenly. A kid who came out of a mental hospital, actually able to set off such a big storm? Doesn't that kid still have a family? Chairman, how about? The secretary's words. But it made the old man in front of him, once again coldly snort. You think they didn't arrange for someone to go? The previous Sun Long, wasn't it Xiao Tang who arranged it? After Sun Long, there are still quite a few good hands in the Jianghu, but what's the result? So far, the whereabouts are still unknown, probably sunk in the river long ago. Ever since the outsiders came back a month ago, the entire Shanghai city has never been calm. Now, with this additional uncertainty, the Wang and Zhou families, both dogs, have been scared to death. If we let that kid run amok again, today he dares to grab Xiao Tang, tomorrow he dares to make a move against me, and the day after that will he have to run to the Tang family to kill someone? The more the secretary listened, the more he felt his heart pounding. It was vaguely noticeable that things were getting a little out of control. Over at the hospital, there were outsiders meddling. The good Jianghu fighters that were sent there ended up folding. Now, even the Tang family is involved. The outsiders won't let this opportunity pass. The hospital will be surrounded. It will be difficult for them to make a move. As for that mentally ill kid, he's a ghost. Who knows what he'll do? 
Besides, if you reason with a psychopath, will the psychopath listen? The more I think about it, the more I feel terrified in my heart. The old man in his sixties skimmed his eyes at the secretary and of course knew that she was frightened. Immediately comforted, don't worry, although there are a lot of outsiders and lately they have been making a lot of noise, but this is ultimately our territory. Come here, I've been a bit on fire lately, drain the fire for me. The old man closed his eyes and when he opened them again, but had looked out the window. It was the brightly lit Shanghai city. It was also one of the most prosperous cities in the country where an unknown number of dead bones were buried. It was the fat meat that countless people coveted in their eyes. As long as there is an opportunity, those people couldn't wait for each person to come up and take a bite. Recently, on the southern faction's side, there's also something wrong. It seems that there's a need to make a trip to the mountain. As 30 seconds passed, the secretary opened the door and left. Just holding a ball of paper in her hand, covering her mouth, she walked into the restroom. The entire Shanghai city. It all started to go haywire because of the arrest of the head of the Tang family. Countless figures in black suits could be seen everywhere. All kinds of streets. Hidden places. Carpet searches were carried out, sweeping through this already not so quiet city like a violent wind and rain. There were even numerous outsider venues. Were taken out in one fell swoop. Even the hospitals, the injured that night. Are in a sharp increase in the east district, south district, two directions, five hospitals, all in a full state. Some were injured in the arm, some were knocked out on the spot, and there were even several tendon fleshed men, sitting in the corridor, covering their hands with something. Their faces were extraordinarily gloomy. Tonight, the Tang family has struck. The two footholds we just established were swept away by the Tang family's men, a total of 35 people were injured, and 21 lost their ability to fight. The man with a body full of tendon meat and a bearded face was called Chin Shao, also one of the four tigers of the north, on par with Sun Long. His leg skills were extremely famous in the entire north. Even when Sun Long faced him, he didn't dare to say that he was 100% sure of winning. But tonight, he had encountered a tricky enemy. After exchanging more than 20 rounds, he was knocked down by the other party with a sweeping kick. If it wasn't for a few of his men, who fought to the death to stop the man and take him away, I'm afraid that right now, it's a question of whether or not he'll be able to stay alive. Besides Chin Shao, there were quite a few people from other forces that were also here. Two of them, a man and a woman, came next to Chin Shao. Already found out, it's the person in charge of the Tang family, at 11 o'clock or so, he was captured by Sun Long and a kid who came out of a mental hospital. So far the whereabouts are unknown, but he was hit by a dozen knives, if he wasn't treated in time, I'm afraid that the person would be dead by now. These two men and one woman were not from Chun Shao's faction. But nowadays, the Tang family had begun an indiscriminate sweep. Regardless of whether it was the previous faction, or the faction that entered Shanghai City later, all of them were in the ranks of their fight. As a result, the entire Shanghai City, all of the foreign forces, had suffered an unprecedented blow. Chen Shao opened his mouth, Master Lu, and Miss Su sighed how to say? The Southern District is the responsibility of Master Lu and Miss Su, after such a big thing, won't they step in to take care of it? The two men and one woman who came over said with a cold face, how? Just half an hour ago, Master Lu's newly established shopping mall, was burned by a fire, a lot of people have gathered to the second hospital, I'm afraid there's still a melee over there. Speaking of the second hospital, Chen Shao also froze for a moment. If he didn't remember wrongly, that kid with mental illness, his parents, as well as his sister, were inside the second hospital, once the second hospital was lost, then the people inside the hospital, I'm afraid that they would be hit hard like never before. Why don't you let those people, occupy the hospital, now for a mentally ill family member, make the whole city, it's not easy to pour your heart and soul money, the establishment of the bar is so ruined, for nothing I more than 10 million dollars. And inside the hospital, those two old things, as well as his sister. Sister is dead, the kid who came out of the mental hospital will be even more unscrupulous. Indeed. The two men and one woman who walked over, the girl among them said. The four tigers of the north, all of them are things with muscles in their heads, now although they are already fighting with the local forces of Shanghai city, but only on the surface of some small fish and shrimp, the people in the dark have not yet done it. If we really let that kid go and do something crazy, it won't be such a simple situation today. Not to mention that during this period of time, the area around the second hospital is full of our outsider's manpower. I'm afraid that the other party has already tied that kid to us, once that kid loses his restraints, he'll be the tiger that comes down from the mountain. You've all seen this period of time, whether it's the Zhou family or the Wang family, they've deployed quite a lot of manpower, yet they couldn't even trace that kid. Now that the Tang family has also stepped in, that's not comparable to the Zhou family or the Wang family, but what's the result? Until now, not even a single hair has been found. From here, it can be seen that that kid's hiding, as well as attacking and killing aspect alone, is by no means comparable to an ordinary person. His parents can still control him, 
But if his parents die, that's a devil crawling out of hell, you dare to make sure, what will he do? I'm afraid that even the Tang family themselves don't dare to guarantee that they'll be able to live peacefully in the future. Even the two men next to them thought deeply, not to mention the Wang and Zhou families, they had deployed quite a few men during this period of time, but that kid is a god, every time he can avoid all the cameras, as if he was born to be able to sense these. In addition to that, even if that kid entered the hospital in public, that was also silent. By the time they knew about it, the person was already gone. Such a character who was just like a ghost, also suffers from mental illness. Unable to control his emotions, once things get out of hand, it won't be as simple as being injured now. There was no telling how many people would have to die. If it's as menacing as you guys say, why would the Tang family still send people to attack the hospital? The girl rolled her eyes, do you think it's possible that they just felt there were too many outsiders so they wanted to clean up a bit? Before catching that brat, the Tang family wouldn't dare to push too hard, otherwise the dog would jump over the wall, and the Tang family wouldn't be able to withstand it. Chin Xiao frowned, that kid's matter has been over for so long, I still don't know, who actually injured his sister. But the two men and one woman just narrowed their eyes and shook their heads. There are some things that the other side hides too tightly, don't need to think about it, it definitely involves those five people up there, who exactly are involved, we're not too sure. Seeing the matter, it had stalled here. Chen Xiao also has no way, just invested more than 10 million, now blew away. Let him feel incomparable heartache, this is almost all of his belongings, this time is subject to the compulsion of those people above. He had come all the way here, and as a result, he hadn't gained any benefits, but instead, he had driven himself to the brink of extinction. The forces of the outsiders have been swept away, and a large number of small forces that are desperate. It's inevitable that they will fight back to the death next, Chen Xiao, no matter what, you are one of the four tigers in the north, how about we join forces? At least we can survive this storm and get a piece of the pie, otherwise such a big investment will go down the drain again, can you swallow this? Two men and a woman, stated the purpose of this trip. Chen Xiao frowned and took a deep breath, knowing that relying on himself, he would definitely not be able to carry, the next action of the Tang family. Then he nodded with a gloomy face. Since all of you are interested, then I can't refuse, in this half month going forward, perhaps the only way to have a chance of survival is to join forces. The Tang family stepped in. Even Master Lu, the newly opened shopping mall in the southern district, had been burned clean with a single fire. By all rights. This matter was undoubtedly slapping Master Lu's face and forcing the outsiders to give in. But on the contrary, on the top floor of a towering building, in the middle of the luxurious presidential suite, Master Lu was sitting in the hall with a few of the younger generation of the northern families, talking to each other. This time, although the mall was burned, the head of the Tang family, being arrested, had invariably dealt a blow to the prestige of the Tang family. If the Tang family couldn't find the murderer, even if this time, it was an unprecedented blow to the Tang family, even the Shang Hui construction group has become a bullseye for everyone. This was one of the Tang family's sharpest minions. The two dogs, the Wang family and the Zhou family, were nothing in front of Sheng Hui Construction Group. If they could take down Sheng Hui Construction Group, what was this loss? The Tang family has already made their move, Miss Su, and I met an hour ago, everyone should be clear, the reason why the Tang family went crazy this time is because their person in charge of the Sheng Hui Construction Group, was shot with more than a dozen knives, and his whereabouts are still unknown. Master Lu looked at these juniors with a smile on his face. The shopping mall was burned. Not angry at all, but instead full of joy as if there was a good thing that was about to come to the door. These five juniors that came over were all from various regions, the factions that currently had the most momentum. Although they only sent over juniors, it was enough to show their sincerity. I think your elders have also seen that the Tang family's middle stem and outer strength, now even a kid from the mental hospital, and Sun Long can't be caught, such a Tang family, if you can't give an explanation, I'm afraid that the following forces will begin to be centrifuged. Once both sides become suspicious, it's the right time for us to attack the Tang family's industry. Once upon a time in Shanghai City, the local forces were all twisted into a rope and were incredibly xenophobic. If they wanted to come in, get a piece of the pie, pull a piece of meat, it was like a fool's dream. In fact, this time, they originally did not hold any hope. Who knew that Chun Ze had appeared as a variable? With just one person, the entire Shanghai City was pushed into the limelight. At first, it was the Wang family and the Zhou family, so they didn't really care but now even the Tang family was involved. Then there was the head of the Shang Hui construction group, who had been taken away, which was undoubtedly telling others. The Tang family was failing. They might not be able to carry it anymore. If they wanted to survive this maelstrom unscathed, once the Tang family fell, they would have to pick a new force to rely on. As long as they were in disarray, the next thing would be simple. Master Lu, my father told me when he came, everything is at Master Lu's disposal, I brought more than 20 people, all of them are the best within the family. 
their fighting strength is not to be underestimated, it's all at Master Lu's disposal. And our Miao family, as long as Master Lu asked, we are willing to serve as a dog and horse. Our Lu family, we are not vegetarians either, this time the Tang family did go a bit too far, the people under our hands in the Lu family are also full of grievances and suffered heavy losses. Seeing the crowd taking a positive stance, Master Lu couldn't help but laugh out loud. Good, so very good, Tang Tiancheng is already old, the Tang family has been entrenched in Shanghai City for many years, it's time to make way for us. Meanwhile, on the outskirts of Shanghai City, a small road, the black Mercedes-Benz, was sprinting at breakneck speed. A large chunk was dented above the roof of the car. The window glass at the back was also shattered. The wind was whistling and there were many obstacles around. But the person driving the car acted as if he didn't see it. Every time, he was just right and avoided these things. Sitting on the co-pilot's son Long, on the way here also asked clearly, the name of the person behind him. When he heard the word Tang Hao, Sun Long's heart also trembled violently. He had thought about being able to catch a big fish. Yet he hadn't thought that the fish would be this big. Tang Hao, the explicit head of the Tang family. 31 years old, but also the dog head of the Shanghui construction group behind the scenes, once many times without the help of the Tang family, so that the Shanghui construction group, turned into a safe place. More than that, without utilizing the power of the Tang family, he had laid down countless territories for Shanghui Construction Group, which had once flourished in Shanghai City. More importantly, Tang Hao's wife, that is also the Tang family, in the Beijing faction, an important hub, if Tang Hao accident. If something happens to Tang Hao, no matter whether it is Shanghui Construction Group, or the Tang family, or even the following forces, I am afraid that they will all fall into a frenzy. The consequences would be too great. Looking at Tang Hao, whose body was still bleeding continuously, dying and pale, as if he would break at any moment. Sun Long also twitched the corners of his mouth. Elder Brother Chen, why don't we stop the car first, in case this person dies, the consequences are unimaginable. But Chen Ze, however, just glanced back and said in a sullen tone, he can't die for the time being, every time I made a stab, I avoided the vitals, at least for 10 minutes, he can still hang on to his breath. Hearing his words, Sun Long but opened his mouth, now it was unable to die. The same was hanging on to his breath. But after arriving at the destination, without enough medical equipment, could it really be possible to bring this person back? Originally, he did want to capture an existence whose status and position were quite good. Getting more important information, but the problem was when he realized that this person was Tang Hao. Sun Long had some regrets. The others were fine, but Tang Hao involved the interests of the entire Tang family, and similarly touched a taut string in Shanghai City. One careless, playing with fire. Even if he saved his wife and children, I'm afraid it's a problem if he can leave Shanghai City alive. So, deep down, he didn't want Tang Hao to die here. Brother, this person's identity is too heavy. It's easy to press people to the point where they can't breathe. In case they don't deal with it in time and die, that day will really collapse. Chen Zhe still didn't stop the car, he had upgraded all his skills to full level when he was in the mental hospital. Just by glancing at it, he had a general understanding in his mind of the person's injuries. With his ability, even without vital equipment, he could still pull this person out of the ghost. What's more, last time in the abandoned factory, he had bought quite a few medical things, that's why he didn't take it seriously. But the Sun Long next to him was not clear about it, looking at the face in front of him with a cold gaze and almost no emotion, the corner of his mouth twitched violently. It felt as if he was talking to a psychopath, talking about axioms, was talking to a bull. I am afraid that in Chen Zhe's heart, nowadays, he does not even realize how big things are. Subconsciously, Sun Long took out his cell phone, as an outsider. More or less, he had his own channels for obtaining information. Having arrested Tang Hao, he could probably expect the Tang family to be shaken. But when he took his phone and saw the numerous messages inside, he couldn't help but feel his scalp tingle and goosebumps rise. Chaos, chaos. The entire Shanghai city, complete chaos. Book group, 92150755, you are welcome to enter the group female costumes for the author. Inside the cell phone, countless messages. All of them were asking him if Tang Hao was dead or alive now. Only a small part of it, was telling him that nowadays, the outsider forces, were being swept indiscriminately, and nearly 60% of the forces, had suffered damage. Such a large-scale action, even going so far as to push the outsider forces, to the brink of extinction. From here, one could see just how crazy the current Tang clan was. Brother Chen, things may have stabbed the sky. Sun Long's voice trembled. Chen Zhe, who was driving the car, still had a cold gaze, no half-emotional fluctuations on his face, as if he was listening to some trivial matter. Heaven? What was heaven? If those people who hurt his sister are the sky of Shanghai City, then even if it is pierced, so what? They were able to bully his sister. Then he, too, had his own way of making those high and mighty bend down and quietly listen to the grief. If one had to say who brought about the disaster, then Chen Zhe, 
could tell them responsibly. His own sister was the calamity, and his own family was their nightmare. Even Tang Hao in the back had woken up leisurely, with many wounds on his body, still slowly, with blood flowing out. He felt incomparably weak, the pain coming from the wounds made him suck in a breath of cold air, even the slightest movement of his fingers. It was as if the wounds could be tugged, and a fine cold sweat broke out on his forehead. He glanced at the person driving the car, his pupils contracted slightly, remembering the scene where he was pushed onto the verdant stone fence by the river. Thinking of this kid ass almost crazy swing. I feel shuddering, there is a kind of heart stifled, nowhere to talk about the depressing feeling. Because according to the situation at that time, this kid was really wanting to take his life. Of course he did not know. Chen Zhe had already taken control of where he was going to strike the knife. After all, with such a fast speed of the knife, who could tell what this psycho really wanted to do? Release, release me, I can make the Tang family stop. As long as you let me go, the Wang family, the Zhou family, those two boys, I can make them come out to pay for your sister's life. But if I really die, not only you guys, but even your sister and your family, all of them will have to be buried with me. Tang Hao didn't know if the other party could listen. After all, it was probably too small to expect a mental illness to possess rationality. He only knew. The reason why there was still a shackle on this psychotic nowadays was that his parents and his sister were still alive. As long as they didn't catch the sky for a day, they wouldn't dare to push the other party too far. Especially after seeing Chen Zhe's methods today. Even Tang Hao couldn't help but feel a chill. Other people were even worse. With their means, coercion and lure, there are a hundred ways to make those people yield, just commit. Just like the co-pilot Sun Long, one's own casual words could make the other party desperate. But it is biased. Chen Zhe is not a normal person, this is downright crazy, anything is possible to do out. No one dared to bet on whether this guy had any sanity. Originally, Tang Hao, saying these words, wanted to test Chen Zhe, and likewise to let the other party, to know his identity. But Sun Long, who was next to him, knew it was bad when he heard Tang Hao mention Chen Zhe's sister and family. Accompanied by the urgent sound of brakes, a silver-white scalpel touched out silently. Sun Long was so scared that his face turned white, he couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva and pounced over quickly. He blocked Tang Hao's face, followed by a poof. Sun Long's back was immediately cut out. If it wasn't for Sun Long's quick reaction, Tang Hao's throat would have been cut off by now. Tang Hao also didn't expect that the other party would strike without any warning, and even before he could react, the silver-white scalpel had already swept in. Sure enough, he was a madman, he had said so much himself, but he froze and didn't listen. Only heard. He himself had threatened his parents and sister. Brother Chen, lying, calm down, he can't die yet, you still have to ask for more useful information. And those five people behind hurting your sister, they haven't been found yet, have they? Sun Long endured the pain and kept admonishing Chen Zhe, hoping that the other party would regain his senses. Otherwise, once Tang Hao died, then things would really be irreparable. Tang Hao himself was scared to death. The pain in his body was also forgotten, and he grabbed Sun Long in a death grip, you should know the consequences, control this madman, otherwise, if I die, you and your wife and children won't be able to walk out of Shanghai City. Sun Long also hated this person in front of him, but he knew that this person couldn't die. At least not now. He carefully climbed up from Tang Hao's body. Reaching out, he held the silver-white scalpel. It also held Chen Zhe's hand and pressed down a little bit. It's not easy for us to capture and bring back such a person. In case he dies, how are we going to get more information? Brother Chen, be sensible, be sensible, don't be impulsive. Along with Sun Long's exhorting voice, as well as the hand that pressed down slightly harder, Chen Zhe finally glanced coldly at Tang Hao and finally managed to pin the scalpel to his waist. Both Sun Long and Tang Hao were relieved at this moment, and Tang Hao didn't dare to say anything more. He was afraid that if he said a wrong word, he would piss this madman off again. Now he sort of understood that reasoning with a madman could get him killed at any time. Normally when he was in Shanghui Construction Group, he was strategizing, and as long as he was willing, the lives and deaths of countless people were in the palm of his hand. He had taken human nature to the extreme. He was in control of the lives and deaths of countless people. With the power of a single person, he can make Shanghui Construction Group become a famous existence in Shanghai City. It was because of his control of human nature and his own strategic brain. But now, this is such a Shanghui construction group within the top think tank, but now has a kind of deep sense of powerlessness. Once proud of everything, in front of this madman, became useless. Even as long as he dared to say one more sentence, the Sun Long next to him, whether he could stop the other party was a question. Any other person, even the leader of the outsiders, I have a hundred ways to deal with it. But why, in favor of a madman? Tang Hao clenched his teeth. Feeling that his head was in turmoil, he who once had an unrivaled scenery and thought he could face anyone with ease. Even now, his mind was just blank. It was as if the computer had gone down. Sun Long, the co-pilot, smiled bitterly. 
I advise you to say less, last time, the one surnamed Lu, was slashed in the throat because of a single word. Those words of yours, methods, may be useful to me, but for Brother Chen, I advise you to take it easy. The car quickly, drove to the abandoned factory. Chen Zhe took out something again and bandaged Tang Hao's wound. He even stitched up the wound without using anesthetic, even though Tang Hao kept struggling and screaming miserably in the middle. Even though Tang Hao kept struggling and screaming miserably in the middle of the process, Chen Zhe's stitching technique was still fast and steady. Sun Long, who was beside him, watched the corners of his mouth twitch. After everything was done, Tang Hao had already passed out from the pain. Sun Yadon, the driver, the investigator, the mistress, including Sun Long, all subconsciously swallowed their saliva. Life was saved. But the pain that he endured in the middle of the process, just thinking about it makes one's scalp numb. And throughout the process, Chen Zhe seemed to be intentionally or unintentionally, slowing down the speed of the needle. Extremely enjoying this bloody process. They were able to perceive that Chen Zhe, some of the time, would also deliberately turn over the wound. Looking at the blood flowing out from inside. The agitation inside his eyes was vaguely somewhat obscured. Sun Long was even afraid that while sewing up the wound, Chen Zhe would suddenly go to the head and do away with the person. Good thing. During this process, although Chen Zhe was enjoying himself, especially when he saw Tang Hao letting out a miserable scream, it was even more exciting to lick his lips, as if a demon that crawled out from inside hell. But in the end, after all the torture, Tang Hao saved his life. It's not too early now, although this factory is quite far from the city, it's not too safe after all, we've stayed here for too long, and we've left quite a few traces. Looking at the blood in his hand, Chen Zhe took a deep breath of the gory odor that filled the air, revealing his morose white teeth, and said, It's time to change the place. For Chen Zhe's proposal, Sun Long naturally had no problem with it and quickly tied up the man and forced him into the car. They followed the deserted road in front of them and kept moving forward, also after they had gone. Less than an hour later, in the middle of the dark night, many lights were lit up, surrounding the entire dilapidated factory area. More and more people converged here. A figure wearing a black suit, broke into the dilapidated factory. But after searching over and over again, they never found anyone. It wasn't until an old man in his sixties, with a cigar in his mouth, walked in under the respectful gazes of the crowd that people began to come forward to report. Chairman, beside the innermost pillar, a lot of blood was found. There are also broken ropes, as well as a chain used to tie up a dog. It looks like the person should have left. Hearing that the person had left, the old man with a cigar in his mouth, clenching his teeth tightly, those eyes that were already a little red from staying up all night. Even more, a flash of grimness flashed through them. The Tang family side has ordered that if they can't find the person who captured Tang Hao, they'll take our lives to fill them. No matter where they run off to, if you can't find them, don't blame me for being ruthless. Now he was also being pushed. As the first hand of Shenghui Construction Group, he was the first to know that Tang Hao had been captured. At that time, he could already imagine that the Tang family would be enraged by this, but he had never imagined that things had gotten to this point. Not only were the outsiders suffering, but they were also continuously pressurizing him, and if they couldn't find Chen Zhe and save Tang, how? I'm afraid that the Tang family will really take him and sacrifice him to heaven. In the last half a month, incomparably strong outsiders have all begun to bow down under the Tang family's pressure. You should be able to imagine what will happen when the Tang family's wrath descends. In the past, it would have been fine, but this time, there's no way to allow for any mistakes. The old man's voice was sharp and ruthless. The crowd present also felt a shiver run down their spines. It was self-evident how terrifying the Tang family's energy in Shanghai City was. They were all vested interests in Shanghui Construction Group, and if they couldn't show their due role at this time, then the things they had committed were enough to send them all in. In the future, relying on the behemoth that is Shanghui Construction Group to live a life of paper and gold is undoubtedly a fool's dream. Don't worry, Chairman, we'll definitely do our best to save Mr. Tang back. After saying that, the crowd left one after another. Only the old man remained, clenching his teeth. Looking outside at the black clouds that were gradually lifting, as well as the bright moonlight, he took a deep breath. I hope that they will not be impulsive only, the involvement is really too big, nowadays the Tang family. I'm afraid I've already made good, fish death net broken intention. Because not getting an explanation, those people below, I'm afraid it's going to be really chaotic. Being in the center of the storm, He Wu Jing Yang, is also quite helpless. Only thinking about resolving this matter quickly. At least save Tang Hao back, only then would the storm in Shanghai City be able to calm down. Driving along the way. Without realizing it, they arrived at a village that had been deserted for an unknown number of years. Many of the surrounding were houses made of yellow mud bricks. The tops were covered with tiles. Because the age was too long, there were quite a few houses that had collapsed for the most part. The remaining bits and pieces were not enough to shelter from the wind and rain. The good thing was, 
This abandoned village, behind it, there were several large mountains that stretched out, and on the top of the mountains there were a few, red brick houses left behind by the forest rangers. This gave them natural shelter. And so it was. Under Chen Zhe's coercion, all of them came to the mountain, the hidden red brick house. The water pipes here, could still release water. It's just that the appliances are no longer electrified. The door was still good, and with something to hold it up, it could still be used to keep out the wind. But there are a lot of signs around the place, saying watch out for brown bears and beasts and so on. It didn't look too safe. Chen Zhe slowly exhaled a breath. Looking at the still unconscious Tang Hao, he retied the driver, the investigator, Sun Ya Yang, and the mistress. Self-centered toward the mountain, the car inside there are still a lot of, medical bandages, supplies. Must be taken up, otherwise it is too wasteful. But when he came to, that car roof dented Mercedes next. But heard the trunk came bang. Immediately after that, the trunk door opened by itself. Chen Zhe took the silver white scalpel and when he walked next to the trunk, it was then that he saw a 24 or 25 year old woman inside, tied up, with a piece of cloth stuffed in her mouth, trying to speak but only able to make whimpering choking sounds. The woman was extremely beautiful, 24 or 25 years old, but with a mature voluptuousness. The body was concave and convex, a pair of slender jade legs, because of the limited space, sticking to the stomach, bent together. Among the soft watery beautiful eyes, and with a few moments of clarity, saw someone next to her, holding a silver white scalpel. The woman revealed a flash of panic, and as she struggled, there was a tearing sound, and the extremely tight white shirt behind her, split open. Chen Zhe reached out and pulled off the cloth inside the woman's mouth, and the woman finally opened her mouth. Don't, don't kill me, I won't tell this matter out, as long as you let me go home, I can give you money, lots, and lots of money. The woman didn't look like someone who lacked money, a gemstone necklace hung around her neck, it was worth a lot of money. The watch on her wrist also looked extraordinarily exquisite, covered in dense crushed diamonds. Just this piece of rose-colored lady's watch. I'm afraid that it would be worth a hundred thousand upwards. Chen Zhe went forward and loosened the woman's rope. The woman hurriedly climbed out from inside the trunk and said with a pleading face, I know that you must be Tang Hao's people, but you're helping Tang Hao do his job for the same reason of making money. This watch of mine, if you take it and sell it, it's less than two hundred thousand dollars. There's also this gemstone necklace on my neck, it's my cousin's on the auction block, bought at a price of 2,580,000, you take it out and casually offer it for sale, at least you'll be able to get back around a million dollars. The woman's eyes were filled with fear inside, because when Chen Zhe stared at her, it made her feel like she had the illusion of being stared at by a flooding beast. This gaze, it was cold. Cold and extraordinarily frightening. It was like a poisonous snake that would give you a fatal blow at any time. Chen Zhe, however, did not say anything, just from the car, after taking the things down, self-centeredly walked towards the mountain. The woman looked around, and seeing that Chen Zhe didn't care about her, she wanted to turn around and escape. But after wandering around a few times, she realized that this place was just a deserted mountain range, and behind it was a continuous mountain range that couldn't be seen at a glance. In the abandoned village, there was also a large green stone standing, on which the words Poplar Village were clearly carved. She didn't recognize any Poplar Village, but she knew that by herself alone and without food. Wanting to leave from this wilderness is simply a pie in the sky. Looking at it, the sky was now getting darker and darker. A few wolf howls came from the surroundings from time to time. The woman was shivering with fear, and desperately ran towards the hills, towards the few houses that were vaguely lit by fire. Finally after half an hour, she came to the door of the house, the clothes on her body, because she ran too fast, was scraped by the tree branches on the road tattered and torn. One could vaguely see the snow-white skin, and a dozen or so tiny wounds from where the clothes were split. I'm scared alone down there, big brother, can you guys send me back tomorrow morning? I'll give you guys any amount of money you want. The woman stood in the doorway, her hands clasped in front of her own chest, biting her red lips in a dainty manner. The fire was lit inside the room, Sun Long twisted his head to look at the woman, and then looked at Chen Zhe with a strange face, only Chen Zhe did not explain, still roasting the fire inside the room. However, the woman saw Tang Hao, who was tied up in the corner, his body all covered in blood. She couldn't help but let her pupils contract, revealing an unbelievable look. You're not Tang Hao's men. At this time, Sun Long finally understood. The feeling was that this woman, who had been captured by Tang Hao, was in all likelihood locked in the trunk. As a result, when Chen Zhe went down, he found this woman. After all, with that Mercedes, the only place that could hide someone was the trunk. We are Tang Hao's enemies, so we captured him. Sun Long said, and took another compressed cracker from the side, as well as a small bottle of mineral water, and handed it to the woman. The woman heard that it was Tang Hao's enemy, and that Tang Hao was tied up and lying on the ground, and his injuries were not light, and he was still unconscious. Only then did she leisurely breathe a sigh of relief. As long as these two in front of her were not Tang Hao's men, 
then she shouldn't be in too much danger. My name is Ning Miaoshu, can you guys send me back to Shanghai City tomorrow morning, and I'll give you 10 million dollars as a reward for saving my life this time. 10 million dollars? Sun Long was a bit shocked, especially seeing this woman, not even moving her eyelids a bit when she said 10 million dollars. One would know that this 10 million dollars was not even a fart to others. Chen Zhe also turned his head to look at this gorgeous woman, although he had no concept of money. But when he was in the mental hospital, his attending doctor was willing to try to kill him just for half a million dollars. With such a conversion, he knew what the money represented. Going back is impossible, I'm afraid we're being hunted by the entire Shanghai city. Chen Zhe's voice was cold. It did not contain any semblance of emotional color, just like a machine, suffocating people. Especially in this dimly lit environment. The firelight illuminated his face, but his head was hanging low, and there was even an inexplicable sense of urgency, causing the woman to subconsciously gulp. Likewise, they understood what was going on. After all, Tang Hao had been captured by them. The Tang family would definitely be thunderously furious, and the entire Shanghai city would be in the midst of this fiasco, setting off monstrous waves. She really couldn't imagine what kind of guts these two people in front of her had, to dare to capture Tang Hao. Yes, miss, I'm afraid we won't be returning to Shanghai city for a short period of time, at least for three to five days. Sun Long also whispered from the side. With his cell phone, he was still able to contact his men now. For the Shanghai city side of the situation, also know a little, to go back, I'm afraid that only Chen Zhe, have this ability. But today, no matter if it was the Tang family, or Shang Hui construction group, or even the many forces below, they were all watching intently. There was no need to take that risk. Then, then after three to five days, can you guys send me back, and at that time, I'll write you a check for ten million dollars, which can be exchanged at any bank. Chen Zhe glanced at the woman, non-committal. Sun Long didn't say anything either because without Chen Zhe's promise, he didn't dare to guarantee it either. In this silent environment, a long time passed without realizing it. The woman didn't continue to ask questions, and Sun Long didn't say anything either. It just took turns to sleep, and when they got up, they continued to keep watch. Until it was dawn. The crowd ate all the food that was left. Sun Long saw that if he didn't do something, he was afraid that he would have to starve to death here, and got up and said, I'll go back to Shanghai City and ask my men to send out some food, otherwise, we'll have to starve at the next meal. Chen Zhe then picked up, his silver white scalpel. Alone, he went up the mountain. Sun Long was stunned, and immediately understood that Chen Zhe was planning, to go up the mountain by himself to look for food. But this wilderness, surrounded by rolling hills, do not know the field experience of people, want to get some food, how easy. Ning Miaoshu, who was next to her, looked at Sun Long, whose face was full of horizontal meat and hairy, and got up in fear and stood up. Following Chen Zhe's footsteps, she felt that the not-so-young Chen Zhe was more reassuring compared to following Sun Long around. Although Chen Zhe's eyes, which gave her a cold feeling as well, were pure and had no other thoughts. But the Sun Long at the moment, it was impossible to say. Seemingly knowing that Ning Miaoshu was afraid that she would do something untoward, Sun Long was still somewhat speechless. He said to himself that he was still no better than a crazy person. How could anyone think that staying by the side of a madman with bloody methods would be safer than staying by his side? but the people had already gone out. It was not good for him to say anything else, lest he make people think that he was really plotting against them. As for Chen Zhe, holding that silver white scalpel, the footsteps were quick. Without the slightest intention of waiting for anyone, even though Ning Miaoshu, who was following behind, begged bitterly. Chen Zhe still did not turn around. She looked at Chen Zhe, who was like a machine, without half a bit of compassion, was also slightly speechless in her heart, and didn't know what to say. Until the two of them walked to the edge of a lake, Chen Zhe began to undress. Immediately followed by a fluttering sound, jumped into the water. After a minute or so, blood bubbles were seen turning up in the water, followed by Chen Zhe, dragging a catfish that had been stabbed through the head, swimming to the shore. This catfish was at least four or five pounds. It was very big. It was also enough for them to have a lunch. But there were a bit too many of them, and even if they did eat this fish, their next meal would still be unavailable. But soon, she realized she was wrong. On the way back, Chen Zhe caught two more rabbits and a weasel. By the time lunchtime came around, regardless of whether it was her, the four people who were tied up, and Tang Hao, who had just woken up, all of them only got a small amount of food. A whole fish was almost all eaten by Chen Zhe and Sun Long. As for the two rabbits and weasels that were caught, they were cleaned up and made into bacon, obviously the two of them wanted it for dinner. As for the rest of the people, whether or not they had something to eat at night was out of Chen Zhe's consideration. For the next few days, it was Chen Zhe who went into the mountains to look for food. As for Sun Long, he was responsible for interrogating Tang Hao. Although three days had passed, quite a lot of useful information had been asked. But for Chen Zhe, it still wasn't quite satisfactory. That night, Tang Hao was tied above a water pipe. Chen Zhe held a silver white scalpel. 
Silently, he watched Tang Hao for a long time. Whenever they interrogated Tang Hao, when it came to the time about those five people, Tang Hao always kept to himself. No matter what tactics Sun Long used, he could never ask a question. The pent-up anger had long since made Chen Zhe a little manic. Coupled with the fact that he hadn't taken any tranquilizing medication recently, it made this feeling of his intensify. At first, Ning Niaoshu would follow Chen Zhe into the mountains, but after seeing Chen Zhe's almost crazy maneuvers a few times, she was also frightened. That is, two days ago to the afternoon, she never followed Chen Zhe and ran to the mountains again. Now that Sun Long was unexpectedly unable to interrogate him, it would be Chen Zhe's turn to take on the fight himself. That night, agonizing wails, miserable screams, the cries of near despair resounded over the entire mountain field. Birds and beasts flew in fright, and insect songs were extinct. Only Tang Hao's almost pleading voice remained. It echoed in the cold and windy night. Please, please, kill me. As long as it's not about those five people, I can tell you everything. If you have to ask, can you give me a pain in the ass? This was his last plea. The color of being alive was gone from his eyes. His body was streaked with blood, and the many hideous and gruesome wounds made the Tang Hao in front of him look like a stern ghost. Only Chen Zhe, holding the bloodstained scalpel, let out a long sigh of relief. It was as if the tyranny that had been pent up in his heart, it was finally pressed down at this moment. He was enjoying this wonderful process. It was as if he was carefully carving a work of art. Every time he laid down the knife, it was just right, making it hurt to the extreme, yet not causing too much damage. He would also carefully bandage Tang Hao's wounds. Stopping the outflow of blood, he continued that inhumane torture. Whether it was the tied-up Sun Yao Yang, the driver, the investigator, the mistress, or Sun Long and Ning Niaoshu, who were watching from the side, were all made to shudder by this method. Throughout the process, Ning Niaoshu and the kidnapped mistress, and even had an emotional breakdown. If not for Sun Long's deadlocked door, maybe something else would have happened. The sky is hazy, collecting the tyrannical Chen Ze in his heart. Surveying the bruised Tang Hao, he seemed to be satisfied with his masterpiece. Tang Hao also fainted in the midst of the agonizing pain, although he didn't gain much useful information. But from among Tang Hao's babbling, he got an important piece of information. That is, among the five people who hurt his sister and were hiding, there was one person with an extraordinarily delicate voice, just like a girl, but it is a genuine male. And, from among that confusing tone, he also got a name called Heavenly Palace. It seemed to be an entertainment club, but he asked Sun Long and, there was Ning Miaoshu next to him. Yet no one knew where exactly this heavenly room was? The voice is delicate, but it's a man. The heavenly room, there must be unknown clues inside. Chen Ze searched for these two important pieces of information. It didn't wake Tang Hao up and continue the torture. Because he knew that fine waters flowed, the current Tang Hao, his body had already reached the edge of collapse. Continuing would only chase Tang Hao's will. After all, after last night's events, the current Tang Hao could be said to be bent on death. But on the contrary, right now, Chen Zhe didn't want him to die anymore. I'm going back to Shanghai City. Chen Zhe's voice fell. Ning Miaoshu, who was next to him, revealed a look of inexplicable surprise. Bring, bring me back, I can pay any price. And, and my father has already stood on the wrong side, it's even more impossible to turn back now. Otherwise, Tang Hao wouldn't have tried to get me killed. As long as you let me go back, I can help you, after all, an enemy's enemy is a friend. Ning Miaoshu revealed a flash of expectation in her eyes. Just as she had said, although she was a member of the Beijing faction, but the interior of the Beijing faction was equally full of struggles. Some had sided with the Tang family, some with the outsiders, and their Ning family, they were on the side of the outsiders, wanting to tear the entire Shanghai city's local forces apart so that they could get a piece of the pie. Because of this, when she and her own old man came to Shanghai city on the second day, she was arrested while she was out. According to Tang Hao's original idea, I'm afraid that he wanted to use himself to coerce his dad, but unfortunately, he ran into Chen Zhe, which led to the loss of all plans. Even the mistress who was tied up inside the corner seemed to remember something, are you? Miss Ning? I said looking at you earlier, why do you look so familiar, are you Ning Lei's daughter? Seeing that the tied up mistress recognized herself, Ning Miaoshu hurriedly nodded her head, I am Ning Lei's daughter, and have long since been at loggerheads with the Tang family, water and fire are incompatible. When my father sided with the outsiders, it was, in fact, impossible to walk on the same path as the Tang family. It's like the second hospital, why are there so many outsiders around, guarding the perimeter of the hospital all the time? It's because, they know that, with the situation today, someone needs to muddy the water, and muddy water is the only way to catch fish. They, the Ning family, were not considered a big family amongst the Beijing faction, but they were able to obtain a lot of information amongst the Beijing faction, and were even able to provide Chen Zhe with great help. This power could be in no way weaker than the outsiders of the current northern faction. 
Hearing Ning Yaoshu's words, even Sun who next to him couldn't help but whiten his eyes. If it really was as that mistress had said, the Ning Miaoshu in front of her was Ning Lei's daughter. Then the next thing would be a good thing. The way they gained information, the help they would be able to get would be far superior to what they were getting now. Brother Chen, wait a moment, I'll find someone to ask. Sun Long wasn't idle either. Utilizing his own information channels. Started inquiring about Ning Miaoshu's situation. After about half an hour, someone finally sent him a piece of information. Opening it up, he took a look. Inside was none other than Ning Miaoshu's picture. Moreover, Ning Lei, the helmsman of the Ning family, had also issued a reward of over $18 million. Whoever was able to bring back his daughter would be able to obtain the $18 million plus. Brother Chen, there can be no mistake. I've just gotten someone to investigate Ning Miaoshu's situation, and his father did indeed side with the outsiders, and was swept up by the Tang clan, and now has suffered heavy losses as well. But they're just the pawns of the Peking faction, if there are more people from the Peking faction, entering Shanghai city, Ning Miaoshu's role will be much bigger. Having received Sun Long's affirmation, Chen Zhe frowned and pondered for a while before finally nodding. Taking Ning Miaoshu with him, he went down the mountain. Meanwhile, near the hospital, it was already unknown how many times the melee had gone on, and from time to time, there were people with bandaged wounds, entering and exiting from the hospital. A man who looked to be in his thirties or forties, with extraordinarily thick legs and arms, viciously spat on the ground. Damn, at this rate, when will it end? Several more people came out from behind, clenching their teeth, their faces vaguely bruised. One of them, a country-faced man with a big back comb, had a white bandage wrapped around his back. The Tang family has gone crazy, just in the past few days, the manpower attacking the hospital has appeared in at least a hundred waves. The surroundings are all filled with people from the Tang family, eyeing it intently, even those affiliated forces below the Tang family are starting to make moves. Talking about this matter, it was as if they were blocking a breath in their hearts. It was extremely depressing. Although during this period, Master Lu, Miss Su, had organized many counterattacks, the effect was far worse than expected. It seemed like there was some big shot, giving orders behind the scenes. I'm afraid tonight will be another bloody battle, I really don't know, what is the point of guarding this broken hospital? The big back found a step and sat down, took out a pack of cigarettes, when he opened the package, but found that there was not a single one left inside. Still that man with extraordinarily thick shoulders and thighs, handed him one, and only then did the two sit down together on the steps and lit the cigarette in their hands. It was now nearly 7 o'clock, and there were faint, riotous sounds coming from all around. When they ran to the roof of the building and watched the situation below. Even more, they couldn't help but take a deep breath. Only to see a team and a team of figures in black suits, as if they don't want to die, holding steel pipes in their hands, beating people on sight. The forces of the surrounding outsiders were routed and the two surrounding streets were about to lose their defense. Fuck, here we go again, these Tang family people, besides keeping an eye on the hospital, don't they have anything else to do? The man with thick arms and legs revealed a hideous bitter smile, the kid who came out of the madhouse, and Sun Long, hid too well. During this period of time, the Tang family has sent out, not hundreds, but a thousand people, yet they couldn't find any news. Tang Hao is not only the head of the Tang family, but also the second in command of the Sheng Hui Construction Group, and the Beijing faction's associate. Not to mention the Tang family themselves, I'm afraid the woman who married Tang Hao is also in a hurry, the current Tang family is facing multiple pressures, there's no way for them not to go crazy. The two were nearing the end of their discussion, and they knew that things were irreparable. Now that the outsiders had suffered heavy losses, and everyone was fighting to the death, if they just quit Shanghai city, they were afraid that they would be unwilling in their own hearts. After all, this time over, many people have poured their own family assets, the result is not only the loss of troops, even the investment is lost if they just run back. In the future, in the north, they wouldn't have the face to stay. I don't know, how many more days can we hold out? The two hurriedly went downstairs and began to gather their men, intermingling with those oncoming enemies. On the outskirts of Shanghai city, two figures, were traveling through the streets and alleys, they were none other than Shen Zhe, Ning Miaoshu. The reason why they arrived at night, only returned to Shanghai city. It was still because around, there were too many people from the Tang family. Almost at every intersection, one could see people letting off steam. If it wasn't for Chen Zhe, I'm afraid they wouldn't have been able to walk here. Just drop me off at the front, my dad is at the Yellow Sea Club, I'll help you find out what's going on in the heavenly world. Contact by cell phone when the time comes. Seeing the building in the distance, Ning Miaoshu's heart, which she had been carrying, finally dropped. Looking at Chen Zhe's angular face standing in front of her, under the moonlight, she suddenly also felt much softer. Not as cold as earlier. Of course this was only her feeling after the robbery, Chen Zhe had never changed from beginning to end, he was still that cold and suffocating madman. After sending Ning Miaoshu here, Chen Zhe left on his own, did not even look at Ning Miaoshu, this in the eyes of others, the beauty to the heart of the charm of the special thing. 
but it could not arouse the interest of a madman. Perhaps for Chen Zhe, this woman in front of him was not as interesting as a small animal struggling to die. Citing Chen Zhe's departing figure, Ning Naoshu did not stay idle and dashed towards the Yellow Sea building. Ten minutes later, accompanied by the sound of thumping on the door, the presidential suite on the top floor of the Yellow Sea building, the door opened. It was a man who bore a slight resemblance to Ning Miaoshu. He was around 45 or 16 years old, and because he hadn't rested for a long time, his eyes had become a little red, and his appearance was slightly haggard. When he saw his own daughter, appearing in front of him unharmed, the man's eyes widened. Ning Lei, who had been considered some kind of big shot in the past, was as happy as a child at this moment. Miaoshu, you, you're fine? How did you come back? It's good to be back, it's good to be back. Ning Lei had actually known for a long time that his daughter's disappearance was definitely related to the Tang family. Therefore, in the midst of this period of strife, he had left no stone unturned, and the battles over at the hospital could see the Ning family's figure from time to time. It was to retaliate against the Tang family, especially since Tang Hao was captured by his own daughter, it made him, even more, anxious as an ant on a hot pan. Entering the room, Ning Miaoshu told her father what had happened to her in the past few days. Hearing that his own daughter had been following that madman around, Ning Lei also secretly sweated for his own daughter. About that lunatic, you don't say anything to anyone, if anyone asks, you just say that you were left halfway across the country and ran back on your own when you woke up. Now there was something about Chen Zhe. It was really too sensitive. The slightest carelessness would involve his own daughter in the middle of a huge whirlpool, sometimes even he, the father, appeared to be powerless. Never expose the agreement between you and that madman, although now your father, on the side of the outsiders, but if you bear the wrath of the Tang family alone, it is still a bit stretched. He knew that the outsiders might not, necessarily, be united either. They likewise had their own ideas, especially during this period of time, which exposed a lot of problems. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been beaten so badly by the Tang clan. To put it bluntly, it was just a scattering of sand. It looked like they had a lot of people and a lot of input, but when it came down to it, just a single Tang family left them at a loss. Pops, don't worry, I'm not a fool, I definitely won't expose it. But there's still one thing that I have to ask you for, we got an address named Heavenly Man's Room from Tang Hao's mouth, can you help me check it out? Heavenly Man's Room? Ning Lei also froze. It seemed like he had vaguely heard of this place, but he couldn't recall it for a moment. It was only known. The people who gather in that place are all socialites. The identities of each of them are extremely uncomplicated, and the water in that thing is too deep. If you're not careful, it's easy to let yourself be attacked from the back. He could also only pat his daughter's shoulder and comfort it. You take a good rest first, don't worry about the next thing. The heavenly world, dad will help you inquire, but that kind of place, are all local forces, gathering for fun, hidden also very deep, afraid that it will not be investigated for a while. After saying that, he arranged a room for his daughter next door, and returned to make a phone call on his own, and didn't know what he said half an hour later. Ning Lei himself went out with a frown on his face. Saying goodbye to Ning Miaoshu, Chen Zhe, alone, came to a bow shooting club. And according to his own touch, he formed a composite crossbow, an arrow capsule, and strapped it to his body. When he reappeared, but he had already arrived outside the Zhou family's villa. In the surroundings, all of them were all kinds of bodyguards wearing black suits. They were neat and orderly, and their arrangement had its own pattern, and were vastly different from ordinary bodyguards. With just one look, Chen Zhe understood. These bodyguards, I'm afraid, were specially found by the Tang family. Not only is there here, I'm afraid that Zhou Shushua, where the hospital is located, will be tightly controlled. However, if he wanted to rely on this number of people to make him retreat, then the Tang family, the Wang family, and the Zhou family, would be underestimating him too much. Chen Zhe, who narrowed his eyes, from a hidden corner, scaled the wall and entered it. After putting down several more bodyguards and confirming that no one was around to see them, he slowly climbed up from the edge of the window, towards the third floor. Third floor. Brightly lit, the inside was opulent. Expensive porcelain everywhere, placed everywhere, these blue and white porcelain, placed outside, a random piece will have to dozens of millions. The more expensive ones, tens of millions were not impossible. That blanket made up of animal skins. Squatting on it was a girl in a white dress. Next to her was Wang Dong, holding a long whip in his hand. A big, uninhibited smile gradually surfaced on his face, vaguely revealing a few more moments of sickness and madness. Ever since a piece of his scalp was cut off by Chen Zhe, he had almost become the joke of the entire celebrity circle. Whenever he looked in the mirror, he looked at the ugly appearance of his head. He could not wait to scalp Chen Zhe, and his sister, all of them. The girl kneeling in the middle of the animal fur blanket, if you looked closely, you could actually see some of Chen Xiaomei's outline. In other words, Wang Dong specially spent a lot of money to find a girl who resembled Chen Zhe's sister. It is specifically trapped in the third floor to torture, play with. 
Especially when he saw the girl, with bloodstained wounds showing on her body, it was as if he had returned, to that high and mighty sun. Die for me! Wang Dong let out a hysterical roar. The whip in his hand lashed over again and again. The girl covered her face and let out a scream. Tears could not stop falling from her eyes as she was beaten to the point of having her skin split open. She did receive a sum of money, but that was only because her mother lied to her, saying that by coming over to clean the house of a rich man, she would be able to receive a large amount of payment for his brother's education. As it turned out, when she came here, she realized it wasn't that at all. But by the time she wanted to leave, yet it was already too late. From Wang Dong's mouth, she even learned that her mother received $3 million from others, sold her to others for half a year. Either carry this half a year, or return the three million, but she remembered. Mother had already used the three million dollars and bought a house, paid her brother's tuition, and then bought a brand new small car for her dad. The rest of the money had long since been put away somewhere. Where was it possible to give the three million back? So, in the face of Wang Dong's severe beating, she could only redden her eyes and silently. She could only bear it silently with red eyes. When Wang Dong was beating her vigorously, not far away from the foot of the staircase, there was a sound of metal hitting the wall. Thud, thud, thud. The crisp muffled sound made Wang Dong's brows furrowed in an instant, but once he thought of the heavily guarded surroundings. Even though the Wang family's villa was very large, there were 50 well-trained bodyguards, so not even a fly could come in. Then they also put down the heart they were carrying. What are you thinking about? Even if that kid has three heads and six arms, he can't possibly enter my Wang family's villa in a dignified manner. He raised the whip in his hand and was about to fall again. However, he heard a whooshing sound. A flashing arrow with a cold light, accompanied by a piercing air-breaking sound, blossomed into a bright red blood flower in his palm. A strong sense of pain. It caused Wang Dong to let out a heart-rending scream. Immediately afterward, he twisted his head. Then he saw a person with a duck-tongued cap, with his head hanging low. A figure holding a silver-white scalpel. When that person raised his head, he slowly cracked his mouth, revealing a hideous, not half a bit of emotional color, as if it was a devilish face. Wang Dong's heart trembled violently, not caring about the pain in his hands, wanted to turn his head to escape, but what greeted him was another cold arrow, only hearing a plop, his calf was shot through and nailed to the ground dead, blood stained the animal skin blanket red, every time he pulled his leg, he could feel the suffocating pain, Wang Dong raised his head in horror, looking in front of him, Chen Zhe's pupils that were vaguely showing a few hints of excitement, could be described as fearful to the extreme, Chen Zhe, however, did not stop himself, Walking over to the side of Wang Dong, squatting down, looking at the left leg that was constantly having blood gushing out. Stretching out his hand, he grabbed the tail of the arrow and stirred it with force. Wang Dong instantly let out a pig-killing scream, but this was not the end. Chen Zhe again from the table not far away. Picking up a pair of scissors, he returned to Wang Dong's side, grabbed the other party's hand and pressed it onto his ring finger. If I don't remember wrongly, my sister was beaten by you guys, to the point of comminuted fracture of her ring finger. Mentioning this matter, Wang Dong's eyes widened. His teeth couldn't stop chattering as he said with a trembling and fearful voice. No, don't, I've already had a piece of my scalp shaved off by you, if I break another finger, I'll really become an invalid. What about my sister? Wang Dong opened his mouth and was about to say how can your sister be compared to me? Your sister is just an animal raised by a few poor people. I am the high and mighty crown prince of the Wang group. Just the assets within my family, converted into money, can block the river mouth, what is your sister? can compare with me, but I thought about it, these words can't be said out, otherwise he will feel worse than death, as long as you don't cut my fingers, what you say I promise you, money, our family has a lot of money, the porcelain antiques around, what you fancy just take, if you want to get out of anger, the girl next to him, his family charged me 3 million dollars, what do you want to do, but for Wang Dong's words, Chen Zhe, however, just shook his head, his wrist slightly pressed down, click, the entire finger was cut off, and blood gushed out, in the middle of the entire room, a strong smell of blood filled the room. Wang Dong was in pain and just wanted to open his mouth, Chen Zhe raised the scissors and ruthlessly stabbed down at his throat. He didn't even have time to make a sound. The inside of his mouth was already filled with blood. Such a tactic. It made the girl who was crouching on the ground next to him, so scared that her face turned pale and her pupils contracted, as if she had seen the most terrifying thing in her life. Tears swirled in her eyes, she could not stop shaking her head, her voice choked with panic. Fearing that the next second Wang Dong died, it would be her turn. Likewise, Wang Dong's screams quickly alarmed the bodyguards below. In a few short minutes, accompanied by a burst of commotion, more and more people began to rush upwards from the stairway. Chen Zhe picked up the silver white scalpel. He blocked the stairway, looking at the crowd that was densely rushing upwards. 
Without the slightest bit of fear, the people rushing up were all equally red-eyed. The person they desperately protect, right under their noses, was tortured to the bone. If this were to spread out, they wouldn't have to work in the industry. But when they rushed to the stairway, wanting to put down this maniac on the third floor, a silver-white sheen with a sharp reflection slashed the throat of the bodyguard who rushed up. This bodyguard covered his throat stump with both hands, blood spilling out from his fingertips. Everyone stopped in their tracks, but after half a moment of silence, they all rushed up again. However, these people were all somewhat capable though. All of them were the best among the bodyguards. But that was only for ordinary people. Facing such people, Shen Zhe didn't even need to take them seriously. The silver-white scalpel was like a butterfly dancing on the tip of a knife. It lightly slashed through the middle of each and every one of their crevices. It was always able to find a fatal place so that once these people were stabbed, they would never be able to get up again. Among them, there were also people with steel pipes and electric shock batons, but it was clear that the figure was right in front of them, but they were always able to do so at the crucial moment. Dodging their smashing sticks, that kind of keen perception of danger made everyone unable to resist gulping. Without realizing it, the stairway entrance was already piled with densely packed corpses. Bright red blood stained the sides of the stairs. It was as if red paint had been repainted. Again, it was like a purgatory on earth, causing everyone to stop, on the floor of the second floor. You looked at me, I looked at you, no one dared to step forward. Shen Zhe disdainfully turned back, grabbed Wang Dong on the ground, and picked up the broken ring finger from the side, and started down the stairs on his own. As he approached step by step, the bodyguards were also retreating step by step. The silver white scalpel was still dripping blood. Wang Dong opened his mouth and tried to speak, but what came out inside his mouth was still blood and water in addition to blood and water. He could not utter a single word, and could only look at those bodyguards in terror, praying, hoping that they could come up to save him. But with the fight at the stairway just now, looking at this in front of them, the figure of a man who can't be defeated, even if they have more guts. In the case of knowing that they must die, but one of them did not dare to go forward, and could only watch Wang Dong, being dragged away by Chen Zhe little by little, until he disappeared into the mangrove outside. Only then did a security guard in a brown suit take out his cell phone, capture the surrounding video, and send it to the people over there. Immediately after, there was a burst of angry roaring, slamming cups, smashing things, hysterical roars of rage. But everything, all to no avail, that person came back, he was reckless and broke into the Zhou family's villa, under the guard of fifty well-trained bodyguards. He took Wang Dong in a dignified manner. He blocked the stairway. One person, beating the fifty bodyguards. Bodyguards, not daring to come forward. In the middle of the staircase, there were still piles of figures collapsed on the ground, alive or dead. This kid, he wanted to use his actions to tell everyone, even if they arrange more manpower, how endless their means are. He, Chen Ze, could just as easily go unnoticed, or even brightly, enter a place and rip their heads off. Check for me, find out where that brat lives. Also, have everyone from the Shang Hui Construction Group go to the neighborhood of Zhou Shushua's hospital. I have a vague premonition that after Wang Dong, it should be Zhou Shushua. It was only after the voiceover there ended that the brown-suited bodyguard who had just sent the video revealed a few bitter looks. What the others had just seen was just a video. A video of the end of the battle. No one knew better than them how terrifying that teenager standing at the very top, holding a silver-white scalpel, with a vacant gaze that resembled a machine, gave off. It was as if it was a mountain that could never be crossed. A chasm that countless people could not fill. That person represents the abyss, he seems to have climbed out of hell, venting his boundless anger, using the most cruel means to tell everyone. He would definitely find out everything, and would definitely bring out those who hurt his sister, one by one. Earlier it was Zhou Shushua, followed by Tang Hao, and now even Wang Dong is in trouble. If we continue to investigate, won't we have to implicate even those people? Grunt. The brown-suited bodyguard's voice trembled a little. He didn't know who those people were either. But even Tang Tianshang, the helmsman of the Tang family, would only show fear and timidity amongst his gaze when he mentioned the words of those people. Even the Tang family, which was the strongest force in Shanghai City, didn't dare to mention the names of those people. It can be imagined. What exactly did those people represent? That was the sky of Shanghai City. A world that no one can touch. If they were to pursue it, they would have to face the risk of the sky collapsing into the earth. But that kid happens to be a crazy person, even if the sky falls, he wouldn't necessarily care, right? The brown-suited bodyguard sighed. Those weren't things he should care about anymore. Nor was it his position to ask about it. He began to have the battlefield cleaned up, clearing out the stairway, all of them. Those bodyguards who had their throats slashed. It was almost hopeless. The others, there were still some, although they were injured, but as long as they were sent to the hospital in time. But there is still a chance of survival. 
Whenever he saw those, breathtakingly precise wounds, the man in the brown suit, would feel his scalp faintly tingle. Everyone, the wounds that can be seen on the body, none of them are superfluous. This kind of technique, coupled with the speed of the knife, using a short scalpel, it's really unimaginable that the speed of this person's knife has reached what level, he thought to himself. With his strength, within the bodyguard industry, he was considered to be at the top of the list. Before he encountered Chen Ze, he also felt that it was the bystanders who were exaggerating, but only when he was confronted head on. Only then will you realize how scary this person really is. Subconsciously gulping, he pulled a corpse to the side, and on the faces of the bodyguards around him, some sadness appeared. After all, they were only out to make money, not dead soldiers bred by the Tang family, and now inside the ranks, there were massive casualties, even to the extent that they were at this point. They also couldn't help but feel a different emotion rising in their hearts. Boss, even though the Tang family is giving a lot of money, that kid is a madman. If the Tang family had a way, it wouldn't have dragged on until now, without even touching a single hair on that kid's head. This money, boss, don't you feel burnt holding it? A person whose strength was not inferior to the man in the brown suit slowly walked out. The Tang family had given them more than $3,700,000, just to want to buy the lives of 50 of them. It was undoubtedly a fool's errand. The man in the brown suit opened his mouth, and surprisingly, he was somewhat unable to refute it, more than 3,700,000. Although it was a lot of money, as long as they worked a little harder, they could still earn it in 3 to 5 years. At first, the Tang family gave them this money, just hired them for a month, but nowadays, but all of them couldn't help but feel the desire to back out. After all, this money is divided down, equally spread to the head of each bodyguard, even if a lot of people died, it's only 100,000 or so. Let me think about this matter first, and I will give you an answer tomorrow. The man in the brown suit sighed. If they backed out of the mission for no reason. In the bodyguards industry, they would be equal to carrying a stigma, and in the future, it would be difficult to receive a mission. Three more, requesting for recommendation, monthly votes, and catch-up reading. Old Town. An old abandoned bridge, two couples, holding hands came to the neighborhood. The surrounding moonlight sprinkled on top of the river, flooded with a bit of wave light, and as if pulling the white moon into the water, extraordinarily disorienting. Perhaps it is because of this environment. Let holding hands of small couples. Cannot help it, have to put the face close. Looking at the kiss on. But suddenly, was interrupted by hysterical screams. The boys on the left, only feel a soft legs, almost did not fall to the ground. When they went to check the situation around them. Indeed, there was only the darkness of the night, with not a single bit of light to be seen. This was originally a small venue for dating. The place that was chosen was also a place where no one was. Just now, the sound of ghosts crying like wolves, frightening them to the point of numbness, the boys hurriedly pulled their girlfriends. Quick, hurry up and go, I always feel like there's something dirty nearby. The girl was also scared a bit. Following her boyfriend, she quickly left this old bridge. After another 10 minutes or so, the miserable screams came again. Underneath the old bridge, right next to the river, a figure lying on the ground, bloodstained. Yet a ring finger was uniquely missing. The person who let out a miserable scream was none other than Wang Dong who had just been caught out, his eyes fearful to the extreme. Yet there was a figure wearing a duck tongue cap and holding a silver white scalpel, standing not far away. With his back to the moonlight, he could not clearly see what expression was on that face, but his hands that were vaguely trembling a bit due to his excitement, made the Wang Dong in front of him, even more afraid. No, don't, I beg you, let go, let me go, I'll go kowtow to your sister. As long as you don't kill me, I can do anything for you. Chen Ze crouched down beside him. Those cold and excited eyes. Looked Wang Dong up and down. I won't kill you, but I have methods that are more enjoyable than death. After saying this, Chen Ze took the scalpel and gestured up and down a few times at Wang Dong in front of him. Then satisfied, he tied Wang Dong's hands with a rope. Accompanied by a loud, hysterical scream. Near the old bridge. Not even a cat dared to approach. It was unknown how long had passed. Chen Ze, who cut through Wang Dong's skin little by little, heard the other party's voice gradually become hoarse. Immediately after that, it seemed as if he was somewhat unable to carry on. The gaze that looked at Chen Ze was filled with fear, as if what he saw was not a person. Rather, it was a stern ghost that had crawled out from inside hell. No longer able to endure those torments that bordered on madness. There was no more hope for life in Wang Dong's eyes. He violently rolled over and rolled into the river. As for Chen Ze, he looked at Wang Dong who sank into the river a little bit and disappeared. He shook his head in disappointment. Compared to Tang Hao, Wang Dong was much worse. At least Tang Hao was tortured for the whole night. He didn't tell the information of those five people. But what about Wang Dong? In just over two hours, he threw himself into the river. After doing all this, he silently hid in the middle of the night. Soon arriving, the wine group's building. 
even though there were quite a few people guarding around. But compared to the Wang family's villa, the bodyguards here were somewhat less. With his skills, however it took 10 minutes, he had already arrived at the chairman's office. The whole building had already turned off the lights long ago, and no one could be seen inside, he sat in the chairman's office, on top of that bench, from his pocket, took out the cut finger, threw it in front of the desktop not far away. At the same time was thrown out, there is a, Wang Dong hanging on the neck of the silver white necklace. Only then, as if no one was there, did he sleep here with his eyes closed. When he woke up again, it was already almost dawn. Yawning. From the drawer outside, he rummaged through another employee hang tag and wore it around his neck. In the employee lounge, there were still quite a few work uniforms to be seen. Change into a random set. He received a breakfast in the cafeteria. There were gradually more people around. But no one realized that in their company, there was one more outsider. Waiting until he had eaten his fill. He also didn't forget to smooth a bottle of drink. Put it into his pocket. Until around 10.40, there was a terrified scream from upstairs. Clearly the voice of an older man. Immediately after that, the entire building was in chaos. Chen Zhe opened his drink, took a sip, and slowly began to walk outside. To his face, the elevator was opened and a group of aggressive people walked out, followed by a man around 40 years old, holding a broken finger in his hand, and a silver white necklace, his body couldn't stop trembling. Next to him was a woman who kept crying, probably about 34 or 35 years old woman. From time to time, she whispered a few words next to the old man. The old man's face became even darker. Chen Zhe, who was sipping his drink while walking into the elevator, didn't even take them seriously. The two parties staggered past each other, but by the time they walked out a few dozen meters, the old man suddenly stopped in his tracks, turning back to the elevator, shouting to the person next to him, call up the surveillance, immediately call up all the surveillance, with his order. In the surveillance room, the scene from last night immediately appeared. It was also seen. The teenager who wore a duck tongue cap and entered the chairman's office, after he came in. As if nothing happened, he threw something, onto the table. Crossing his legs, he slept on the sofa where the chairman rested for the night. The next morning, following the surveillance, they again saw this kid take a work permit and change his clothes in the staff lounge. Ran to the cafeteria, followed the many employees, and ate. Before leaving, he didn't forget to take a bottle of drink. Followed down the chairman of the board of directors, staggered. Preferred not to have half a change of expression. Just like that, he left the wine group. Seeing this scene, the old man was so angry that he punched the computer. Only a bang was heard. The computer screen sparked in all directions, startling the people next to him. It was clear that the top of his fist had become dripping with blood because of the glass shards. But the old man acted as if he didn't feel it. Pulled his hand back. The 34 or 35 year old woman next to him, hurriedly had someone bring in a medical kit and began to bandage the old man. Whenever he recalled, that kid, as if nothing had happened, slept inside his office for the night, leaving behind his son's necklace and broken finger. Even ate breakfast in their company, took drinks, and left in front of him. He then felt like his lungs were about to explode with anger. Half a dozen times later, his hand gripped his chest in death. His eyes rolled white and he fainted. The people around him, were stunned, rushed to drive the chairman to the hospital. Only the 34 or 35 year old woman was left. Covering her face, she cried non-stop in the monitoring room. The man's words were still echoing in her head. If you hadn't spoiled your son like this, would he have ended up like this? If you have to distinguish between right and wrong, it's that you shouldn't protect him so much every time. The woman's voice was a little choked, but her mouth murmured. He's my son, what's wrong with me spoiling him a little? Besides, every time, aren't you still running to the school in ashes and wiping your son's ass? Today, just as the old woman mumbled, the door opened again. This time what walked in? It was two imposing figures. Both of them were dressed in leisure suits, one black and one white, with cigars in their mouths and cold gazes, giving off a feeling that was somewhat unusual, just by walking in, the temperature inside dropped quite a bit. When seeing these two people, the old woman who was still talking to herself, suddenly widened his eyes, a few sentences of simple conversation, the old woman left in a hurry. The two people who came in, looked at each other, and then looked at the not far away, was broken computer, greeted the people outside to change a monitor, viewed the surveillance. Half an hour or so, the man in the white leisure suit, the corner of his mouth began to rise. Pointing at Chen Zhe inside the computer screen, he did not mince words of praise. This kid can, just with this mentality, he can surpass 90% of your Tang family. The bearded man in the black leisure suit seemed to somewhat disagree with his words and said with a cold snort. You're growing others' ambition and destroying your own, not to mention, the Wang family is our lackey no matter what. Wang Datong's son, right under our noses, was taken away in a dignified manner. 
That kid even had the audacity to run to the Wang group openly and honestly, placing the necklace and severed finger in the chairman's office. From here, we can see how audacious this kid is. If we let him continue, he might do something again. But the man in the white leisure suit just flicked the ashes of the cigarette between his fingers. With a face full of disdain, he said, if it wasn't for those few little bastards who went too far, could things have gotten to this point? Oomph, they went too far, but it's not something you can discuss. Also, recognize your own identity, you're just a punching bag that the Tang family found. The other party's words. It made the man in the white leisure suit laugh instead of being angry. Senior brother, ah, uh, senior brother, if you guys are capable of solving it, why did you have to pay such a big price to invite me here? What's wrong with me scolding them a few times? You don't even look at what they've done all these years? If it wasn't for the fact that I need something like what the Tang family has on hand, do you really think I would help you? Also, since you guys made someone's sister like this, you should be prepared to be avenged. It's all come to this, there's no need to put on that smelly face of yours, if I'm not happy, I'll turn my head and leave. After saying that, the man in the white leisure suit got up. With a face full of disdain, he was about to walk outside. Inside, the man in black clothes, clenched his teeth, clearly furious inside. Yet, he could only moderate his tone. Senior brother, since we've all come, why bother? Everyone is just doing it for their own interests, in the end, it's just a different path to take. Even though there was no recognition for this passage, the man in white still looked back at the other party. In silence, he snorted and left. Only the man in black clothes remained, flicking the cigar in his hand towards the wall. There was a poof. Fire splashed out, and his face was also bloomy at this moment. Obviously couldn't figure it out either. Originally it was just a trivial matter. Why is it a big deal now? Just based on a madman who came out of a mental hospital? It seems that the local forces in Shanghai City have really slacked off over the years. When this is over, it's time to knock on the door, those things that don't know how to die. These two events were undoubtedly heavy blows for the Tang family, as well as the affiliated forces below. After all, what they were facing was not an outsider like that, an existence that was easy to bully. Rather, it was a madman who was so godlike that he could take their heads at any time. He was able to take Wang Dong. From the Zhou family villa, from in front of 50 well-trained bodyguards. He was able to take their lives while they were sleeping. He was able to silently, enter the Wang group and place the severed finger, the necklace, on Wang Datong's desktop. It would be able to rip off their son's head. Delivered to them, therefore, when the news was received. The many forces affiliated with the Tang family could be said to be heartbroken and scared out of their wits. Unlike the Tang family, and the local forces of Shanghai City. These two events, however, gave all the outsiders, a stimulant. In the clubhouse that Master Lu had just bought to, a figure in his fifties or sixties, holding red wine inside his hand, gleefully tapped the table in front of him. Good, good, this kid did a great job. Not only did he take care of that kid from the Wang family, he also ran to the Wang group with honor, slept in, and had breakfast on the way. It was simply a beautiful job. Ever since Chen Zhe left last time, the two lapdogs under the Tang family's hand, Wang Datong and Zhou Bu Wei, acted as the vanguard of the crackdown on the outsiders, and didn't know how many outsiders had been mutilated, as well as the strongholds that they had worked so hard to build up. Originally, they had planned to wait until the Tang family revealed the cracks themselves, but instead of waiting, Instead, they almost drove themselves to the brink. Things didn't go in the right direction. Started to get more and more intense, looking at the further so, sooner or later to be finished when. But suddenly came such a good news. Wang Datong's son is dead, and people are even running to their Wang group, flaunting their power, but they can't do anything about it. After this incident, it will undoubtedly be a fatal blow for Wang Datong. Recently, they will definitely let go of their manpower to track down Chen Zhe's whereabouts, and their attention to us will relax a little bit. But having pushed us to this point, things definitely won't simply end. He placed in his hand, the cup with red wine, placed it on the table, looked towards the opposite side, wearing a red evening gown, bright and charming MS. Su, said leisurely. Take this Wang family to start, Miss Su think how. Being looked at by Master Lu, Miss Su didn't have the slightest intention of being shy, but instead let out a giggle. It made the two big meows in front of her look a bit heavenly. Master Lu has opened his mouth and I was also burned down a restaurant, so naturally it can't end easily. Wang Datong has indeed been a bit unscrupulous lately with the support of the Tang family, so let's just give them a little lesson. With Miss Su's approval, Master Lu also let out an unrestrained smile, taking out his own cell phone and sending several text messages. A few moments later, quite a few people came in amongst the room. Master Lu explained some more things. The people who came in heavily clasped their fists and glanced at Ms. Su who was next to them, she also said. When the matter is accomplished, not just the benefits that Master Lu promised you, I will privately pay for it and give each of you a million dollars as a settlement. 
With Master Lu and I here, I guarantee that you guys will be able to leave Shanghai City safely. Although the outsiders now, the situation is not optimistic, but the ability to protect a few people was still there. Otherwise, the Tang clan wouldn't have fought for so long and not even taken down the second hospital. It wasn't because, there was a constant stream of power supplemented by them behind the scenes, otherwise, with the few crooked people in the second hospital, I'm afraid that they would have fought it all long ago. Many thanks to Master Lu, many thanks to Miss Su. The few people who received the assurance silently left the room. Only Master Lu and Miss Su remained, raising the red wine in their hands and gently touching them together. Cheers! Cheers! Five more, more than 11,300 words, Mod Feelings typewriter machine have to go out to forage for food, begging for recommendation votes, monthly votes, chase reading, cannot carry, a meal does not eat hungry, slip also. Leaving the Wang group, Chen Zhe went to the second hospital, confirming that his parents and sister are safe. And card inside, but also inexplicably more than a few million dollars after, Chen Zhe is not in charge. Instead, he wore a set of white coats that he didn't know where to get, and stood at the entrance of the ward. After quietly watching for a long time, he was about to leave, but was stopped by someone. The one who walked towards her was none other than M.S. Su, who was wearing a red evening gown and had a charming smile on her face. Because Chen Zhe did not hide himself too much when he came in, he also knew that the second hospital today was the land of outsiders. He also did not need to be as formal as he was outside. When he entered the second hospital, the news had already reached Miss Su's ears. Therefore, Miss Su rushed over at the first opportunity and happened to be at the entrance of the ward and saw, silently gazing at the ward, Chen Zhe. Mr. Chen, nice to see you. Although she knew that Chen Zhe was a madman, but since the last time she had seen Chen Zhe in Nanjianku, she knew that although this madman was obstinate in his actions and extremely difficult to communicate, but had his own redeeming qualities and was not impossible to talk to. Facing this strange woman who came face to face, if it was an ordinary person, under the enchanting and beautiful figure of M.S. Su, I am afraid that it would have long produced a mind that should not have. But what Chen Zhe saw was as if it was a white bone, his eyes lingered for no more than a second before he put his hands in his pockets and walked past M.S. Su. The moment the two brushed against each other, M.S. Su smiled, an extraordinarily charming smile, a pair of watery eyes narrowed into a crescent moon, and an intriguing look appeared on her clean, white face. Mr. Chen has done two big things in a row, nowadays, outside, there are people chasing Mr. Chen everywhere, why not rest in the hospital for a night? After some time, when it's calmer, then leave the hospital. Speaking of which, we've also prepared a big gift for Mr. Chen, what exactly is it? I believe Mr. Chen will soon know. But M.S. Su's words did not cause any fluctuation within Chen Zhe's heart, the pace of his feet, did not stop for half a second, and waited until M.S. Su finished her words. The person had already walked away. The few people who were following M.S. Su's side. Seeing Chen Zhe with such an attitude, their faces were inevitably a bit upset. But when they thought that the other party was a madman himself, this emotion was then collected. After all, if you expect a madman to talk to you about human feelings, you might as well expect a sow to fall into a tree. M.S. Su, this kid who came out from inside the madhouse, although he has excellent hands, he's obviously not someone who's easy to control. As the saying goes, too strong is easy to break, it seems a bit ridiculous to place all the bets on him. Where did Miss Su not know that? But right now, they didn't have too good a choice. There was only one breakthrough, unless they could find, a better substitute. Otherwise, they could only be beaten out of Shanghai City by the Tang family. Although he's a madman, he's done, what all outsiders can't do. He was able to make, the entire Shanghai City, chaotic, he was able to keep the Tang family, Zhou family, and Wang family, busy. Ever since Wang Datong's son died, ever since that kid went to the Wang group's big building, don't you guys feel that the pressure exerted on us outsiders is starting to become less? Hearing M.S. Su's words. The others, although they were still a bit dissatisfied with Chen Zhe, they were still a bit dissatisfied. But they silently nodded their heads, because what M.S. Su said was the truth. Because of these things that Chen Zhe had done, the Tang family was starting to get distracted. The Zhou family, the Wang family, these two mad dogs, were no longer just staring at them, instead, they began to spread their manpower out, going around to look for Chen Zhe's whereabouts. But this person was too secretive. Secretive to the point that, even the Tang family, the Zhou family Wang family, even together, cannot find half a clue. Furthermore, the fact that he was able to walk into the hospital openly and honestly proves that he is also clear that we outsiders are helping him. With the clear knowledge that both sides are not enemies, he definitely won't stand against us. When this sword is used well, our plan to dismantle the local forces will be able to be implemented perfectly. So saying, the crowd couldn't refute it anymore and could only accept it gladly. By the time Chen Zhe left the hospital and disappeared into the vast streets, the time was almost four in the afternoon. 
By the time he reappeared, he had already arrived near the Yellow Sea Club. A woman wearing a light blue skirt with a delicate, plump and sexy figure walked down from above with quick steps, holding an envelope inside her hand. This person was precisely Ning Miaoshu, after going back, although Pops told her not to care about anything. But from the old dad's face, she vaguely saw that her old dad must know something. And because of this, when Pops left, she entered Pops' room and found quite a few things, among which, there were the clues that Chen Zhe wanted. I've transcribed all the news about the heavenly palace inside the envelope. But that place, it's only open once every week, the locations are different, and the people who guard it, are more than imagined, those who are able to enter it, are all the powerful characters in Shanghai City. The status and position of each one of them is extraordinary, if you really want to go over there, I advise you to be prepared. In addition to what was inside the envelope, she had also inquired that the Tang family, as well as other powers, had invited quite a few experts outside. In the past, there weren't many bodyguards who could fight within Shanghai City. The ones with top hands were even counted on one hand. But today was different. Especially since Wang Datong's son died outside, and Shen Zhe had a breakfast at the Wang Group in a bright and honorable manner. It was even more so that many of the higher-ups began to worry about their own lives. Because of this, on the road, a bizarre piece of information appeared in a short period of time. That is, as long as you have the ability, the capacity, and dare to lay down your life, the Tang family will dare to pay the price you want. Whether you want money, or a woman, or something else, as long as you want it, the Tang family can take it out. So much so, quite a few fierce men with great skill entered within Shanghai City one after another. Shen Zhe, you have to think clearly. Previously, in Shanghai City, there were only two forces, local and foreign, but now, it has become a mix of fish and dragons, and quite a few outlaws have entered it under the call of the Tang family. If you really want to head to the Heavenly Palace, it's highly likely that you'll be attacked from the back, and the consequences will be unimaginable. Handing the envelope in her hand, she handed it over to Chen Zhe. Although Ning Miaoshu was somewhat afraid of Chen Zhe from the bottom of her heart, in the end, she was also her savior. She didn't want anything to happen to Chen Zhe, and Chen Zhe could do a lot of things that could also reduce the pressure on her father. A lot of things can be done slowly, not necessarily too hasty. Chen Zhe received the envelope, but only opened it to take a look, inside there is the address of the heavenly world, as well as the rules of entry. More importantly, now from the heavenly world, open again time, there are two days or so. Two days later, at 7 o'clock in the evening, one could go to the designated location and enter the heavenly room. Thanks for the stuff. Chen Zhe put the envelope into his pocket and turned to leave. Looking at this back, Ning Miaoshu opened her mouth, always feeling vaguely uneasy in her heart. She dared to make a guarantee that this time, the opening of the heavenly world would inevitably be accompanied by ambushes, as well as experts from all walks of life gathering, and whether or not she could go in alive was a question. Not to mention when leaving, once deeply surrounded, even with monstrous skills, there was only one way to die. I hope he'll be alright. Ning Miaoshu shook her head and returned to the Yellow Sea Clubhouse, and the surroundings quieted down once again. The night was beautiful. However, in this bustling city, one could not see a sky full of stars, only the surrounding permeable lights reflected the red lights here. Chen Zhe followed the path and came to the neighborhood of the bar street, the same alley as last time. He saw again, in the back of the kitchen washing dishes Gu Jiajia. The dim light fell on the young girl's clear face, and a few strands of hair fell from her ears, adding a little beauty. Together with the fact that today's Gu Jiajia deliberately wore earrings, crystal clear feeling, compared to before, even more soft and beautiful. It seemed to notice that someone had been looking at herself. Gu Jiajia raised her head and met Chen Zhe's cold eyes, but she was not as scared as before. Nowadays, Chen Zhe was wearing a white coat. His hands were always in his pockets, and he actually looked like a doctor. Gu Jiajia was somewhat surprised, looking up and down. Quickly shaking her head again, she dismissed the thought in her mind. How could a crazy person become a doctor? In case he went crazy on the way to surgery, wouldn't he be putting the patient's life at risk? I'm afraid there wasn't any hospital that would let a madman be the attending doctor. Last time, thank you. Gu Jiajia was the first to open her mouth, her voice was crisp and clear, like a wind chime gently ringing, paired with the movement of ruffling her hair. The playfulness of a young girl was displayed in all its splendor, but the door was opened at this time. A slightly obese figure with a bandaged face walked out. Gu Jiajia, today's basin wasn't washed clean, another customer has complained. I'm telling you, if this happens again, at the end of the month, I'll have to deduct your money. Since the last time he was beaten up, losing a large sum of money, the fat-headed boss started, being all over the place with his employees, wanting to get that money back from the employees. Gu Jiajia, the best bully, became the target of his daily beatings. Gu Jiajia could guarantee that there was absolutely nothing wrong with the dishes she washed, especially the day before yesterday, after being scolded once. She washed the dishes with extra care. As a result it was also a lot more tiring than usual. 
but it was under such circumstances, it was still deliberately made difficult by the other party. As a result, Gu Jiajia could already predict that next month's salary, again, would be a large sum of money less, just when the majestic, obese restaurant owner, pointing at Gu Jiajia, he still wanted to say something, but there is a pair of big hands, silently grabbed the clothes behind his back, nearly 200 pounds of weight, but like a dead dog, without half the ability to resist, was pulled towards the depths of the alley. The obese boss turned around in shock and saw a face, which he couldn't even dream of imagining. It was the same madman who had previously beaten him to the point where his head was bleeding and miserable. He also thought about revenge. Even went to a bar street to find many friends. But every time he came to a critical moment, remembering Chen Zhe's sick, maniacal, tyrannical face, he would always involuntarily tremble with fear. In the end, he still gave up, that crazy idea. But when this person, appeared in front of him again, the obese boss panicked, alarmed, an inexplicable emotion that enveloped above the heart. Big, big brother. You, are you short of money again? What money, you directly say ah, how much I give still not, this time you cannot hit me. The obese boss revealed a pandering smile, only begging Chen Zhe to let go of himself. But in the face of his pleas, Chen Zhe just shook his head. Money, I have. Just, itchy hands. Hands, hands itchy? Don't, don't ah. The obese boss cried out, followed by a pig-killing squeal in the dark corner. Gu Jiajia, who was beside the dishwashing basin, saw that the boss, who had been so ferocious to himself in the past, was like a lamb in front of Chen Zhe. She also unconsciously snorted out a laugh. The screams continued for almost 10 minutes. The employees inside the restaurant also came out quite a bit. But none of them were willing to come forward to help. Without him, this boss was too harsh. They had long been complaining, and there were already quite a few people who were resigning. In this situation, who would go up to help that pig-like iron rooster? Unless they were brain dead. Ten minutes passed. The obese boss limped out. The wounds on his face had increased quite a bit. The bandages that hadn't been removed earlier were scattered all over his body, looking miserable. Vaguely able to see that there was blood spilling out from the wounds. However, the obese boss didn't even dare to say a word more. With a slightly crying voice, his mouth, which had been knocked askew, said, Big, big brother, next time you have itchy hands, can you change someone else? If we continue to fight like this, we have to die. And you do not have a light hand, if not for the meat, I'm afraid it would have been killed by you. None of what he said was a lie. The person who dragged him deep into the alley. As if his head was not normal, the punches he threw were all aimed at death. He couldn't wait to hit in the vitals, and with the experience of the last time, when he was hit this time, his head swayed even more. Dodged a lot of deadly punches. It was equally clear that the person who hit himself was, in all likelihood, a madman. He looked again at Gu Jiajia who was not far away. It always felt like, when he came out earlier, Gu Jiajia was talking to that person. But he wasn't quite sure if it was Gu Jiajia or not. But the person in the white coat behind him had disappeared long ago, and even if he turned back to look for it and ask, the person wouldn't necessarily say. Disappeared too fast. It was the same as the clothes that grabbed his back earlier. God's ghost, he didn't even notice someone approaching, and he was already picked up. Right, just picked up. His weight of 200 pounds, the other party lifted his clothes, the fabric was almost torn. But he lifted him in hard. This Nima. A hand can pick up 200 pounds of things. How much strength must it be? Plus, they were in a bar street. They knew more or less about what was going on outside. In particular, the crown prince of the Wang group, Wang Dong, was dead. That was the little bully of the bar street. An existence that no one dared to mess with. But now, not even the body was found. It's better to keep a low profile lately, there are too many strong people coming, if one is not careful and offends the wrong person, how will I lose my little life I don't even know, he always felt. These two beatings of his own were definitely related to Gu Jiajia. It was just that he couldn't find any evidence, plus the existence of that person. He didn't dare to give Gu Jiajia a hard time. He just glanced at Gu Jiajia as he passed by. Then he said to the employees around him, I, I still have to go to the hospital, the restaurant is in your hands, and also, recently the city has been too chaotic, many outlaws have appeared, don't say anything about me being beaten up, otherwise you lose your lives as small, implicate me, don't blame me for turning the other cheek, said the limping hotel boss, driving their own broken Volkswagen, rushed to the direction of the hospital, do not dare to have half a stop, fear that the kid did not get angry, and came back to beat him one more time, catch up in the draft, up 11 o'clock, please recommend votes, monthly votes, chase red. This time, Shen Zhe did not go to the residence of the mother and daughter, because he knows, often run to a place to live, will always be found. Solely, found a room that hadn't been rented out yet, climbed in from outside the window. The surrounding was dark, but it didn't affect Shen Zhe's vision. He climbed onto the bed and fell asleep. 
By the time he waited until midnight, there were quite a few noisy sounds coming from outside. Chen Zhe frowned, climbed up, and realized that in the middle of the city village, there were quite a few more, wearing black suits, wandering around. There was no doubt about it. It must be the Tang family's people. In order to capture Chen Zhe, they had gone to great lengths, spending an unknown amount of money. They even issued a bounty on the road. Anyone who can provide Chen Zhe's whereabouts. If the location is accurate and the person is captured, they can get a reward of $100,000. If the location is accurate and the person is caught, the amount of money that can be obtained will range from $1 million to $10 million. From here, it could be seen just how desperate the Tang family's heart was to capture Chen Zhe. Even the village in the city is covered with the Tang family's eyes, it seems that these people have become impatient. Ordinary bodyguards were nothing to him. However, amongst the crowd, a bearded man in a white leisure suit caught Chen Zhe's attention. This person's footsteps were very steady, very heavy, and his body released a subtle aura, just by intuition. Let Chen Zhe decided that this person was definitely not to be underestimated. At the same time, it also made Chen Zhe an inexplicable agitation rose in his heart. He wanted to fight with this man. From inside the room, he found a cup. At the bearded man below, who was wearing a white leisure suit, he threw it down. Only a thud was heard. The cup exploded at the man's feet. Shards of glass, all over the floor. When the man raised his head, he met Chen Zhe's cold and provocative eyes. Chen Zhe then climbed out of the window. Just stood on the roof of the building, like he was quietly waiting for something. The white leisure suit bearded man, who was obviously also stunned, immediately read Chen Zhe's meaning. Only to see the white leisure suit, full of scruffy bearded man, cracking his own mouth. This kid is really arrogant and cocky. Although during this period of time, he has done quite a few things that have given the Tang family a headache. But it's too much confidence in himself. As someone who had been personally invited over by the Tang family. He had also paid a small price. And even that arrogant character of his senior brother could only lower his voice in front of him. From here, it could be seen that his strength was far above that of his senior brother. Otherwise, there was no need to travel a thousand miles and invite himself over. Since you want to fight, then I'll just accompany you in a fight. The man in the white leisure suit with a face full of scruff twisted his neck. Took out his cell phone again. Edited a text message on it. Senior brother, I've already found the person. Get the stuff ready, half an hour later, I'll personally bring someone over to pick it up. The one who received the text message over there was none other than Emotion Dome, who was wearing a black leisure suit, hearing that his senior brother had already found the person. A few moments of ecstasy appeared on his face. Before, his senior brother was ready to leave. It was only after being persuaded by him that he came back. Coincidentally, just now, they received news. It said that someone had seen Shun Zhe in the city village. Although it was only a suspicion, they still brought a large number of manpower. Started searching around for traces of Chen Zhe. As a result, it came less than an hour later. Their own senior brother found the target. Just sent a message to his own senior brother. But there was no reply. He could only take out his walkie-talkie quickly. Opening his mouth, he inquired to the other bodyguards. Where is my senior brother now? Send the coordinates inside the group, I'll be right over. After saying these words. Sure enough, someone sent the coordinates to the cell phone group. He immediately led his men to the east side of the city village. When he arrived at the designated location. However, he had long since lost sight of his senior brother, as well as the figure of his target, while the surrounding bodyguards pointed to the roof of the building. Just now, Mr. Mo's senior brother has climbed up. Later on, our people followed up, but we couldn't find the two of them, and now we don't know where they are, but for sure, ran in that direction towards the river. Hearing the bodyguard manager's words, Emojindong furrowed his brows, and after a long time, he stretched them out again. With my senior brother's ability, even if it's me, I can only retreat, even if it's a gold medal fighter under Tang Hao's hand, he can only end up with a grudge. In a single combat situation, that kid should not be able to win, and it can even be said that he is bound to lose. Now all we have to do is wait quietly, for my senior brother's good news. After saying these words, Emojindong began to lead his men, searching along the river and setting up defenses. Once his senior brother won the fight, send the positioning over. They immediately went over to arrest him. The surrounding bodyguards, seeing the Tang family's martial sect experts, all said so. Coupled with the fact that they didn't have to risk their lives, they all sighed in relief. In fact, such a battle was not something they could participate in. Just like the Wang family villa, there were 50 people. As a result, in front of others, they weren't even a fart. The Tang family martial sect was a group of experts that the Tang family had specialized in spending a lot of money to raise. On weekdays, they don't have to do anything, they can enjoy everything that the others can't reach. But once something happens, these people have to give up their lives to help the Tang family. It was also because of the existence of this group of people, so that the Tang family so far, 
are the surface of the leading boss of Shanghai City. The white-shirt bearded man, who was very fast, kept a death grip on Chen Zhe's back. The two shuttled above the roof of a building. Even if they straddled five or six meters, below them were tall buildings 10,000 feet high, they would still jump over them without hesitation. It was unknown how long they had been running. Chen Zhe suddenly stopped himself, slightly bent over, and took a fighting stance. The white-shirt bearded man, even more so, stood still and arched his hand and said, Under the south fist, Mo Yuan Chan, I come to teach you. The words fell. With his feet propped back, his speed was like that of a descending tiger, pouncing. Although earlier in the words, there were many disparaging remarks about Chen Zhe. But when it came to the real battle, Mo Yuan Shan did not take it lightly. As the saying goes, a lion fights a rabbit with all its might. This was the case with Mo Yuan Shan. Chen Zhe also had no intention of underestimating his opponent. His boxing style was chaotic. Or rather, there was no boxing style at all. Whether he just got out of the mental hospital. Or maybe it was now. The way he fought, he actually relied on instinct for the most part. Both men threw their punches very quickly. One could barely see the shadow of the other's fist. Mo Yuanshan even used his fists and feet together, his side leg kick was blocked by Chen Zhe, and he started to roll over and back up. Feet against the concrete pier behind him, bullying his body forward, another dynasty double flying kick, kicking at Chen Zhe's head. This kick would have landed on the body of a bystander. Even if it was his senior brother, he would have to be scrapped on the spot. But it was Chen Zhe, who violently threw his arm and smashed it on his waist, only to hear a miserable scream. Mo Yuan Shan landed heavily on the ground. All of the previous words of mouth high, at this moment, were turned into a shocked and dismayed, because throughout the fight, he felt that his opponent's attacks were chaotic. It was so chaotic that one couldn't see it at all. It was different from the experts he usually fought against, who had their moves in order, and couldn't even capture the pattern of the other party's punches. Just like when you drink and guess, some people like to guess 4 points, some people like to guess 7 points, most have a fixed way. Also like Cohen boxing, as long as a pose, pull his black and white double shoulder straps, you know, he is going to play basketball. Favor these, weekday experience, in front of Chen Zhe did not have half the role. So much so that, at the end of the fight, Mo Yuan Shan's face was black. After the double flying leg and being smashed in the waist by the throwing arm, Mo Yuan Shan began to be at a disadvantage, and was even forced to the edge of the fence many times. He almost fell from a 10 meter high building. Just thinking about it made his scalp feel numb. The heart is jumping in fear, seeing that it was impossible to fight. Mo Yuan Shan clenched his teeth and decided to leave the place first. He used his back kick to force the other party back, turned around and wanted to jump to another building, but the result was that he had not even jumped yet. He was grabbed by Chin Zhe's pants leg. With a quacking sound, the body lost its balance. If it wasn't for the pants leg being grabbed by Chin Zhe, I'm afraid that I would have fallen long ago. Mo Jindong and the others who had just rushed over below. It just felt like there was something that was falling from a great height. His steps went backward, only to see a black cell phone. With a bang, it smashed on the ground and was split into pieces. Mo Jindong's eyebrows jumped violently, taking a look upwards. He immediately sucked in a mouthful of cool air, only to see that on weekdays, even his senior brother, who could only retreat, was hanging from the roof of the fourth floor. Head down, if this fell. Even if he was a practitioner, he could only end up with a grudge. Moreover, Mo Yuan Shan is the leader of the Majia Fist, and was personally invited back by himself. If something went wrong with his senior brother, he really didn't dare to imagine what kind of anger he would have to endure. I'm afraid that before long, even he, would have to be pushed to the brink of extinction. Brother, say what you have to say properly. As long as you pull my senior brother up, from now on, I will no longer ask, about the Tang family's affairs. But if you throw someone down, it won't just be the Tang family that will be offended, and the consequences will by no means be something you can anticipate. But the words just fell. Chen Zhe, who was upstairs, cracked a morose smile. The hand gripping his pants leg loosened. Mo Yuan Shan's eyes widened, and that calm face gradually revealed a few moments of fear. How could he have never imagined that he, the leader of the Mo family, would actually fold here? To know. During these ten years, the Mo family had poured almost all of their heart and soul into him. Once he died, it was really unimaginable what kind of storm would be set off. But even if they said more, it seems that they have also forgotten. This young man who doesn't look too old in front of me. In fact, he came out of a madhouse. If he would consider the consequences, he wouldn't be insane. With the moment the hand was released, everyone's heart was in their throat, even emotion dong below, his pupils could not stop contracting. An inexplicable sense of fear enveloped his entire body. It was already possible to imagine what kind of wrath he, the untalented Mo family disciple, was going to suffer. Once he was grudged by the Mo family, 
It would be tantamount to offending the entire Southern Fist faction, and not even the Tang family would dare to say that they could save him. Senior brother, Emo Zhendong's voice was a little hoarse. Darting forward, he rushed over. The surrounding people saw this scene and also all gathered around, some people, even, broke the glass of the store next to them and pulled out quite a few paper boxes containing clothes. Falling Emo Yuan Shan in midair, hanging to a dozen wires, accompanied by crackling sounds. The huge feeling of falling down, and then smashed on the air conditioning outside machine. It only felt a dizzying sensation in the brain, and after being electrocuted, scorched black skin, came a sharp pain. When he came back to his senses, he saw his senior brother close at hand, reaching out his hand in a deadly attempt to grab him, but immediately after, there was another muffled sound, as well as the sound of bones breaking in his hand. When landing, if it wasn't for those paper boxes containing clothes, the consequences would have been unimaginable, even if a lot of force was removed midway. But Emo Yuanshan still felt that the bones in his body broke several, especially the left thigh, smashed on the air conditioning unit. Now has long been drenched in blood, there are also a lot of smashed on the wires, bursting sparks, was burned black clothes and skin, clothes on the plastic, cotton wool, and his burnt flesh and blood stuck together, a glance, miserable. It carried a strong stench of burning. The senior brother who caught Mo Yuanshan's hands were directly broken, and it was questionable whether he could recover or not. With a face full of gloom, he raised his head and looked above, at Chen Zhe, who had his face lowered, and said spitefully, I, Emo Zhendong, will not share the same fate as you, but what responded to him, but it was only a pair of pupils that were cold to the extreme, there was also a slight hint of contempt in his eyes, in his heart, he said, even your senior brother, Mo Yuanshan, is not my opponent, not to mention that he is now smashed and broke his hands, still do not share the same heaven with yourself, or first worry about worry, will not be their own revenge, cannot live out of Shanghai City. Tough words are put down. They were also escorted by many bodyguards, rushed to the hospital, and notified the Tang family at the first time. In response, the Tang family also paid extra attention. They were well aware of the power of the Southern School's MO family. Nowadays, Shanghai City was already in a state of turmoil. It had become a chaotic mess. If they offended the Southern School MO family again, it would be unwise to create such a big enemy for nothing. You guys take him to the best hospital, hire the best doctors, and all the expenses will be paid by our Tang family. An order was given. The surrounding hospitals, all moved. A large number of experts in surgery, orthopedics, and neurology gathered at Jinhui Private Hospital. They were afraid that the whole process would go wrong. After a series of checks, Mo Yuanshan was saved. A total of seven bones were broken. There was also a large area of burns, and the leg was even more severely injured. The muscles were all cut open in large chunks. As for senior brother Mo Zhendong, his hands were broken. Although they were reattached, they were left with serious aftereffects. Lying in the middle of the hospital room, his gaze was incomparably dull. The force that he was proud of. Now, he has been deprived of all of it. It also meant that from now on, he could no longer be reused by the Tang family. Even if he could still stay in the Tang family, he would still be an invalid. Mo Yuan Shan on the other hospital bed. Seeing his senior brother's worries, he said with a face full of bitterness, it's normal to be beaten to death when your skills are inferior. Although you have problems with your hands, don't forget that our MO family fist, the legs are even more powerful. Tomorrow you will return to the MO family with me, as long as you practice your leg skills hard, you will eventually have a day of reckoning. MO Yuanshan's words made his eyes a little red. Yet, he also knew. Elder brother was telling the truth. According to the current situation, those paper and gold lives would eventually leave him staying in Shanghai City. But a mirror, sooner or later, there would be a day when he would be abandoned by the Tang family. Instead of that, it would be better to return to the Mo family with his senior brother. At least this time, he had spared his hands and kept his senior brother's credit, which would prevent him from being ostracized by the division. And with this incident, his senior brother would no longer be prejudiced against him, as long as he could practice his leg techniques. He would have the day to return to Shanghai City. Since senior brother has opened his mouth, then tomorrow, I am willing to return to the south with senior brother, together. As for the fist recipe that the Tang family mentioned, they have promised to bring it to us before we leave. The reason why Mo Yuan Shan had come here. It was because the Tang family had promised a boxing manual. It was able to make up for the shortcomings of the Mo family's fist. Since the mission was completed, that kid who came out from inside the madhouse. Whether he lives or dies, it's no longer any of their business. Besides, once tonight's events are rumored, I'm afraid it'll cause another uproar. I'm afraid it will cause another uproar. Mo Yuanshan raised his head and looked out into the dark night. It always feels like, there is going to be a change in the sky. Actually, getting out of this vortex earlier may not be a bad thing. For chapters begging for recommendation votes, monthly votes, and catch-up reading.
Can't top it, please allow me to play a game, have dinner, and then be a pile driver for Emota's feelings. Who is Mo Yuan Shan? That is one of the leaders of the younger generation of the Southern School. Strength in the entire South, are considered a well-known existence. Once, with his own strength, he had suppressed many factions in the South and couldn't even lift his head up. But it was such a person. On an uneventful night, he was beaten and fell from the fourth floor, nearly losing his life. When this matter came out, it could be described as a storm, and even the Tang family's top management was shaken one after another. Inside a certain mysterious manner, Tang Tianqing sat on top of the main seat. The following was divided into two factions. They were the people from the big house and the side branches. Each side didn't look at the other very favorably. Now they were all gathered in this huge manner. You look at me, I look at you, wide-eyed and small-eyed. Grandpa, let's see, why don't we increase the bounty? If one Mo Yuanshan doesn't work, then two, three, ten, beat him until he's convinced. Right now, the people in the big house generally wanted to provoke Shen Zhe and get Tang Hao killed. Because Tang Hao, likewise, was a prestigious youngster inside the side branch, making achievements that ranked among the top in the entire Tang family. Even because of Tang Hao's existence, the side branch vaguely has the capital to fight against the main house. Who can stand it? But the people of the side branch, their attitudes were diametrically opposite. Grandpa, we absolutely agree with forcing that kid who came out of the madhouse to die. But Tang Hao is a rare young genius of the family, and his contribution is indelible. If we see death, won't it chill the hearts of the family's descendants? As a result, the words of the side branch had just finished. A slightly acerbic looking woman in the main room pulled on her sable coat. With a face full of disdain, she said. Now that Tang Hao's life and death are uncertain, how much power have we all utilized, and what's the result? Where we are now is not even known yet. Wasting so much manpower and resources just for his mere Tang Hao. Even if we give the person up now, then our Tang family is still being merciful. At one time, Tang Hao had laid down quite a lot. In the huge Tang family, it occupied absolute power. If they could get their hands on these rights. In their case, there was no harm but a hundred benefits. They would even be able to knock the side branches down again. They will be able to regain power in the main house. But all these years, none of the young men in the main house are good enough. Nor was it enough to support the huge family business. Otherwise, it wouldn't have come to this. Seeing that the people from the side branches still want to say something? Tang Tianqing at the head of the table, his whiskers and hair all white on his face, revealed a few moments of unruffled authority. He chided. What time is it, still thinking of competing for power? The people above, have given a death order, that kid must die. Nowadays, our Tang family, seems to be brilliant, but the generation of young people is not as good as the generation. They've long since lost their resolute and decisive spirit. If this continues, it's questionable whether the Tang family will be able to sit at the top. His gaze swept coldly across, and all those present lowered their heads. That snarky woman draped in a mink coat seemed to still be a bit unwilling, but she was pulled back by his man. Just keep your mouth shut, if you make grandpa angry again, I'll have your bank card. To be stopped. Hearing this, the woman in the mink coat also gritted her teeth and chose not to say anything more. In her heart, however, there were a few moments of irritation. No matter how much more, they were the main house. Back then, it wasn't even a problem that great grandpa had dabbled with so many women from the outside. Later on, he even brought his illegitimate children back to the Tang family. Now, after such a long time, their bloodline is not as pure as theirs. Could it be that grandpa was willing to hand over the huge family business to these side branches? Mo Yuanshan's strength is considered a ranked figure in the entire south. But yet he lost to a kid who came out of a madhouse, I always feel that inside, there are unknown secrets. Finally, the big brother of the main room, Tang Yun walked out. His brows were furrowed together in a deadly frown, and in the underworld, it seemed like there was a big invisible hand that was driving all of this. Even the control of the side branch, Tang Bing, a mature woman around 30 years of age, walked into the center. I sent someone to investigate everything in the mental hospital. It's impossible for that kid to have learned this skill for no reason, but what makes it strange is that no matter what means we used, what we investigated was a flat, blank sheet of paper. This matter. There was no way for them not to be careful, because the further they investigated, the more they felt that it was full of weirdness. They never believed that anything was self-taught. What's more? Inside the mental hospital, there weren't even many books that could be read. You expect a person who has been locked up in a mental hospital for four years, not seeing the sun, to suddenly learn a great martial art, isn't that purely a joke? Even Tang Tianchang, who was on the first position, unconsciously frowned and did not stretch for a long time. This matter is indeed quite odd, I've also read all the information on that kid, there's no difference between him and an ordinary mental illness. But on the contrary, even the leader of the southern faction like Mo Yuanshan could only drink hatred in the northwest. Without a Taishan Beta-like master personally teaching him, 
it's simply impossible to reach such an achievement. The Mo family's great-grandfather, Mo Beha, was powerful enough, wasn't he? Now at the age of 115, he was once called a great master of boxing, teaching out disciples all over the north and south of the Yangtze River. Mo Yuan Shan was such a boxing expert, personally teaching out his disciples. But the result? Facing a madman, who has not even heard of his name, but lost so completely. If there was no foul play in there, who would believe it? Tang Tiancheng propped his temples with his hands, his fingertips gently kneading, and he didn't know how long it had been. Everyone around him quieted down. They all shared a common doubt. Who was the master behind Chen Zhe, the one who had taught him everything? Or perhaps the other party had premeditated this. All of this was a setup four years ago. Was it to uproot the Tang family, this deep-rooted tree? If that's the case, who on earth had the ability to hide things to such an extent? Even with all their means, they couldn't find out a single clue. If there really is someone behind that brat, and has left us unable to find out a single clue, it's highly likely that it's the same character as above. If that's the case, I'm afraid we're in trouble. Also, you guys go and check all the information about that kid before he entered the mental hospital. From birth, to the mental hospital, it must be thoroughly and carefully investigated, otherwise, don't blame me, as a grandfather, for not treating you as my own family. The surrounding people nodded in a hurry. In their hearts, they began to speculate whether behind this Chen Zhe, there was really a figure that even they couldn't fathom, couldn't see through. Supporting all of this behind the scenes, if there was, then this raging storm was a little too terrifying. Even Tang Yun and Tang Bing, who usually fought in secret, looked at each other at this moment. There seemed to be a flavor of sharing the same enemy and shaking hands. After all, the Tang family was like this. There was still a group of outsiders outside, watching intently. If the internal friction continued, sooner or later, something was going to go terribly wrong. No matter what, Tang how we must save, but regarding that madman, we will also do our best. Tang Bing glanced coldly, at the people of the big house. Before the rest of the big house could speak, Tang Yun raised his hand. We'll also go all out to rescue Tang Hao, and right now, the main enemy is still that kid who came out of the madhouse, as well as the outsiders who have been making waves lately. During this period of time, we won't make things difficult for the sidekicks anymore, and we also hope that you, too, can restrain the people below you. Tang Yun extended his own hand, calmly looking at the other party. Tang Bing nodded, gently shook the other party's hand, and led his people away. Five more shifts, begging for recommendations, monthly votes, and catch-up reading. On the other side, Chen Zhe, who had solved Mo Yuan Shan, didn't know where, and got a backpack. Wearing a white coat, carrying a camouflage-colored backpack, with his hands in his pockets. Arriving on the streets, he prepared to get something to fill his stomach. After last night's events, everyone inside the entire city village had withdrawn. Because even Mo Yuan Shan, almost died in the city center village, not to mention the bodyguards who only know three-legged kung fu. If you leave them in the village, you won't even know how to die. Still that street, still that breakfast stall. In the cool morning, the old trees on both sides of the street were green and lush. A ray of the rising sun rises in the east, shining on Gu Judge's face, she cold rubbing a pair of small hands. We'll be around the things, a little bit set on the stall. Chen Zhe walked over and spoke, 30 meat buns, 5 cups of soybean milk. Gu Judge froze, hearing that familiar voice. It was known that it was Chen Zhe who had come. It was still the same white coat from last night. Both hands were in his pockets, but the left side of the coat was a little dirty, and there were several footprints on the right side. All of them were left behind last night, during the fierce fight with Mo Yuan Shan. But when Gu Jiajia saw these, she obviously misunderstood it as, it was left by the restaurant owner when he helped her out last night. Those autumn watery eyes, clear with some softness, filled him with 30 meat buns, and 5 cups of soy milk. This time, I won't charge you. Also, I haven't seen you for the past few days, where have you run off to? Recently, Shanghai City is in chaos, you have to be careful. The reason why Gu Jiajia knew all this, it was because her alcoholic stepfather had gone out again, as an old gangster on a bar street. At this age, basically no one would ask him to do anything, but now even her old man had gone out, and often comes back with a large sum of money. Think with your but no, Shanghai City must have a big problem, but what she does not know is, all the storms that have arisen today, it's all related to Chen Zhe, who is wearing a white coat. He was the one who had stirred up the entire Shanghai city, causing the many forces in Shanghai city to be emboldened. After receiving the meat buns and soy milk, Chen Zhe threw out a $100 bill and just wanted to say something. His own cell phone vibrated slightly. He frowned and took his cell phone out. Inside, it was actually a call from Sun Long. Chen Zhe pressed the answer button, and a moment later a rough voice came from over there. Brother Chen, something big happened, just last night, the Wang family including Wang Datong, and even a few of his right-hand men, all inexplicably disappeared. Even the Wang group, was burned clean by a fire. 
The Wang family's dozen or so industries were subjected to a major purge, and now there's not even a single fart left. With the urgent voice over there, it was already possible to imagine that Sun Long was afraid that he was dancing around with his hands. Sun Long said all of this. It also reminded Chen Zhe, when he left the hospital. What that ms? Su said. We have also prepared a big gift for Mr. Chen, what exactly is it? I believe that Mr. Chen will soon know. Could it be that the big gift she was talking about was the destruction of the Wang family? Chen Zhe frowned and placed in his hands a large bag of buns, one by one, into the backpack behind him. Leaving behind only about four or five, he twisted his head and left. The direction was precisely the Wang group's building. Only Gu Jiajia was left, looking at the hundred dollars that Chen Zhe did not take away, opened her mouth, and when she looked up, she could no longer find anyone. She carefully put the one hundred dollar bill into her pocket, she wanted to save up for a trip to Mo, and now she had almost saved up. She wanted to save money for the trip to Mo, and now she had saved almost all of it. After she had been to Mo, she would change places, find a school, and study again. Whether or not she would return to Shanghai City by then was probably a question. Consider, it's his financial assistance well, in the future, pay him back when you have money. Gu Jiajia sighed, lifted the hair by her earlobe, and continued yelling again. It took two hours to sell out the breakfast. These few days, his stepfather didn't beat her anymore either, perhaps because he had something to do. Perhaps because, on a regular basis, he was able to get a large sum of money. There were a lot of things added to the house, and a lot of peace. Even the smile on her mother's face began to change. Sometimes Gu Jiajia would think how good it would be if life could be maintained like this. But she was clear. As long as the problems above Shanghai City are solved, there was no need to use his stepfather as an old gangster. Without her income, she would go back to her old, painful, and torturous life. Must take advantage of this period when they are in a good mood to save up enough money and leave as soon as possible. Gu Jiajia clenched his small fist, starting to pack up the things from the breakfast stall. Shen Zhe, however, arrived at the bottom of the Wang Group building two hours later, the building in the distance becoming charred and black, living up to its former glory. Wang's group, the head snake of Shanghai City, one of the two mad dogs under the hands of the Tang family, was an existence that was unattainable to all. Once do not know how many people are envious of the Wang family today's position, but when the Wang family, in a very short period of time, after the family broke up and died, they began to celebrate again, perhaps, not stand in that position, is also a good thing. Next to the charred black building that was abandoned and still smoldering with fire, Chen Zhe also saw an old woman, all bejeweled and extremely well maintained. From the surface, the age was as if she was 35 or 36 years old. But in reality, who knew her true age? The woman's face, however, carried a few similar outlines to Wang Dong. Standing dumbfounded in front of the building, she could not stop her tears from falling. Am I really wrong? It's me who spoiled him too much. If I didn't obey him in everything, if I hadn't met his demands every time, if I had taught him well, would things have been different? The woman cried extraordinarily miserably, her tone hoarse. Next to her, from time to time, someone carried out one or two charred corpses from the midst of the ruins. Soon, Wang Datong was also dug out, has long been burned to the face, if not because of the left hand, once because of the fracture, equipped with a brace. And expensive, extremely easy to recognize. I'm afraid that they cannot confirm, this dead person is who, looking at their own man, ended up like this. This 35 six year old woman just cried and sat paralyzed on the ground. Last night, Wang Daton seemed to have had a premonition. His days were numbered, explained a lot of things to her. And since waking up yesterday morning, Wang Daton has, consciously or unconsciously, begun to avoid his loved ones. Obviously clear. If he stayed with his relatives, it would only drag them down. He also tried calling the Tang family. But last night, all of the Tang family's attention was on the city center village, on Chen Zhe's body. And how could they care about Wang Daton? Especially after Mo Yuan Shan's accident, the Tang family had mobilized everything they could, just to be able to cure Mo Yuan Shan. By the time they reacted, the Wang family was gone. Wang Daton was burned to death in his own group building. Such a tragic scene. The people passing by in the surroundings didn't sympathize half-heartedly. It was because what the Wang family had done over the years could be described as the wrath of the heavens. It was equivalent to the benefits all being taken up by the Tang family. But the bad name is all borne by the Wang family, resulting in the Wang family although day by day prosperity, but reached the point where even wild dogs are disliked. After the death of Wang Datong, next to the burnt down building, all kinds of black cars were parked. The first to come down was Zhou Buwei, as one of the two evil dogs under the Tang family. The news of Wang Datong's death was like a nightmare that haunted Zhou Buwei's head. He spent the whole morning in a state of confusion and fear, hastily summoned a large number of bodyguards. Having his driver, 
drive the car to the front of the Wang Group building. Because of the other party's age, he was five years older than Zhou Bu Wei. As he walked up to the bejeweled old woman, Zhou Bu Wei sighed. Sister-in-law, I'm sorry for your loss, big brother Wang doesn't want to see you today either. Seeing someone arrive, the bejeweled old woman cried even more. Viciously, she looked at Zhou Bu Wei next to her. One by one, the fists smashed over. Zhou Bu Wei did not deflect or dodge, just stood there and let the bejeweled woman's fists fall. Why wasn't it you who died? Why was it my husband? You are all fine, but my husband, my son, all gone. Crying miserably. But she didn't think about it. Over the years, his man, how many innocent people were killed? Her son, how many poor young girls have been brutalized? The pain that others had endured was just returned to them as is. But at this time, she couldn't take it anymore. Zhou Bu Wei of course also knew that they did those things that the heavens and the people were angry about. It did not refute it. Perhaps he deserved to die as well. Sooner or later, it would be his turn. Wang Datong's death gave him a cool feeling of a rabbit dying, even his eyes became incredibly cloudy. Perhaps, we have indeed done too many evil things over the years. Now, after enjoying glory and wealth, and enjoying this status, it's time to return it. One sentence. It made the old woman in front of her, come to a screeching halt. Wide-eyed, unable to say half a word. Is she a good person? Obviously not. It could even be said to be an outlaw woman. There were countless people who offended her during the day, who were directly, or indirectly, killed by her. Even a pet dog kept inside the house. If you accidentally scratched her, you would be worse than dead. So much so that the servants they hired, when they were in front of her, they were all a bit coy. Since she is not a good person, her man has likewise harmed countless people. Even her dead son is full of crimes. Who is she to complain? Who is she to ball here? But those, it was someone else's grief. Without it actually falling on them, how could they experience it? I don't care about any of this, Cosmos is dead and so is Adong, you must avenge them. Otherwise, I will not let you go even as a ghost. Zhou Bu Wei nodded solemnly, but in his heart. Yet there was no semblance of certainty. Revenge? How long he could live was an unknown question. What was there to talk about revenge? Just when he raised his head. Looking into the distance, he happened to meet an icy face, wearing a white coat with a camouflage-colored backpack behind it. Both hands were always placed in his pockets, and noticing Zhou Bu Wei's gaze, the man in the white coat, but just grinned, paired with the charred, blackened and flaming building next to him. It was even more chilling. Chen, Chen, Chen Ze. His voice was a bit disorganized. It was slurred. The woman next to him was also filled with confusion. But when the woman turned her head, Chen Ze had already turned his back and left step by step with a face full of calm. There were clearly numerous bodyguards around. The enemy that the Tang family wanted to kill was right in front of them. But in Zhou Buwei's heart, he felt a pang of fear. People dared to blatantly stand in front of him, even to meet his gaze. People were able to calmly step by step, slowly leave, without half a bit of timidity, fear, not to mention hiding and being terrified. Wasn't it enough to prove how useless they were? Zhou Buwei fell into a long time lost in thought. A full ten minutes passed without reacting, waiting until the honking of cars resounded around them again. It was the Tang family's convoy that had arrived. The one who walked down first was Tang Bing, the helmsman of the side branch, a woman in her thirties, beautiful to the core and permeated with the coldness. So far, she had passed her prime. However, the coldness in her body made people always dare not approach her, and she had been alone so far. If there were no surprises, I'm afraid Tang Bing would never marry in this life. Tang Bing, who stepped out of the car, glanced at the burnt-out building in front of her and shook her head helplessly. Zhou Bu Wei hurriedly asked, isn't it, that boy surnamed Chen who did this? After seeing Chen Ze just now, he subconsciously thought that it was Chen Ze who had burned down the mansion last night and forced Wang Datong to die. But Tang Bing shook his head, last night, the southern school's M.O. family, the leader of the younger generation, M.O. Yuan Shan, and his senior brother, M.O. Zhendong, personally led a group of people to the city center village, and found Chen Ze, but on the roof of the private house by the river, he was beaten by Chen Ze and fell down, nearly dying. Last night, that kid never left the city center village, so I can guarantee that it wasn't him. Zhou Bu Wei froze, it wasn't that kid who did it? Soon, he thought of it again, a possibility. An outsider. Recently, their Wang family and Zhou family were like two mad dogs, biting at the outsiders. Countless dens and entertainment venues have been burned down. Even more so, thousands of outsiders have been injured. Those who died as a result were not a few. If it was an outsider, it didn't seem surprising. But very quickly. He remembered what Tang Bing had said just now. No, you just said that last night, the leader of the younger generation of the Southern Faction's M.O. family, M.O. Yuan Shan, fought with that kid and almost lost his life? Tang Bing nodded, M.O. Yuan Shan personally admitted that he had less than a 30% chance of winning when he faced that kid. He also said that the kid probably didn't use his full strength, 
and throughout the entire process, there were a few hints of teasing him, that is to say, unless there is a great person in that area, personally striking out, otherwise, we don't have half a way to take that kid. Hearing this explanation, Joe Buwe sucked in a breath of cool air. Originally, he felt that he had already overestimated that kid. But now that he heard Tang Bing even say this, even more so, he felt that there was a chill that crept upward from his spine a little bit. His soul couldn't stop trembling. The leader of the younger generation of the MO family of the Southern faction had personally admitted that he couldn't beat that kid. The chances of winning were less than 30%, just hearing it felt unthinkable. Those already cloudy eyes, at this moment, even more added a touch of despair. He didn't know what to do next. Tang Bing patted him on the shoulder, don't worry, the Tang family has already placed a kill order, and the good hands on the road are starting to converge on Shanghai City. Even the people above have promised to bring us an expert in boxing. Wang Datong's death was just an accident, if it wasn't for last night, when we focused all our attention on the city center village, the outsiders wouldn't have gotten their hands on us so easily. One can only say that the time is also fate. After saying that, Tang Bing shook his head and turned towards the car, leaving a sentence before leaving. Take care of Mrs. Wang, also, Wang Datong is out there, there are a few illegitimate children, I've already had people go and pick them up. In the future, let them, take charge of the remaining properties of the Wang family. Seeing that the Tang family did not forget the dead Wang Datong, Zhou Buwei, who was not far away, hurriedly promised down, and arranged for people to deal with, the Wang family left behind, a series of trouble. Seek recommendation votes, monthly votes, catch up reading, catching up in the draft. Wang Datong's death had sounded an alarm for everyone. Nowadays, Shanghai City has already become a pot of porridge. If one wanted to be as reckless as before, it would undoubtedly be a fool's errand. Especially with the outsiders that had flooded Shanghai City during this period of time, even the local forces had become incomparably restrained. But just when everyone had their eyes placed on the Wang family, but did not know that there was a person who silently came to the ward where Zhou Shushue was, doorway, can still see two put down bodyguards. Chen Zhe, who was wearing a white coat and holding a syringe in his hand, slowly walked to the side of the hospital bed. Zhou Shushue seemed to have not rested well, lying on the bed breathing appeared to be a bit rapid. Seemingly sensing something, she opened her eyes violently. She saw a figure holding a syringe, wearing a mask, wearing a white coat but with a few footprints on it, squinting at her. If it was any other doctor, perhaps Zhou Shushue wouldn't be so alarmed, but it was those icy eyes that she was more than familiar with. There was no semblance of emotional color, and even looked at her with more than a little madness and sickness. Looking at that syringe, it was already aimed at herself. Zhou Shushue desperately wanted to struggle, even climb up. Nowadays, she had recovered some sanity. The drug that was injected last time, after a period of time, was almost about to be cleared. Inside her hand, she also had a cell phone. Plus there were quite a few friends from the past, sending her pictures, letting her know that. Wang's building was on fire. This was not the most crucial, the most crucial thing was that Wang Datong, the chairman of Wang Group, was also unaccounted for last night. Even a few of Wang Datong's right-hand men, they couldn't find any news. Zhou Shushue was immersed in fear. The moment she saw Chen Ze, tears came out of her eyes. Her body could not stop trembling, and a smell of urine filled the ward. Her voice was hoarse, her face distorted, and her lips could not stop trembling. No, don't, spare me, I know I'm wrong. Ever since Chen Ze came out from inside the mental hospital, she had barely slept a single day of good sleep. Even if she was admitted to the hospital, even if she was surrounded by countless bodyguards to watch over her, she knew herself well. Chen Ze was able to enter the hospital once silently. Then he would be able to enter a second time, a third time, or even five times, ten times. Chen Zhe was able to enter the villa with fifty bodyguards. He was able to take Wang Dong away openly and honestly, so he was able to wipe her neck here, silently. When she saw Chen Zhe, her heart had long been filled with fear, dragging the body that had long been tattered, a little bit backward. But behind her was the wall, what could she retreat to? Chen Zhe didn't care if she agreed or not. The insulin-filled syringe in his hand. Without hesitation, it was inserted into Zhou Shushue's shoulder. Along with the drug being injected into Zhou Shushue's body, she struggled for a few moments, her eyes constantly turning white. Immediately afterward, the expression revealed a few moments of dullness. Lying on the bed, she couldn't stop vomiting. Dizziness, regurgitation, unbearable, all sorts of negative effects, swept over like a tidal wave. Until his leg stomped. Completely lying on the bed did not move. She did not die. But now it was even worse than being dead. She wished that Chen Zhe would kill her directly, but the other party did not do so. Instead, he looked at the bed with a teasing face. Zhou Shushue who let out shivers from time to time. Turning around, he opened the door of the ward and took a step towards the outside. The two bodyguards at the doorway, looked at this teenager in horror, just now in a single glance. 
they did not even have the ability to resist. They were just put down on the ground by Chen Zhe, and when they came back to their senses, the matter inside was long over. They could also only watch this figure in a white coat. Step by step, it disappeared outside, but here, a total of 38 bodyguards were planted. But until this person, came to the door of Zhou Shushua's hospital room. Yet none of them noticed, or notified. From here, it could be seen that Chen Zhe's ability, just how terrifying it was. When he was done with these things, Chen Zhe left the hospital and walked to the riverside alone. Sitting under a tree, the sunlight that shone down from the gaps in the canopy was like dots of white spots, slightly beautiful. But Chen Zhe just lowered his head and took out the meat buns and soy milk inside his backpack. While eating, he opened the map on his cell phone. Confirming the address of the Heavenly Palace, he planned to go over to take a look ahead of time first, after all, the day after tomorrow was the day that place opened. I just don't know, will the abuser with the feminine voice appear in the Heavenly Room? Swallowing the last mouthful of buns, the two cups of soy milk next to him, were also drunk by him. Satisfied and touched his stomach, he then leaned against the tree, unconsciously, slept for two hours. Until, he was woken up by a clamoring sound. When he opened his eyes, he found a middle-aged old punk holding a bottle of wine, with a red face, hair that seemed like a chicken's nest, and around 40 years old, was commanding a few youngsters. Dragging a 15 or 16-year-old girl, toward the bridge hole next to him, one of the youngsters, still holding a sack in his hand, obviously wanting to load that 15 or 16-year-old girl in. But when Shen Ze took a closer look, discovered that the young girl who was covered with her mouth and dragged into the bridge hole, was actually her sister's best friend, Zhao Minor. At the age of 15 or 16, it was the time when the buds were ready to blossom. Coupled with Zhao Miner's unusually fair appearance, she contrasted sharply with the skin color of the several youngsters next to her. Zhao Min Er, who wasn't very tall, didn't even have the strength to resist. Waving a pair of clean and white small hands, with tears in her eyes, combined with that small, delicate and lovely appearance, ordinary people would have been unable to bear it. But those few young people, still look crazy, under the command of the old gangster with a bottle, dragged the person into the bridge hole. One of the youngsters even raised the wooden stick in his hand, wanting to knock Zhao Miner out, but did not notice that not far away, in the tree-shaded lawn, was lying a person, and slowly climbed up and walked over towards the bridge hole. He vaguely felt that Zhao Miner's matter, in all probability, had something to do with him and his sister. After all, in his memory, Zhao Miner had been transported in a private car since she was a child, and had accompanied his sister many times when she came to the madhouse. The snacks she brought were also quite a bit more refined than the next person. Outspoken, according to his sister's words. According to his sister's words, she never thinks about the price when she eats, and every time, Zhao Miner grabs the bill. When her sister mentioned Zhao Miner, she would always feel embarrassed. Last time in the alley, when she was under siege, Zhao Miner also came over to deliver a thousand paper cranes, wanting to pray for her sister's blessings, and ended up being dragged in. According to Zhao Miner's family conditions, the average person shouldn't dare to make a move against her. Unless it's those people that are looking at taking him out. There were outsiders on the hospital side again, eyeing them and starting to take action from other people. Hurry up and shut up, otherwise, later on, I'll let you know how powerful a few of us are. The old gangster was vicious, glaring at Zhao Minor. Another kick was sent towards the small youth not far away, holding a wooden stick. Can't even do a little thing right, the Tang family spent so much money, asking us to do something, and opened up a path of wealth for us, is this how you repay people? This old punk. Name is Wu Hai, when he was young. In the neighborhood he was famous for his ruthlessness. At that time, a bar street, not called a bar street, the city center village near the internet cafes mostly, but also a place of mixed fish and dragons. Wu Hai do things cleanly, get a boss's appreciation, fortunate to enter the real estate industry, specializing in helping people clean up some of the tenants who refused to compromise. Also during that time, the scenery over some days. Pity. Since his boss fell from grace, there was no more income, and he was sent to prison for seven years for an assault. By the time he got out again, the world had long since changed. Just can only muddle through, looking for a divorced woman, rented a house near the city center village, barely make ends meet. This time, it was as if the Tang family's matter had given him hope. Especially since the Tang family had promised them. As long as they obeyed obediently and did what they were told, they would be placed in Shenghui Construction Group. That Shenghui Construction, one of the top existences in Shanghai City, as long as you get things done and enter Shenghui Construction, there will be times of glory for you in the future. The old punk was still using a tone of lecturing the younger generation, gesticulating, holding that wooden stick, it was as if he had returned, to the days when the scenery was unrivaled. Once upon a time, he was also a man with a large amount of money, sitting in the boss's big ben, dashing around, all kinds of flowers over, a piece of leaf does not leave the body of the man of the moment, even if it is now lonesome, but whenever he thinks of those great years, will feel hot blood on the head. 
At the same time also understand, the true meaning of the world, there is only one, money, lots and lots of money. As long as there was money, there was nothing that couldn't be done. All get out of my way. Let me teach you all today how the old timers all mixed in the jungle in the first place. Hiccuped. Wu Hai raised the wooden stick in his hand, and although his figure was staggering when the stick smashed down, but there was no half pity, as if what they were dragging was just a dead dog. The surrounding youngsters sucked in a breath of cool air. This stick smashed down. In case something went wrong, it would be troublesome. But the moment they thought that behind them was the Tang family, and they couldn't help but enter the Shang Hui construction group, they immediately put down their lifted hearts again. Only Zhao Miner, who was pushed to the ground after being loosened, let out a whimpering choke. Especially when she saw that stick, smashing into herself, those gem-like eyes couldn't stop the tears from flowing down. But that stick, it was only swung halfway. But it seemed to be blocked by something. She fixed her eyes on it. It was a slightly broad palm. Deadly grip on that stick, followed by a bang. Wu Hai, the old punk next to her, flew out at once, letting out a mournful wail. Heavily crashed into the, the stone pier next to him. Getting the wooden stick, Chen Zhe swept his gaze coldly at the few youngsters. As if a tiger had entered a flock of sheep, between a few round trips, they were all knocked to the ground, crying, constantly begging for mercy. Jump down. Chen Zhe kicked the old punk, pointing to the river not far away. The old punk froze, then reacted. Panicked, he said. No, don't, the river is so fast today, I guess it's because the gate was released from above. The dark currents below, if this jumps down, who knows if it will drown. Even the few youngsters around, all were so scared that they couldn't stop shivering, because today's river was just too wide and fast. They were also unsure if they could survive in this river with their wateriness. Not jumping, huh? From his waist, Chen Zhe pulled out the silver-white scalpel, his gaze cold. Like a machine, he slowly crouched down beside the old punk. Looking at the old punk, terrified to the extreme, he could not stop a few moments of excitement from dancing on his face. At this moment, the old gangster also seemed to remember something. He glanced at the silver-white scalpel. Another glance at Chen Zhe's slightly sickly face. His heart thumped, knowing that he had met the right person. Recently, Shanghai City was in an uproar. Even the Tang family was helpless against the madman. Even the Wang family, one of the two mad dogs under the hands of the Tang family, Wang Datong, were all rumored to be dead in the morning. What's more, Chen Zhe was under the guard of 50 bodyguards. The news of taking away Wang Dong in a dignified manner. It had already spread throughout the road, which could be described as Chen Zhe, as a god. After all, nowadays, those who can do it, with the power of one person, make the Tang family anxious, can only be so one. And so, when that silver-white scalpel appeared, he stood up with a mischievous sound. Don't, big brother, I, I'll jump, I'll jump all right. After saying that, he glanced at Chen Zhe and saw that the other party's eyes were not only icy cold, but also carried a few hints of tyranny, and a chill bubbled up in his heart. Compared to the choppy river, this suffocating madman was even more terrifying. Under the puzzled gazes of the several youngsters beside him, he flung himself, crossed the railing, jumped into the big, wide, fast river. Several youngsters were dumbfounded. Even if the other party was holding a scalpel, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? He stabbed a few times and made some wounds. At most, he will be hospitalized and lie down for a while. The Tang family will be responsible for the medical expenses. Jump into the river, life and death is out of their control. There's even a young man, lying on the ground, played a rogue. Either, you kill me, or you let me go. Want me to jump into the river, no way. Finished speaking. The youngster closed his eyes, and the others followed suit, all lying on the ground. Chen Zhe laughed. Laughing like a devil, his mouth slowly split open, under that sunlight, revealing white teeth, and took one step at a time. River surface. The old gangster Wu Hai who was desperately paddling. His heart was not in the right place, and shouted. You idiots, hurry up and jump down. That guy is the madman who, nowadays, has left the Tang family helpless. He even dared to kill Wang Dong, as well as Wang Datong, one of the two mad dogs under the Tang family's hand, let alone a few of you insignificant things. Originally, they were still deadpan. Suddenly, their eyes widened, and the youngster who had been lying on the ground earlier, climbed up with the momentum of Shun Lei. With a fluttering sound, jumped into the water. The other two, looking at Chen Zhe who was close at hand, the heart is half cold. Nima, this person in front of me, is now Shanghai City, let all the famous families, terrified of the madman? UND, early to say ah, earlier set out, who dares to play rogue with him? The heart thought, the body is also very honest. Suddenly, the carp hit the ground, rolled over and got up, one by one, as if a sprinter, hands on the stone guardrail, jumped into the rapids of the river. Gradually, the river washed downstream. 
Yesterday and his girlfriend went out to play half a day, tasteless, sage, but also so, I'm back, brothers, today five more, women will only affect the speed of my code words. Zhao Minor, who turned the danger into safety, could no longer hold back her tears of joy, and violently pounced into Chen Zhe's arms. Sadly cried. Until crying Chen Zhe, somewhat annoyed. Only then did he open his mouth and said. I just came back from school and wanted to buy something to visit Xiao Mei, but I was caught by them. Hearing Zhao Minor's explanation. Chen Zhe became more and more certain that what happened to Zhao Minor had nine times out of ten to do with him. Nowadays, the Tang family had used all their means, but they couldn't do anything about him. And according to the Tang family, the defense of those behind it definitely will find another way out. Zhao Minor is also recently the only person who has contacted their family. Therefore, being implicated was not surprising. Recently, it's better for you to leave your family's sight less often, otherwise, no one will even know if you die outside. Chen Zhe glanced at Zhao Minner and was about to turn around and leave, but he went out a few steps. Then he remembered Zhao Minner's relationship with his sister, plus the fact that she would often come over to visit him as well. Now it was because they were implicated again. Immediately stopped his steps. Where is your home? I'll send you back. Zhao Minner froze, whether it was before or now, even though Chen Zhe had already saved her twice. The feeling she gave off was still cold, as if she was born, unable to get along with ordinary people. Now offering to send her home. Inexplicably, it made people a little touched. Immediately after, she also told Chen Zhe the address of her home. Together, they came to the side of the highway and entered the alley of the distant Hadong. Taking the main road was fine though. But Chen Zhe still preferred this kind of darker environment. What's more, taking the main road was easy to be targeted. Comparatively speaking, the path inside this kind of alley. It was safer. The two of them rushed slowly and finally arrived at Zhao Xiaoman's home, a standard small villa but the door locks had already been broken open. It was even more silent inside, not even a fly. Zhao Minor went in and shouted, Aunt Lu, I'm back. But no one was ever heard to reply. Instead, it was Chen Zhe who frowned, glanced near the doorway, a small puddle of scarlet liquid, and immediately realized something. As soon as he pulled Zhao Minor, he then ducked to the side of the wall, carefully touched the side of the glass window, looking inside. It was then seen that next to the sofa, there was the body of a large golden hair lying, seemingly hit on the head by some kind of hard object and dented a large chunk of it. Blood stained the entire floor, and even in the middle of the kitchen, smoke was faintly rising. The nanny was lying next to the kitchen. There was no doubt about it. Something had definitely happened to Zhao Miner's home. You stay here first, I'll go in and take a look. Chen Zhe had already surveyed the layout of the villa here when he came in, and following a sewage pipe not far away, he braced himself against the load-bearing pillars and quickly climbed up. But in just over a minute, he had already appeared on the roof of the building, opening the small door downwards from the roof. When he looked down from above, immediately saw seven or eight silhouettes ambushed on the first floor of the villa. They wore all sorts of clothes, different from those of the Tang family, formal black suits. In previous words, it was more like a miscellaneous army. He remembered again. Ming Miaoshu had said that the Tang family had issued a bounty on the road, and there were already quite a few outsiders that had begun to help the Tang family and surround themselves. These people ambushed on the first floor, I'm afraid that nine times out of ten, they were related to the bounty. From his waist, he felt out the silver-white scalpel. The people below. Attention was again on the doorway, when he came to the second floor and let down, the crowd reacted. But these few people's skill, they couldn't even touch the corner of Chen Zhe's clothes, and they were all taken care of by him in three or two strokes. Looking at the seven people who fell on the ground and wailed. Chen Zhe opened the door, and Zhao Minor walked in. Looking at the tragic situation inside the house, she covered her small mouth with red eyes and cried in a low voice. Aunt Lu, rhubarb. Zhao Minor went up to check. Aunt Lu is still alive. But the big yellow dog, therefore, died. Lying on the ground, the most conspicuous was a man with a scar on his face, obviously also saw, the scalpel that Chen Zhe was holding, as well as the speed with which he had just struck out. They were just some small people on the road who didn't make the cut. The reason why they ran to Zhao's house was because they wanted to try their luck, to see if they could know something from Zhao Miner's mouth. After all, right now, the Tang family's bounty, as long as they could find Chen Zhe's exact location, they would be able to obtain, as much as a million dollars in bounty. As for personally going to catch Chen Zhe, that was a complete joke, as far as their three-legged kung fu was concerned, it would be a death sentence if they went. Who would have thought? This trip, but ran into the main man. It made them feel shivering, their limbs were soft, they were scared out of their wits, and regretted running here. Chen Zhe, however, walked over to the man with a scar on his face, raised the scalpel he was holding, and without hesitation, stabbed down at the other party's neck, accompanied by a stream of hot blood. Sprayed out, stained on the face, hands, but also scared the surrounding people, crying. 
especially the moment Chen Zhe raised his head. The expression on his face made everyone's hearts tremble, and they rushed outside like they didn't want to die. There was still fear, trepidation, and other emotions on their faces until they all disappeared. Chen Zhe only stood up, full of indifference, walked into the restroom, and began to clean up the blood on his body. Lying on the ground, the man with the scar, covered the wound on his neck with his hand, wanted to open his mouth to say something, but could not say a word. Until he slowly ran out of motion, his pupils contracted a little, and he died in the hall. Only then did Zhao Minor, who was next to her, violently swallow a mouthful of saliva, accompanied by a gurgle. On her pretty face, she unconsciously revealed a touch of misery, and looked fearfully towards Chen Zhe, who had finished cleaning up the bloodstains and walked out. Where are your parents? Chen Zhe did not pay any attention to her gaze, instead, he sat on the sofa and leisurely asked. It was only then that Zhao Minor gulped and said, I, my mom divorced my dad when I was very young and went to live over in Kyoto. My dad is doing business in the provinces, and it's estimated that it will take another half a month before he can come back. Weekdays. Perhaps because, at a very young age, there was no love and care from his mother. One's own father, again, was not at home from time to time. Resulting in Zhao Xiaoman made a sincere friend. It became extraordinarily precious. Even if at that time, Chen Xiaomei had already been targeted by Zhou Shushue, knowing that the other party was the Zhou family's eldest lady, Zhao Minor still became a good friend without words with his sister. Also because of Chen Xiaomei's accident, as well as that day did not bring Chen Xiaomei, resulting in this young girl's heart, always with a touch of deficiency. Only from time to time, want to use various methods to make up for the lack of heart. However, she never thought that she would be involved in the whirlpool. In fact, in the past, I would often go home with Xiao Mei, if that day, she sat in my car, perhaps she wouldn't have gotten into trouble. Speaking of this, Zhao Miner's eyes that were like clean jewels, started to turn red, leaned against the stool next to her, and cried out again. Chen Zhe sighed, didn't say anything else, instead, he started to go check the kitchen, the woman's condition, confirming that the other party was only in a coma, and didn't say anything. Taking Zhao Minor, he left the villa, because he knew, after this incident, there would definitely be someone else who would come looking for Zhao Minor's trouble, solely, arranging a safe place for her. It was also considered that there was no shame, Zhao Minor's part of her heart towards her sister. Let's go, it's time to leave here. Don't go to school these days either, compared to studying, your own life is more important. With your family's situation, even if you fall behind a little in your studies, there's definitely a way to make up for it. After experiencing the three crises in the alley, the bridge hole, and the villa, Zhao Minner obviously also clearly understood her situation and did not retort, timidly following behind Chen Zhe. The two quickly arrived near the urban village. Chen Zhe found another unoccupied rental room, picked the door lock, took Zhao Minner to live in. Also after they left, around 40 minutes, Aunt Lu, who was lying inside the kitchen of the villa, woke up. Seeing the corpses inside the hall and the rhubarb lying next to the sofa, she shivered in fear. Then calmed down again. Taking out her cell phone, she edited a message and took a few pictures. Sent it to the people over there. A few minutes later, Zhao Dongsheng, who was doing business in Chuan Yun province, finally saw the nanny's message. This middle-aged man who looked like he was 1 meter 78, pinched his cell phone deftly, and his pupils couldn't stop dilating. Home, inside the home, out, something happened. His voice trembled. There was a strong worry among his eyes. His daughter. It was his only worry nowadays, and the reason that made him keep fighting, ever since that year, his wife, for some reason, left. He realized, men without money, really worse than death. He had seen a movie before, and agreed with a sentence in it. If I had a real sum of money, I could also be a real man. It was that kind of change of heart that allowed Zhao Dongsheng, who already had a notable talent, to travel between provinces and establish a large family business. But he was also just an ordinary businessman. The nanny didn't know much. He could only ask some of his friends who were usually very close to him to inquire about the situation. To inquire about the situation. About Shanghai City, but just half an hour. All of them had already been sent to his cell phone. Seeing the many messages, Zhao Dongsheng also felt his scalp numb. A deep sense of powerlessness enveloped his heart. Shanghai City, Tang family. One's own daughter, unexpectedly involved in those things. Even some unseen corners have enacted bounty orders, and when they have no way to take that madman, they will start with the people around them. Zhao Dongsheng rubbed his temples. He sat paralyzed on the stool next to him. A beautiful female secretary walked in. Boss, the coffee you asked for is ready. The female secretary was interested in this diamond king. Actually, it had been interesting for a long time. But this Mr. Zhao only has his daughter in his heart. For the beauty around the temptation, ignore, even if she wears, how sexy. Can't hook up with Mr. Zhao half heart. Sometimes she suspected, Zhao always is not, that aspect is not too good? 
Otherwise such a talented person, why would his wife leave? I don't know how long has passed. Zhao Dongsheng violently pinched the armrest of the stool. Seemingly making some sort of determination, he dialed a long dusty phone number. A short 10 seconds or so. The sound of the phone beeping, but it made Zhao Dongsheng's days feel like years. It was good that the phone was connected. A cold female voice came from over there. Looking for who? Me, Zhao Dongsheng. Hearing this name. The woman over there was obviously a bit flustered. It was as if something had fallen to the ground. There was a dang sound. Like a glass smashed. But the woman still pretended to be calm and said. So, so it's you, how is Min Air doing? You guys, are you doing well? Zhao Dongxing's voice was a little cold. Knocked on the table in front of him. Still, he said one by one. Min Air is missing. SH, what? The daughter is missing? How did you watch over the child? The woman's voice over there became anxious. She hated to directly take a plane and run to Shanghai City. But Zhao Dongxing just said coldly. You can't possibly not know what I've been doing all these years, alone with my child, I haven't asked for a single penny from your male family. Nowadays, although I've struck my own business territory, but that's all in plain sight. I have a lot of money, not as much as your Miao family, but I am still considered rich. Capturing my Zhao Dongxing's daughter is nothing but for money, that's how I felt earlier. But after entrusting some friends, I found out something unknown. The woman over there also heard his words. After half a second of silence, she said, What do you need me to do? Minner, the reason why she disappeared is because recently in Shanghai City, a notorious madman appeared. His sister, was wasted by some people whose identity even I couldn't figure out. That madman, first beat the daughter of the Zhou family to the point of paralysis, and then cut off half of Wang's crown prince's scalp. And then he even arrested Tang Hao, the person in charge of the marriage with the Beijing faction. Even brazenly, he broke into the Zhou family's villa and took away Wang Dong under the watchful eye of 50 bodyguards. Immediately following the next day, the Wang family collapsed and perished. The reason why Minna would go missing is because, her best friend is that madman's sister. Other than his parents, I'm afraid that Minner is the only one who has the best relationship with them. They couldn't do anything about that lunatic, so they targeted our daughter. After saying so much in one breath, Zhao Dongsheng picked up his coffee and took a sip of water. Quietly waiting, the reply from the other side of the phone. It was also unknown how long had passed. After the silence passed, the woman's voice sounded again. As you know, I was captured back to my family back then, and the marriage alliance was a necessity, and now, my man is dead. You have also built up so much family business, enough to negotiate with our Miao family, why don't you make a trip to the capital, only if you come will I have a reason to mobilize my family's power. But for the woman's words. Zhao Dongsheng, however, just said in a deep voice, even if I've fallen from grace, I'm still called the Zhao Barge King of the business world. Wanting women, I have plenty around me. I'm also not interested in getting back together with a broken woman. He's my daughter, and he's also your daughter. It's been 10 years, 10 whole years, you've paid no attention to her, and I haven't taken half of your Miao family's favors. Isn't that enough to make a point? It's fine if you're not willing to help. I, Zhao Dongsheng, will get my daughter back even if I scatter my family's wealth. Nowadays, there were at least four or five groups that Zhao Dongsheng had started. Altogether, hundreds of billions of dollars in market value. Although he also had some hitman forces of his own. But compared to the Tang family, it was still too far behind. But if he talked about connections, ten Tang families were not his rivals. I have a lot of liquidity on hand right now, and if I sell all of my company's shares, I'll be able to fight a tough battle with the Tang family. I'm no match for them in those sordid matters behind the scenes. But if it comes down to business tactics, I, Zhao Dongsheng, will not necessarily be afraid of the Tang family. Since the Tang family wanted to start with his daughter, he can also issue a bounty order, and he'll give double what the Tang family gives. And, he would gather all his liquidity together. Fight a hard commercial battle with the Tang family. Fight until the Tang family do not dare to make an article from his daughter again. Fight until all of the Tang family's industries close down. Fight until the entire Shanghai city was shaken. To the Tang family's fear, like a wild dog, terrified. He did not believe that the Tang family dared because of a girl who did not belong to the whirlpool. With him a road to the black. In addition, the Tang family will because of a lot of things tied hands. They don't dare to use their full strength. But he Zhao Dongsheng is different, now his side. There was also only his daughter as a relative. I dare to gamble my entire self, even my life, ask, does Tang Tianchengyi dare? The reason I'm making this call is to tell you that if your Miao family wants to side with the local forces, I don't care. But if your Miao family has to follow that Tang and take action against my daughter, then I'm sorry. Even your Miao family, I'll fight together. After saying this sentence, Zhao Dongsheng pressed the hang up button, followed by his gaze becoming incredibly cold, and picked up the coffee next to him, drinking it in one go lighted a cigarette and walked back and forth a few times, started walking quickly towards the outside. 
Same time, Kyoto, Miao family manner. A woman who looked to be in her thirties, maintained to the extreme, looking like her skin was still like that of an eighteen-year-old girl, stupidly looking at her cell phone. Half a day she couldn't come back to her senses. What was Zhao Dongxing's situation today? She couldn't be clearer. Because, these years, although she did not go to Zhao Dongsheng and her own daughter, on the one hand, the Miao family, can easily find out everything about Zhao Dongsheng. On the one hand, his husband's family at that time, was too strong. That mother-in-law, was on her guard every day. Afraid that she would use her husband's family's power to gain favors for her mother's family, even the people over there were very xenophobic. Until, her man died. Leaving her a lot of back roads, only then did she smoothly leave her husband's family, and regained power in the Miao family, gaining a great deal of energy. But this energy, but not enough to change the will of the Miao family. Their own daughter had disappeared. It would be a lie to say that they weren't worried. Zhao Dongsheng, Ah Zhao Dongsheng, although with your talent, and the business empire you have built, you can indeed make the Tang family, bow down for it. But you don't know, what kind of existence is standing behind the Tang family. Even our Miao family doesn't dare to easily offend them. The more she thought about this matter, the more the woman felt a headache. However, there was still a lot she could do right now. And so, she dialed another number. Half an hour later, a woman in her twenties, dressed in black overalls with a competent look, walked in. She held up her silver-rimmed glasses. Holding a stack of documents in her hand, she said respectfully, Miss, may I ask if there is anything I need to do? Yes. Miao Shang Yun was on the table. Wrote a note, handing it to the woman not far away wearing silver-colored glasses. The woman took the note and took a look. Unable to help herself, she took a deep breath and said incredulously, Missy, do you really want to do this? The content on the note. It was really too shocking. If one really followed the contents of the note, it was completely contrary to the strategic goal of the Miao family. Once the others knew about it, the consequences would be unimaginable. My daughter is missing, right here in Shanghai City. The woman with a competent look and silver-rimmed glasses, opened her mouth and finally nodded heavily. In fact, this matter does not require Missy to personally take action. The Lu family still owes you a favor, and they are on the side of the outsider faction. Coincidentally, they are preparing for their trip to Shanghai City. As long as you're willing to ask, they'll be happy to help. Miao Shang Yun froze, almost forgetting about this. Having the help of the Lu family was indeed much wiser than if she had gone out on her own. Moreover, the Lu family was originally on the outsider side and with herself operating secretly in the Miao family, it might bring about unexpected results. Then do as you say. Gotta be careful though, since there's a better way out, there's no need to reveal my identity. The woman wearing silver-rimmed glasses nodded in a hurry. Don't worry, Missy, I'll make sure to do it without a drop of water. After saying that the woman turned around and went out, only Miao Shang Yun was left, sitting alone in the middle of the room. Dong Shang, Dong Shang, after so many years, you still refuse to forgive me. In fact, as a woman of a big family, many times, the choice was not in my hands. But nowadays, I have the ability to choose, but you are unwilling to readmit me. She suddenly felt a little nostalgic. The days when she used to be with Zhao Dongsheng. That period of time. It was almost her most carefree passing. Vaguely able to recall when Zhao Dongsheng stood in front of the Miao family manor. Thunder and lightning, the sky was overcast, it was raining heavily, but the upright figure. Which day? He was in front of the Miao family, waiting for three hours the same three hours of rain. But that day, it was the day before her wedding, and it was impossible for her to go out to see Zhao Dongsheng. I heard that after Zhao Dongsheng went back, he got very sick and had a 39 degree fever. Since that illness, Zhao Dongsheng seems to be a new person, in the shopping mall, showing his amazing talent. Also used a short period of 10 years. Will their own industry, spread all over the north and south of the Yangtze River? If not, Zhao Dongsheng's industry is too dispersed, cannot pose a threat to the local forces, but also has her secret help, I am afraid that Zhao Dongsheng has long been unknown, how many times to die. You always say that I'm cold and heartless, but if it wasn't for me, no matter if it's you or your daughter, how could you live so comfortably? If, on that day, I hadn't married out, not only you, but also Minner, would have died on that rainy night. She could clearly remember how many people the Miao family, and her husband's family, had sent out at that time. Once she dared to make an act of disobedience, then the next day sent to her in front, is a large and small two corpses. So nostalgic, in Shanghai City to study in the university of that period of time, unfortunately, can no longer go back. 6.30, has not eaten, to go out to dry rice, top, please recommend votes, monthly votes, chase red. The night wind blows slowly, the stars and the moon, hanging high above the nine heavens. Through the window, outside was the lights of 10,000 homes, bright all night long. Even if it was already very late, it was still possible to see the bustling crowds. Chen Zhe came back from outside, carrying dinner, and a change of clothes. 
He pried open the rental house, inside there is a freshly showered teenage girl, perhaps it was because of the hot water that had just been flushed, that clean white face, in the light of the illumination, slightly reddish, the ebony hair, wet and dripping downwards, exuded a special beauty. Chen Zhe placed the dinner next to the table. Again, he put a change of clothes and threw them on the bed. The young girl hurriedly took the clothes and changed out of the old set. It was unknown whether it was Chen Zhe's vision, or whether it was the clothes the salesperson took that were good. A set of light blue dress with a few elegant patterns. Wearing it on a young girl's body added a few moments of serenity. Paired with the snow white to the extreme skin, and the slightly shy face of the young girl. If another person was in the room, I'm afraid that they wouldn't be able to hold it anymore. Instead, Chen Zhe just focused on burying his head in food. During the entire process, in front of him, the breathtakingly beautiful young girl, however, could not arouse his interest. When he finished eating dinner, he took out his silver white scalpel again. Gently wipe up. More like, caressing his lover. As for other things, all of them had nothing to do with him. The young girl was also keeping her head down, slowly and methodically eating her boxed lunch. Although the boxed lunch wasn't very tasty, she still filled her stomach first. Things finished eating. The young girl also put her attention, falling on someone by the windowsill. Seeing herself was not as attractive as a scalpel, more so. The young girl's heart, for some reason, felt slightly complicated. By the young man sitting next to the windowsill, wiping the scalpel. Get a moment, cannot remove the eyes. Time fixed for an unknown period of time, Chen Zhe put away the scalpel, turned over on the bed, lay down and went to sleep, not dragging his feet at all. Only the young girl was left staring blankly at this scene. For a time, she didn't know what to do. Although the bed was still half left, Zhao Min Er, who had never been in contact with other boys, still felt her heart like a deer in headlights. It wasn't until Chen Zhe made the sound of snoring. It was only then that the young girl rolled her eyes, realizing that she was thinking too much. Then she laid down on the other side of the bed and slept leisurely. For the rest of the day, nothing happened. In the morning, he also made a trip to the street entrance of the city center village. In front of Gu Jiajia's stall, he bought breakfast. Perhaps it was after these few encounters. When she met Gu Jiajia, she was less resistant to Chen Zhe. Instead, she would be tentative and chat with him for a couple of minutes. Evening. Chen Zhe returned to the rental house and brought food for the next three days. Jia Minor, because of her boredom and her cell phone, which she lost when she was under the bridge hole, spent the whole day watching TV. However, Chen Zhe's attention was always on the matter of the heavenly world. When the two of them had dinner, Chen Zhe came to the vicinity of the Yellow Sea Club and contacted Ning Miaoshu. When Ning Miaoshu came down. When Ning Miaoshu came down, it was half past six, and it was mostly dark. Seeing Chen Zhe, Ning Miaoshu looked somewhat emotional. Slowly, she asked. The matter of the Wang family's destruction, is it related to you? Chen Zhe frowned, although he was not the one who destroyed the Wang family, it was ultimately because of him that they suffered destruction. Then he did not say anything more. Today, there is an additional bounty on the road. I don't know what kind of person the Tang family has provoked, as long as it's the Tang family, who issued the bounty, the other party will offer double, or even several times, causing the Tang family to have a headache even now. It should be considered good news for us. And, someone is intentionally or unintentionally, sniping the Tang family's industry, perhaps we can pay attention to it, if I can contact this person, it is possible to cooperate with them. That said, Ning Miaoshu also found it strange. The person who was able to come up with that much money. He was also considered a top tier figure, and such a person should not not understand what kind of existence stood behind the Tang family. But it was as if that person had eaten his weight and was determined to do so. In various channels, a large amount of money. He hated to stir up all the Tang family's affairs. Chen Zhe didn't take it to heart and asked, regarding the heavenly paradise, will those people who harmed my sister go there? Ning Miaoshu hesitated for a moment and said, according to the information I have obtained, there will be one or two people involved every time, so if nothing goes wrong, we might be able to find one of them. Places like this are usually very chaotic, and many small clans that are trying to get to the top will arrange for the big girls from the sidelines, to go and participate. Those people play with flowers, and can even be said to be perverted, if you go, you should be able to know what it's like. She had also only been from her father. Having obtained some of the information, the specifics would have to wait for Chen Zhe to investigate on his own. Sure the place won't change is it? He asked this, causing Ning Miaoshu to freeze for a moment, seemingly remembering something. Opening her mouth, she said. Indeed there is something strange, under normal circumstances, the heavenly world opens, will not make a scene to the point that even we know, and I captured an important information, that is, the east side of the city, there is a cruise ship, is about to go out to sea, many of the people in power, are rushing to that side, if the address that I gave you earlier, there is an oddity, you can go to the east side of the city's coastal port to take a look. Shenzhen nodded, this trip was not in vain. 
At least another important piece of information had been obtained. From the bottom of his heart, he also felt that the previous address of the heavenly paradise was a bit unreliable, and it could be said that it was making a lot of noise. If even Ning Yashu could easily find out, it wouldn't be considered a hidden place anymore. Understood, I'll make a trip to the address you mentioned earlier, and if I can't, I'll go to the east side of the city to check out the coast entrance again. After saying that Chen Zhe wanted to leave, but Ning Miaoshu extended her hand and shouted, be careful on this trip, rumors outside are that the Tang family has found a boxing expert, counting the time, it's almost here. If things can't be done, it's still important to stay alive, only by staying alive will you be able to avenge your sister's death, isn't it? Facing Ning Miaoshu's sudden concern, Chen Zhe did not say anything, instead he turned around and disappeared into the night. By the time he reappeared, he had already arrived, at the address of the heavenly paradise. Around him could be seen, many guarded figures. In the distance, the building in the address was brightly lit, with noisy sounds coming out from time to time, more like someone was organizing an evening party inside. Chen Zhe also saw, the man who had beaten Sun Hu to the ground last time, with eyes like eagle hooks. In addition to that, there were several other, extremely strong experts with intimidating auras. Surrounding the place like it was watertight, and like they were waiting for a fish to take the bait, making Chen Zhe a little puzzled. Is this place, in the end, the correct address of the heavenly palace? With such tight handles around, there shouldn't be any mistakes. Just when he was still hesitating, the old gangster Wu Hai, who was carrying a bottle of wine, led the several youngsters who jumped into the river, and walked towards that building with great vigor. The old punk Wu Hai's mouth was still murmuring. It's rare to enter this kind of high-grade club, you guys don't give me shame, there are a lot of big brothers inside, when we can get acquainted with a few tycoons, even if the Tang family's affairs are over, we can also be clothed and fed. After saying that, he pulled the suit that he had bought for an unknown period of time. From the side of the passageway entrance, walked in. Surrounding people, checked once, let Wu Hai and others went in. But it was such a scene that made Chen Zhe turn his head and walk away. How could a place where even an old gangster, who could bring his own men, enter, be a heavenly place? According to Ning Miaoshu's words, inside the heavenly world, there were quite a few small families and forces that had sent their beautiful girls inside. From here, we can see what kind of characters are inside the heavenly room. It was even more unlikely that the old punks would be able to come into contact with them. Since it's not here, then there's only possibility that it's that ship from the east exit of the city. Without looking back, Chen Zhe left at a fast pace. At around 7.40, he finally arrived at the sea outlet, and sure enough, he saw that there was a huge ship docked there. It was decorated with incomparable luxury, and there were many luxury cars worth tens of millions of dollars parked around it. Various types of bodyguards countless. Each of them was guarding the side of their boss's car. The grade with Wu Hai they entered the building, formed a sharp contrast, here, was the real, heavenly world. It seems that this cruise ship, is preparing to go out to sea, so many of them, the powerful people of Shanghai City, shouldn't be wrong. He glanced at, a staff member who came down to use the restroom next to him, and quietly trailed over as the other walked into the restroom. When he was about to close the door, a hand was dead, clasping the door panel. The staff member froze, and was just about to break out in curses, saying that there was someone inside. Just then, he felt a gust of wind hit his face, accompanied by a large fist that smashed into his face. The staff member let out a muffled grunt and collapsed to the ground. Chen Zhe stripped off his clothes and put them on himself, taking the other party's employee card and walking out with a calm demeanor. The moment he stepped onto the ship, he saw that inside, many exquisitely dressed women with unassuming temperaments were pushing cups with which powerful people, he followed the staff and came to the back kitchen. A tall fat man wearing a white chef's hat, began to direct them to handle the dishes. When it was 8 o'clock sharp, the ship finally sailed out. As it moved a little bit overseas and disappeared into the horizon, Chen Zhe finally revealed a hideous smile. He knew. He had come to the right place. For the next few moments, he did not make a sound. Because from the mouths of the bystanders, he learned. This kind of heavenly gathering place would normally be open for two days and two nights, which meant that this ship, at least two days later, would not return. Good thing that earlier, he had prepared three days worth of food for Zhao Minor, or two-person portions, at least he didn't have to worry that Zhao Minor would go hungry in the rental house. It had been working for, nearly four or five hours. Without realizing it, time had already reached late night. At this time, only then did Chen Zhe realize what Ning Miaoshu meant by playing with flowers, as he was carrying a dish and walking towards the hall. In the corridor, a woman's scream came. Immediately after that, in the middle of a certain room, a gorgeous woman whose clothes had been torn and bruised rushed out. Blood hung from the corner of her mouth, and half of her face was swollen high. With a somewhat staggered figure, she rushed outside the deck. This was no longer as simple as a playful flower. Obviously mistreated, but these women, outside, are all big ladies in the eyes of ordinary people, but it is such an identity. In the eyes of certain powerful nobles, it is also just a lowly plaything. It's true. 
A disillusioned, unhappy man walked out from the room. His mouth could not stop cursing. What's wrong with the Lee family? Before boarding the ship, didn't you tell that woman what was going on inside the ship? Damn, also bit me, when we go back, it's time to cut off the resources of the Lee family, to cut off. The woman who rushed to the deck, was even blocked above the bow by several figures, wearing black suits. M.S. Lee, when we boarded the ship, the rules were made clear. Your Lee family, you want resources, you also want to rely on, this opening of the heavenly world, so as to control your own life. You bit the guest, let us go back how to explain? Approaching step by step, the figure in the black suit, his expression gradually became unkind. The Lee family's young lady was also considered to be delicate and attractive, and among the Lee family, she was considered to be quite good looking. But the moment she thought of that pervert, she couldn't stop shaking her head, tears kept sliding down, her voice with a sobbing tone. Please, change someone, anyone, I don't want to go back to that pervert. But all that greeted her was a few cold laughs. No one answered her words. Just stared at her with a cold gaze. A wave of despair rose in Miss Lee's heart. The thought of that man's perverted methods. Her body couldn't stop trembling, and with red eyes, she didn't know what to do. Just when those few people in black suits, walked up to Miss Lee's body. Miss Lee's footsteps were weak, stumbled, and fell into the sea. The surrounding people frowned and went forward to check but the woman had already disappeared into the raging seawater. The man who chased out and was bitten, witnessed this scene with his own eyes, but instead of showing half a bit of compassion, he spat. What bad luck, dead is dead, you guys notify the Lee family and say that I will arrange their resources for them as promised. Next time you dare to send this kind of goods over, don't blame me for flipping them off. A few figures in black suits nodded respectfully, don't worry, young Tan, we'll rearrange a woman, see if you're satisfied. If you're not satisfied, you can also go out and search for a new prey, this time it's our dereliction of duty. Guarantee there won't be a next time. Seeing that they had all said so, Tan Shao only skimmed his lips as his gaze fell on the distant sea. Vaguely visible, in the raging waters, a woman floated up, constantly struggling. But the boat of the heavenly world, once started, it would not stop again. As for the woman who fell into the water, whether she was dead or alive, it was no longer within the scope of their consideration. Wait for Tan Shao to leave. Several figures in black suits, glanced again at the woman who was struggling and trying to call for help. Looking at each other, they said, If you want to blame it, you can only blame Ness. Lee, for being too conservative, when she came up, she already, knew what was going on. Just bear it and get over it, why bother? The companion nodded. Yes, as long as one has boarded the ship of the heavenly world, then after going back, one is bound to enjoy glory and wealth. There's even no shortage of people who have become the power holders in their families, delaying their promising future for nothing. After saying that, they returned to the interior of the ship and did their duty. Only the woman remained, struggling for a while, gradually sank, unable to set off half a wave. I had insomnia last night, got up late, and am trying to catch up on my writing, begging for recommendations, monthly votes, and catching up on my reading. The woman's death did not cause half a ripple to Chen Zhe. He just carried his things and quickly arrived at the hall. Crowds of people walking around could still be vaguely seen here. There were even quite a few young ladies from the families, coming up to climb on those, who had status and position. That was exactly what they had come here for. But after wandering in a large circle, Chen Zhe never found, that teenager with a slightly feminine voice. He began to return the same way. When he walked near the back kitchen, it could be heard that a roaring sound was coming from inside. It seemed that someone had gotten the dishes wrong causing the head chef, that is, the obese and tall man, to be scolded for a while. Immediately afterward, a man, with a face full of black whiskers and extraordinarily rugged, walked out from inside the kitchen. He pulled on his suit, and when he saw Chen Zhe standing in the doorway, a touch of disdain appeared in his eyes. Perhaps in his eyes, this kind of scum at the bottom of society was just a plaything in their hands. Seeing Chen Zhe, his eyes kept looking at himself. The rough man could not help but frown. Going forward, he patted Chen Zhe's face. Don't look. People like you will never be able to understand how wonderful power really is. Your head chef, in my eyes, is also just a grasshopper that can be crushed at any time. Including you, if I want you to die, you will immediately be thrown into the sea to feed the fish. Finished speaking. He walked past Chen Zhe's side, the corner of his mouth rising slightly. If you're really bored, when it's a little later, come over to the last room in the corridor, maybe I can let you taste how wonderful those unattainable damsels really are. I also killed her sister, just last time, when the heavenly world opened, but she was still like a bedbug, and could only be at my mercy. It was this passage. It made Chen Zhe's face inexplicably cold. Thinking of his own sister, perhaps in the eyes of these people, the others on the ship, were not even as good as animals. But it was the same man, the same powerful man of Shanghai City, who had left his sister lying in the hospital, a life worse than death. 
Chen Zhe's eyes vaguely flashed a flash of coldness, his hand unconsciously pressed on the scalpel at his waist. But at this time, the head chef inside, but walked out, a uh, grabbed him, fearful that he would flush someone out. At that time, not only Chen Zhe, I'm afraid that he, the head chef, will also have to be thrown into the sea to feed the fish. That man with a face full of black whiskers, incomparably rough, left in triumph. Upon returning, the head chef coldly glanced at Chen Zhe and threw his temper on the staff member who had served the wrong dish. From amongst the earlier conversations of the others, Chen Zhe had long known. This head chef was once a five-star hotel in Shanghai City, a famous chef. But because of offending, should not offend people. He was beaten to death and even lost his job. Since then, the entire city of Shanghai, no restaurant is willing to accept this person. Until by chance, was seen by someone, came to the heavenly world as the chef. It seems to have recognized an extraordinary character. Even on weekdays, in the kitchen hot-tempered. Also no one dared to find trouble with him. When Chen Zhe frowned, the tall and obese head chef kicked at the personnel who served the wrong food. The force was so great. It sent the person flying two meters and crashed into the wall before stopping. It seemed that the anger did not subside. The eyes fell on the others again. Finally glancing coldly at Chen Zhe. This was the guy who, just now outside, actually dared to look directly at Mr. Lu and almost harmed him as well. I asked you to serve a dish, and now 20 minutes have passed, do you know how much has been delayed? The others were not at fault, Chen Zhe, who had just returned, became his punching bag. But Chen Zhe ignored his voice and walked towards the cutting board next to him, slowly picking up a kitchen knife. Somehow, when the kitchen knife was picked up, the air around him seemed to chill quite a bit. The tall and obese head chef still wanted to go forward. But just looking at Chen Zhe's back with the knife, let him have a kind of shuddering feeling. The eyelids involuntarily fluttered. He subconsciously stopped. It was hard to describe. What kind of feeling was it? But the head chef just felt a chill in his heart, as if he would die at any moment. After opening his mouth, the words he wanted to get angry were all swallowed by him. Chen Zhe did not make any move. Picking up the carrot next to him, he methodically sliced it up, and the surroundings seemed to have become quite silent. Only the staff in the corner remained covering their stomachs and wailing in pain. The head chef just stood back. I don't know how long had passed. He took a deep breath and shouted at the others. Still not working, waiting to die here? You guys think that the money for getting on the ship is for nothing? Two days, $50,000, if you upset those characters, all of you will be thrown into the sea and fed to the fish. As expected, at the mention of those powerful figures, everyone present's body trembled and began to get busy. It was precisely because of that, having been on the ship so many times. Only then did they realize how terrifying those powerful nobles were. Every time the heavenly world opened, there would always be people who somehow lost their lives, unbeknownst to them. Outside those, usually high and mighty white beauty, miss, in front of those powerful and noble, also can only whisper, was tortured to the body. Nested under the wall, the stomach has long been in pain, the guy, stifled a grunt, but also did not dare to delay, stumbled, and climbed up, joined the busy team. Midway, the head chef was called out once more. When he came back again, his forehead was wrapped with a large piece of gauze, and there was hidden blood oozing out. It seemed to be a certain big shot that wasn't satisfied with his dishes, and as a result, he was beaten up like this. But the head chef who had just made a big fuss, instead of daring to have half a complaint, he concentrated even more when cooking. Early morning, the busyness finally ended. The music on the ship, louder, while traveling through the middle of the corridors. In every room, screams of pain could be heard. The head chef, although today, was mauled could spare a moment, drinking two cups of horse piss, as well as a few small dishes he made himself, while walking on the ship, and would fantasize about being one of these people in power, unfortunately, that was nothing more than a daydream, and that kid just now, actually treating my words as if they fell on deaf ears, when things are over back there, I have to find a reason to throw him into the sea, the head chef was obviously still harboring a grudge because of what happened to Chen Zhe, after all, that employee who served the wrong dish, he was kicked to the wall by him, and the only one who gave him a backstory was Chen Zhe, but it made him not dare to go forward for half a day. Every time he thought of this matter, all feel a redness on his face, as if, being humiliated, just when he gritted his teeth, came to the outside of the ship, put his hand on the railing, blowing the sea breeze, holding the beer in his hand, slammed a few mouthfuls of it, suddenly heard behind, came a burst of, clear footsteps, fat head of the head chef, obviously froze for a moment, thinking that it was so late. Even those powerful people were about to rest. Who would run outside at this point? Hiccuped. The head chef looked back and saw, under the illumination of the moonlight, an expressionless figure holding a silver white scalpel. Walking up to him. This person. It was none other than Chen Zhe. The moment he saw Chen Zhe, 
he subconsciously wanted to break into a rage, even wanted to go forward. Give Chen Zhe a hard kick. It was like today when he kicked off another employee, injured and also lying on the ground as if he was a dead dog, not even the ability to resist. Just, all of this fantasy, he hadn't even had time to implement it. Just felt, a flash of silver white reflection. It shook him so much that he closed his eyes. When he opened his eyes once more, there was a tingling pain in his neck, and a warm current, flowing down his neck. He tried to make a sound, but the throat had been cut. Opened his mouth, but nothing came out. It seemed to understand something. His expression gradually became fearful. Not daring to confidently look in front of him, this employee. How could it not be imagined? The other party dared to be so bold. He was the head chef of this ship. If he died, tomorrow's dishes with no one to cook them will be found out immediately. When the time comes to investigate, the dignitaries will not be happy with their meals, how can the consequences be borne by a few employees? Unfortunately, Chen Zhe was not an employee, and he did not need a reason to kill. When the head chef is still struggling, Chen Zhe, however, had already stretched out his hand and pushed hard against the head chef, who had already had his throat cut. The head chef who was gradually becoming weak, only feeling the air hanging behind him, he fell down the edge of the ship. A fluttering sound, exploded a large splash. When he fell into the sea, he could still see the head chef, that pair of eyes full of resentment. However, he no longer had the chance to take revenge. Chen Zhe, who was standing alone on the deck, took out a paper towel and carefully wiped the blood on the scalpel. Just when he wanted to turn back, a beautiful looking woman, came limping from the distance, just happened to see the scene just now. The woman pretended to be calm, only, contracted pupils, had already betrayed her. Knowing that the Chen Zhe in front of her had killed the head chef, the woman nevertheless walked over step by step, staggering past Chen Zhe, she vaguely felt some familiarity when she noticed Chen Zhe's face, then her eyes widened as if she thought of something. However, she did not make a sound, but instead stopped right next to Chen Zhe, where the head chef had just stood. In her eyes, there was a vague look of struggle, released after a long time, lighting up a tiny lady's cigarette, and used her own wretched clothes, wiped away the blood stains left on the armrest just now before speaking. Can we talk? Chen Zhe didn't say anything, only the scalpel still carried a slight reflection under the moonlight. I know who you are. The woman's voice was calm. When she turned her head, she happened to meet Chen Zhe's eyes, as well as the silver-white scalpel that was slowly raised, paired with those two rows of, slowly cracking, morose white teeth. Under the dim light of the aisle, it caused the woman's heartbeat to unconsciously, slow down by half a beat. But the woman seemed to just freeze for a moment. Immediately afterward, she said, I have no malice, and I know who you're looking for. As long as you do me a favor, I can tell you everything you want to know. The woman held the lady's cigarette in her mouth, slowly exhaling a mouthful of smoke. The corners of her mouth were all bruised and her gums were spilling blood. The lipstick she wore was very colorful, and her long hair that fell vertically added a mysterious beauty. If she hadn't appeared in such a place, it was definitely a rare beauty. My name is Lin Qingla, I'm the granddaughter of the person in charge of the Lin family in Shanghai City. I know that seeing me in a place like this, you must be filled with contempt for me from the bottom of your heart. Lin Qingla was about what had happened to her. Straightforward. Her tone was slightly self-deprecating as she looked at the choppy waters outside, and she didn't know what she was thinking. But there are times when I don't want to do this, but someone is trying to force me. He named me and must make me come. If I don't come, then the Lin family, and I, will fall into a never-ending abyss. My cousin, died on the last boarding. If he orders me every time, I don't know how much longer I can last on this boat. It might be the next time, it might be the next time, but I guarantee that one day, I'll be just like all the other women, dying without anyone caring and being thrown into this deep sea. Just like just now, that head chef. Finished speaking. The woman took another deep drag on her cigarette, clenching a pair of showy fists. Viciously, she said, as long as you help me kill that Lou, I'll help you find the person you're looking for. I want to take control of the Lin family. I want to replace the Tang family, and take my place in Shanghai City, I want those who have humiliated me, all to die. The woman's voice was getting colder and colder, like a snowy winter, and her tone was filled with monstrous hatred. Chen Zhe, however, only listened quietly. It wasn't until the woman finished speaking that he asked, What if, I say no? Chen Zhe had thought that his words would cause the woman in front of him, to fluctuate in her mood. But the strange thing was, Lin Xingla, however, just rested her hand on the railing and raised her snow-white swan neck. Then, just like the head chef just now, slit my throat and push me into the sea. If there is no hope but to be tortured by others, living is actually worse than dying. He was from the woman's body. Couldn't see half a point, the expectation of living. She was different from the others, who only needed to come up once and go back to regain power. She was hand-picked to come here by a certain big shot. 
Every time a cruise ship from heaven and earth opened out of the harbor, she had to enter here. As long as she comes, then what greets her is the never-ending hell. Kill me, or do me a favor and I'll give you clues about those people. Seeing the woman, she had already saved her mind for certain death. Chen Zhe wasn't pressing at every step. Tell me, the person you want to kill, in what room? I can't kill him yet, when I go back, he honored the promise he promised me, and I gained everything I wanted. Lin Xing La paused and continued, at that time, you can then make your move, and I will provide you with accurate information. All right. Chen Zhe put away the scalpel. Turning around, he disappeared into the darkness. As for the woman with her hand on the railing. Instead, she just turned around and looked at Chen Zhe's departing figure. Two lines of clear tears, unable to stop them, began to drip down. For others, Chen Zhe might be a nightmare, a devil. But for her, Chen Zhe's appearance was more like a light that illuminated her future. If the plan could really be realized, she had gotten everything she wanted, Chen Zhe would then step in and kill the person. She would then be able to completely control the Lin family. Other people would be afraid of leaking information about those five people. But Lin Xinglo was not afraid. She herself had long been a crippled woman who was bound to die to her own family. She didn't have any feelings for her family, even if she was found out in the end and all the Lin family members died. She would not feel any heartache. On the contrary, it was a success. She would be able to control her own life. Only four more shifts today, not in a very good mental state, the limit, begging for recommendations, monthly votes, catching up on reading, the bow of the ship, the rippling seawater, wave after wave, rolling up monstrous waves, vaguely able to see, sparse drizzle, fell on the deck above. Chen Zhe stood there alone, facing the wind. Nor was he going to pretend. Things had come to this, and if the head chef didn't show up tomorrow, sooner or later, he would be defeated. Since that was the case, then might as well play a big game, on the ship, he was able to sense, a few experts with not bad strength. But those people, in Chen Zhe's eyes, with the hawk-hooked man, were actually similar. Too weak. With his ability, I'm afraid that these people wouldn't be able to pass a few moves in his hands. Since, there are some places that one cannot enter as an ordinary person, let's use the scalpel and force them out. Chen Zhe's gaze was deep and expressionless as he twisted his head toward the inside of the cabin. The overalls on his body had already been ripped off by him, revealing a set of gray yo-yo clothes, as well as sky blue jeans, the moment he lifted his head, his broken hair of varying lengths, with the sea breeze swaying slightly, not far away. A few bodyguards who walked out to patrol, noticed this strange person, couldn't help but frown. Soon after, someone stepped forward and questioned, Which guest are you? Do you have a membership card for Heavenly Paradise? Perhaps they were still not too sure of Chen Zhe's identity at this moment. The tone of the few people who questioned was quite amicable. After all, the men who were able to be on the ship, none of them were simple, and their combined identities could almost make the entire Shanghai city tremble. As long as they stomped their feet, they didn't know how many people's lives and deaths could be decided. However, facing the bodyguard's inquiry, Chen Zhe did not have the slightest idea of wanting to answer. Instead, he took a step forward. Several bodyguards subconsciously touched the waist, a black stick. Their expressions gradually became vigilant, until both sides were no more than a meter away. The bodyguard in the lead finally couldn't hold back. The black stick in his hand was swung out without hesitation. Accompanied by a flash of silver reflection, the bodyguard let out a mournful scream. A bone-deep wound was slashed at his wrist. Blood gushed out, and even the tendon in his hand was broken. The other two saw this and their eyebrows throbbed violently. They pressed the alarm they carried with them, accompanied by a burst of red light. The two bodyguards also rushed over, but unfortunately, they were too weak. They didn't even have the ability to resist. Easily cut by Chen Zhe, slashed their throats. The bodyguard, who was left with only a broken hamstring, looked at this back, and that, cold to the core, face in horror. It vaguely felt as if it overlapped with some sort of character from a message slowly opening his own mouth, but not daring to make a single sound. The whimpering alarm sound, echoing inside the entire ship, Chen Zhe stepped through the sparse drizzle, the wind blowing his clothes. He walked into the cabin, still in the same corridor, still surrounded by dim lights. But at this moment, Chen Zhe was like a god of killing. As soon as the room and the corridor opened, someone walked out. Then the next second, the knife light flashed. On the floor was one more sentence of a corpse dripping with blood. At the very back of the room, Lin Xingla also opened the door. When she saw that the clothes stained with blood, Chen Zhe, she also couldn't help but take a deep breath of cool air. Immediately afterward, she swallowed and retreated back into the middle of the room. In her heart, she cursed a madman. She had thought Chen Zhe had gotten her promise and would continue to hide in the shadows until the ship docked and everyone left in peace. But who would have thought? In a single turn of the head, Chen Zhe began to go on a killing spree. At the same time, 
there were quite a few people that were running in the direction of the hall, because everyone knew, every time the heavenly palace opened, there would be several masters sitting on top of it. At the very top of the ship, there was also a strong person who was comparable to a martial arts expert, who used to be at the helm of the Tang family's martial arts sect, and then because of his age, his speed and strength had declined, and he didn't serve as the controller of the Tang clan's martial arts sect anymore. Instead, he had come to the heavenly world, enjoying the prosperity that the Tang family had built up in Shanghai City. Nowadays, something went wrong. Someone would definitely step in. Otherwise so many powerful people in Shanghai City, how would they dare to run inside this cruise ship and get away with it? As more and more people were inside the hall, the surrounding also appeared. The black cloth figures controlling the order, every one of them, when placed outside, is the outstanding existence among the bodyguards. The average annual salary they received was all as high as 200,000 or more, and they were also a group of security personnel specially selected by the Tang family. There was a stark contrast with those bodyguards outside searching for Chen Zhe. One by one, they were. Standing at the forefront of the crowd, each holding a black baguette in their hands, they coldly looked out at the distant entrance. It seemed that they were all waiting for that person to arrive. But as time passed, the entrance was always quiet, even on the top floor of the ship. There was an old man in his fifties or so, quietly sitting in front of a computer, checking the hall surveillance. Hands were placed underneath his pale beard. It was unknown what he was thinking. This person, it was none other than the former controller of the Tang family martial sect, Jiang Lingyun. In his younger days, he had also been a figure of the storm in Shanghai City that had caused many bloody storms. Even the Tang family had recently released news the boxing expert that they want to invite back. It was also Jiang Lingyun's senior brother, the famous genius of the Jiang family back then, and at the mere age of 38, he had already stepped into the ranks of everyone. This title was not something that could be obtained easily. One must be recognized by five great martial arts masters, and have a record of being able to defeat the previous martial arts grandmaster. After all, that group of martial arts great masters, had long since grown old. If one couldn't even defeat them, how could they be called everyone? It was also because of this, Jiang was able to rise strongly, plus, the support of those behind it, Jiang family. Nowadays, in the martial arts world, it was also considered a generation of famous families. Just as Jiang Lingyun frowned and thought, the landline next to him, the ding 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 bell rang again, he picked up the phone, a dull voice came from the opposite side. We found a ship staff in the port's toilet, along with a set of white coats. Recently, the brat who has been working against the Tang family is most likely already on the ship. The Tang family, the Zhou family, and the Lin family, who took over from the Wang family, have all mobilized all their forces and sailed over in their yachts. If that brat does anything, please make sure to secure the lives of those powerful people on board. We'll be able to arrive at your location in about an hour. Hearing everything the man on the other side of the landline, said, Jiang Lingyun's frown tightened. The madman who had been working against the Tang family recently? By all accounts. The other party was just alone, and the address of their heavenly home would be updated every time. And, several smoke bombs would be released as a way to confuse the onlookers. But that kid, yet he was able to accurately find, this ship. From here, it is not difficult to see. Behind that kid, there was definitely someone helping. Could it be the outsiders? They're close to that kid, and even the second hospital is escorted by outsiders. No matter how many people the Tang clan sent out and how many times they attacked, they never brought down the second hospital. Speaking of this, Zhang Lingyun slowly exhaled a breath. Turning to the other side, he asked. Earlier, the heir to the M.O. family fist, M.O. Yuan Shan, wasn't he wasted by that kid? A silence came from the other end of the phone. But soon it still answered. It was wasted by that kid. It is said that night, the two met and fought on the roof of a private house, and the result was. M.O. Yuan Shan was beaten and fell from the fourth floor, even his senior brother, M.O. Zhendong, had his hand smashed off to save M.O. Yuan Shan's life. M.O. Yuan Shan. The old man sighed. The other party was also considered the leader of the younger generation of the southern school. Although his combat experience was lacking, under the south sex many piles of resources and the older generation's feeding strokes, he was actually able to lose to a madman. It was indeed somewhat outrageous. That Imo Yuanshan kid, he's still too young. Inexperienced in battle, yet to be improved, I'm on board, so you guys can rest assured. Him, Jiang Lingyun, once the closest thing to a boxing expert in Shanghai City, with a pair of iron fists beat the entire city of Shanghai, no one dares to claim the title of hero, beat the Tang family to rise, beat the neighboring forces, scared of the wind. It can be said, the Tang family could have today's splendor, in addition to the support of the people behind it, there was no shortage of him, the controller of the martial sect. Even the martial sect, was established by my own hands back then. 
Although I am not a martial arts expert, I was once the first person under everyone in Shanghai City. By no means is M O U Wan Shan comparable. Kid, I can only say that you've come to the wrong place. The old man slowly narrowed his eyes and got up to leave the room. Taking large strides, he walked down. It was clear that he was already very old, but still, the dragon walked with a smooth breath. The long aisles and stairs, but it was only in the twinkling of an eye. When the old man came to the third floor, a mysterious and flashy room was pushed open. Out stepped a bare-chested but exceptionally handsome teenager with a few hints of sinister evil. His pupils contracted slightly as he opened his mouth and asked, "Mr. Zhang, is something wrong down there?" Zhang Lingyun, who had walked down, nodded. Earlier upstairs, the unusually arrogant him. When faced with this youngster, he appeared respectful. Don't worry, young master. You hide in the middle of the room's dark pavilion first. When that person is resolved, the Tang family's manpower will almost arrive. At that time, young master will then take the speedboat and leave, guaranteeing that there won't be any problems. The youngster, with a feminine voice and unusually handsome, hastily nodded his head, retreating back inside the room. But if you were to look at the corner of the doorway, you would be able to see that there were a few big girls from prestigious families lying on the ground, motionless. Whether they were dead or alive was unknown. For all this, Zhang Lingyun was used to it and walked down the stairs with his negative hand. Only the teenager with the feminine voice and unusually handsome appearance was left, hiding in the dark cabinet of the room. Unfortunately, inside the hall, although it was filled with people, but Chen Ze did not appear. Instead, it was outside. From time to time, there would be miserable screams. Zhang Lingyun, who walked down, glanced at the panicked, famous families. His face was filled with disdain. Back then, he had experienced a bloody storm. It was much more terrifying than this. To him, what was happening in front of him was almost insignificant. Now, the only thing to worry about were those the other powerful nobles who hadn't entered the hall. Although from the bottom of his heart, Zhang Lingyun looked down on these people, but after all, they were concerned with the lifeblood of the entire Shanghai city. In case there were too many casualties, the repercussions would be incalculable. That kid never ran to the hall. Instead, wandering around every corner of the ship. This is a bit tricky. If the other party ran out brightly, perhaps he had many ways to force that kid to death. But this cruise ship was too big. With their manpower, although they could also conduct a large-scale search. But once the personnel were spread too thin, with that kid's skills, I'm afraid that ordinary security would play a minimal role. The only thing they should do was to guard the hall and protect the current power players in the hall. You guys stay here first. I'll go out and see what's going on. John Lingyun let out a breath, and with his skills, he had a few moments of artistry. Just like that, step by step, he left the hall. The surroundings became silent once again. Only John Lingyun remained, walking into the dimly lit corridor and pressing the switch next to him. The entire corridor was suddenly brightly lit. But what could be seen? It was also just a miserable sight. Looks like he's no longer in Area A. John Lingyun walked through one room after another. It had long been empty inside, and no one could be seen. So he traveled to area B, area C, and area D again, without exception. None of them found Chen Zhe's whereabouts. Only the hall, a figure with a lowered head and a cold face. Slowly from his waist, he touched out a silver white scalpel. Immediately afterward, there was a poof. A security officer suddenly fell to the ground. The surrounding people hadn't even reacted yet. The scene was already a mess. Screams, one after another. Chen Zhe was hidden amongst the chaos. Quietly watching the mini security, just like a cheetah poised to strike. The security personnel had also tried trying to pacify these powerful people, but weekdays, used to living high above drunkenness, they, in the face of unknown fear and death, they have long since lost that kind of planning courage. Began to go crazy, rushing those security escape to the outside. Although the security personnel were incomparably angry, there was no halfway solution. And among the crowd. From time to time, miserable screams could be heard, and most of the security, who were originally outnumbered, had, without realizing it, been lying on the ground. By the time Jiang Lingyun heard the commotion and rushed back, the entire hall became incomparably empty. Only Chen Ze was alone, standing in the center of the hall. Seeing such a scene, Jiang Lingyun remembered his assurance to the phone that person there would be no casualties to these powerful people. But now the situation was out of control. He clenched his teeth. Staring at Chen Zhe, his voice was cold to the core. Do you know what kind of place this is? It's fine for you to go against the Tang family on weekdays. What you're doing now is equivalent to offending the entire Shanghai city. No one will spare you. Not just you. Everything related to you, including those outsiders, will be completely erased because of your impulses this time. As the old man spoke, 
Step by step, he approached, his footsteps were steady, his breath was distant, and his body that looked long-aged. Yet, he carried a wave-like aura. It came surging. Chen Ze, however, just took a stance, quietly looking at this old man, without the slightest bit of panic, without the slightest concession. The gaze was cold and somewhat frightening. The silver-white scalpel was held horizontally like this. His legs were slightly bent, and his toes fired. Just like a humanoid cannonball, in a split second, rushed out. Request for recommendation votes, monthly votes, chase reading, the typewriter of the feelings of motor is catching up. The old man faced the charging Chen Zhe, open and calm, his footsteps light and quick. He had fought against countless experts. The richness of his combat experience was the greatest in Shanghai City. Even a martial arts expert, comparing the number of battles he had fought and the experience he had gained, would not necessarily be a match for him. They were not necessarily his opponents, and it was because of this combat experience that he had a good understanding of the world's boxing styles. Leg techniques. Know it like the back of his hand. Regardless of what moves the other party is making. Just one glance. He would have a way to crack it. He was even able to deduce more than a dozen counter-attacking methods against it. It was also this rich experience that allowed him to remain unchanged, and even slowly set up his stance. He wanted to see if this madman who was able to defeat Mo Yuan Shan was really as powerful as rumored. Although Mo Yuan Shan is strong, he is only a junior, compared to a true expert, he is still a hundred thousand miles short. Finished speaking. Zhang Lingyun made a move to push the cloud hand, just to give Chen Zhe a little taste of power. But his hand hadn't even gone out yet. A powerful swinging fist came straight at his face. There was no stance to speak of. There was no variation in the path. It was like a street gangster, a faceless rip and swing. With lightning speed, it smashed into his head. Jiang Lingyun raised an eyebrow, so frightened that he hastily raised his arm and forcefully resisted. Only a thud was heard. Jiang Lingyun stumbled, his entire arm trembling violently. The terrifying impact caused him to exit sideways for several steps. Only then did he look towards Chen Ze with a face full of astonishment. Taking a deep breath, he thought that he had blurred his eyes. He didn't know what kind of fist technique the other party was using. He had actually never even seen it before. With such a wealth of experience and a long view of a hundred schools of thought, he actually couldn't see through a kid who came out of a madhouse? Just when he was still considering how to deal with Chen Ze, the pounding fists, the harsh scalpel with silver reflections, came one after the other. Zhang Lingyun's proud experience, the strengths of exposing himself to a hundred schools of thought. It couldn't show half the effect at this moment. What he's using is neither the famous fist technique, neither is it the world sword manual that's coming out. The fist is powerful and heavy, and throughout the hundred schools of thought, I've never seen this kind of path. Zhang Lingyun's face was filled with incredulity. As the number one person under everyone, the legendary figure who had once stirred up countless storms in Shanghai City, Zhang Lingyun's face was filled with incredulity. At this moment, he was like a lonely boat in the middle of the ocean. Facing the rough seawater, even rose a kind of difficult to resist the illusion. Has been hard to receive a dozen punches. Dodged more than a dozen silver luster. Jiang Lingyun's arm, being hit, was somewhat difficult to move. Almost every punch was hard received. Even he, himself, couldn't tell. Which direction was the punch coming from? Kid, dare you put away that scalpel of yours? Seeing that he had received a dozen or so hard punches, if he continued to fight like this, his arm would have to be scrapped by this madman. Zhang Lingyun hurriedly opened his mouth and said, Now that I'm nearly 54 years old, I dare to fight you with my bare hands. Could it be that you are so unconfident in your own abilities? Hearing Zhang Lingyun's words, Chen Zhe frowned, his heart somewhat strange. This old head has a big mouth. But when it came to a real fight, it felt even worse than Mo Yuan Shan. Even when he fought with Mo Yuan Shan, he dared to fight with his bare hands in close quarters. Beat the other party to retreat and fall from a 10 meter high building. Facing such an old man, he naturally didn't have the slightest fear. Slowly put the silver white scalpel. Don't pin it behind his back. He rushed over once more. Zhang Lingyun was also well prepared this time. He thought to himself that Chen Zhe must have mixed up and disorganized the boxing styles of various schools, so as long as he was careful to distinguish between them, he would always be able to deal with them. He would always be able to cope with it. After all, with his current skills, even if the speed, power, all aspects have decreased. However, he was able to rely on this experience alone, and pressured countless people to not be able to raise their heads. But when Chen Zhe rushed in front of him again, it was still the same powerful swinging fist that smashed into the old man's shoulder. Zhang Lingyun stifled a grunt. His hands could not stop trembling. He couldn't use half of his strength. He clenched his teeth. Looking at Chen Zhe in front of him, he hated his teeth deep inside, because, now he dared to be sure. What this kid had learned was not boxing at all. Nor was it a leg technique. 
It was clearly the way street punks fought. All the variations are all improvised, relying on fighting instincts. Plus this kid's physique is different from normal people. Strength is more than several times that of someone practicing martial arts. Nowadays, he has long since ceased to be the Zhang Lingyun of the past. The reason why he is so capable of fighting is because he has enough experience to back it up. But now, all that experience. When facing this brat, it all became a bit blank and powerless, making one fight at a loss. He also finally knew, and all you want Sean why he lost, and this kid to fight can only rely on brute force, speed. Forced to win. Forced suppression. Not only that. In terms of fighting instincts, you also have to overpower the other party. He really couldn't imagine what kind of monster such a person who fought all by instinct would metamorphose into if he learned orthodox martial arts moves. Bang bang bang. Jiang Lingyun's mind was in turmoil. A few more punches were thrown head on. Finally unable to carry him. He was knocked to the ground by a punch, and his arm no longer had any feeling. Even his face was hit by several punches earlier. The first person under the martial arts everyone was actually beaten to a bruised face, blood dripping from the corners of the mouth, miserable to see. Even Chen Zhe's gaze carried a bit of doubt. He crouched beside the fallen old man, coldly looking at the other party. You're far worse than the guy who called himself Mo Yuan Shan who fought me last time. He at least fought me for almost 15 minutes. You didn't even carry it for 10 minutes. Hearing Chen Zhe actually comparing him to Mo Yuan Shan. Zhang Lingyun was so angry that he was trembling all over, but he couldn't argue. He only felt his chest sinking and almost didn't spurt out a mouthful of blood, it was unbearable. He had also once been to the Southern Fist M.O. family to explain martial arts to the M.O. family's descendants. That M.O. Yuan Shan he had met several times. M.O. Yuan Shan had also asked him to teach him many times, but the two sides just exchanged blows, less than a few rounds. M.O. Yuan Shan was knocked to the ground by him. Now that he was being mocked like this, Zhang Lingyun could only snort coldly and turn his head to the side. Allowing Chen Zhe to stare from the side, the current Zhang Lingyun's old face felt as if he had been beaten, hot and uncomfortable. If there was a crack in the ground, he would definitely not hesitate to drill into it. And finally understood. What does it mean to kill a teacher with a messy fist? Chen Zhe saw the old thing in front of him, did not want to pay attention to his appearance. He also just shook his head and felt out that silver white scalpel again. It was pressed against the other party's neck preparing to settle the other party for good. But before his knife had even scratched through, there was, from outside, a violent crash. And vaguely, there were the excited cries of powerful people and disorganized footsteps. Zhang Lingyun heard that sound and knew that it was the Tang family, Zhou family, and Lin family who had come. His mission, too, was considered complete. Plus, he had gotten old long ago. He also stopped resisting and just lay on the ground. Instead, there was a commotion around him, and the sound grew louder and louder. The sounds of disorganized footsteps were also increasing. Chen Zhe narrowed his eyes and grabbed the old man's clothes as he walked quickly towards the outside. Chen Zhe dragged Jiang Lingyun and was about to arrive at the deck when Jiang Lingyun finally opened his mouth. Little, little brother, can, can you let go of me first, I'll walk out by myself. If little brother wants to kill me, I will absolutely not fight back, I only implore you, leave me the last shred of decency. The thought of being dragged like a dead dog, exposed in front of everyone, or in this miserable state. He couldn't wait to die inside the hall. He had reached his age. He had left behind countless legendary stories, but at the end of the day, if he ended up like this, I'm afraid he would become a big joke in Shanghai City. Even if he died in Chen Zhe's fight. At least when others talk about him, Zhang Lingyun, he would also give a thumbs up. He would be called an old timer. But what is going on now? Chen Zhe glanced at this old thing who had no power to fight back and slowly loosened his grip on his clothes. In less time, it came to the exit. The entire cruise ship. Front and back, there were already densely packed speedboats docked, even in the distance. There was a small cruise ship, which was enough to accommodate all of the powerful nobles. Those powerful nobles standing at the bow of the ship were climbing down the fluttering rope ladders to board the speedboats one after another. There were also a dozen or so people standing at the bow of the ship. On all sides, even more so, one after another, there were numerous experts boarding the boat. Such a lineup. In the entire Shanghai city, it was considered unprecedented. The most terrifying breath is that standing in front, all black clothes, face with sighing stubble. The stout man with an upright body. About 30 or 40 years old, a pair of fists above all calluses. On both sides stood seven or eight young men dressed in black, just like him. The moment Chen Zhe walked out, everyone's eyes fell on him. The middle-aged man who stood at the very front, in black clothes, with a face full of scruff and a burly figure. Raising his calloused hand, he inquired. You are, the Chen Zhe who has been making a lot of noise in Shanghai City recently? 
The middle-aged man who opened his mouth was named Jiang Sheng, learning boxing at the age of 5, and at the age of 12, he had already beaten the Jiang family, the younger generation, without the power to fight back. He was also the only martial arts genius born in the entire Jiang family. At the age of 14, on behalf of the Jiang family, he challenged various sects and schools, and became famous for a while. At the age of 31, in the presence of five great men, he won a competition with the older generation. At that time, he became the most popular martial arts expert. He was also the president of the Chuanyun Provincial Martial Arts Association. The number of disciples under him alone was already in the thousands. The geometry of this person's prestige was self-evident. It seems that your excellency does not want to answer. Seeing that Chen Zhe did not say anything for a long time, Jiang Sheng asked again, that senior brother of mine, is he still inside? Little brother, it seems like you haven't fought my senior brother yet, otherwise your clothes wouldn't be so neat. Elder brother? Chen Zhe remembered, that unbearable old man just now. In a calm voice, he said, carried me for more than three dozen punches, and now it's difficult to walk. Put, a young man in the back who was drinking water. He violently sprayed the mineral water in his mouth. The girl in the light blue martial arts uniform giggled, laughed so hard that her flower branches trembled. Even its, others, a bit of speechlessness was revealed in their eyes. This younger brother, seeing as you're not too old, hasn't your mom told you that it's wrong to lie? The girl in the blue martial arts uniform spread out her hands. The laughter in her voice was not hidden. After all, the entire process was just too ridiculous. When they had boarded the ship just now, they had asked the powerful people around them and knew that Chen Zhe had never met up with Zhang Lingyun. Instead, Zhang Lingyun had left. It was only then that they began to move against the surrounding security. It was the time that these powerful people walked out, as well as the time they boarded the ship, how long had passed. Even if they really fought, Chen Zhe had the strength of a martial arts expert, in front of the experienced Zhang Lingyun, it would be impossible to settle the fight that quickly. Shu Shu, the last time Zhang Shang fought this senior brother of his, it also fought for almost 20 minutes before he, his senior brother, conceded defeat. It was hard to believe that Chen Zhe's 15 years of age. Is it possible that Chen Zhe, at the age of 15, is even more powerful than the 31-year-old president of the Wushu Association of Chuanyun Province? Just thinking about it, it felt heavenly. As for Jiang Lingyun who walked to the exit, hearing the conversation outside, his face, which was already swollen red, revealed a touch of shame. His toes were clasping the ground dead center. If he was strong enough, I'm afraid that the soles of his shoes would have to be gouged through by him, on the contrary, he had to go out now. Thinking about later, the way others would look at him. Zhang Lingyun felt like his mind was about to explode. Thinking about when he was young, he didn't even have the slightest fear when facing experts several times his size. When he was beaten up and dying, he had never even been in such a sorry state as he was today. But everything, none of it was up to him now. Zhang Lingyun's face was full of embarrassment, and every step felt extraordinarily heavy, as if his legs had been filled with lead, yet he still walked outside. When the crowd saw the miserable Jiang Lingyun with a bruised nose and swollen face, blood dripping from the corners of his mouth, they also couldn't help the corners of their mouths twitching, and those who had just let out laughter froze in place one by one. Embarrassed, they looked to the sky, pretending that what had just happened hadn't happened. Only the robust Jiang Shang glanced at his senior brother, and then the corners of his mouth smiled. Step by step, the situation around them became more and more grim. The glass window on the third floor of the ship, however, was opened from the inside revealing the figure of a handsome teenager, shouting downwards, Mr. Jang, is it the Tang family's arrival? Is it safe down there already? If so, I'll go down. Yet it was this slightly feminine voice. It made the face of Jiang Lingyun next to him change and change. The people around them seemed to have realized something as well. The expressions revealed a few shaken and were filled with hesitation. Wasn't it said that that young master, this time when the heavenly palace opened, wouldn't come over? How did he run to the ship again? And still under such circumstances, even Chen Zhe narrowed his eyes. When he looked up at the young man with the feminine voice and incomparable handsomeness, the mania in his eyes that was cold to the extreme could no longer be contained. With his foot against the pedal next to him, he violently stepped over. One hand grabbed, the iron block protruding from the second floor. Top of the awning above, rushed towards the feminine teenager, just where there is a pipe, straight to the top, if you let Chen Zhe climb up. The consequences are unimaginable. Jiang Lingyun was even more alarmed and shouted, Little brother, this time you were on the cruise ship, you killed quite a few powerful people, if even that young master has an accident, Shanghai City will really change. Getting Jiang Lingyun's personal admission, I'm afraid that any fool could guess the identity of that handsome youngster. Jiang Sheng even grabbed a nearby stool, violently smashed to, climbed to the second floor Chen Zhe. Huge force, only heard a bang. Chen Zhe's body couldn't stop swaying. 
The two Jiang family juniors behind them, united together, crossed their arms, signaling Jiang Sheng to step on their hands and shoulders and jump up. Jiang Sheng didn't hesitate, like a tiger that chose to eat, he leapt up and smashed his fist into Chen Zhe, who was propped up on the second floor plywood. Having just been hit in the back by a stool, the intense pain had not yet faded, Chen Zhe slightly tilted back, his feet propped up on the edge of the second floor deck, turning around with a lightning fast momentum. A pair of fists blasted over. Only a bang was heard. The fists of the two men collided together. Chen Zhe also lost balance due to his body. He fell down. Zhang Shang was also lifted 7 or 8 meters by the tremendous force, and was staggered and held up by his juniors. Only then did he stabilize his body. It was only that hand that was constantly shaking after the counterblast. It caused a monstrous wave to rise in his heart. Epileptic pile driver will come back to catch up after eating. After just one pair of punches, Zhang Shangren was dumbfounded. When he was 14 years old, he traveled all over the country. He had challenged countless martial arts experts, but in terms of strength alone, Chen Zhe was definitely the most terrifying of all the people he had encountered. The most terrifying. He had a complicated gaze, but Chen Zhe ignored him. Instead, he looked up. Inside the glass window on the third floor, the unusually handsome teenager with a feminine voice knew that it was almost impossible to rush up from here. His eyes coldly swept over the people present. He took a step back, inside that corridor next to him. Since these people wanted to stop themselves, then let's play a big game and enter his home time. There were many experts present. Swarming all together, even Chen Zhe would have his hands tied. Instead of that, then it would be better to have a smooth assassination. The entire area of the ship was numerous, and there were many places he could hide, as long as he was within this ship. In the darkness of the night, he was a ghost wandering on the edge of hell, no one could stop him. As Chen Zhe hid in the darkness, his cold, chilling gaze swept over the crowd. In everyone's hearts, they all thumped. A bad premonition began to sprout in their hearts. By the time they chased after him, and then tried to look for Chen Zhe's trail, they could no longer see anyone. At the same time, they were afraid that Chen Zhe had gone to look for that youngster on the third floor, and hurriedly started, swarming and rushing into the interior of the ship. Otherwise, once something happened to that young master, the consequences would be unimaginable. Zhang Sheng was the first to react, a foot stepped on a distant stool, leapt up, and grabbed the plywood on the second floor. Following that sewage pipe, he rushed to the third floor. Unlike Chen Zhe, all of them were below him. Much less would anyone do any blocking, and in just a few breaths, he had arrived at the third floor window. Below, the head of the Tang clan's main house for this mission. Tang Yun looked at the six martial sect experts he had brought with him. Wei Guangyao, Jiang Qi, Chen Wu, Zhao Peng, Xing Junren, and Luo Qingji. Opening his mouth, he said. With your strength, although you can't beat that kid, once you join forces, you can't be underestimated. I don't ask much from you guys, find that kid, hold him back, and never let anyone get away. Wei Guangyao, Jiang Qi, Chen Wu, Zhao Peng, Xing Junren, and Luo Qingji, the six of them, nodded. All of them rushed towards that corridor, they were all from the martial sect second only to the helmsman. Their strength was similar to the eagle-hooked man, and they were able to beat people at Sun Long's level, but compared to Jiang Lingyun, Jiang Shang, they were still too far behind. However, if the six of them were to join forces, even Jiang Shang would never be able to kill them all in a short period of time. At that time, they would only need to delay Chen Zhe and wait for Jiang Shang and the others to arrive. The goal would be achieved. Wei Guangyao, Jiang Qi, Chen Wu, Chao Peng, Xing Junren, Luo Qingji, the six of them were very fast. Almost in the blink of an eye, they went in after Chen Zhe's footsteps. While standing outside at the head of the main room, Tang Yun made a gesture to the people around him. Those figures dressed in black, like a tidal wave, entered the interior of the cruise ship. Someone even brought a ladder, ready to let the handsome third floor teenager to leave here first. As long as the handsome young man left, they could then let go, and Chen Zhe would not be able to fly at that time. Just after he had made the arrangements, after many matters, below the speedboat, but quickly climbed up a person. Looking around for a few moments, coming to Tang Yun's side, he whispered, Big brother, quite a few people have come outside, it seems like they are experts from the side branch, on top of that, a huge number of outsiders have appeared, fighting with the people from the side branch. If we want to take that young master away now, the level of danger is a low, as far as I know, the outsiders this time, invited that Tarzan of the Northern Hall, to Shanghai City as well. Tang Yun, who was still calm and collected, had his face darken when he heard this. The original plan. It was to let the young master leave first, and with Jiang Sheng personally making a move, he might be able to keep Chen Zhe here. But the outsiders, and the appearance of the side branches, and even that Taishan Beidou from the North Hall, made the situation once again confusing. These outsiders, don't they know the identity of the young master? Are they crazy? The person who came over to report, however, only smiled bitterly. They definitely know, it's just that, 
The people above have been in control of Shanghai City for too long, it's inevitable that they will give rise to other thoughts. If you want to blame it, you can only blame it on the fact that the above grasped the resources too tightly, otherwise, it wouldn't have gotten to the present state. Once when the Tang family was at its strongest and most glorious, outsiders had come though, yet they were quickly fought off. But as the Tang family gradually declined, the number of times outsiders entered Shanghai City gradually increased. They were even tougher than once, causing the Tang family to make many concessions over the years. It was all in favor of this. These outsiders still weren't satisfied. They have a big appetite, and what they want is the lifeblood of the entire Shanghai city, but no matter if it's the people above them, or our Tang family, there's no way they're going to give these things up. Tang Yun's face was also filled with gloom when he heard this. A strong sense of powerlessness arose. Yet again, he quickly asked. By the way, the one leading the side branch this time, is it Tang Bing? The person who had come over to report, froze for a moment and shook his head. It's not Tang Bing, it's that wife of Tang Hao's, Lin Yuezhu, presumably hiding from Tang Bing and secretly bringing people over. Lin Yuezhu? Tang Yun's eyes narrowed unknowingly. He cupped his chin. After pondering for a long time, his gaze looked deep into the sea. Tang Hao was almost the top pillar of the side branch, playing an even greater role than Tang Bing. If it wasn't for Tang Hao all these years, the side branch would have declined long ago, and that Lin Yuezhu, even more so, is Tang Hao's right arm and left arm, if it wasn't for this woman, Tang Hao wouldn't be able to do what he's doing today. Speaking of Tang Hao, there was also Lin Yuezhu. Although the main house and the side branch, has long been incompatible, but the people who came over to report, had a look of deep conviction. Even if in their hearts, they didn't want the side branch to be in power, they had to admit that Tang Hao and his wife had indeed created quite a few legendary stories. Big brother, why don't I contact Lin Yuezhu and send some more people over, as long as the two sides join forces, I believe that outsiders, even if they invite the Tarzan of the Northern Hall, they won't necessarily be able to curry favor. His thoughts were simple, that was to kill Chen Zhe and then drive the outsiders out of Shanghai City. But Tang Yun in front of him, his face was a little cloudy. People should definitely be sent over, but, but what? But I hope that Lin Yuezhu can die tonight. The Tang clan disciple next to him, hearing this, widened his eyes, revealing an inexplicable look of horror. Kill Lin Yuezhu? I'm afraid that the entire side branch would have to go crazy. At that time, once the matter was revealed, there wouldn't even be a need for outsiders to take action, the Tang clan itself would have to collapse. This big brother of his was simply heartless. I know what you're thinking, but Tang Hao is in the hands of that madman, and now his life and death are uncertain, just kill this madman. The chaos in Shanghai city should end. All the problems come from that madman. So, I want to have a big gamble. If we win, the outsiders will likewise be driven out of mountain and sea city, and the side branches will be devastated and reduced to pawns on the fringes of power as a result. Hearing his elder brother's words, the clan brother's expression became a bit struggling, full of complexity. But we promised Tang Bing that during this period of time, we would not assault each other until the crisis of the Tang family was resolved. Tang Yun waved his hand, I say fourth brother, can't you see? If we let, Tang Hao come back unharmed, with Tang Bing's methods, as well as Tang Hao and his wife Lin Yuezhu, our big house is no match at all. After speaking, Tang Yun leisurely sighed. Even if we win, our main house, one day, will be reduced to a puppet that is not useful to look at. Fine, fine. The fourth brother nodded, seemingly having made his decision. Returning to the speedboat once more, he disappeared into the night. Only Tang Yun remained, alone, gazing out at the distant coastline. Slowly, he exhaled a mouthful of turbid air. Lin Yuezhu, don't blame me for being hard-hearted, I only blame you for coming at the wrong time. It's just that, because of the outsider, that young master, I'm afraid he won't be able to leave for a while. The far side of the coastline. Two newly arrived huge cruise ships, as well as numerous speedboats, almost blocked this area, altogether. Every now and then, there would also be screams coming from the surroundings, making the outer sea, which was already covered by the sound of tsunamis, became even more cluttered. Even the lights of the speedboats and cruise ships illuminated all the surrounding area. The leftmost cruise ship, Master Lu, Miss Su, and the controllers of the other regions of Shanghai City, all gathered here. At the very front, there was also a man standing with a thick breath, around 40 years old and nearly 1 meter 9 in height, slowly stretching his muscles like a tiger's back, terrifying lines that seemed to carry unrivaled explosive power. Looking at the battlefield in front of him, he revealed a few moments of unrestrained joy. It's been a long time since I've seen such a spectacular scene. It seems like those people behind Shanghai City have begun to sit up and take notice. Such a lineup is by no means something the Tang clan of today can utilize. This person was none other than the outsider, invited from the North Hall to the Tarzan level figure, Duan Yulong, who possessed unrivaled calling power in the entire North faction. The reason why he was able to gather so many people in a short period of time, this Tarzan level figure in front of him could not be faulted. 
When the others heard Duan Yulong's words, they all nodded in agreement, their faces filled with respect. Only Miss Su, who was next to him, looked out across the street, at the ships traveling in the same direction, and slowly said, If I wasn't wrong just now, on the opposite side of that ship, standing there is none other than Lin Yuazhu, this person is Tang Hao's virtuous assistant. In the entire Tang family's side branch, it's also considered a sole leader-like existence, the reason why the side branch is able to have today's splendor, and is even able to call the shots with the main house. These three people, Tang Bing, Tang Hao, and Lin Yuazhu, deserve a lot of credit. If... They take on both the main house and the side branch at the same time, I'm afraid that today's matter will become extraordinarily tricky. The staff I arranged on the ship earlier even reported to me about the situation on the ship. It's rumored that the arrogant and domineering young prince is also in the Heavenly Palace cruise ship. Speaking of this, the crowd revealed a few moments of surprise, but soon, they became excited again. Especially Duan Yulong, who was standing at the front, couldn't help but let out a loud laugh. That's really the right bet. If that madman, could have slaughtered the surname Mu. Those people behind it will definitely show their faces. As long as they show up, there will be new forces entering Shanghai City, they can't carry it, once the decadence is out, that's when the storm clouds will rise again. But we can't put all our hopes on that kid, we must board that ship as soon as possible. Saying that, Duan Yulong waved his big hand, signaling the crowd to speed up. After all, on that ship in the heavenly world, there is still a Jiang Shang and Jiang Lingyun. That kid was alone, and he didn't know how long he could carry it. On the boat of the Tang family's side branch, Lin Yuazhu was also watching everything in the surroundings. There were quite a few of them following behind, the experts she had gone to great lengths to invite, even utilizing the power of her mother's side of the family. It was only then that it reached its current size. Sister-in-law, would it be too risky for us to do this? Didn't Great Aunt say that she wouldn't let us come over? Neither will she allow people from the side branches to participate in this siege. Back. It was Tang Hao's younger sister, although she was also worried about her brother's safety, but once something happened to her sister-in-law, and her brother couldn't come back, I'm afraid that the sky of the side branch would collapse. But facing Tang Xinxin's inquiry, Lin Yuazhu, however, only raised her head, revealing a few, inexorable points inside her expression. If you were the main house, and were bent on suppressing us, you'd have captured the only person who knew Tang Hao's whereabouts. What would you do next? Tang Xinxin opened her mouth, half unable to speak. If it were her instead, she would not hesitate to pry open that kid's mouth. Then send someone to kill Tang Hao. Once this kid, who had been making waves in Shanghai City and causing the Tang family to be in a state of anxiety, died. It also meant that it was time for the wind and waves in Shanghai City to calm down. At that time, the so-called agreement between the main house and the side branch would become meaningless. But in case, great aunt knows that we're doing this, wouldn't, wouldn't it be? Never mind that much. If you want your brother and my man to survive, then you must, before the main houses, grab that brat. Lin Yuazhu looked up to the sky, at least all interrogations must have our people present, otherwise, what will greet us will be an unprecedented disaster, and I'm afraid it will be difficult for the side branches to come out again. Hearing his sister-in-law, all put words to this, Tang Xinxin could only nod her head as well, then everything will be listened to by sister-in-law, but our people and the outsiders are up against each other, the cruise ship is advancing at an extremely slow speed and there are speedboats all around. I also don't know when we'll be able to get to the ship where the Heavenly Palace is located. Following Tang Xinxin's gaze, the entire sea, the speedboats had almost blocked the road. Some of these people were outsiders, some were experts invited by Lin Yuazhu, and it had long since become impossible to tell who was who. If they didn't care and rushed over, it wasn't just the outsiders who would die, but likewise their people. The goal of the outsiders is likewise the Heavenly Palace, they definitely won't sit back and do nothing, don't worry, the battle around them will soon be over. Once the two sides separate, it's time for us to move forward at full speed. Sure enough, when Lin Yuazhu finished speaking, the surrounding outsiders began to retreat a little bit. Lin Yuazhu also arranged for her people to return to the sides of the cruise ship, and both sides tacitly began to accelerate, believing that it wouldn't take long to get to the location where the Heavenly Palace was. The many chaos outside. All of them had nothing to do with Chen Ze. He had now gone from area A to area C. Everywhere, one could see figures lying on the ground. All of them were people who wanted to surround Chen Ze inside the ship. He stepped with almost silent footsteps, cutting off the only power source inside, the entire area C. It had long since fallen into a pitch black dead silence. Not far away, six experts from the martial sect happened to arrive at the scene, seeing the tragic situation on the ground. Face black terrible. The ones who came this time were all the elite of the martial sect. For everyone that died, they felt their hearts dripping blood. Now in just half an hour, the casualties were more than half. Who could stand it? If this continues, even if they went back, 
it would be hard for them to take the blame. The end can be imagined. At the very least, they would be kicked out of the Tang family for all the sins they had committed. Once they left the Tang family, the only thing that would greet them would be death. Guangyao, going on like this isn't a solution, that kid is too weird, unless we can catch him head on, sooner or later we'll have to play it out. Wei Guangyao could only let out a bitter smile. Let's chase after him first and take a look, there's nothing I can do if you're telling me this. The others could only nod their heads. They soon came to the junction of area C and area B, accompanied by a sound of something landing on the ground. They looked along the location where the sound appeared. Finally, they saw, the person they had been searching for. Shen Ze, seeing the other party. Wei Guangyo sighed in relief, otherwise if this continued, the elite of the martial sect would die out. They wouldn't end up any better. The remaining five, Zhang Qi, Chen Wu, Xiao Ping, Xing Junrun, and Luo Qingji, all grinned their mouths as well. After all, their purpose was only to entangle Chen Ze, with so many of them around. Once Chen Ze was caught in the siege, when Jiang Sheng arrived, it would be difficult for this kid to fly even if he had his wings. You informed Jiang everyone, we can't let this kid leave again. Wei Guangyao took the lead and walked over, only he always felt that there was something strange about this person in the distance. It was impossible to say what was going on, anyway, it was just not right. But now that it was so hard to find someone, they couldn't care less. The other four, leaving only Luo Qingji, took out the walkie-talkie besides. Soon surrounded Chen Zhe in the center, accompanied by a rustling sound, Luo Qingji picked up the walkie-talkie and opened his mouth. Jiang everyone, people have been found, right at the junction of area C and area B, please also rush over as soon as possible. Finished speaking. The voice of the walkie-talkie was cut off. Luo Qingji craned his neck and quickly joined the encirclement, ready to attack. The remaining five looked at each other, and Wei Yaodong did not forget to remind. Remember, our purpose is just to stall him, never fight hard. Wei Guangyao took the brunt of the attack and arrived not far from the figure. His speed was fast, and he kicked his foot in a horizontal motion. But when his leg kicked out, that strange feeling from earlier, once again surged to his heart. It wasn't until the two of them, close by, from a distance of about 10 meters, came before him. Only then did he realize. The one with his back to them in the distance was actually just a clothed dummy. But his leg had already kicked out, and it was too late to even warn. Only a bang was heard. The dummy was broken by his kick, and a lot of plastic exploded everywhere. Zhang Qi, Chen Wu, Chao Peng, Xing Junrun, Luo Qingji and the others, only felt a gust of wind attacking their heads. Immediately after, a figure propped up on the sides of the porch. Landing in the middle of the crowd, the silver-white scalpel with an unstoppable silver light. In an instant, it slashed their throats. Luo Qingji, who had previously taken the walkie-talkie, opened his mouth, never dreaming that they wouldn't even be able to exchange blows before they were already killed. The remaining four people, also covered their throats. Blood couldn't stop gushing out, and an inexplicable sense of fear enveloped their souls. Eventually their eyes lost their color and they fell to the ground. Wei Guangyao, who had kicked the dummy away, watched with his own eyes as his five brothers were reduced to corpses in the blink of an eye. His mouth opened wide and his breathing gradually became rapid. Even his footsteps began to be confused, and his pupils contracted a little. The empty aisles around him, only the sound of Chen Zhe holding a scalpel, walking step by step, did 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 did. Both clear. Also like the alarm bell of death, all the time, no longer stimulating Wei Guangyao. Seeing this devil-like figure. Only one step away from him, silver white scalpel, slowly raised. Wei Guangyao could no longer contain the fear in his heart. He let out a hysterical roar. Wanting to fight with Chen Zhe, fighting for his life. But Wei Guangyao, who had already messed up and was scared to death, was as good as dead in Chen Zhe's eyes. In Chen Zhe's eyes, there was no difference between him and a dead dog. That hand raised high, without hesitation waving scalpel, accompanied by the sound of breaking air. Ka! Like cutting off something. Wei Guangyao's footsteps, stopped in front of Chen Zhe, even the fist that was swung out, became weak. It lightly touched Chen Zhe's chest. Finally, with a bang, he fell to the ground. Shaking off the blood on his knife, Chen Zhe fumbled with these people's bodies for a moment, took out five walkie-talkies, and quietly listened. After a few minutes, he took a step, walking towards the outside. From the contents inside the walkie-talkies, he learned that unusually handsome teenager with a feminine voice had already been sent to the bow of the ship. It was likely about to leave. As for Jiang Shang, just brought the feminine teenager to the deck. He had also received the information that Luo Qingji had said, but at that time, he was at the side of the feminine teenager and definitely didn't dare to turn back without sending the person to the plywood. When he came outside, he immediately picked up the intercom and inquired. You guys are, right now, still at the junction of area C and area B? If there are no surprises, after 5 minutes, I will be able to arrive, you guys only need to hold that guy back for 5 minutes, that's all. He's expended so much stamina, I'm confident that I can keep him here. Zhang Sheng finished his words. 
there were quite a few people around, running to meet them. The one who took the brunt of walking up was none other than Tang Yun. Seeing the handsome-faced teenager in front of him with a fairly upright figure, Tang Yun hastily extended his hand. Greetings young master, just now, didn't scare you, did I? Mu Jingnan's eyes were grim, clenching his teeth, and that handsome face carried a bit of fierceness and viciousness. In Shanghai City, Mu Zhengnan had never encountered such a thing. Thinking of earlier, when Jiang Shang asked him to climb down from the third floor, but he was so full of fear that he couldn't stop backing away from the scene. Mu Zhengnan hated to give himself two slaps. In days gone by, he was high above the rest. Even a powerful man from a luxurious family was no different from a dog in his eyes. Once upon a time, he was. What arrogance, boasting of being superior. That feeling of fear that he had never felt before. It made him, just now, look incomparably wretched. It was also that feeling that made him hate that madman. Just a contraption that came out from inside a mental hospital, and he made Shanghai City into this mess. It said outside that your Tang family is no longer working, but now it seems that you're really a, well, paper tiger. The handsome man stepped forward, and that innate aura made Tang Yun's head involuntarily lower by a few points. Earlier, he hadn't felt anything, but when this handsome young man, resumed his original physique, demeanor, coupled with the other party's identity. For a moment, it made everyone present not dare to say anything. But Mu Zhengnan also knew. The current situation required the Tang family's protection. Solely took a deep breath. Started to look Tang Yun up and down. For this helmsman of the main house, Mu Zhengnan had seen him a few times, although his impression wasn't very impressive. But he still reached out and helped Tang Yun up. In a cold voice, he said. I want that kid's life, Mr. Tang, there shouldn't be a problem, right? It was obvious. The handsome teenager's attitude eased up quite a bit, but his tone still carried a strong killing intent. Tang Yun hesitated for a moment, but still opened his mouth to reply. With Mr. Jang out there, there shouldn't be any problems. Besides, our Tang family martial sect, the six strongest experts, have already found that kid. It's unlikely that he'll be able to kill the person for a while. So as long as Mr. Jiang rushes over, that kid will die for sure. May. The words just fell. In the distance, Chin Zhe, carrying a scalpel, was seen walking out. Six walkie-talkies in a series, snapped and dropped on the ground. Everyone held their breath. The shadowy teenager who was previously full of grimace, dang 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 backed up several steps. Even Jiang Shang frowned, getting ready to make a move. Tang Yun, on the other hand, stared incredulously. Tang Yun, who knew Wei Guanyo and his men were formidable, was unwilling to believe the scene in front of him. Impossible, the six of them, even if Mr. Jiang personally attacked, it's impossible to kill them all in a short period of time. This kid. He still wanted to say something, but Jiang Sheng next to him raised his walkie-talkie, tapping it twice heavily with his finger. Less time. The six walkie-talkies on the ground, then came a heavy knocking sound. This time, the crowd was completely dumbfounded. Even Jiang Sheng clenched his fists. The expression gradually became serious. This was because, after what happened with senior brother before, there was also the previous experience of Wei Guanyao's six people. Even as arrogant as he was, he had a strong sense of crisis. It was as if, at any moment, he would die here. Couldn't care less, you guys take the young master away first, let me meet this brat. Zhang Sheng exhaled and stood in front of the deck. Mu Zhengnan, who had just regained some of his guts, was even more panicked at this moment and shouted. Quickly, quickly send me down, have someone take me out of here, I don't want to see this madman again. Tang Yun smiled bitterly, young master Mu, there are all outsiders outside, it's impossible to leave. Even if you go out, it's still dangerous. Mu Jingnan's body stiffened, looking towards Zhang Sheng, all his hopes, all rested on, this man's body. Zhang Sheng just nodded, his expression was quite calm, gave them a little confidence. Perhaps, this man in front of them, could really slaughter that kid. After all, Zhang Sheng, no matter what, was a generation of great men. Once relying on a pair of iron fists, he had fought all over the north and south of the Yangtze River. At the age of 30-something, he was already able to step into the ranks of everyone, how strong he was could be imagined. In the distance, two cruise ships sailed over. A big old distance. Under the lights. The scene on the plywood was visible. The cruise ship of the outsider. The burly man with a height of 1 meter 9, stretching his tiger's back, slowly cracked his mouth. M.S. Sue, you've always been calculating, among the outsiders, you're considered more powerful. Against Jiang Shang, do you think that lunatic, has a chance to win? Miss Su heard Duan Yulong's question. She also froze in place. For a moment, she didn't know what to say. After all, Jiang Shang, no matter what, was considered a martial arts expert. Having been recognized by many people, she neither dared to say that she could win nor that she would lose. With a face full of bashful laughter, she said. 
Jiang Shang was once a character who fought all over the north and south of the Yangtze River, and there were countless people who lost at his hands. A martial arts great, is it not a vain name? Oh, is that so? Duan Yulong, whose muscles were highly bulging. However, he narrowed his eyes and said playfully, Although I don't know why, I always feel that on that kid, there's an air that's inscrutable. Perhaps the chances of winning are high. M.S. Su froze and looked at Duan Yulong in disbelief, as the same martial arts expert, if you belittle Jiang Shang, aren't you also belittling yourself? However, she still spoke, Chen Ze has experienced multiple battles before, not to mention Jiang Lingyun, even the Tang clan's martial sect, those six guys aren't easy to deal with either. Now that you've overdrawn so much stamina, and you have to face a martial arts expert, I guess it's a bit up in the air. If I really miss, I'll still have to ask you to save me. Duan Yulong twisted his neck. Noncommittally, he laughed softly twice. Then he stopped answering. Looking in front of him, holding a scalpel. With an indifferent gaze, Jiang Shang slowly spread out his hand and made a gesture of invitation. Only Chen Ze. His gaze was still cold, and his footsteps were unhurried. The scalpel was stained with, a little blood. Even the clothes, you can see a slice to scarlet. The rich smell of blood came to the face. Even Jiang Shang couldn't help but frown. He who hadn't really cared much earlier. Suddenly, he somewhat understood. That senior brother of his who had been sent away with serious injuries. What exactly was the meaning of what he had said to himself earlier? He could feel an inexplicable sense of oppression on Chen Zhe's body. It was cold. The eyes were also somewhat frightening. But these were not enough to scare Jiang Shang back. Only to see Jiang Shang, his legs slightly bent. A pair of calloused fists, after a twisted muscle erupted, violently struck at Chen Zhe. A sound so biting that it broke through the air caused Chen Zhe's head to, slightly, tilt to the left. It wasn't that he intended to dodge, but rather that fighting instinct that made him subconsciously make a move. Immediately after that, it was the familiar swinging fist that ruthlessly slammed into Jiang Sheng's shoulder, causing his body to tilt a few inches to the right. Yet it quickly stabilized. It was only this punch that made Jiang Sheng's body involuntarily press down halfway. His pupils contracted slightly, and he sucked in a hard breath. He had previously sparred with Chen Ze in a single punch. Knowing that his strength was far beyond that of an ordinary martial artist. But at that time, it was a situation where Chen Zhe was standing on the edge of the second floor plywood and suddenly counterattacked. Nowadays, the two were almost facing each other head on. Both had each other's power point. A punch went down, hitting Jiang Shang. The crown of his teeth couldn't help but clench. After stifling a grunt, he took two steps backwards. The silver white blade light, yet again, had already followed. Fist. Scalpel. Fist. Scalpel. A blistering attack, step by step, with barely any semblance of a move to speak of. Nor was there any semblance of retreat. Chen Zhe just like this, step by step, forced Jiang Sheng to the edge of the plywood, just like Mo Yuan Shan back then. Although Jiang Sheng was able to occasionally counterattack, in Chen Zhe's opinion, compared to Mo Yuan Shan, he wasn't any stronger. Seeing that there was no way to retreat, Jiang Sheng clenched his teeth, took a deep breath, swung his leg drastically, and chopped horizontally towards Chen Zhe's head. But Jiang Sheng was fast. Chen Zhe is even faster, already do not want to continue to entangle him. He chose to receive this leg hard, but the scalpel, without hesitation, stabbed at Zhang Shang's chest. Touch. Put. Chen Zhe was kicked backward several steps by the leg. But that scalpel, however, had already stabbed into Zhang Shang's chest, and when he looked down, blood surged up in his mouth, and he involuntarily stifled a grunt as his body couldn't stop trembling. The crowd looked toward Chen Zhe who had been hit by a leg, but his eyes were only slightly bloodshot and red. They also looked towards Jiang Shang, who had been heavily injured by a slash. Tang Yun and the others, who had previously held expectations, quickly stirred, the shock on their faces unable to dissipate for a long time. On top of that, it was tinged with deep panic. They knew that Jiang Shang had lost, then next, it would be their turn. In the distance, the outsider's boat. Duan Yulong, who was one meter nine tall and had a tiger's back, couldn't help but laugh. The sound grew louder and louder. It gave people a feeling of unrestrained joy. Streamlined the outline this afternoon, the update is slow, I am really sorry, and then the book group, 921507559, welcome to enter the group women's clothing for the author to see. I told you, this kid is not as simple as you think. Duan Yulong couldn't help it and hilariously laughed. He had long been looking at Jiang Sheng in a bad light. Although Jiang Sheng also had the strength to become everyone. But back then, when it came to becoming everyone, the means were not too clean. Don't look at all the rumors about Jiang Sheng outside. But in reality, what happened back then? I'm afraid only Zhang's family knows. Anyway, the martial arts expert who fought against Zhang Shang, only three months after his return, it was rumored that he was seriously ill and died in his ancestral home. At one time, the rumor was spreading like wildfire. 
It could be said that there were many different opinions, but the truly great families, relying on the clues they had obtained, had more or less guessed some of them. The matter of the heavenly world cruise ship almost doesn't need to be managed by us. But the person behind Shanghai City, I'm afraid that he's already on his way here with a team, so let's leave this place to that kid, what we need to do next is to keep all the enemies, out in the outer sea. It's also time, it's time to let them see the true power of the outsiders. As Duan Yulong's voice fell, the crowd ships began to turn around, because while the two were fighting, they had received information about the movements of the one surnamed Mu. After this outer sea strife, I'm afraid that it would be the date when the outsiders, and the local forces would really go to war. Miss Su nodded, don't worry, do on everyone, the one surnamed Mu fell out with the others back then, unless he can pull his face down and go back to admit his mistake, otherwise, the others won't necessarily accept him. But the surname Mu was so arrogant, back then, he was able to fall out with the others and become independent, it was because that surname Mu, was too arrogant and cocky. Now in the heavenly palace wheelbarrow, almost no one was Chin Zhe's rival anymore. There was little point in them staying here, but the outsiders were gone. Chen Zhe's anger was only just rising. He shook his body, raising his head. His eyes finally landed on the unusually handsome teenager. The teenager was terrified to the extreme at this moment. The moment Jiang Sheng fell, they realized what would happen next. The others were also filled with fear, and Tang Yin gulped down a mouthful of saliva, knowing that something big was about to happen. The unusually handsome teenager was still trying to escape. He violently pushed away the people around him. Crawling to the edge of the hull, he wanted to follow the long rope ladder and climb to the top of the speedboat. But the person had just reached the top, perhaps because of excessive panic, his feet slipped. Then came a hysterical scream. Bang! From the high bow, smashed on the engine of the speedboat below. At this time he, the waist had been completely smashed. The lower half of his body was unable to move. The blood couldn't be stopped, gushing out wildly from the wound. Those terrified eyes surveyed Chen Zhe, who had come to the bow of the boat, and fear was like a ferocious beast, devouring all of his sanity. He looked at Chen Zhe in fear. In his mind, the figures of Chen Zhe and the young girl from the school who had fallen from the building gradually overlapped. Chen Zhe looked a lot like his sister. It was just that compared to his sister, the height was more upright and the shoulders were broader. No one had thought about it. When it was just a whim to have fun, it drove him to a dead end. No one would have thought that once. A trivial matter that was insignificant in the eyes of a big shot had become a growing storm. Tang Yin even shouted to Jiang Shang, who was already stabbed through the chest and seriously injured, in the distance. What are you waiting for? Save the people, if the young master dies, no matter if it's me or your Jiang family, we'll all be plunged into a never-ending quagmire. Jiang Shang, who was clenching his teeth and was already struggling extraordinarily to even climb up, heard Tang Yun's words. He could only sigh leisurely as well. Struggling to climb up. Using his last strength, he rushed towards the bow of the boat, about to jump off Chen Zhe. But the current Jiang Shang. The speed was just too slow in Chen Zhe's opinion. Slow enough that he didn't even need to dodge. When the fist smashed into his face, he also just raised his right hand and gently cupped Jiang Shang's attack. With his other hand, he grabbed the scalpel. With a forceful twist, Jiang Shang, whose life was already in danger, his body shook violently, slowly fell to the ground, his eyes showed some bitterness, and finally, blood gushed out of his mouth, and with a twist of his head, he died. Jiang Shang's death heralded the curtain on things here. Chen Zhe also from the bow, a leap down, bang, stepped on the speedboat below, turning on the engine of the speedboat rushed out with a kick of the throttle. At the same time, he did not forget to raise his scalpel, viciously stabbed Mu Zhengnan's abdomen behind him, blood gushing out wildly, but did not take his life. Because, from Mu Zhengnan's body in front of him, he could obtain information about the other four people. According to this person's character of being afraid of death, the certainty was great. After this time, things were basically considered to have surfaced. Another, unleaving cruise ship, Lin Yuazhu was also watching everything in front of her. Behind her was a tall and thin-looking man, plain and ordinary, but his eyes revealed a hostile aura. This man was none other than Lin Yuazhu, the martial arts expert that she had gone to great lengths to invite. She looked at the distant speedboat. Unable to stop herself, she asked. That kid went through a whole night of fighting, with his current state, do you have any certainty? But the words were not finished. The tall and thin man behind him, shook his head, that kid is even more powerful than I imagined. And his physique is different from normal people even if he has already consumed a great deal, I am not sure that I can win him. More importantly, the tall and thin man raised his head. In his hand, at some point, a dagger appeared. Coldly looking at Lin Yuazhu in front of him, the big house has offered double the price for your life. The moment these words came out, standing at the front of the boat watching to Lin Yuazhu, those eyes trembled violently. It felt like there was something that was reborn and stabbed into her heart. An unbelievable look appeared on Lin Yuazhu's face. Looking back, 
That tall and thin man, however, just said. I'm sorry, although I owe your Lin family a favor, I desperately need the support of those behind me, if you don't die, I won't have the chance to meet them. The dagger was drawn once again. The tall and thin man, gently pushed Lin Yuazhu, and her entire body lost its center of gravity. Falling down the hall, she smashed into a speedboat. But Lin Yuazhu was not as lucky as Mu Zhengnan. She directly smashed her head and face. Her entire hand hit the stern of the speedboat. It was bent backwards and badly deformed. Tang Xinxin, who walked out from the cabin, didn't even know what was happening outside. Just felt a touch of cold, chilling light that came over. It was a good thing that Tang Xinxin hadn't been fond of reading since she was a child, and had learned martial arts. After noticing that the situation was not right, rushed to the outside and leapt down, and while falling, he also saw the speedboat not far away. His own sister-in-law, long ago died horizontally on the spot. Grief surged wildly in his heart. Two lines of tears, from the corner of Tang Xinxin's eyes slipped down yet also realized. Nine times out of ten, it was the main house that had done this. No wonder Great Aunt hadn't allowed them to come over. Because Lin Yuezhu's identity was too sensitive. Once Lin Yuezhu died, it meant that the power of the side branch would see an unprecedented collapse. The matter in the heavens and the earth was over. But the battle in the outer sea was still going on. The outsiders, and those sent from the side above. A fierce battle was being waged, and almost every ten minutes or so, there would be hundreds of casualties. This number of people is still continuing to rise. This day was destined to be a sleepless night. Chen Zhe drove the speedboat, taking Mu Zhengnan all the way to the fringe area of Shanghai City. After avoiding the layers of warring crowds, he returned to Shanghai City, a remote coastline. The time was around 6 in the morning. He was right outside on the highway. Pride opened the door of a car. Throwing Mu Zhengnan inside, he disassembled the car's internal wiring and ignited it. Without hurrying, he rushed towards the deserted Poplar Village. This way, although the distance was quite far, Chen Zhe's memory, after all, before noon, came to the Poplar Village. At this time, Mu Zhengnan in the back was incomparably pale due to the loss of blood. In order to obtain, from his body, information about the other four people, Chen Zhe gave him a simple bandage. Then he carried him to the mountain, and when he walked in, Sun Long was also startled, and thought that it was the Tang Clan's people who were looking for him. Realizing that it was Chen Zhe, Sun Long was relieved. Again, he saw Chen Zhe carrying a person on his back. His body was speckled with blood, and even his waist was somewhat deformed, seemingly smashed. Somewhat stunned, Sun Long asked curiously, Brother Chen, this person you brought back. Next to him, after this period of recovery, Tang Hao, whose face was quite a bit rosier. Originally, when he saw Chen Zhe return, just the corners of his mouth twitched a little, after all, the means that Chen Zhe had used on him, before. Whenever he thought back, it would all make him feel shudder, as if it was yesterday. But the change in emotions he displayed, it wasn't really that big. One could even say that it was with a slight coldness. Just as he wanted to persuade Chen Zhe to stop in time. Instead, his eyes landed on him, the young man on his shoulder. The face that should have been calm, gradually became dull, and even a wisp of fear rose, even his voice became trembling. Mu, Mu Zhangnan, you actually got him back? Chen Zhe placed the person on the ground and bundled him up next to the pillar again glancing at Tang Hao next to him, those who were present. I'm afraid that the only one who knew the identity of this handsome teenager was Tang Hao. Even Sun Long, hearing Mu Zhengnan's name, he was also stunned and asked curiously, Who is Mu Zhengnan? How come I haven't heard of it? Unfortunately, Tang Hao, however, didn't have the time to pay attention to Sun Long beside him, but instead, gulped to himself, because it was normal that Sun Long didn't know. With Sun Long's identity, he couldn't even be considered an outsider with a little bit of strength except for the force being a little higher than the next person. There was not the slightest redeeming quality. But before he could say anything, Sun Long, who was next to him, however, after picking up the cell phone for a few seconds, his face changed drastically. Then, with a face full of shock, he looked at Tang Hao, opened his mouth, wanted to say something, but didn't say it. This period of time, Tang Hao had promised him quite a few benefits, also promised that he would never pursue him after leaving. He even tried to convince him to let Tang Hao to leave, but all of them were rejected by Sun Long. Later, Tang Hao asked Sun Long to help find out about his wife, to see what was going on in the Tang family now. Sun Long thought that anyway, Tang Hao was now tied up here, and was only helping to inquire about his wife, so he didn't say much. After all, Sun Long had come this far. The same was for his wife and children. But when he saw, there was a picture on his cell phone about Tang Hao's wife, as well as the message, it was as if something got stuck in his throat. Tang Hao, on the other hand, frowned, seeing that Sun Long looked odd, like he wanted to speak but didn't dare to. Thinking back to earlier, he asked Sun Long to do something. 
Suddenly, he realized something, but still, pretended to have a calm voice. Is it that my wife has news? You tell me, don't worry, I've experienced countless great storms and waves, I can carry it off. He and his wife were in a union. But after all these years together, he also deeply recognized that. From the age of 18, he had followed himself to the 27-year-old person. Once Lin Yuezhu clearly had the opportunity to refuse that marriage contract, also had the ability, after the marriage, cleanliness. But no matter whether it was before marrying over or after marrying over, Lin Yuezhu's attitude was diametrically opposite to what he had imagined, instead of giving birth to a virgin. Instead, she would do her duty and do her part as a wife. Similarly, also helped him to establish, belong to his own power, so that he became the first person of the side branch, even the main house, to him have to retreat. He was deeply in love with that woman. Also had sworn, would never leave her for the rest of his life? It was Lin Yuezhu's existence that made him, all these years, never dabble in the outside world. Unfortunately, Lin Yuezhu's body had problems, never helped him to give birth to a son or daughter. Perhaps, this was the reason why Lin Yuezhu married herself. But no matter how, all these years, the love that was hidden, but truly existed. Me, Sun Long opened his mouth. But how could he not say anything? After half a ring, he handed his cell phone over, and just placed it in front of Tang Hao. Tang Hao stared wide-eyed at the scene inside. His teeth were clenched to death. Because of the excessive force, there was blood flowing out of his gums. The pair of bound fists were pinched and creaked. His breathing gradually became rapid, and his body couldn't stop trembling, after several minutes. Still shaking non-stop. It's a bit cold, can you, give me more clothes? Distinctly, the sun was shining brightly, and it had already warmed up. Distinctly, inside the room, there was no insulation. They were wearing short sleeves, and they all felt a bit hot. But Tang Hao just felt cold, so cold that it was a bit scary. His trembling body, his deathly cupped hands, deep inside. As if some kind of storm was brewing, it lasted for more than an hour, and his entire body went limp. It was as if he was a dead body, his eyes were empty, without any semblance of emotional color. It seemed that, the world had, as a result, lost its original color. Sun Long looked at this scene and sighed deeply. Actually, he had known that it would be this kind of result. He also didn't know if Tang Hao could pull himself together from this blow. But the other party was a member of the Tang family, and life and death had nothing to do with him. The reason why he was helping was only because his wife and children had disappeared, and there was just some vague empathy. Chen Zhe's gaze, the same fell on Tang Hao's body, now he. In fact, it was more like a walking corpse. Even the meaning of life was lost. I don't know how long it took, but Tang Hao struggled violently, trying to break free. His mouth shouted. Let me out, please, I can help you, I just want to go now. Just want to go to my wife's funeral. As long as you can put me back, even if it's to die, I'm willing. I only beg you to be able to promise me. Said, Tang Hao's body bent down a little bit. His face was somehow stained with tears. His head struck the ground one by one. Like in front of a shrine, the most devout believer, his voice was hoarse. Please. Pain was permeating that twisted face. Blood oozing from the knocks. Staining the dust on the ground. Even if the sand, from the excessive force, mixed in with the blood and flesh. Yet still, without half a pause. Letting out a plea of grief. As long as, as long as can go back. Go back to take a last look. Parked in the Tang family coffin wife, he is willing to personally offer his life. Even if, endure millions of times, Chen Zhe's torture, he is willing. Seek recommendations, monthly votes, catch up reading, catch up in the draft. Tang Hao used the most humble attitude, the most pious tone, his bloodied forehead pressed against the ground. Teeth clenched together in death, tears mixed with dust, that face screwed into a ball. And just for the sake of it, to go back and see his dead wife. He was willing to give up everything he had, including this life. As long as Chen Zhe let him go back, no matter what, he was willing. Looking at the nearly insane Tang Hao in front of him, Chen Zhe also frowned, not saying anything for half a second. It was Sun Long, who was next to him, who reminded. This person, Tang Hao, although he is a sidekick, he is skillful in calculating. If you have such a person to help you, it will be a good thing for you. Moreover, after Tang Hao goes back, he will definitely intensify the contradictions within the Tang family, and nine times out of ten, his wife will die in the hands of the main house, so there's no harm in that. Before Tang Hao put back, the final result must be the main house and side branch evenly matched. Yet no one dared to make the first move, but now Lin Yuezhu was dead. The balance tilted. Within the Tang family, the cracks can be big. I don't know if it was Tang Hao's pious look, or the words of Sun Long next to him. Chen Zhe finally cut the rope behind him. But Tang Hao, whose forehead was stuck to the ground, didn't climb up for a long time, until his body trembled several times. When Tang Hao climbed up, his face had long been twisted to the extreme. Blood was mixed with tears, and his expression was so hideous that it was somewhat frightening. 
For half a second, Tang Hao began to suppress, that almost terrifying wave of emotions, dried the blood on his face, and bowed deeply to Chen Zhe in front of him. When I go back and settle the matter of my family's wife, no matter what you ask me to do, even if it means asking for my life, I'm willing to give it with both hands. The current Tang Hao had only one thought in his mind. That was revenge. Their side branch and the main house were originally incompatible. The relationship couldn't be said to be much better. From childhood to adulthood, there was nothing to speak of, except for the deceitfulness. There is no affection to speak of, even if the people in the main house died out. Tang Hao will not have half a bit of emotional fluctuations. Only this wife. Let since young lost mother, he felt a long lost warmth. Now Lin Yuazhu was dead. There had to be an end between him and the Tang family. Plus, Chen Zhe also needed to return to Shanghai City. After all, the food he had left for Zhao Minner didn't know how many days it would last. It was even more unknown how Zhao Minner was doing during the days he was away. He needed to go back first, to see how Zhao Minner was doing now. So he took Tang Hao and came to the bottom of the mountain together. Drove the sedan that he got on the side of the road. Straight to Shanghai City. Several hours passed. The sky darkened leisurely, Chen Zhe got Tang Hao another cell phone, put the man at an intersection, and left on his own. Tang Hao used his cell phone and contacted Tang Bing, the leader of the side branch. Less time. There was a large number of Tang family members that rushed to the location where the intersection was. When they saw the bruised and miserable Tang Hao, they all couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. Those wounds left by Chen Zhe's interrogation last time. Although they had been simply treated, the densely packed wounds, sticking to the clothes, still made people's scalps feel numb. Tang Hao, you, finally came back. After saying that, Tang Bing remembered his wife's matter and finally lowered his head. A touch of shame flowed inside his expression. Tang Hao's voice was cold, I know everything, I just want to see my wife's remains one last time. No matter what, I've been husband and wife with her for many years, it's time to give her a ride. At this time, Tang Hao, had long since lost, the kind of grief and pain he felt on the mountain. Looking unusually calm, his eyes were cold, but he was vaguely permeated with an aura that was even more terrifying than before. It was as if a fierce tiger that had just learned to dance with its teeth and claws had metamorphosed into an adult beast. More calm, scary, always lurking their own emotions. The slightest mishap, this beast with a tiger's eye would give you a fatal blow. This metamorphosis. Tang Bing didn't know if it was good or bad, and could only open his mouth and then bite his lip, patting Tang Hao's shoulder. Go back first, let's talk about it after we go back, I'll let the doctor treat your wounds, and I don't know if it'll leave a scar. For the injuries and scars all over his body, Tang Hao didn't care, and could even be said to be inconsequential. Perhaps as far as he was concerned, from the moment his wife died, everything became unimportant. The car was placed in an unknown parking lot. Chen Zhe got out of the car. After going alone to buy some clothes, as well as something to eat, he returned to that rented house. There was no semblance of movement inside. Chen Zhe frowned and skillfully opened the door of the room. The moment the door opened, a flash of knife light flashed past his eyes. Fortunately, Chen Zhe's instinctive reaction lightly dodged the knife, otherwise, it might not have been. Zhao Miner, who was holding the knife inside and panting heavily, saw Chen Zhe return. The tightly tensed emotions, at this moment, as if breaking the dike, fell two lines of tears. She flung herself into Chen Zhe's arms and choked with sobs. During the past two days while Chen Zhe was gone, every night she could hear the sounds of chaos coming from the streets. Zhao Miner who had never experienced this before. The emotions broke down for a time. Plus staying alone in the rented house. The enclosed space made her think wildly from time to time. She even suspected. Chen Zhe might have already given up on her. Otherwise how could he, without a word, disappear for more than two days? Relying on those things left behind by Chen Zhe. Although she had survived for two days, it had also made her emotions extremely unstable. Today's Chen Zhe, on the contrary, was like the last straw in her heart. Not quite understanding the young girl's emotional changes, Chen Zhe just frowned, leading her into the room and closing the door again. After looking out from the curtains for a few moments to make sure there were no problems, he handed the boxed lunch he had bought to Zhao Miner in front of him. In the bag next to it, there were also a few changes of dresses. Chen Zhe didn't really know much about these things, but the salesman, however, took a few sets for him according to the sizes he stated. These are the clothes I brought for you, I'll have to go out later, and in the morning, I'll bring you back food. After saying that, Chen Zhe buried his head and ate his share of the boxed lunch. As for you asking him, to comfort Zhao Minner in front of him, it was undoubtedly a fool's errand. He couldn't even understand Zhao Minner's changing moods, much less take care of someone else's feelings. Just, throughout the entire process, most of Zhao Minner's gaze rested on Chen Zhe's body. Perhaps it was because, these two days had made her feel too much fear, and when Chen Zhe returned, an inexplicable sense of security arose instead. It seemed to have forgotten. This was a maniac that had killed an unknown number of people. 
After eating and drinking, Zhao Miner went back in to take a bath and changed into new clothes. Lying on the bed, without realizing it, she actually fell into a deep sleep. With Chen Zhe by her side, she seemed to sleep more peacefully. Today's New Year's Day, I wish you all a happy New Year's Day, and then that, only three more, to accompany the family to go out to play, to ask for recommendation votes, monthly votes, to catch up on reading. Zhao Miner had already gone to sleep, Chen Zhe stayed inside the room for a while longer, seeing that it was almost time. After contacting Ning Miaoshu, he got up and went to the Yellow Sea Club. He wanted to find out how the situation was now that he had arrested Mu Zhangnan. When he came to the Yellow Sea Club, next to the alley, Ning Miaoshu had already waited for a long time, and when she saw Chen Zhe arrive, she immediately revealed a smile. Today's Ning Miaoshu, wearing a set of tight casual clothes, the body outlined hidden. Together with that typical melon face and drooping ink hair, she could indeed be considered a great beauty. Brother Chen, you finally come, what you did in the heavenly paradise is now spreading like wildfire in Shanghai City, and even amongst the outsiders. Even some of the bigwigs from the northern faction are all gushing about you. You can be called the man of the hour in Shanghai City. Ning Miaoshu, who used to call Chen Zhe by his real name, was clearly older than him. Yet, she had already changed her name to Brother Chen. Thinking of the news she had heard, Ning Miaoshu only felt her blood boiling, and even revealed a touch of admiration among her eyes. To be able to force Shanghai City to the present day with the power of one man, Chen Zhe was also considered unprecedented. Once upon a time, although there were also many, outsiders who set foot in Shanghai City, but together, the winds and waves they set off were not as much as what you did in one night. Although ever since the incident at the heavenly paradise, the outsiders and the local forces started a fight to the death. Even the one behind it, surnamed Mu, had shown up at the upper meeting, but it still couldn't change the situation today. What I asked you to look into, how did it go? Chen Zhe did not show too much emotion and asked in a flat tone. Ning Miaoshu hesitated for a moment and opened her mouth, although the situation right now, on the whole, is favorable to the outsiders, and there are already some big names from the northern faction, who have begun to make their entrance. But before the northern faction's reinforcements come, the outsiders are actually not in as good a position as they thought. Earlier, when you were in the heavenly palace and took away Mu Zhangnan, the outsiders were rumored to have lost quite a few people in order to stall for you. Nowadays, they have also been disrupted in their plans and are fighting on their own, the storm has not been stopping since that night until now. Chen Zhe nodded, what about the Tang family? The Tang family? Ning Miaoshu cupped her fair chin and spoke her thoughts. The Tang family now, is also more than just infighting, I heard that the three leading figures of the side branch, the only person related to the Beijing faction, Lin Yuezhu died. The side branch was even recovered a large amount of resources overnight, and even the Lin family in Shenzhen began to frantically pressurize the side branch to give them an explanation. But now the side branch, only one Tang Bing is left, it's hard to support, it is estimated that in less than a week, Tang Bing will have to give up the power on his head. Already fighting that badly? Chen Zhe was slightly lost in thought, and continued to ask, if Tang Hao goes back, is there still a chance to turn the tide? Tang Hao? Earlier, Ning Miaoshu had heard the news that Tang Hao might have returned to the Tang family. She, however, had always thought it was a rumor. After all, Tang Hao was, right now, all still in Chen Zhe's hands. But when she heard Chen Zhe's words, even if Ning Miaoshu was stupid, she knew that it was Chen Zhe who had put the person back. Back. She looked deeply, at someone in front of her. Sighing. This person, Tang Hao, to be able to overshadow the main house with his own strength, is by no means relying solely on Lin Yuezhu and the Lin family's power. Similarly displaying amazing means, the reason why the Lin family is pressuring the side branch is because the side branch has no more value to utilize. What they invested in earlier was just Tang Hao as a person, otherwise they wouldn't have let Lin Yuezhu marry into the Tang family. If Tang Hao is able to go back, this relationship will be considered renewed and the Lin family won't let all their resources for so many years go down the drain, so there's a huge possibility that they'll support Tang Hao again. In that case, I'm afraid the water in Shanghai City will become even more muddy. Outsiders didn't know how Tang Hao felt about his wife. After all, in this kind of marriage between big families, there was a huge possibility that they would each live their own lives after marrying over. Even if Tang Hao was keeping a mistress outside, Lin Yuezhu would never ask about it. The same. If Lin Yuezhu was playing with a little white boy outside, Tang Hao would likewise not care much about it, which was the normal relationship of the marriage, so the onlookers didn't think that Tang Hao had much affection for Lin Yuezhu. Only Chen Zhe was clear. Previously, Tang Hao's almost maniacal display of true feelings. Definitely not a fake, this person's feelings for Lin Yuezhu are extremely deep. Once he regained power, I'm afraid that the purpose is not just to carry forward the side branch. Rather, he would aim the spearhead at the entire main house. You help me check again, that surname Mu, what exactly is the origin? It's best if there is news, it doesn't matter if there is no news. Chen Zhe did not put his hopes on Ning Miaoshu. 
After all, although this woman has some ability, the family is also quite powerful, but in the end, it is only the pawn of the Beijing faction, the real main force, has not yet entered the city of Shanghai. Want to rely on such a pawn, get all the information, obviously not very reliable. After explaining the last few sentences, he turned around and left the Yellow Sea Clubhouse. In his heart, he thought, go to the rental house again, have a good night's rest, tomorrow go back to Poplar Village, interrogate Mu Zhengnan, he did not believe that, with Mu Zhengnan's kind of life and death-fearing nature. He didn't believe that Mu Zhengnan, with his greedy nature, would be able to hide anything. Just as he was returning the same way, he passed by a dimly lit path in the middle of the city village. In the distance, faintly, there was a fight coming from the distance. He also heard a familiar woman's voice, if he remembered correctly, it was most likely that Miss Sue. Sure enough, when he climbed up along the private houses next to him, from one of the roofs, looking down, he saw the slightly distressed Miss Sue, wearing a set of black and red dresses, her perfect and fiery figure, was embodied to the fullest. Nowadays, there were only a dozen or so people left by her side as well, being beaten back and forth, not far away. It was more of a dead end, and it was highly likely that they would stay here if they were not careful. M.S. Sue, I didn't expect you to have today as well? It is said that you are not calculating, have you ever thought that you would die in the hands of our Yang family? Since the last outer sea strife, the outsider's manpower, although the loss is heavy, but according to reason, Miss Sue should not be, ended up in such a situation. Blame only, she ended up trusting the wrong person. Being secretly set up, so much so that the area under her control, was occupied by the newly arrived forces of the Beijing school. Otherwise, it wouldn't have ended up like this. If it weren't, for the fact that the forces of our northern faction, in the outer sea with the Duan family, were disrupted and scattered, when would it have been your turn to go unchecked? Nothing but a bunch of sinister villains. When we were fighting with the Tang clan, you guys didn't dare to step in, and now that we have the upper hand, you've started stabbing us in the back. They say that people from the Beijing school have their own arrogance, but now it seems that it's nothing but a joke. Miss Su's heart was slightly unwilling, she had thought that she was winning, just waiting for the bigwigs of the northern faction, to enter Shanghai City, she would be able to take, to everything she wanted, whoever thought, the layout she made, finally became someone else's dowry, M.S. Su, if you want to blame it, you can only blame it on the fact that you are too gullible to others, saying that we are sinister and villainous, but don't forget, it was your own people who personally invited us in, the crowd from the young family in the distance was filled with contempt, it was said that this eldest daughter from the Su family was extremely extraordinary in talent and means. Now it seemed that it was nothing more than that. Just as the crowd wanted to go forward to resolve Miss Su, a stone, but de la sound, fell in the middle of the crowd. The sound was not loud, but it was more like a warning. The young family frowned and raised their heads. They saw a man standing on the two-story residential house, with his back to the moonlight. Both hands were placed in his pockets. A duck-tongued cap was on his head, and the wind blew on his clothes, vaguely carrying some light sounds of flapping. M.S. Su also saw, at this moment, the 15-year-old, tall teenager. Throat slightly rolled. Revealed a touch of bitterness, did not think but let the other party, saw their own present lousy. Vaguely remember. In the middle of the hospital, she was well-dressed, followed by a large number of hands. Vaguely remember. On top of the ship, she and Duan Yulong talked to each other in an eloquent manner. But Chen Zhe is still the same Chen Zhe, she is no longer, a day or two ago that Miss Su. Even if she went back, she had lost half of the people under her hand, and only three or two jujubes were left. Whether it was her previous allies, or the Su family that had been greatly injured, they would all see her as a thorn in their side, and there wasn't much more they could do to help Chen Zhe. Miss Su smiled bitterly at Chen Zhe on the second floor, but deep down, she was also relieved at this moment. Even in a heavily guarded place like the Heavenly Palace, Chen Zhe could come and go as he pleased. Even if Jiang Lingyun, Jiang Shang, were both dead and injured, with Chen Zhe's identity, as long as the other party was willing to help, she would at least be able to survive. The young family members obviously also from, Miss Su's face change, perceived some abnormalities. To Chen Zhe on the second floor, he arched his hand. Dare I ask this friend, what is your name? This is a matter between our Yang family, and the Su family, please don't meddle in it, friend. Inside the tone, there were a few more flavors of threat. Like the Su family, although the Yang family was not considered to be the top of the Beijing faction, it was not something that ordinary people could match. The power that can be mobilized, countless. Now, it has even occupied Miss Su's territory. The win will be a moment, will certainly get the support of the Beijing faction, at this time to offend the Yang family, is by no means a wise choice. But the Yang family's words, not only did not let Miss Su, feel afraid. Even Chen Zhe on the second floor, did not move at all, only the wind blowing on the body, the sound of clothes flapping, gradually clear. Yang Feng, it seems like you won't be able to kill me today. 
As long as I, Su Qin Yun, am still alive, there will be a day when I will make your Yang family, pay the price, dead to the world. Still dared to speak out of turn and put out vicious words. Yang Feng endured it. Behind him were many. Yang family members behind him. Couldn't bear it anymore. One by one, they were holding black clubs, wanting to cross Yang Feng and grab Su Qing Yun back, making her life worse than death. But it was. When the crowd was about to cross Yang Feng. Instead, he put his hand out and blocked the crowd behind him. With a calm face, he glanced at Qin Zhe, who was on the second floor, and said with an arch, M.S. Su, in that case, today's matter is over, we can leave. But I'm a bit curious, this one behind you, just what kind of person is he? Seeing that Yang Feng did not intend to continue and had the idea of retreating, Su Qing Yun secretly said that it was a pity. Originally, she had wanted to borrow Qin Zhe's hand. Kill this fellow. It was a pity that Yang Feng, this person, was notoriously careful, and would rarely make a rash move without absolute certainty. Otherwise, perhaps the Yang family members who chased and killed him here tonight would all be turned into corpses. However, Ms. Su did not answer the other party's words. Instead, she made a gesture of invitation. Either leave, or else, come over and kill me. Those young men from the Yang family, hearing such arrogant words, they had already been furious long ago. But without Yang Feng's order, they never dared to make a move. Yang Feng also narrowed his eyes, a touch of grimness appeared among his expression, but he soon laughed out loud. Since M.S. Su is unwilling to speak, let it be so, you are also the Su family's eldest lady, if we really get you killed, we still have to bear the Su family's wrath. This is the end of the matter, if you want to take revenge in the future, Miss Su, feel free to come to me. After saying that, Yang Feng greeted the crowd and turned to leave. Soon arriving at the street, Yang Feng's expression was gloomy and terrible, remembering the person on the second floor just now. Several more messages were sent in succession. The surrounding Yang family youngsters were still screaming, wanting to go back and get Su Qing Yun killed. But they were interrupted by Yang Feng. All shut up. I told you all a long time ago, to be more careful in your usual behavior. If it wasn't for me this time, you guys wouldn't even know how to die. Finished speaking. Yang Feng handed over his cell phone, and a group of young men from the Yang family, looked inside the phone. Their hearts trembled and they felt sweaty. It was as if there was a chill that arose from the roots of their feet and went straight to the depths of their souls. This, this. Third uncle, that person standing on the second floor with a duck-tongued hat, is the kid who came out of the madhouse? Otherwise? Yang Feng recalled Su Qingyun's expression at that time, obviously deliberately provoking him. If at that time, he really disregarded the consequences and led people to rush over. It would have really fallen into Su Qing Yun's path. Originally, I wanted to make a move, but the feeling that Su Qing Yun gave me was too abnormal, even if he came to help, at best, he would be able to kill his way out with the help of the other side. And how could it be possible to use such words to deliberately provoke me? At that time, I felt that things weren't that simple. But the many young people of the young family beside him, yet, they were still somewhat puzzled. But if, that kid was just bluffing, wouldn't he have missed this opportunity for nothing? Yang Feng looked at the questioning to young man and patted his shoulder. You guys are still too tender, we are now away from MS. Su, and only a few minutes of foot travel, even if you rush back now, there is still a chance. But, Yang Feng sneered. Knowing that kid's true identity, do you guys still dare to go back? They did come out. But they didn't go too far, they could go back at any time, they could attack and retreat. But nowadays, knowing that brat's identity, who would still dare to run over and die? But they have heard about it. In the boat in the heavenly world, even the family name of Jiang everyone, were killed alive by that kid. With this amount of manpower from them, it is estimated that they are not enough for others to stuff their teeth. Third uncle is wise, it was us who were too impulsive. The crowd hurriedly admitted their mistakes. After all, they had occupied Miss Su's territory. There was still a great deal of glory and wealth waiting for them, there was no need to risk it again. The young family left. In the alley, Chen Zhe leapt down from the second floor stepping heavily on the ground as he looked at Miss Su next to him. The gaze was the same as the last time in the hospital, with a bit of indifference that no one should be close to. M.S. Su opened her mouth, slowly lowered her head, once the kind of aura that would play everything in the palm of her hand, at this moment also weakened a few points. Nowadays, she didn't have any strength that was worth taking out and being proud of. Losing the territory of Shanghai City had also led to the deaths and injuries of the people she had brought here. Even if the Su family wanted to fight for Shanghai City again, even if the Su family wanted to compete for Shanghai City again, they would no longer tilt their resources in her favor. Those allies who were with her in the past will all fall to the Yang family. All of them will turn to the Yang family, losing these two things. Even if you leave Shanghai City and return to the north, you will only be met with the cold eyes of the family. There was no status to speak of. In the past, you saved me, perhaps, I can still have a way to repay you, but now, 
Actually I'm no different from an invalid. Miss Sue exhaled a breath, just now there were a dozen people around, but now there are only seven or eight left. Want to rely on this point of manpower, East Mountain again, and without the support of the Sioux family, even if the funds that can be taken out of hand, will not be more than $10 million. It's not as good as some small forces. Chen Zhe, however, just, lightly glanced at Miss Sue, the reason why he saved this woman. It was also simply because, they had been guarding around the hospital. Even in the outer sea, helped him stop a lot of enemies only. After this matter, the relationship between the two was also considered broken. Seeing Chen Zhe, he was about to leave without saying a word. Miss Su hurriedly followed in his footsteps. After all, the young family was still in the vicinity, who knew if they would, kill back. At the very least, they had to follow Chen Zhe out of this area. Only then would they be considered safe. Not knowing how long he had walked, Chen Zhe subtly stopped and glanced at the small building next to him. At the entrance of the small building, there was a sleepy little girl sitting, and after seeing Chen Zhe, her eyes obviously lit up as well. It seemed like she wanted to say, Big brother, my mom is up there. Could see the bloodstained Miss Sue next to her, as well as the seven or eight fierce-faced strong men, and immediately chose to shut up. It seemed like she had seen Miss Sue somewhere. It seemed like it was the elementary school where she studied. At that time, Miss Sue was spirited. Wherever she went, there would be a large fleet of cars behind her. Every car, the degree of luxury was something the little girl had never seen before. Also because of that time, she put Miss Sue deeply in her heart. Thinking, when can I be as powerful as Miss Sue? Unfortunately, that is just a child's fantasy. Want to rely on a woman's body, and do not have a huge amount of money, it is simply impossible to reach the level of MS. Sue, can't even say. Miss Sue is already considered to be outstanding within the many families. Chen Zhe only slightly stopped and took a look at the little girl and then quickly walked away. The crowd kept walking until they reached a spacious street. At the convenience store again, he bought quite a few food items. He sat down in the doorway next to the convenience store. Now they had already left the area just now. M.S. Sue was also considered safe, she no longer had the, she no longer had the same kind of dignified demeanor that she once had. She sat on her but across from Chun Zhe. Her body was leaning against the glass wall next to her. The two extremely ferocious big meows, because of her sudden reliance, shook a little. M.S. Sue looked at, again, the seven or eight people following her. With a face full of bitterness, she said. With my current situation, I'm afraid that I can't even afford to pay my salary, really can't, you guys find another job. These people had followed M.S. Sue for less than four or five years. At the beginning of her taking power, Miss Sue did not forget, the masters who followed her around. They also lived, a life of paper and gold. Unfortunately such a life, will eventually be broken tonight. Keeping them around will only harm them. But when everyone heard M.S. Sue's words, however, they all heavily clasped their fists. What is Miss saying, the money we've gotten over the years is quite a lot. After Miss took power, she never forgot about us old men either, and even spent money to set up a fund for our families. Covering all the expenses for food and clothing, even if the family members are sick, Miss will spend a lot of money to treat them. Our lives have long been Misses, so how could we leave? Although there were only a few of these left, but they were all Miss Sue's men, the most capable existences. Originally, Miss Sue was giving them a chance to choose again, but seeing that, all of them remain loyal, Miss Sue's eyes unconsciously reddened, and she said three good things in a row before forcing her tears to be held back. No matter what, Brother Chen, you saved me today, I owe you my life, if there is another chance, I will definitely return it to you. Miss Sue looked at Chen Zhe again, full of sincerity. Chen Zhe, however, just kept to himself and opened a few packages. After running all night, he had long been hungry. While eating, he looked at the nagging MS. Sue, his eyes a bit bored. Miss Sue, however, as if she didn't see it, instead, from the things on the table, flipped out a bread, similarly opened the package, and ate. Looking at each other speechless, time seems to be frozen. Under the illumination of that dim streetlight, this line of strange people of theirs, but in this most humble way, they made their farewells. Chen Zhe ate and drank his fill, got up and left. Miss Sue, on the other hand, took herself, the last of her manpower, and used her cell phone to make a call. A few moments later, a few beeps. A slightly hoarse voice came from over there. Somewhat muffled, it said. Looking for someone? The voice was tired, as if he hadn't rested well in the past few days. And this, the man with the tired and hoarse voice was Zhao Dongsheng, who was in Sichuan Yin province. This period of time, ever since his daughter lost her whereabouts, he then began to mobilize all of his funds. Fought a hard battle with the Tang family. Mobilized all the connections he could. Utilizing his economic talents, from the stock market, to all aspects, formulated a one-by-one -one strategy. At first, they did beat the Tang family back. 
Even in the shopping mall at the time, it set off a huge wave. After all, this kind of reckless strike action, it belonged to injuring the enemy by a thousand and damaging oneself by eight hundred. There was no benefit to be gained. However, he had still underestimated the Tang family, and now that half of the funds had been struck, the Tang family had held on at a crucial time despite their defeat. So much so, he was neither up nor down. The remaining half of the funds were all stuck in his hands. Looking for Zhao Dongsheng, I'm Northern Faction Su family, Su Qingyun. Su family, Su Qingyun? Zhao Dongsheng also froze for a moment, but quickly came back to his senses. How he remembered, this Miss Su. Nowadays, in Shanghai City, she was also considered a person of honor, occupying a large area of Shanghai City, with other outsiders, allied with each other, establishing a strong defense barrier. Even the Tang family could not do anything about them for a while. Why would this Miss Su find herself? It seems that Boss Zhao has not gotten the news that the territory I occupy nowadays was taken down by the Beijing faction to the Yang family. I am also no longer the Miss Su that I once was. But I heard Boss Zhao recently has been mobilizing funds in the shopping mall and the Tang family fight to the death. Not that I'm joking, I'm afraid Boss Zhao doesn't know what kind of characters are behind the Tang family. It's pointless for you to fight like this, even if it's 10 Zhao Dongshengs, it's impossible to defeat the Tang family with frontal means. But if Boss Zhao is willing to join hands with me and provide me with the funds, I can guarantee that with Boss Zhao's wealth, paired with my abilities, I can definitely get what Boss Zhao wants. M.S. Su wasn't sure what Zhao Dongsheng wanted to do, but since Su Dongsheng, leaving no stone unturned, even spreading money on the road, it was to target the Tang family, it must have its own purpose. The current her, as well as Zhao Dongsheng, actually had no choice, because she lacked a large amount of money to rebuild her power. Zhao Dongsheng also needed to make up for his shortcomings. Otherwise, it would be impossible to fight against the Tang family, and it was precisely because of this that she called Zhao Dongsheng. As expected, the opposite party was silent, after a few minutes. It seemed to be weighing the pros and cons, and at the same time, had someone prepare Miss Su's information. Waiting for all of it, Zhao Dongsheng had read it. The hoarse voice over there, he said in a dull voice, I can fund you to rebuild your power, I also only have one condition, and that is to find my daughter. Because of that lunatic's matter, my daughter's whereabouts are unknown today. As long as you can find her, money is not a problem. Receiving Zhao Dongxing's promise, MS. Su sighed in relief and agreed to Zhao Dongxing's request. When she hung up the phone, it was as if she had become, again, that high and mighty Miss Su who was in control of everything. With the previous betrayal, she also kind of saw it. Today's Shanghai city, no matter if it's an ally or one of their own, they can't be trusted. From now on, no matter if it's other outsiders or people coming out of the family, she will stay alert enough. On the other side. Chen Zhe, who was heading back, once again passed by, the small building where the girl was. The girl was still squatting in front of the building, blinking her eyes as she looked at Chen Zhe who was walking past. It was already very late. But the little girl, however, had no intention of going back to rest. Instead, she shouted at the past Chen Zhe. Big brother, do you already have a place to stay? If not, I can find you a new place to live, and I guarantee that no one will find out. The little girl also saw that Chen Zhe's identity was definitely not simple and with Chen Zhe's strange behavior, 9 times out of 10, he could not be exposed to the crowd. In addition, they were about to run out of food, Shanghai City had been in chaos recently, if they couldn't find a place to rely on, sooner or later they would all starve to death. She also wanted to go back to school, and her mom had been sick earlier, and did not go out to work. As a result, the family has no extra money. Their rent was about to expire, and they desperately needed a new place to stay, or else they might have to sleep on the streets. Chen Zhe, who was about to walk over, heard the little girl's words and stopped his. He was about to walk over to them. His and Zhao Miner's place of residence was to pry open other people's rooms that hadn't been rented out yet, but it wasn't a long-term solution. Sooner or later, they would have to change places. What's more, Zhao Miner was ultimately a bit unsafe on her own, so it would indeed be a good thing if she had someone to take care of her. It was just that he didn't know if this little girl's claim that no one would ever find the place was true. Take me to take a look, if there's no problem, you guys help me take care of someone, and for living expenses, I'll help you pay for it. Chen Zhe's words remained nonchalant. It was as if it was born that way. The little girl, however, didn't care, because from a young age, she had suffered countless cold stares. Instead, she said with a face full of joy, Big brother, you come with me, I promise, that place will definitely, no one will go over to check, said the little girl packing up her things, putting it into her school bag, leading Chen Zhe to turn into a dark alley passed through the layers of private houses. It was unknown how long they had been walking. The little girl opened her mouth and said, Big brother, this side of the rented house, 800 a month, one time to pay three months of money, you give me 2004, I go go and come back. The little girl finished. Chen Zhe took out $3,000 from his pocket. 
Those money he had, he hadn't spent it all by now. Three thousand dollars was nothing to him. As long as the little girl was able to arrange for his place to stay, everything would not be a problem. Wait until the money was given. The little girl went up for ten minutes. Then she took a bunch of keys, cracked her fleshy little mouth, and shook it happily. Big brother, got the keys, I'll take you to see the house. After saying that, the little girl farted and walked ahead. It came to the junction of the urban village. The house wasn't very big, yet it had three rooms, and outside was a large river that merged into the sea, and from above the waste bridge, one could directly leave Shanghai City. Other than that, the surrounding area was well connected and densely built, with all sorts of alleys and coverings, countless, even if one wanted to escape. Even to hide, this place was an excellent choice. On top of that, the little girl was obviously familiar with the area to the bone. In the event of an accident, according to the little girl's familiarity with this place, ordinary people really couldn't catch up with them. Nice place, in the future, you and your mom will live in a room, I will also bring someone over, and every month, I will give you a sum of money to take care of the expenses inside the room. Chen Zhe stood by the window, unusually satisfied with the layout of the place, and then gave the little girl another sum of money. Removing one of the keys, he left the place. The little girl, on the other hand, was elated and went back to tell her mom the good news that they had a place to live. If it wasn't for Chen Zhe's appearance, I'm afraid that in the next few days, or even half a month, without money to rent an apartment, they would have to end up on the streets. Thinking about the chaos in Shanghai City nowadays, the little girl was also afraid of being on the streets and encountering any danger. At that time, they a girl, a woman, can be said to call the sky, call the earth. When Chen Zhe returned to Zhao Miner's rental house, in fact, Zhao Min Air had already woken up. The dark surroundings made her shrink her head into the quilt, hearing the sound of the door opening. Only then did she lift a corner of the quilt and saw that it was Chen Zhe who had returned. Snapped open the light of the room, let out a whimpering choke, not to mention how pitiful. Just crying, the heart is a lot more solid. Chen Zhe told her about it, preparing to change places, but Zhao Miner didn't listen in the whole time, instead, she was a bit cautious and grabbed the corner of Chen Zhe's coat, just so quietly followed behind him, watching him, packing up the things in the room. Four shifts, begging for recommendations, monthly votes, and catching up on reading. After packing up the things, Chen Zhe took Xiao Miner and came together. The westernmost part of the urban village that was connected in all directions and had many buildings. It was dotted with all sorts of alleys and sheds. Almost every intersection was connected. In such a place. Not to mention chasing, I'm afraid to turn my head. It's not even known where the person ran off to. The room they found was quite spacious, not a waste of money. And when they came, the mother and daughter had already cleaned up the room. He brought Zhao Miner and entered one of the bedrooms, soothing the other to sleep. Then he left the place on his own. When he reappeared, he was already driving a car, heading towards Poplar Village. Bringing Zhao Miner again, he went to the rental house. He then received a text message from Sun Long, and bought quite a few things from the pharmacy. He went straight to Poplar Village. When he arrived at Poplar Village, it was probably early in the morning, around 3 or 4 o'clock. The sky hadn't completely lit up yet. He parked his car at the foot of the mountain and walked up step by step. In the small hut left behind by the forest ranger, the fire was still lit, and the moment he pushed open the door, Chen Zhe saw, the arrogant and domineering, cursing Mu Zhengnan. When treating others, Mu Zhengnan could be described as arrogant to the extreme, as that person's son. The onlookers only need to hear his name. The probability was that they would be scared out of their wits and their scalp would go numb. Even Sun Long, who was in front of him, was equally so. Previously, no matter whether it was Chen Zhe or Tang Hao, neither of them had explained Mu Zhengnan's identity to begin with. Mu Zhengnan was in such an unfamiliar environment, there was still some fear, but when he stated his identity, see Sun Long, the kind of cannot stop staring wide-eyed, full of uncertainty look, he knew. The original Sun Long, absolutely did not know, whose son he was. Now Sun Long knows. In Mu Zhengnan's thoughts, just a little intimidation, Sun Long will obediently submit. Again, it was not what he expected. When he had threatened several times, he said that he was hungry. Sun Long immediately prepared food for him. He even deliberately went into the mountains to hunt a rabbit. As for the bystanders, completely did not have this treatment. In front of me, everything that happened made Mu Zhengnan think that as long as he took a little bit of trouble to intimidate a few sentences. In the end, he gave a sweet date, promising a great future. Sun Long will obediently submit. After all, previously, Sun Long was like a vicious dog, but now has already, holding that roasted hair, tearing off the meat a little bit, handing it to Mu Zhengnan's mouth. As long as you let me go, I promise, to help you find your wife and children, so that you can enjoy all the glory and wealth. Mu Zhengnan's voice was full of compulsion. With his status, the things he promised were just a matter of raising his hand. But ordinary people, who had spent their entire lives, were unable to obtain wealth and riches. 
He did not believe that this strong man in front of him would not be moved. But even if Sun Long was a fool, he knew that the sons of those big shots didn't always keep their words. Even if he put Mu Zhengnan back, the biggest result, it would also be death at Mu Zhengnan's hands. As for finding his wife and children, it was even more nonsense. Previously, Tang, Hao, with a few words, lured him into risking his life. But what happened in the end? Even if he accomplished what Tang Hao said at that time, he wouldn't be able to find his wife and children, and would end up dying in the outer sea. In the end, these big people, never put them, these martial artists, in their eyes. They even despised them from the bottom of their hearts, and because of this, although Sun Long was also taking care of Mu Zhengnan, he never intended, to let the person go. Just when Mu Zhengnan was still blabbering and compelling Sun Long, the door was opened with a creak. A figure with a silver white scalpel, a duck tongue cap, a black top, and sky blue jeans. With his back to the night, he coldly looked at Mu Zhengnan inside. When he raised that face, suddenly bright and dark road firelight, illuminating still quite durable face, also a black and white, changing uncertainty. Chen Zhe's appearance, undoubtedly broke Mu Jingnan's original decision, the previous eloquent talk, also turned into a face full of fear. Because the Sun Long in front of him, although he was Chen Zhe's helper, he was at least a normal person. Chen Zhe in front of him was a complete madman. He did things without any regard for the consequences, and his actions were not light or heavy. Otherwise, he wouldn't have brought Shanghai City to such a state. Things should have died down a long time ago. Instead, this psycho. This psycho, not only the Zhou family one family a pair of sons and daughters, all to waste. Even the Wang family perished because of it. The martial arts expert Tang Tianqing invited, even died on the deck, not even able to resist. Today's Chen Zhe was like a sharp knife that could not be harmed. Piercing through the local forces of Shanghai City, the proud barriers, causing a lot of power and wealth, people are on edge. Such a person, even if Mu Zhengnan promises more things, will he listen? When Sun Long saw Chen Zhe who came in, he also opened his mouth and sighed leisurely. Chen Zhe walked forward and kicked Sun Long to the ground, and the roasted hair, too, landed amongst the dust, stained with sand. Sun Long clenched his teeth, naturally knowing that his earlier self had faltered. Cannot help but smile bitterly, did not in too many words. Just lowered his head, walked to the side. Slowly sat down. The silver white scalpel, under the firelight, reflected a silver reflection. It passed by Mu Jingnan's eyes. Then he looked at Chen Zhe's face, which gradually became hideous. Mu Zhengnan panicked. Alarmed. His face was full of fear. Where was he still half a bit high and mighty? His proud identity, in front of a madman, appeared to be nothing. Sun, Sun Long. You quickly talk to him, if something goes wrong with me, you guys will really be finished. My identity you already know, as long as you save me out, I guarantee to let you, become the same existence as the Tang family. The scenery and prosperity of Shanghai City, I can let you have it at your fingertips. Could it be that you're going to watch such a good opportunity pass before your eyes? Mu Jingnan's voice was panicked, wanting Sun Long to help himself out of the trap, at least block Chen Zhe. But what about Sun Long? After thinking clearly, he also realized that it was impossible for him to turn back. Even if he helped Mu Zhengnan after he went out, they would not let him go. With no more value to utilize, how could this existence that was arrogant to the bone and above the Tang clan care about the death or life of a small person? He didn't utter a word. Instead, he picked up the sand-stained, freshly roasted hair, tore off a piece of rabbit meat that was full of sand, put it into his mouth, and chewed hard. Sand and teeth, friction force, issued by the creaking sound, in this silent room, especially clear. Again, as if he had made some kind of choice, he no longer looked at Mu Zhengnan, but instead, he kept his head down the entire time. Inside his eyes, there was only the sand-stained hair left. Chen Zhe slowly squatted in front of Mu Zhengnan. The scalpel was aimed at a clearly visible meridian on his arm. Because it was tied too tightly, the blood vessels were bulging on his arm, and he followed the edge of the blood vessels. Little by little, he cut Mu Zhengnan's skin. Mu Zhengnan felt the pain coming from his arm, his eyes widened a little bit until the skin was cut and blood gushed out. Chen Zhe used the scalpel again, picking apart his flesh. Mu Zhengnan let out a hysterical scream because of the pain, just like Tang Hao at the time. The time that followed was like an inferno on earth. Miserable screams, cries, despair, and pleas for mercy came and went. Mu Zhengnan said everything he knew. He kept using his head, banging on the pillar behind him, only hoping that Chen Zhe would spare him. This kind of torture. It was really too painful. Chen Zhe's movements were slow, making a conscious, living person, watching himself a little bit, being sliced. Blood stained the ground red, this high and mighty, unrivaled, once a word, can make countless people, life and death of the prince master. Now, but reduced to, a madman's toy. Until play enough. Addicted. Chen Zhe let out a breath. An incomparable look of relief appeared on his face. As for Mu Zhengnan who was tied to the pillar, his eyes gradually became dull, clearly still alive. 
It was clear that many wounds on his body had also been stitched up with needles and threads, but that pair of empty eyes, but could not see half a bit of vitality, only a dead silence remained. Chen Zhe took out several large bottles of medical alcohol. Against Mu Zhengnan's wound, poured. Alcohol catharsis, from each wound flowed through, originally still expressionless Mu Zhengnan. Once again, he let out a mournful scream. He gasped for breath, his face was white with pain, and cold sweat could not be stopped, falling from his forehead. Chen Zhe, however, did not easily let the Mu Zhengnan in front of him die, instead, after being satisfied, he found a place and lay down to sleep. Until, a whole day passed. Chen Zhe slept his fill. After eating something, he picked up the silver-white scalpel again and walked over to Mu Zhengnan. After experiencing last night's fear, seeing Chen Zhe, once again carrying the knife up, Mu Zhengnan was scared to death on the spot. Tears mixed with snot stained that twisted face. With all his strength, he bent his body down. Unable to stop kowtowing at Chen Zhe. Please, no, don't, I know it's wrong, it was our fault in the first place, we shouldn't have laid hands on your sister. Please, let me go, as long as you're willing to let me go, whatever you want, I can get it for you. I'm willing to compensate you, I can get your sister to the best hospital, hire the best doctors in the world, the best caregivers, so that your sister can get the best treatment. Let go, let me go, let go, let go. Ah, miserable screams, crying, but in the midst of those words, they resounded once again, lightly waving the scalpel, just like a fluttering butterfly, as if carving the world's most exquisite works of art. Every time the knife fell, it was precise to the extreme. Chen Zhe was enjoying this process, his face becoming grim at times, at times, and became excited. The entire process lasted for several more hours. Mu Zhengnan, who was in front of him, could no longer carry on. He fainted on the spot. The body had even reached its limit, dying, and if it wasn't dealt with, it would immediately have to be cut off. But Chen Zhe did not let Mu Zhengnan off easily. As in the morning, he treated the wounds on Mu Zhengnan's body. Then he leaned against the wall and closed his eyes. This torture lasted for seven whole days. Seven days of time. Once it was night. Between the mountains and fields, sounds like ghostly cries and howls would come out. So much so that it startled many animals, and not even a single mouse could be seen around. For seven days, Sun Long, who had been watching from the side the entire time, once he couldn't take it anymore. Then he would run out and relieve himself. But the four people who were tied up inside the room, the driver, the investigator, Sun Yao Yang, and the mistress. But by this kind of scene, got, bile spit out. The mistress, once looked at the eyes rolled white, fainted several times. Finally, the morning of the seventh day, Mu Zhengnan in the midst of almost desperate torture. Broken. Looking at Mu Zhengnan in front of him, who had long since become unrecognizable, Chen Zhe's gaze was ice cold. He dragged the person to the back of the mountain and left him in the middle of the wilderness, believing that it wouldn't be long before even his bones would be taken away. I believe that in a short time, even the bones will be taken away. After all this was done, Chen Zhe looked up to the sky. The slowly rising sun, a ray of warm luster, fell on his face. Again, like a divine illumination, it baptized him. During this period of time, the depression that had been building up dissipated quite a bit. But that was only partial, from Mu Jingnan's mouth, he knew, the remaining four people, specific information. According to Mu Jingnan's confession, these people are called Chao Lei, Yuan Yen, Qin Jimao, Du Yen. Corresponding to the four people in the last meeting respectively. According to Mu Jingnan's words, the former Shanghai city has not been, today, this kind of splendor. But it was during the most chaotic time in Shanghai city. Five people came here. No one knew where they came from. No one knows their true identities either. Only know that after they came, set off a bloody storm in Shanghai city, the entire Shanghai city native forces slaughtered a whole and introduced a large sum of money. The establishment of the harbor, trade, access to foreign trade and with absolute strength, recover the Tang family, as well as the local up and down more than a hundred forces, once became a legend in Shanghai city. They always settled in Shanghui, but Shanghui is not a place name, no one knows the correct address of Shanghui. Every single person who came out of Shanghui, every person who came out of the society had the ability to call the shots in Shanghai city. Later, Mu Jingnan's father, Mu Hongguan, and the other four people in the upper club, broke up and became independent. The Tang family, now also belongs to Mu Hongguan. In addition to the Tang family, Mu Hongguan also has unrivaled energy in Shangjing. As for the remaining four people, and Mu Hongguan broke up after, did not appear again. But how much terrifying energy these people were hiding. So far no one knows. Only outside, from time to time, can hear them rumored. The authority of those four people, occasionally reveal one or two. Also enough to let the whole Shanghai city, for the turmoil. The only pity is that after Mu Hongguan and those four people broke up, those four people did not show up in Shanghai city as if they had evaporated. As for Mu Zhengnan, even he didn't know where Shang would be. Or rather, 
Mu Zhengnan, who is above the entire Shanghai city, is not qualified to contact the meeting. I'm afraid that the only one who has shown up today and knows where the upper council is located is Mu Hongguang. After sorting out this information, Chen Zhe pinned the scalpel and walked down the mountain on his own. The sunlight shone on his body, but always half of his body, fell into the shadow. He even intentionally avoided the warmth of the sun's light, and walked under the shadows of the lush foliage. More like, a night ghost wandering the earth. 7 Days Chen Zhe had left Shanghai City for 7 days. He also tortured Mu Zhengnan for 7 days, and witnessed Mu Zhengnan die a little bit painfully. As he drove his car, he returned to Shanghai City. When he entered the city village, it was already more than 6 o'clock in the afternoon. As a result, he just came in not long ago, there was a man and a woman rushing in his direction, walking over quickly. The man was around 23 or 24 years old, with a white jacket, gray pants, and a bit of Englishness between his eyebrows. The girl, on the other hand, was around 17 or 18 years old, with light footsteps, smooth breath, and quite pretty. With a ponytail, she stopped in front of Chen Zhe. The man arched his hand and said, Greetings, Mr. Chen, we are the Duan family siblings from North Hall, under the tutelage of Duan Yulong. My name is Duan Jingyi. My name is Duan Jiaojiao. The two of them had bowed to Chen Zhe, looking extraordinarily polite. However, in the face of these two people, Chen Zhe did not even glance sideways and walked straight over. The two siblings looked at each other for a moment, let out a bitter smile, and hurriedly followed. Mr. Chen may not recognize the two of us, but in the heavenly palace, amongst the battles in the outer sea, our master, Duan Yulong, once blocked a great man, and quite a few other experts. We came over this time, and we don't have any malicious intentions, recently, our Duan family entered Shanghai City, and occupied quite a lot of territory. But because of the late arrival, coupled with the resource support, it was all given to some elders, and what fell into our hands, wasn't much. Master then wanted us to come out to practice and experience, so he specially came to find Mr. Chen, wanting to follow beside Mr. Chen, and also be able to contribute to solving some small matters. To put it bluntly, it was a bet. Their Duan family, nowadays, amongst the many elders, had laid down a lot of resources. Even Duan Yulong himself, nowadays, has become a climate, vaguely overshadowing other forces. But now, in Shanghai City set off a storm of bloodshed, monstrous waves of Chen Zhe, but an unbeatable sharp knife, if you can send some people, do things around Chen Zhe. Regardless of whether or not Chen Zhe has built up his own power in the end, it is actually a good thing for them. Moreover, these days, after Chen Zhe left, they had occupied quite a lot of territory in the city center village. Nowadays, a quarter of the area of the city center village was under their say. I know that mister. Chen may not think much of the two of us, and we can't help with the big things, but we can be responsible for dealing with some small and painless problems, as well as prying for information. As long as Mr. Chen uses our brother and sister duo, just open your mouth. However, no matter how much the two said, Chen Zhe continued to treat it as if he did not see it. Just as the brother and sister duo entered a corner, but suddenly lost Chen Zhe's whereabouts. Both of them were professionally trained. Although their fighting strength was not as good as those big shots, but like Sun Long Stream, the siblings still had the power to fight. Now that they saw Chen Zhe disappear, both of them revealed a bitter look, but they didn't say anything else. Next to them, Duan Jiaojiao, however, said with some hesitation. Big brother, I don't see Mr. Chen agreeing or refusing, maybe he just doesn't trust us. Duan Jingyi helplessly shook his, shook his head and didn't answer his sister's words. When the family wanted to send out some youngsters to come in contact with Chen Zhe, just because of the identity of the other party's madman, many of them backed off. After all, a madman who had killed so many people and had no regard for the consequences. Hell knows, what would be the result of contacting the other party and saying the wrong thing? The reason why he had come over was also because Duan Jingyi had combined a large number of deeds that there were about Chen Zhe. Only then did he make the choice. Nowadays, our brother and sister, in the Duan family, we are almost the most inconspicuous. And with some of the things our parents did in the early years, it was destined that we wouldn't be honored. If we want to get back on our feet, we have to take the sword to the other side, no matter what, let's give it another try. As long as Mr. Chen is willing to accept the two of us, we'll follow Mr. Chen in the future, and do a good job. After Duan Jingyi finished speaking, he remembered earlier, the information that his men had inquired about. Soon. Arriving at the western district of the city center village, they quietly waited. They did not know Chen Zhe's specific address. However, however, there were people who had seen Chen Zhe in the western district of the city center village, and they had paid a good price to get this information. Adding to the fact that in the west district of the city center village, the buildings were too dense, and all the iron shacks, houses, and roads, were almost all interconnected. Wanting to be in such a complicated area, to find a person with a high level of skill, 
The degree of difficulty was no less than finding a needle in a haystack. Let's wait here first, and if we can still run into Mr. Chen, we'll ask again. I believe that if we are sincere enough, we will definitely be accepted. Duan Jingyi actually didn't hold much hope in his heart. But nowadays, they wanted to rise, relying on the ordinary path was probably not going to work. Then they could only take a path that others didn't dare to take. Duan Jiajiu also nodded, and although she was a bit bored, she still waited there obediently. Shaking off that brother and sister duo, Chen Zhe, who traveled lightly and familiarly, came to the western district of the urban village and walked up to the fifth floor step by step. Using the key to open the door to his room, he ended up smelling a smell of stumbling wine when he came in. Chen Zhe, who was frowning, took another look at the table, which was just humble noodles. His eyes unconsciously narrowed, and he knocked on the door next to him, to Zhao Miner's room again. Soon, the door opened. When Zhao Miner saw Chen Zhe, her autumn watery eyes unconsciously moistened a little. Even from Zhao Miner's face, the change in expression that was revealed, he knew that something had definitely happened during these seven days. It was just that in the midst of the casual conversation that followed. Zhao Miner didn't say. He didn't ask either. After another half hour or so, the door opened. What came in was the woman with a bruised face and the little girl pulling behind her, and when they saw Chen Zhe sitting in the hall, both of them were stunned. Again, they quickly started to clean up the table. But seeing that, Chen Zhe's gaze fell on top of those noodles, the mother and daughter still could not help, their movements were a little stiff. After all, when they left, Chen Zhe also gave her daughter a large sum of money. As a result, these seven days had been nothing but eating noodles or noodles. No wonder they were averting their gazes, not even daring to look at Chen Zhe. Looking at the eyes, Chen Zhe wanted to get up, but Zhao Miner beside him hurriedly pulled him back. Brother Chen, it's actually not Aunt Ji Mirage Plum's fault, as well as Sister Ji Xilan. The day after you left, someone broke into the place with a key, as if it was because of a dispute that arose from renting the house. Then a lot of things were smashed, and immediately after the landlord knew about it, he brought a large group of people, looking for the mother and daughter to raise hell. In order to protect me, her mom was beaten up with a wooden stick, and all these bruises, were left from before. As for the money you gave, it was all used to compensate for the damages in the house. Actually, in the end, it was still being set up. After all, they had just rented the house on the front foot. Then there were other tenants who rushed in and smashed the things. Smashing was also smashing, which itself was the landlord's problem. As a result, the other party brought a large group of people. They forced the mother and daughter to hand over the thousands of dollars Chen Zhe had given them. As a result, during this time, they almost always ate noodles. These noodles or the little girl's mom, went out to do odd jobs to buy. But around that, Ji Yunmei and the little girl Ji Xilan, still lowered their heads in shame. Because earlier, it was the little girl Ji Xilan, who claimed that there was no problem with the guarantee. Good thing. At that time, they had been blocking the doorway. Zhao Miner, who was inside the room, had not been affected. The mother and daughter glanced at Chun Zhe with a somewhat timid expression. Fear of being kicked out. With their situation today, after leaving this place, there wasn't even a place to land. Big brother, my mom has been working odd jobs all over the place this week, we will definitely pay back the $3,000. Ji Yunmei also nodded her head, when we chose the place earlier, it was my daughter who didn't confirm the other side, we don't have a place to stay now either, we really can't leave here. The mother-daughter duo's voices carried a few moments of pleading. Chen Zhe did not speak, but instead took out a few thousand dollars and put it on the table. Only then did the mother and daughter breathe a sigh of relief. They knew that Chen Zhe had forgiven them. However, this time, they did not dare to put the money on their bodies. Just took a few hundred dollars, and hid the rest in the room. Then they started, went out to buy food, ready to come back to cook. As a result, the mother and daughter duo, went out for half an hour without arriving. Door was bang 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 knocked. The person who knocked on the door outside. Strength is very big. As a result of knocking for half a day, did not see any response. Then began to take the key, trying to open the door lock from the outside. Chen Zhe, who was still sitting on the sofa, stood up with a miso sound, rushed over and grabbed the handle of the doorway. The person outside pressed down hard, but after half a day of pressure, the door did not move. From the cat's eye, Chen Zhe looked out. He saw a man around 30 years old with tattoos under his neck. He was followed by about 10 people. One of them. It was Chen Zhe, the old gangster Wu Hai that he met last time. Still holding a bottle of wine in his hand, he was pouring it into his stomach without taking a sip. From time to time, I hiccup. But without exception, the hands are holding a pipe, machete, obviously over to find trouble. Even some people, from the back to drag up the G fantasy plum. Her face was covered with blood, and she was holding a bag of freshly purchased pig's feet, beef, and vegetables, which fell all over the ground under the other party's hard pull. The left side of her face was swollen, blood flowed out from the corner of her eyes, and she let out a few muffled grunts. 
but never opened her mouth to ask for help. In less time, another little girl cried out. It was kicked down to the stairway, but the mother and daughter were just lying on the ground like this, never said a word. The man with tattoos all over his body in the lead, viciously kicked at Ji Yume's body. Let the people inside open the door, last time I told you, broken things, at least 20 to 30 thousand to start. As a result, I was compensated 3 thousand, saying that I have no money, now I am buying pigs trotters and beef, I don't think you guys look like you have no money, it can't be that you think that the old man is good at bullying, and you want to make the old man eat a mute loss, right? After saying that, the man didn't seem to be relieved. He kicked G Mirage Plum several times with force. Each time, the kicks caused G Mirage Plum's body to tremble violently, but she just arched her body, holding those just bought back vegetables, lying on the ground without saying a word. As for Ji Shilan, she was grabbed by her hair and lifted up again. It is about to rush to the wall and hit it. The door. But at this time opened. The person who opened the door was wearing a duck tongued hat, and just by standing toward the door, he let people feel an inexplicable coldness. A pair of eyes, staring at this man covered in tattoos, was like a vicious tiger, causing the other party's eyebrows to stop jumping. You step on the horse. The man covered in tattoos, raised his hand, the steel pipe that had been sprayed with paint, and smashed it at Chen Zhe's head. His mouth was still cursing, harsh and unpleasant expletives. Only the back, slammed a mouthful of wine old punk Wu Hai, full of drunkenness looked up, looked at Chen Zhe a glance. Immediately after. That face that could never be forgotten. It made the old punk's feet shiver, unsteady on his feet, and rolled down from the top of the stairs. The wine bottle fell on the ground. With a bang, it shattered all over the ground. At the same time, it was accompanied by a silver white beam of light. In the lighted hallway, a flash of. The man who had raised the pole, the tattoo on his neck that almost covered his skin, appeared with a red mark that was out of place with the tattoo, followed by a large gush of blood. It got all over Chen Zhe's face. The man with the steel pipe, his hand was still raised, but the steel pipe that wanted to fall, was suspended in midair. His pupils contracted a little, his mouth opened, but he couldn't say a word. When the others saw such a tragic scene, they subconsciously took a few steps back, gulping, full of fear. They did not even dream of it originally just wanted to come over to extort a sum of money, but one photo. They're usually arrogant and domineering boss. Then they were wiped out of their necks. Although they are inside the village, the famous bully, often rely on the number of people, engage in fairy jump, or set up to extort money. But they have never encountered such a ruthless and hardened opponent. Even fell to the ground, shrinking into a shrimp, Ji Hui Mei, cannot help but open his mouth wide. There was also some blood, spilled not far in front of her. Staring blankly at this scene, Ji Yome's heart was in her throat, fearful to the limit. The little girl, Ji Shilan, likewise couldn't say a word, her small body, couldn't stop trembling a little. Until, a scream came from the surroundings. The crowd that had long been scared out of their wits, ran downstairs as if they were crazy. But not yet wait for them to go downstairs. Running down to the crowd. Just heard a miserable scream, a moment, the old gangster Wu Hai once again returned. Standing at the entrance of the aisle, looking around for a few moments. Propped up the fence on the fifth floor, jumped toward the opposite small building, the two although not far apart, but the opposite top of the sky, it is a three-story high private house. This jump. Let the old gangster Wu Hai, also scared scalp numb, good in the end is to jump over. But because of the difference of two floors high, bang, broke his leg. The crowd was full of confusion, frozen in place. At the same time, dense footsteps were heard. Taking a look downwards. It was Duan Jingyi, Duan Jiajiao's brother and sister, with a large number of their men, blocking the entrance to the building. Earlier when they saw this group of people coming in, they had sent their men to follow them over, and then they saw Ji Yunmei, Ji Shilan's mother and daughter, and heard them mention, the person wearing a duck-tongued hat, immediately associated with Chen Zhe, so non-stop, gathered dozens of people, blocked the entrance to the building. At this time, it could be said to have come at just the right time. Duan Jingyi, however, just glanced at the crowd. He then said a few words to the men next to him. In less time, the people who rushed up, put down all of these dozen of punks and dragged them down one by one. The brother and sister duo, again, came to the doorway. Looking at the corpses lying on the ground, they arranged for a few people to deal with them and flushed the water. Only then did they arch their hands and look at Chen Zhe. Mr. Chen, you let us follow you. Your skills, although better than anyone else, you are ultimately alone. Some troublesome little things, someone has to deal with them. As long as you let us brother and sister follow, we promise to be single-minded and won't fail you with this favor. They didn't know if saying so would be effective? After all, Chen Zhe from beginning to end, in their hearts, is a madman. But the brother and sister duo, who were desperate and had no choice but to take the sword to the edge, still decided to put their treasure on Chen Zhe's body. Looking at the cleaned up aisle entrance, Chen Zhe did not say anything, turned around and entered the house. 
Immediately after Ji Yunmei, Ji Xilan, followed in succession, the door was left open. Ji Yunmei hurriedly spoke, You are Mr. Chen's friends, right? Hurry up and come in, just in time to prepare for cooking, have a dinner first before going back. The brother and sister looked at each other, and seeing Chen Ze inside who did not refuse, they silently followed them in. But the two just sat at a distance, observing Chen Ze's face at all times. Confirmation. The other party had no intention of repelling. Only then did they slowly let out a sigh of relief, knowing that this matter was considered a success. For more, requesting for recommendation votes, monthly votes, and catching up on reading. Chen Ze did not expel the Duan family siblings. The crowd was also at ease and had a dinner. When the matter was over, the Duan family siblings rented another room next to them, waiting for Chen Zhe's dispatch at any time. Meanwhile, the southern district of Shanghai City, the old gangster Wu Hai who was limping, his face was full of panic, looking back from time to time. He walked into a luxuriously decorated clubhouse. Soon on the third floor of the clubhouse, he was brought in. After entering, he saw a man holding a red wine glass, with a mustache and wearing a black suit, turn his head. When Wu Hai saw this man, he hurriedly bent down respectfully and said, See, see Boss Yang, the thing you arranged for us to do earlier, failed, failed. Wu Hai didn't dare to say that it was because of their extortion and blackmail, and in the end, it resulted in the dozen or so people who had been recruited with great difficulty, all of them being gaffed by others. He could only bow his head, slightly fearful, waiting to be sent down. The man holding a red wine glass, wearing a black suit and a mustache was Yang Feng. It was also him that took away Miss Su's turf. He wasn't a fool and he could tell at a glance that there was a problem in there. Knocking on the table in front of him, he drank the red wine in his glass in one go. Speak up, what's going on, with the energy of our Yang family, it's just a matter of lifting our hands if we want to figure out what's going on. If you say it yourself, there might still be room for maneuver, but if I send someone out to investigate, I can't say for sure. Since occupying Miss Su's territory, their Yang family, amongst the Peking faction's horse frontmen, was considered to be in the limelight. Even many of the big shots in the capital. They have personally promised the Young family a lot of benefits. As a result, the Young family has become more and more important to him, and all the resources have been piled up on Yang Feng's body. The whole person, the aura has changed, to put it bluntly, is that the current Yang Feng is a little bit floating. I am looking at it. It is impossible to hide it. The old gangster, Wu Hai, could only tell the truth. Otherwise, really waiting for Yang Feng to investigate, know what they do, probably have to be thrown into the river to feed the fish. It would be better to say it yourself there is still a chance of survival. Along with Wu Hai, the whole process of adding oil and vinegar set all over. Yang Feng also froze for a moment, and reacted for a moment. You said that person wore a duck-tongued hat, black top, blue jeans? Yes, I've seen that person once before when the Tang family issued a bounty, he should be the madman who's been making a lot of noise lately. Hearing this, Yang Feng's face was as dark as water, placing his red wine glass on the table, but in his heart, he had already cursed. Earlier. In the alleyway of the city village, he had originally had the opportunity to kill Miss Su and remove that aftermath. As a result, it was because of Chen Ze that caused him to miss the best time, and now that he wanted to lay his hands on the city village, he ran into Chen Ze again. According to the situation in the city center village, the powerful and wealthy people of Shanghai City in the past were definitely not in their sights. It was both mixed with fish and dragons, and difficult to control. Slowly, it became a zone of unregulated areas. But nowadays, Shanghai City's people from all walks of life had gathered, and the territory had long been insufficiently divided. Although the Tang family has also contracted its own encirclement, making partial concessions, but this point of territory, in the eyes of outsiders with huge appetites, it is undoubtedly a drop in the bucket. Then there were. People landed their eyes on the city center village. Now the urban village is also divided into four areas. There is no end to the chaos. Yang Feng had his eyes on the western part of the village, occupied mess. Su's territory, and started to invest a lot of manpower and material resources. Before he could see any returns, there was this incident with Chen Zhe. By the way, you said that apart from that man with the duck-tongued hat, you also encountered a pair of siblings with extraordinary skill, blocking you guys at the stairway. Yes, that man's body, with a heroic aura, out of the ruthless, I jumped to the opposite folk house, personally saw his men, several people are wasted. That girl, with a ponytail and a tear mole at the corner of her left eye, she's quite pretty. Finished speaking. The old punk, Wu Hai, seemed to have thought of something else. I also heard their men call, that Man Duan boss, should be a brother and sister. Synthesizing all of the above, Yang Feng immediately knew who the brother and sister duo were, and his face became even more ugly. It was North Hall Duan Yulong, the two youngest disciples. It was also the Duan family, the two people who were least valued. But no matter what, the Duan clan had produced a martial arts master. 
And now, Duan Yulong was the deserved leader amongst the outsiders of the northern sect, and even the two youngest disciples who were the least valued, were still not the ones that the others dared to get their hands on. Chen Zhe, plus the Duan family siblings, it seems that the western part of the city center village, cannot be touched. Yang Feng muttered in his heart and exhaled a mouthful of turbid air. The old gangster below, Wu Hai, hurriedly said. I also know quite a few idle people from the village road in the city, if, Boss Yang, is interested, I can call them over and make another trip to the west district of the village in the city. Ever since the Tang family had been targeted and fewer and fewer missions had been issued, the old punk, Wu Hai, had been kicked out of the center of interest. It was so hard to hug the thigh of Boss Yang. Of course he refused to give up. Only Yang Feng glanced at Wu Hai and said with a cold smile. Don't even think about the West District, recently the East District is fighting hot, you gather a little more manpower, the money won't be less, but the people must be ruthless. After saying that, Yang Feng waved his hand, signaling Wu Hai to hurry up and get lost. At the same time, he warned. Regarding the Western District, don't go there anymore, right now, that lunatic and the Duan family siblings are probably the most tricky existences in the city center village, of course, if you're not afraid to die, you can go over there and give it a try. Wu Hai shivered violently when he heard Boss Yang's words. Thinking of a single glance, the previous leader had his neck wiped. Unable to help but swallow his saliva, where would he dare to go over? Then, he grayed out and left the clubhouse. At the same time, received a text message, his bank card, arrived $200,000. This $200,000 was for him to recruit manpower. Don't look at it as not much. For these street loafers of theirs. Yet it was already a large sum of money. The Yang family is really rich and generous, one shot is 200,000, last time for that tattooed brother, it was more than half a million dollars. Now that he's dead, doesn't it mean that it's my turn to take the throne? One thought. In the future, he would be able to take the lion's share of all this money. The old gangster, Wu Hai, became incredibly excited. He began to work back and forth, helping the Yang family to recruit people. As for Yang Feng, he wouldn't care about this small amount of money. Instead, he sat in his room and took out a piece of information. Recently, Su Ching Yun didn't know where, got a large sum of money and started building up his forces again. With my understanding of this Su family's eldest daughter, I'm afraid I won't let it go easily. Thinking about the lunatics in the western part of the city center village, and that Miss Su, Yang Feng felt a headache. But things had reached today's point. It was impossible for the Yang family to turn back. No matter what, during this recent period, the top priority is to hold on to today's territory, and never let Su Ching Yun make a comeback. Half a ring. Yang Feng made several more phone calls. Ordering a few things, he also raised the alert of the southern district. Lest he be attacked suddenly by a mess. Su, there were no words for the night. As the sky dawned, a wisp of breeze penetrated through the window. It had rained lightly last night, and it was gloomy. Outside, it was slightly humid. The western part of the urban village is already densely populated. The buildings were connected together, and before dawn, people were already coming and going. Chen Zhe glanced at his alarm clock, it was only 5 or 6 o'clock, but he couldn't sleep anymore. So he got up, drove his car, and arrived at the bar street, the nearby street entrance, in front of Gu Jiajia's breakfast stall, buying bread. Recently, Gu Jiajia, her face seems to be a little bit more rosy, when I saw her before, her face would occasionally have a little bit of scars or even bruises. But these few times we met, Gu Jiajia's smooth face, white and red, more and more good looking. Maybe it's because she's been eating better lately, or maybe it's just her mood. Before leaving, Chen Zhe bought seven or eight loaves of bread, and Gu Jiajia originally didn't want to collect the money. But Chen Zhe, just like last time, dropped a hundred dollar bill, turned his head and left. Gu Jiajia hurriedly shouted, next month, at the beginning of the month, I'm going to leave Shanghai City, make a trip to Mo, and then study in the north. Can you come and see me off at that time? Although Chen Zhe, as a child, had heard Gu Jiajia. However, during this period of time, Gu Jiajia realized that Chen Zhe had changed a lot. Her senses had also changed a lot. From the bottom of her heart, she took Chen Zhe as a friend. Hearing that the other party was leaving, Chen Zhe also did not have too many mood swings. Nodded to it. Gu Jiajia said again, the day after tomorrow, my birthday, saved up money, will buy a small cake, 10 o'clock in the evening, in a bar street to the east of that beach, I'll wait for you. This is her last sentence, Chen Zhe also at this moment, just opened the car door. As if he didn't hear her, he sat up. Gu Jiajia watched his back as he left. Nor did she know. Did Chen Zhe listen? Or did he not listen? Immediately afterward, he plopped down in front of the stall made of tin again. Gu Jiajia, Gu Jiajia, what are you thinking? Although he's a little more stable than before, in the end, he's still a madman. Being friends with him, maybe, in the end, you'll only end up harming yourself. Although her mouth said so, but Gu Jiajia still expects, the night after tomorrow, Chen Zhe can go to. 
Because she dropped out of school at an early age, she was self-educated at home, and since she was a child, she didn't even have any friends. Nowadays, the only person who could talk was, occasionally, Chen Zhe who came over to buy breakfast. I don't know, will he consider me a friend? Leaving the urban village. Chen Zhe put the car, parked near the Yellow Mountain Clubhouse. It was still the same, the alley under the clubhouse. Ning Miaoshu waited early. Seeing Chen Zhe arrive, passed an object over. You asked me to investigate the upper club. I didn't investigate anything, that place is not something I can touch. Nowadays in Shanghai City, there are only some legends about the upper society, the real address of the upper society, no one knows. However, after Mu Zhangnan was captured by you, his father, Mu Hongwon, went to the Tang family. Speaking of this, Ning Naoshu curiously looked at Chen Zhe and asked, Where is Mu Zhangnan now? Chen Zhe, who had just walked in, casually picked up something, opened it and saw that it was clearly the layout of the Tang family's manor. Nodding at Ning Miaoshu, he did not hide it. Mu Zhengnan died, I tortured him for seven whole days, cutting more than 2,800 knives. In the end, he couldn't carry it off and was left by me in the mountains, and now he's probably been eaten by wild beasts, with no bones left. Mu Zhengnan is dead? Hearing Chen Zhe's emotionless words, Ning Miaoshu swallowed her saliva, and her pupils slightly contracted. Another deep glance was given to Chen Zhe. Her heart was filled with emotion. Who was Mu Zhengnan? He was the crown prince of Shanghai City. At one time, I didn't know how many people had gone to great lengths in order to curry favor with this young prince. Mu Zhengnan may have grown up accustomed to this kind of environment and atmosphere, and has developed a character that has no one in his sight, and is proud of it. He never put anyone in his eyes. Mu Zhengnan has killed many girls from good families. I don't know how many. It can be said. Mu Zhengnan is one of the most heartless people in Shanghai City. But this is such a person, but the scenery, after so many years, did not receive due punishment. If it wasn't for Chen Zhe's appearance, I'm afraid Mu Zhengnan would still be on the loose, having fun night after night. It's good to be dead, not only did Mu Hongguan make a trip to the Tang family, I heard that he also made a trip to Shangjing. The Tang family is shrinking their sphere of influence these days, and have begun to intentionally compromise, giving up a huge portion of their interests, and signing a ceasefire agreement with the outsiders led by Duan Yulong, I'm afraid that in a short period of time, no more conflicts will break out. Another thing is that the newly arrived Beijing faction is starting to have friction with the North faction. The slightest miscalculation will lead to gunfire. Once there is internal chaos, the consequences are unimaginable. Whether it is the Northern faction, or the Beijing faction, ultimately, different minds, a scattered sand. At first it was nothing to work together against Tang. Once it is profitable, it will be like a mad dog, pouncing over to grab food, has been talking for three days. The piece of meat thrown out by the Tang family has not yet been negotiated on how to distribute it. My dad is also negotiating with the northern faction. Not much manpower I can mobilize is being used to defend the vicinity of the Yellow Sea Club. On the contrary, it's Tang Hao, who you put back, who's in trouble with the main house. Together with Tang Bing's support, there is a hidden trend of returning to the top. If you can get Tang Hao's support, many things will be easier to solve in the future. Ning Miaoshu said, while paying attention to Chen Zhe's expression change, she always felt. Tang Hao was able to go back, he must have promised Chen Zhe, certain unknown conditions. And then there was this. Last night, she had received news that both of Duan Yulong's young disciples had traveled to follow Chen Zhe. Nowadays, he, he had long since ceased to be alone. The madman who was making waves in Shanghai City. Instead, he has formed an invisible force. If the Duan family siblings, who followed Chen Zhe, hadn't had an accident, some of the depressed children of the world's families would have sworn off the sword as well. Chen Zhe's name alone nowadays was enough to hold up a big flag. It seems like my dad was right, touching Chen Zhe, it might have been dangerous before, but now, I can't say for sure, there will be unexpected gains. Ning Miaoshu took great pains to help Chen Zhe, investigating information everywhere. It could be more than just, to return Chen Zhe saving grace. Likewise, after all, her father was only one of the sons of the Ning family. After all, her father was only one of the sons of the Ning family, and because he was on the wrong side, he was almost abandoned by the family. Among the outsiders, he is not a powerful character, if he still can't find a way out. If he can't find a way out, he'll have big problems sooner or later. If Chen Zhe could become a success, it might also be a good choice. More. Next, he chatted with Ning Miaoshu for quite a while. After finalizing some details, he was about to turn around and leave. Just then, he heard Ning Miaoshu say, the Hall of Fame, which has recently disappeared from Shanghai City for many years, is vaguely showing its head again, and the target is most likely the second hospital. It is said that the Hall of Fame is Mu Hongguang peak period established, with the five of them, into the council, the Hall of Fame also disappeared. Now reappear, I feel, and Mu Hongguang cannot be separated from the relationship, you killed his son, Mu Hongguang will never rest. 
Chen Zhe turned around and entered the car while listening to this passage, intending to make a trip to the second hospital. After all, the current outsiders, there is a hidden trend of a truce with the Tang family, will those people continue to protect his parents and his sister, or all a problem, in case the other party really negotiated a deal. A hospital will most likely become Chen Zhe, the last concern, driving all the way. He entered the alley near the hospital. The car was parked at the entrance of the highway. If it was before, the neighborhood of the second hospital. From time to time, it would be overcrowded, but when he arrived at the hospital, he found that it seemed especially quiet. There were also no more intensive fights, and only people in twos and threes would occasionally pass by the hospital neighborhood. Chen Zhe, who traveled lightly, entered the lounge and took away a set of white coats to drape over himself. The hat, mask, and work license were all taken from the lounge. When he walked out again, there was already no difference from a normal doctor. He took big strides and walked outside his sister's hospital room. His parents, as usual, they were taking care of his sister. During this period of time, his parents had barely left the hospital. Whether it was food or otherwise, someone would send it over. On top of that, his sister's hospital room had become a lot more refined, with quite a few dolls placed inside, as well as fruits and gifts in bamboo baskets. From here, one could tell that in recent times, there were definitely not a few people who came to see his parents. Chen Yuzheng who was about to get up, but through the glass of the ward, saw the doorway, standing Chen Zhe, this white-haired old father. The body couldn't he help but tremble a little. Recognized. The person standing at the doorway was none other than Chen Zhe. The mother was also moved by Qin Yuzheng, made a little bewildered, looking towards him outside the glass. Both parents then had red eyes, opening the door to the room, allowing Chen Zhe to enter the room. During this time, Yu, Chen Yuzheng wanted to say something, but after thinking for half a day, nothing came out. Even his mother's throat was choked for a time. The family gathered in the hospital room, but they looked at each other without words. Chen Zhe just checked his sister's injuries. Most of them had recovered, with two surgeries before and after, but she was still in a coma. Chen Yuzheng, on the other hand, said from the side, your sister had an intracranial hemorrhage, and it seems that the nerves in her brain were damaged, next, it's estimated that she'll need another surgery. There are many people who have come to see your sister recently, although I don't know what you did outside. But no matter if it's my sister's medical expenses, or our food and clothing lately, we've all had special. People from the door have sent them. Son. Chen Yuzhang patted his shoulder. You've already done a good job. Hearing his father's words, Chen Zhe, who had a calm gaze, vaguely set off some waves. Indescribable, indefinable, that was something that had never been felt before. But in the face of his own old man's words, he also just checked his sister's injuries and left the hospital room. His parents didn't stop him anymore and watched his back as he left letting out a sigh for a time. Chen Zhe did not leave the hospital. Instead, he came to the office where the attending doctor was, and the doctor inside went out. It was empty. He rummaged through and found his sister's case. It was indeed an intracranial hemorrhage. He couldn't quite read what was on it. However, according to the proficiency knowledge he had gained on top of the system, he was able to clearly feel that his sister's surgery this time was feared to be very dangerous. Coupled with the location of the intracranial hemorrhage, extremely special, the slightest carelessness, this life will not wake up. Just when he was looking at those reports, the door was opened again. The one who walked in was none other than his sister's attending doctor. He glanced at Chen Zhe and thought that he was a new doctor. Recently, the hospital had undergone several major blood changes. Even the old dean, who had quite the background, had been brushed off. It was normal for them to not recognize some people. The girl in this report has a tremendous background, but this surgery, the level of risk is also very high. Originally, there was someone who found a well-known old professor in the country and wanted the other party to lead the surgery. But once they thought about it, that girl is related to so many forces, they eventually gave up. The attending doctor was also quite helpless if it wasn't for the fact that this case had been in his hands a long time ago. Coupled with the fact that he couldn't put it off, I'm afraid he would have pulled away long ago. But Chen Zhe, however, just glanced at the doctor. On top of the medical record, at the back of the head, he made a cross. Opening his mouth, he said, Going under the knife from this place might be a little better. Hearing Chen Zhe's words, the doctor was confused on the spot. This was because their medical team, after almost five days of discussion, had only confirmed this point of undercutting. But looking at Chen Zhe, it was obvious that he had just come into contact with the case, yet he was able to tell, at a glance, the best place to make the incision. One couldn't help but make the doctor look at him deeply. It seems that little brother also has his own unique insights regarding craniotomy. As it happens, later on, we have a discussion meeting, little brother, you come with us as well. Finished speaking. The doctor didn't wait for him to refuse, pulling him outside, and soon, came to a conference room on the 10th floor, 
where several doctors were already waiting. These doctors were only responsible for providing advice and did not dare to participate in Chen Xiaomei's surgery. After all, now Chen Xiaomei's situation, although not the worst, but the success rate, absolutely no better. What's more, so many forces, one after another, entered the second hospital. How special was Chen Xiaomei? Anyone with eyes could see it. Naturally, no one would be willing to get involved in this mess anymore. Chen Zhe was arranged to sit at the very back, and Su Yuan, the doctor who pulled him in, introduced himself to the crowd. This should be our hospital's newest doctor, for craniotomy, he has his own unique insights, and just now, with a single glance, he could tell where to make the cut for the case we've been discussing for five days. Later on, please little brother, don't be stingy, if you can provide a more useful program, that would be great. Finished speaking. The five old doctors present, began to propose, their own medical options. Some said that the cranium could be opened directly to reduce the intracranial pressure. Some said, through a catheter, the instruments would enter the blood vessels and deal with the bleeding area to achieve a hemostatic effect. But after half a day of people talking, no one dared to make a decision. Instead, it made the scene chaotic for a while. Su Yuan, sitting at the top, also felt helpless. Finally, he turned his gaze for help and landed on Chen Zhe. Su Yuan's gaze went to him. But Chen Zhe also just sat in silence. Although some of his skills had been upgraded to full level by the system. But many times, this thing called surgery, there was a chance of failure. So he wasn't going to easily use them on his sister. Even if he was sure, he didn't want to make a half-hearted mistake. Since there needs to be someone as a material for experimentation. Or even to reduce the risk of one's sister's surgery to almost zero, one must have a large pile of surgical experience. If Chen Zhe was allowed to personally operate, he had the certainty that he could do a better job than all the doctors. Yet there was no certainty of reaching a 100% success. So, if he could accumulate a large number of surgical experiments, he would be able to deduce a more perfect program. Thinking about it, the surrounding discussion meeting had already ended. Although Chen Zhe did not give a better suggestion, but Su Yuan was still exceptionally polite. He even wanted to pull Chen Zhe and go out for a meal together. However, he was rejected by Chen Zhe. He quickly drove to find Ning Miaoshu and stated the purpose of his trip. I want to enter the second hospital, become a doctor, and meet a large number of patients with traumatic brain injuries. When Chen Zhe said these words, Ning Miaoshu, who was in front of her, had her eyes staring to the maximum. She had thought about the fact that Chen Zhe would most likely, once again, come to her because of multiple things, or even make a move against the Tang family, or, perhaps, killing Mu Hongwang. But how could she not have thought that Chen Zhe was wanting to enter the second hospital? That thing wasn't killing people, it was saving them. A madman. His own illness not even being treated or relieved, yet he wanted to operate on others. Just thinking about it was absurd. In case all the people were killed, hell knows what would happen. Chen, Chen Zhe, it's not that I'm not willing to help you, but our Ning family, we don't have that kind of ability either. The second hospital, no matter how you put it, can belong to the public sector. With our situation, it's hard to interfere. Hearing Ning Miaoshu's words, Chen Zhe just frowned and did not force his way in. He then returned to the rental house and found the Duan family siblings. When the two heard Chen Zhe's thoughts, the cup of water that they had just raised fell to the ground with a clang. It fell into pieces all over the ground. Duan Jiaojiao even spat out a mouthful of water. Mr. Chen, are you sure I heard you correctly? You want to come to the second hospital and become the chief physician? Chen Zhe nodded, confirming that the two hadn't heard wrong. Duan Jingyi and Duan Jiaojiao bitterly looked at each other, shook their heads. They similarly had no way. Because of that thing, if one had a physician's license or experience in the practice, in the case of transferring over from another place, it was still able to maneuver around, just like the current second hospital, although many new faces had come. But that stuff, they're all people with deep credentials elsewhere. It's outrageous to want a patient with a psychiatric history to be licensed as a physician. Still wanting to reach the sky in one step and directly become the chief doctor of the second hospital was undoubtedly a fool's errand. Seeing that the Duan family siblings had no choice, Chen Zhe remembered MS. Su, perhaps that woman, has the ability to say maybe. Can you guys investigate, Miss Su's current address? The Duan family siblings looked at each other, regarding Miss Su's address, they had actually always known about it. Because from the time they stayed by Chen Zhe's side, Miss Su had, consciously or unconsciously, revealed information to them saying that if there were things that needed help, they could go to her. After thinking about it in many ways, the two of them still drove the car and brought Chen Zhe to where Miss Su currently resided, a luxurious residence. When they walked in, Chen Zhe also found a few people who had followed Ms. Su last time and survived. 
After they saw Chen Zhe, all of them were also respectful and nodded their heads, after all, Chen Zhe's situation now, was a bit different from before. The entire Shanghai city. The matter of the Duan family siblings defecting to a madman was spreading like wildfire, and on the contrary, this brother and sister duo currently did not have anything going on. If this continued, as time went on, and this brother and sister duo gained the power and benefits they wanted, there would be a steady stream of children from the world's families who, in their depression, would come to join Chen Zhe. Just like what Ning Miaoshu had said, Chen Zhe alone was enough to hold up a big flag right now. Brother Chen, last time I left in a mess, I didn't have time to repay you for saving my life, if there is something I need help with, I, Su Qing Yun, will do my best to help. Miss Su was standing in the middle of the room. Having someone prepare a few cups of red wine, she sent it to Chen Zhe and the others, Chen Zhe did not reach out, only the Duan family siblings took it. Miss Su, on the other hand, really wanted to do Chen Zhe a favor, because getting on good terms with Chen Zhe now. In her case, there were only benefits and no disadvantages. Not to mention having saved her life, she naturally wanted to return the favor. I want to go to the second hospital and become the chief physician. M.S. Su, who had just put a mouthful of red wine in her mouth, immediately sprayed it out. Immediately thereafter, started coughing violently, looking at Chen Zhe with a face full of incredulity. You said, you want to go to the second hospital, as the chief physician? In her entire life, Emma's. Su had never heard of anything, so bizarre. She even wondered if she had recognized the wrong person. Or perhaps, Chen Zhe had a twin brother. Otherwise, a lunatic who came out of a mental hospital. How was it that he dared to propose to go to the second hospital as the attending doctor? M.S. Su smiled bitterly, I do have a way to help you, but the problem is, that place treats the sick and saves lives. And the second hospital, the background is equally uncomplicated. Even for us, if we want to mobilize doctors to go in, we'd have to go through a lot of trouble. In case you're in there and make some kind of mess, the consequences would be unimaginable. If Chen Zhe was talking about wanting to kill someone, or wanted information on anyone, M.S. Su would definitely know without saying anything. Instead, it was Chen Zhe, who wanted to be the attending doctor. Even if she had heavenly skills, she wouldn't dare to do it. However, Chen Zhe still had a firm gaze and quietly looked at Miss Su, facing Chen Zhe's gaze. Miss Su opened her mouth and finally sighed. If you want to go to the second hospital, it's not impossible, I have a place where I can make you change your face. But after entering the second hospital, if you make any mess, I can only put out the word that you are an imposter, pretending to be a doctor to blend in. Helping was definitely possible, but the second hospital, this kind of public place, was just too complicated. Once something happened, even M.S., Sue wouldn't dare to guarantee that she wouldn't be implicated. So when it really comes to that point, unable to cover it up, Miss Sue will also clear all her relationships. These, in fact, none of them were in Chen Zhe's scope of consideration. When he heard M.S., Sue promise, he did not speak anymore. Instead, he silently waited for M.S., Sue's next arrangement. Since promised Chen Zhe, M.S., Sue did not delay, quickly dialed a few phone calls, just an hour. Just saw someone holding. A large stack of information came in. Inside these materials, covering the entire north, and even Shanghai city, all the doctor's information. The top stack was a group of people who had been screened and were the most similar to Chen Zhe's appearance. M.S. Su picked up those profiles and began to compare them one by one, finally confirming, a 28-year-old doctor's profile. Satisfied, she nodded. This is it, truth be told, if you want to become a doctor directly, or even enter the second hospital, I have no way at all. Just like what I said before, right now you can only imposter, I will send someone, to arrest this doctor, and feed him with good food and drink. Then arrange for someone, to take this doctor's information, and transfer it to the second hospital. At that time, because we all don't know each other, it's also very difficult to dismantle you. But this doctor, has a black mole on his left side, when someone asks, you'll just say that you went to light it when you came here. The photo placed in front of Chun Zhe was of a man who was 7 points similar to him, the only difference was that this man looked more mature with a scholarly air in his bones. Chen Zhe was more like a vicious outlaw. Those eyes, cold and somewhat frightening, as if at any time, will pounce over to tear you apart. Working in the original hospital, Chen Zhe was afraid that he would have to be recognized on his first day. But another city, an unfamiliar environment, would be a good place to try. Tonight, that doctor, will vaporize until, you leave the second hospital, and then I will have him released. If there is a medical incident, I also have a way to let this doctor take the blame but if it gets too big, I have no way. Finished speaking. M.S. Su had people, again, go and prepare white coats, as well as new work tags. Until 10 o'clock at night, Chen Zhe changed into the things that mess. Su had carefully prepared. After slightly dressing up, he also used cosmetics to apply some contours. Almost can achieve, to fake the effect of the rail. Next to M.S. 
Su, the Duan family siblings, looked at the changed Shinze. They also couldn't help but TSK and TSK, not expecting that a madman with a slight makeover would become so decent. It's a bit of a doctor's look, but unfortunately, it always feels like it's missing a few points, the doctor's aura of helping the world and saving people. MS. Su lamented, but currently, they could change the facial makeup, but they couldn't change the temperament that emanated from their bones. Therefore, one can only hope that Chun Ze will not reveal himself. Everything was ready. MS. Su suggested, you can try going to the second hospital first, during the daytime, I've already had the file, recorded in. Going for a night shift is actually not impossible. With these words from MS, Su, Chen Zhe turned to leave. As he left the luxurious house, the henchman next to him, couldn't help but ask, Miss Su, what do you say, this Chen Zhe, for no reason at all, why does he want to become the chief physician at the second hospital? They all felt it was very strange, after all, a madman who only kills people, suddenly wants to heal the sick and, and save people. It always felt like there was a strangeness in it. MS. Su, on the other hand, picked up a tall glass, poured herself a glass of red wine, and said in an organized manner. Recently, the outsiders and the Tang family, there is the beginnings of a truce, going to the second hospital, the guards are getting fewer and fewer. I'm afraid that he is also clear that the power that can protect his parents is limited, so he wants this layer of identity, hidden in the second hospital, at that time, even if something happens, there is still room for maneuver. The crowd heard this. It was instantly clear. Let's just say, a crazy person, who stayed in a mental hospital all year round, to heal and save people, wasn't that a joke? It's still MS. Su who was wise enough to see his purpose at a glance. Miss Su skimmed her mouth, feeling a little tired after hearing the compliments too much. If she hadn't considered this factor, she was asked to arrange for Chen Zhe to have the status of a chief physician. She wouldn't have dared to make that call, and it was with Chen Zhe's thoughts in mind that she dared to put the other party in. In her opinion. Even if Chen Zhe went to the second hospital, it was unlikely that he would actually go to the operating room, and at that time, she would arrange for some more people to help Chen Zhe get the surgery done. Not only could she return the favor of saving his life, but she could also bring the two sides closer together, so why not? MS. Su's thoughts. Chen Zhe did not know, nor did he want to know. He drove his own car, bid farewell to the Duan family siblings, and came to the hospital. When he came over, on the seventh floor of the hospital, he once again ran into Su Yuan. Su Yuan was also stunned and looked at the other party blankly. Today, you should be on the morning shift, right? Why did you run over again? Could it be that there's some important patient that's designated for you to operate on? Su Yuan had come over today solely because, to discuss Chen Xiaomei's medical plan. After settling on the specifics, he went back and didn't come to work the night shift until the evening. Who had thought? He ran into Chen Zhe again, but Chen Zhe just nodded and did not say anything more. Su Yuan felt a little strange, and went back to check, the recent new doctor, and found that there is indeed a picture of Chen Zhe. It was more than 4 o'clock when the file was transferred over. As a result, on the same day, he started to be on duty, so hasty and big appointment, he still saw it for the first time. However, since it was a hospital doctor, there was nothing to be suspicious about. No wonder today, he was able to see at a glance, where to open the opening to drain the bruises, so it is also an expert in the brain department. Su Yuan was somewhat emotional. Right now, Chen Xiaomei's matter was making him anxious. He also wanted to have someone to help out. Judging by his condition today, he should also be someone who has skills in the field. It just so happens that later on, there's an operation, why don't we bring him in and see what his true abilities are. If it's okay, we can't help but cooperate and collaborate. Thinking, Su Yuan walked out. Soon there were a few more patients' families, came forward and pulled him. Please, you must save my son, we're willing to pay any amount of money. Yes, doctor, we've all heard that you're the most powerful brain specialist in the second hospital, take this red packet, as long as you can save my brother, we're willing to do anything. The patient's family's good intentions, Su Yuan heartily accepted. But he did not dare to accept the red packet. After all, this surgery, the risk is not small. In case something goes wrong and the red packet is received, the consequences are unpredictable. I'm a doctor, treating the sick and saving people is my vocation, don't worry about it, I will do my best to pull the patient back from the ghost gate. Red packets are not necessary, I still have to go and study the patient's information, please make way. Su Yuan nodded calmly, for how to appease the family's emotions. He had long been familiar with it. After bidding farewell to those few people, he walked straight towards, again, the direction Chen Zhe had just left. If MS. Su knew that Chen Zhe, this crazy person, on his first day of work. If MS. Su knew that Chen Zhe, this crazy person, on his first day on the job, Someone had taken him to the operating room to complete a very risky surgery. I'm afraid to beat her to death, she will not put Chen Zhe, arranged to the hospital. 
Today a few years ago to buy the garbage domestic car loan expires, go to get the loan settlement, ran a day, back to right to now, only two chapters, can't top it. Su Yuan found Chen Ze and quickly explained the intention. Chen Ze did not refuse, because he is now, the urgent need for a variety of brain surgery, when as a program accumulation. Thus when the other party issued an invitation, he then began to pack up and followed Su Yuan into the operating room. During the entire process, it was actually Su Yuan who was operating the knife, with a number of nurses watching from the side, and halfway through, Chen Ze also gave a few suggestions. One of them was adopted by Su Yuan, and after a few hours of busyness, the surgery was a great success. After watching the entire process, Chen Ze also probably understood. It was actually not too different from what he had imagined. One could even say that it was very easy. At least the hand that Su Yuan had just done. He didn't find it difficult at all. If it was him, the surgery time could be shortened by at least two hours. More importantly, he dares to ensure that his success rate reached over 90%. If we follow the difficulty of this kind of surgery, he guessed. If he were to personally operate the surgery, then the success rate of his sister's surgery should be around 70%. This kind of success rate is already a lot in the eyes of an onlooker. Chen Zhe left the operating room and sat in the same office as Su Yuan. Su Yuan would also occasionally turn his head to look at Chen Zhe, even though during the entire process, Chen Zhe didn't even make a move, but the suggestion in the middle of the process made him feel it. Chen Zhe's profound and unique insights into brain surgery, and there were even a few times when he felt that the tricky parts of the process, under Chen Zhe's cooperation, all of them turned easy and were solved. Without Chen Zhe, he suspected that there would have been many more risks involved in this surgery. From here, it could be seen that Chen Zhe was even more powerful than he had imagined. Brother Chen, I've been in this hospital for almost 10 years, and in terms of brain surgery, you're almost the most powerful person I've ever seen. There was no way for Su Yuan not to feel emotional, with Chen Zhe on the side to play the hand, that feeling, it was simply not too easy, as if everything, the other party was ready. Even some, or he was stuck halfway and delayed to start, Chen Zhe could easily help him out. Vaguely remember. In the last session, because of a sudden brain hemorrhage, the surgery was drawn into a stalemate. Even the place where they needed to do the surgery. It became difficult to distinguish. But Chen Zhe's knife handling was still very stable, expressionless, calm and somewhat scary. Not only did he help him solve this thorny problem, he even indirectly guided him to change the direction of the surgery, nearly perfectly ending this extremely risky surgery. Right, Brother Chen, later on, there is another surgery, if Brother Chen is interested, why don't we let you operate it? Su Yuan was a bit tired now, if he continued the surgery, it was inevitable that a higher risk would arise. Plus, he had a good relationship with that family. Ever since he thought that in terms of brain science, it was inferior to Chen Zhe, he had thought that if Chen Zhe took the shot, the success rate should be more than 20% higher. Chen Zhe, who needed a large number of surgeries as a way to increase the risk of his sister's surgery, of course, he would not refuse, agreed to Su Yuan's request. Immediately following is half an hour of rest, there are nurses brought glucose to give them to replenish their strength until the surgery was opened. A second before, Chen Zhe sat there as if he was fine. It made Su Yuan feel incomparably surprised. Not only in terms of surgeries, possessing a cognizance that far exceeds that of an ordinary person, even his physical strength is not comparable to that of an ordinary doctor. He sighed leisurely, thinking to himself, it was time for him to exercise his body properly. In the first half of the year, he ran a fitness card. But until now, the number of times used are not more than 10 times. Not to mention wasting money for nothing, he was often teased by his co-workers. Time to go, Brother Chen. Su Yuan walked in front, and Chen Zhe followed closely. The two of them, one after the other, entered into the operating room. Many nurses were already waiting inside. They had cooperated with Su Yuan for an unknown number of years. Earlier, when they saw Chen Zhe next to them, they thought that he had come over to learn, until Su Yuan made a gesture of please. Chen Zhe slowly checked the patient's condition. The surrounding nurses, all froze in place. Dr. Su, you're not the one operating this time? Su Yuan nodded. Brother Chen's skills are far above mine, and the patient is also greatly related to me, it would be great if the risk of the surgery could go down a bit. These words came out. The surrounding people were all stunned, revealing an unbelievable look. Su Yuan is the ace of their brain department, the entire hospital, recently I don't know how many times they have gone through a major blood change, only Su Yuan, standing. There are even quite a few patients who have come here in admiration. They want Su Yuan to perform surgery, but in favor of. It was such a, almost Shanghai city's renowned brain specialist, who personally said words that were inferior to Chen Zhe. Anyone who came, I'm afraid it would be hard to believe, but since Dr. Su had said so, 
They didn't dare to have any objections either. They began to cooperate with Chen Ze and performed the surgery. At first, Chen Ze opened his mouth to take something, and the nurses next to him still had some reaction difficulties because Chen Ze's order always felt extremely different from Dr. Su. There was even some audacity in the way the surgery was performed. Like the people present, all looked at it and sucked in a breath of cool air. Dr. Su, is this really not a problem? A nurse. With her mouth open, after handing over a tool, her hand hovered in midair. Su Yuan also revealed a few moments of embarrassment, because Chin Ze didn't follow the program at all and performed the surgery. As a matter of fact, doing something like surgery, it really needed to be played out on the spot, some crisis juncture, it was impossible to follow the program. But Chin Ze, this kind of surgery that deviated from the program right from the start, was the first time he had seen it. In his heart, he was likewise beating the drum, feeling that he, letting Chen Ze come over to operate, was he not taking things for granted. Just as the crowd was wondering, Chen Ze, however, was already starting to stitch up the wound. After doing everything, Chen Ze put the scalpel down, and throughout the entire process, his eyes did not change half a bit. If it had to be said that there was, it would be that after seeing blood, Chen Ze appeared to be even more excited, and his heartbeat frequency was even higher. Could it be because of the love for this profession and surgery? Is that what made him, during the surgery, become so excited? Su Yuan was slightly puzzled and cupped his chin, thinking back to when he first became a doctor. The expectation for this profession, as well as the burning passion, and then think about the numbness now. It had indeed changed a lot. In my heart, for surgery, there are a few points less sacred, there is no more of the blazing fervor I once had, and my heart is much colder. Perhaps the gap between brother Chen and I, is here. Su Yuan sighed, glancing at the wall clock behind him, he once again froze in place, because the entire surgical process actually only passed less than an hour. Earlier, he had been fully focused on watching Chen Ze operate the knife, and had not paid attention to the passage of time. Now take a look. During the entire process, Chen Ze did not even make a single mistake, and his knife was fast and accurate. Almost within half an hour, he had solved several key problems. Such a maneuvering technique, as well as a calm mindset, had thrown him off by more than a few blocks, walking out of the operating room. Followed by numerous nurses behind him, Chen Ze took the first step and left the place. His footsteps were steady. There was no trace of fatigue. On the contrary, the numerous nurses behind him, after going through two surgeries, they all felt that their bodies were somewhat unable to carry them. Su Yuan, on the other hand, craned his neck and looked at Chen Ze's back as he left, saying helplessly, It seems that in the future, the title of the number one person in the brain department is going to belong to little brother Chen. Such a high evaluation. Even though the personnel present were prepared, they still couldn't help but be deeply shocked. Did the surgery go well? Smooth. It went so smoothly that Su Yuan, somewhat unimaginably, was unable to imagine it. When he returned to the office, looked not far away, relaxed, drinking water with Chen Ze. Can only heartily long sigh. He is old. Only 38 years old, but already not as good as once, so energetic. The next night time, almost all are some irrelevant small things. There would be no need for Chen Ze to personally take action. In the latter half of the night, there was an emergency surgery, which Chen Ze lost interest in after simply handling it. Until the next morning, Chen Ze said goodbye to Dr. Suan returned to the rental house, resting for a day. He began to continue traveling to the hospital again, and recently, there were many surgeries. I don't know whether it was Su Yuan's intention or not. Revealed to the outside world, the hospital came to a doctor whose skills were even higher than his resulting in a lot of patients. They brought their patients with them, and even spent a huge amount of money to ask Su Yuan and Chen Ze to operate together. These patients, their backgrounds are all extraordinary. Under normal circumstances, there is no need for the two of them to operate together. But under the pressure of the other party's money and power, Su Yuan still gave in and requested Chen Ze to operate together every time. This kind of day, it lasted for about three days, Chen Ze felt that if he operated on his sister at this time, his success rate was able to increase to more than 85. However, there were still risks. Sitting in his office, he observed his sister's case. Although Su Yuan also noticed, he did not disturb too much, because Chen Xiaomei, to him, was originally a tricky problem. If Chen Zhe was interested, he could work with him at that time and successfully complete this surgery. It wouldn't be any better. Dr. Su, Dr. Chen, a patient has been brought in outside, he was hit in the head, and his brain has a large area of bruising, he urgently needs surgery. The little nurse quickly ran in, the other party appeared to be from a not-so-small source, and after entering the hospital, he started to go up and down. Even the vice president, specially rushed over. By the time, Su Yuan and Chen Ze went out, 
The patient had already been pushed to the operating room. Before entering the door, the patient and Chen Zhe exchanged a glance. Chen Zhe immediately recognized the other party. It seemed to be the henchman that he had met last time at Miss Su's residence. What exactly was his name? Chen Zhe did not remember. However, it was certain that the weight of the other party in Miss Su's heart was definitely not low. The strong man who was pushed in similarly recognized Chen Zhe. He now only felt that his brain was in excruciating pain. It was bloated and swollen, with the possibility of passing out at any time. But after seeing Chen Zhe, he immediately felt a shiver and rushed to the nurse next to him and asked, Later, later, who, who will operate on me? The nurse frowned. Of course it's the most powerful doctor in our brain department. Your brain department, who is the most powerful doctor? The little nurse saw the other party, full of distrust. Somewhat annoyed, she said. Of course it's Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen? Fuck me. No, it won't. The patient pointed to Chen Zhe who walked to the door and put on white gloves, and a wave of despair welled up in his heart. Others did not know. He was clear, this Mr. Chen in front of him was a madman. A mental. Hospital came out. It was after the layers of their lady, imposter. The real DR. Chen, nowadays, has long been locked up by them. Although the two people are both surnamed Chen, the appearance also has seven points of similarity. But the identity, indeed, is a world of difference. The strong man lying on the bed, some panic. It was understandable for someone else to do surgery with high risks. A madman doing surgery, what risk is there to speak of? Almost certain death. He opened his mouth, wanting to say something, but the intense swelling and pain in his brain made it impossible for him to say a word. The nurse next to him, performed a general anesthesia. The dazed and strong man, closed his eyes in despair. The corner of his eyes unconsciously fell a tear. This might, was the last time he would ever, look at this world. Chen Zhe did not care about the emotions of the strong man in front of him. Without even looking at it more than once, when he came in, he began to check the other party's injuries. It should have been smashed in the back of the head. There was no telling what happened, the internal blood vessels ruptured and blood piled up in the brain. The reason why he felt bloated and painful was because there was still a constant flow of blood, and without timely treatment, his life would be gone in less than an hour. This kind of situation, with his sister's case, is quite similar. So, when doing this surgery, Chen Zhe seemed extra attentive. Steadily, he took the scalpel. And using the stent, confirmed the position of the surgery. Little by little, he cut through the other person's skin. Su Yuan, who was next to him, was able to help a little at first, but gradually, he felt that being next to Chen Zhe was a little redundant. Most of the work. The nurse next to him had done it all. He was just watching from the sidelines. This surgery, lasted for an hour and a half. According to the observations over the past few days, Chen Zhe's hands were fast and steady, and all surgeries could be finished within an hour. Only this time, it was extended for as long as half an hour. Recalling earlier, Chen Zhe had been looking at Chen Xiaomei's case, and had a vague guess in his heart. This can't be, preparing for that case of Chen Xiaomei, right? With just a passing thought, he couldn't help but look at Chen Zhe one more time, realizing that the other party in Chen Xiaomei, really did have that much of an outline resemblance. But he earlier... Looking at Chen Zhe's profile, it was clear that he wasn't from Shanghai City, and there should be no connection with Chen Xiaomei. Of course, it is also possible that it is a more distant relative relationship, and it is normal that you can't see it on the profile. Su Yuan did not think much about it. He waited until the end of the operation and saw the patient, unharmed, and the blood stopped. Relieved. It's thanks to Brother Chen, if it were me, without 3 to 5 hours, I don't think it could be finished. The patients that could be sent to Su Yuan's hands. All of them belonged to the more tricky type. Not only did they have to be careful, but the relationship was also unusual. Every time, he would pay extra attention. It was not as spontaneous as Chen Zhe's, so it was normal to be a little slower. The surgery was successful, the patient is out of danger, a little bit of rest and recuperation should be fine. Chen Zhe's voice was cold, echoing within the operating room, and walked out on his own. The little nurse who had come over earlier to shout. Looking at Chen Zhe's back as he left, he said, Dr. Chen is good at everything, but he just gives off too much of a cold feeling. The first time I saw him in the operating room, that look, looked at me with panic, like, it was like a hungry and crazy tiger that would tear me apart at any time. Now that I think about it, it's more like a wildness. Perhaps it was because Dr. Chen was different that he forged his medical skills today. The others were also overwhelmed with emotion, inside the hospital, they were also considered old veterans. Otherwise it was impossible, following Su Yuan as officers. They had seen countless doctors, and during this period of time, they had also cooperated with some of the doctors who had been transferred over. But it is with so many people, have had contact with them only to realize, in Chen Zhe's side officer, after a long time how easy it is. At the same time, 
M.S. Sue's luxurious residence has gathered a lot of figures. One by one, they stood below, waiting in tight formation. None of their faces were very pretty. It was because recently, the young family had begun to come after them again. Miss Sue had lost her territory in the southern district. Without the economic support, along with the manpower brought in, it was nearly a clean loss. As a result, after reorganizing her forces, she was unable to reach her former size in a short period of time. From time to time, they were suppressed by the young family's forces. Recently, this force of suppression has reached an extreme, and the collision between the two sides has become more and more intense. Even his most capable henchman, Wang Dan, has been hammered, and is now lying in the hospital, life and death unknown. Recently, the young family has become more and more lawless. I don't go looking for their trouble, they instead, three times, attack and assassinate. It's about time, to give them a taste of their own medicine. Miss Sue's watery eyes, slightly cold, that beautiful face, at some point filled with killing intent, fiercely slammed the table. Since the young family wants to fight, then accompany them to fight enough, immediately arrange for manpower, head to the southern district, I want to see, the young family dares to fight with me, you, and I will die. Now Miss Sue. Belong to the barefoot not afraid to wear shoes, not much territory, but has sufficient financial support. Manpower is increasing day by day, really fight, how will not lose. But the young family is not necessarily. Yang Feng had gathered all the resources of the young family. If anything goes wrong in the occupied southern district, not to mention the young family will not let him go. Those people in the Beijing faction, I'm afraid they would also take Yang Feng to task. Finished speaking. She looked at, again, a few of her right-hand men. How is Wang Dan's surgery? Has it been arranged, with the best experts in the brain department? Mentioning this, the following people nodded their heads in a hurry. We looked around in Shanghai City, the best brain specialist, is in the second hospital. It was already up and down when we went there, there's absolutely no problem. M.S. Sue nodded and was just about to say something when the henchman on her left, the phone rang, picked it up and looked at it. This henchman, Ahu, quickly said, it's from the hospital, M.S. Sue, pick up or not? Answer it, why not? It's probably to report on Wang Dan's condition, if I don't answer it, how do I know how Wang Dan's treatment is going? Sniffing. Only then did Ahu pick up the phone and put it on speakerphone in public. A few moments later, a nurse's voice came from over there. The money you guys paid, I'm afraid it's not quite enough, the next hospitalization fee, as well as other things, have to be prepared. Also, if you guys can't send someone to take care of you, it's best to hire an escort, otherwise, if something happens to the patient in the middle of the day, it'll be hard for us to deal with it. This paragraph, it made the crowd present, all breathe a sigh of relief. Because when the nurse said this, it meant that the person was already safe. The follow-up needed to be hospitalized, and someone needed to take care of it. Otherwise, according to Wang Dan's condition at that time, leaving the operating room, the person would have to be lost if he couldn't be cured. Many thanks, many thanks, which doctor was the main surgeon this time? Later, I'll get a banner and go thank the person. The nurse bristled, who else but Dr. Chen? Right now. If it wasn't for Dr. Chen, it's doubtful if that friend of yours would be alive. The words ended there. Everyone present was stunned, Dr. Chen, wasn't the most powerful head of the brain department of the second hospital called Su Yuan? How come his last name was Chen? Dr. Chen is a newcomer recently, however, even Dr. Su, the most powerful doctor in our department, has admitted to his face many times that he is more than a star short of Dr. Chen. Being able to run into Dr. Chen, you guys can just steal a smile. But it was these words. It filled their heads with confusion. A recent newcomer? Surnamed Chen? In the entire second hospital's brain department, there seemed to be only one person. Or they've personally placed him there. Whether it was MS. Su or his group of men present, they all looked at each other. Is it possible that we're thinking too much? Possibly, perhaps the brain department of the second hospital has a new doctor, also surnamed Chen. Sometimes the role of a doctor played an extremely crucial role. No matter how big of a character, there would always be a day when they got sick, including the entire Shanghai city, as well as the Beijing faction and the northern faction, who didn't have a few old people in their family. These people are old though, but the complex relationship, the chain of interests, intertwined into a terrifyingly large net, pulling one hair and affecting the whole body. When these old people are alive, the complex relationship chain can provide unparalleled help. But once the person is gone, some relationships naturally fell apart. The death of an old man from every big family, all represent, a new round of reshuffling, resulting in that, countless great clans, would do everything they could, and think of ways to renew the lives of these old men, so much so that, some of the doctors with great fame, are the types that various powers, befriend, even some of the top medical experts, behind them all stood several, the existence of the top families, 
You don't offend people okay, but if you really get people, you don't even have to ask the doctor. Immediately there will be someone, stand out to support. A little carelessness. The destruction of some small families could be a matter of a single word from others. Ahu, go and check if, recently, there are any new doctors that have been assigned to the brain department again. The henchman who was called Ahu, hurriedly went out to make contact. After half an hour or so, returned again. Holding a large stack of information in his hand. Placing it in front of Su Ching Yun, miss, in the entire brain section, there is only one surname Chen, and that is Mr. Chun. Chun. When saying this, Ah Hu's expression couldn't help but float up to a few threads of bitterness. Because, everything that was found out in front of him had long exceeded his expectations. On top of that, in the past few days time, that Mr. Chen, who came out of the madhouse, had more than 10 surgeries in a row. According to those nurses, and the patient's families, they were all operated by Mr. Chen himself. I also purposely contacted an old friend, and got in touch with the head of the brain department of the second hospital, Su Yuan, and the other party admitted without hesitation that his medical skills were several times weaker than Chen Zhe's, if not more than 10 times weaker. With the information he investigated, Su arrived. In front of him, Su Qingyun's mouth was also wide open. Only after half a second did she pick up the red wine on the table. He fiercely poured a large mouthful. What do you think about this matter, how credible is it? Ah who scratched his head, miss, although I also find it unbelievable, during the surgery, there were five or six surgeries, all of which only Mr. Chen was present. That is to say, during the surgeries, it was no longer possible for anyone other than Mr. Chen, to help with the surgeries. As for the other nurses and doctors, they don't have half a relationship with Mr. Chen, and there's no need for them, to help lie. In this case, it's almost 100% certain that this Mr. Chen, I'm afraid it's not as simple as we thought, went to the mental hospital, stayed for four years, almost no contact with outsiders, yet with an amazing skill, they hadn't been investigating Chen Zhe for a day or two. The results were all, and the previous intelligence, exactly the same. It would be impossible to say that there was no one haunting the inside, but herein lies the problem. It was able to erase all of Chen Zhe's past. Even so many great families couldn't investigate. Who on earth had the ability to secretly drive all of this? If there really is someone behind it, that would be too terrifying. M.S. Sue swallowed her saliva and looked at the smallpox in stupefaction. Somehow, the feeling Chen Zhe gave her nowadays became more and more mysterious, making it impossible to speculate. For the next half a day, Chen Zhe never left the hospital, sitting in his office. Always felt that he had forgotten something, knocking on the table. When he recalled it, he couldn't help but be a little stunned. Suddenly, he remembered that before he hadn't come to the hospital, one early morning, the girl named Gu Jiajia had invited him, on his birthday, to go to the beach. As a result, he didn't put it on his mind at that time, but suddenly remembered it, and inexplicably had a slightly odd feeling in his heart. After all, Gu Jiajia's birthday was last night. After all, Gu Jiajia's birthday was last night. Even if he went there now, it wouldn't help. Just as Chen Zhe was sitting there waiting for dinner, Su Yuan walked in from outside and said with some emotion, just now when I was outside, I saw a little girl, bringing her mom to the hospital, should have been hit in the head by someone, with a beer bottle, quite serious, just sent to the operating room, but there is no money to pay the medical bills, is sitting outside the building, call it, finished, Su Yuan put the information, threw it on the table, Chen Zhe gaze, unconsciously skimmed a glance, seeing the signature, there was clearly Gu Jiajia's name, Chen Zhe first stood up in confusion, picked up the stack of information, and looked at it for a few moments, then he walked out towards the outside. A few minutes later, he really saw Gu Jiajia sitting crouched at the entrance of the building, her face full of disheveledness. Last night, she had a birthday and had specially prepared a cake. Wanting to share it with Chen Zhe, she had even thought about where to go to play last night. As a result, she waited until nearly 12 o'clock. Chen Zhe didn't even come over. When she returned home, she found her mother collapsed in a pool of blood, and her stepfather was holding a broken beer bottle in his hand, lying on the sofa and snoozing. She wanted to take her mother to the hospital. But for fear of wasting money, her mom refused. Until today, the headache was non-stop. Only then did she agree to Gu Judge's request to come over for a checkup, but she didn't expect that something had really happened. If you want to have an operation, you have to start with $50,000. This is only the initial treatment cost. With their family's situation, they simply can't get this money. Even if he took all the money he had left for traveling to Mo, as well as the money he had saved for studying abroad, and gave it all to his mother to pay for her medical bills, it still wasn't enough. When the young girl was filled with despair, heard the sound of dull footsteps coming from behind her. The eyes leisurely looked. She saw a familiar figure, dressed in a white coat and wearing a mask. But Gu Jiajia still recognized it at a glance. 
This person, wasn't it the same Chen Zhe that she had waited for all night last night? If she hadn't waited for him and gone back earlier, perhaps her mother wouldn't have had the accident. But she also knew, this matter can't be blamed on Chen Zhe, because if it doesn't happen today, it could be tomorrow, the day after. More importantly, this morning when she wanted to bring her mother to the hospital, she was also severely beaten by her stepfather. There were bruises all over her body. Chen Zhe placed his hands in the pockets of his white coat, silently gazing at the young girl, never uttering a word. Instead, the young girl, looking at the physician's license hanging on Chen Zhe's chest, asked blankly, You, are you the, the head physician here? Earlier, Gu Jiajia had often seen Chen Zhe, dressed in a white coat, sometimes buying breakfast, sometimes, passing by from that alley in the middle of the city village. At one time, she had also wondered if Chen Zhe had become a doctor. In the end, she rejected it. After all, a patient who came out from inside a madhouse. In the end, he became a doctor with a glowing image. It was already not something that could be described as outrageous. Can you, can you help me, how is my mom's situation? I asked the other doctor just now, and he never answered me. For Gu Jiajia's mother, the Chen Zhe of just now had also read the diagnosis, and the situation was indeed critical. If surgery wasn't done within two hours, life might be lost. But Gu Jiajia, it was obviously impossible to get enough money together. Plus he always had an inexplicable emotion in his heart towards this young girl, so he simply walked towards the outside. Chen Zhe arranged for a nurse to prepare the things needed for the surgery. Putting on gloves, he entered the operating room. Inside, there was a woman in her forties lying. From the outline, there was a slight resemblance to Gu Jiajia. Perhaps it was due to the fact that she had suffered too much over the years. In her forties, her hands were full of calluses, and her face had become rough from the sun and rain. This kind of surgery. For Chen Zhe, it was completely child's play. The entire process. It took less than 40 minutes, and it was already at the finishing stage. Next to them were several small nurses who had long been familiar with Chen Zhe. Looking at Chen Zhe, whose hands and feet were clean and without half a bit of procrastination, they also could not help but reveal a few strange gazes. They were not qualified to view Chen Zhe's information. Now that he was newly appointed, he didn't hang out either. But from the surface, Chen Zhe was not very old. The medical skills were also so powerful, and with the white coat he wore, he gave off a feeling that although he was still cold, he was completely different from before. As the saying goes, a man depends on his clothes and a horse depends on his saddle, the saying was not true at all. Waiting for the finishing work to end, Chen Zhe took off his white gloves. He came outside on his own, and when he passed by the stairway, he could see Gu Jiajia, who was squatting on the ground, full of pain, and still on the phone constantly. He arranged for another small nurse, to help pay the bill, and waited until it was almost time. Then he went to the hospital cafeteria to eat alone. Until the little nurse who went to pay the bill came back, seeing Gu Jiajia still squatting at the entrance of the building. Full of doubt, she walked over. You're DR. Chen's friend, right? The surgery is over, your mother's condition is stable and out of danger. DR. Chen also paid the surgery fee for you. It's now in Ward 08, you can go over and take care of your mother when you have time. The little nurse finished. Gu Jiajia was still thinking about whether or not to call the restaurant owner's number. Gu Jiajia, who had made some sort of decision, was interrupted by the little nurse. She instantly froze in place. With a face full of incredulity, she looked at the little nurse. You, you mean, Chen, Chen Zhe, he helped me pay for the surgery? The little nurse heard the other party's address. It looked Gu Jiajia up and down again. You and Dr. Chen are friends, right? Not only did he help you pay for the procedure, but even the patient, it was Dr. Chen who personally performed the surgery. In the entire brain department, the most powerful one is Dr. Chen, with him personally doing the surgery, it's definitely not a big problem. After saying that, the little nurse came over and patted her shoulder. Since the person is already fine, why are you still staying here? Gu Jiajia, who was full of confusion, only then reacted, hurriedly climbing up, rushing towards Ward 8. The little nurse looked at her back as she left. Helplessly, she shook her head. Lucky to know Dr. Chen, otherwise, for that level of surgery, if Dr. Su were to come over instead, he'd probably have a headache too. It had dragged on for a whole night. The situation was already 10,000% critical. The slightest carelessness, there was a possibility of losing one's life. The little nurse remembered the situation clearly. But she remembers it clearly. If there is any mistake in handling it, even money could not necessarily be saved. After the events of the past few days, Dr. Chen's fame is probably about to spread, and will be busy in the future. The little nurse sighed helplessly. Returning to the nurse's station, she received the other patients. Returning from dinner, Chen Zhe was almost off duty. Gu Jiajia had waited outside for a long time to be grateful to Chen Zhe. Seeing him come out, 
hurriedly bowed deeply. Chen Zhe's hand was still placed inside the pocket of his white coat. There were no excessive words. He silently walked over. Gu Jiajia followed in his footsteps. For some reason, there were a few more twists and turns on her face. Last night, why didn't you come over? Obviously. It was because earlier, she had invited Chen Zhe for his birthday. She thought Chen Zhe would come and waited until very late. But she never saw Chen Zhe's figure. Slightly stopping for a moment. Chen Zhe didn't know how to answer and just made a random excuse. Last night, there were many surgeries, so I didn't go. After saying that, Chen Zhe came outside, Gu Jiajia was standing beside him, and continued. The cake from last night hasn't been eaten yet, I had the owner of the cake store freeze it for me. Are you going back now? Chen Zhe nodded. Turning around, he came to the parking lot, and just as he was about to go out, a big old distance away, two oddly dressed figures were seen. The reason why they were said to be odd was because their clothes were both unusually loose, somewhat similar to the martial arts uniforms of the Republican era. One black and one white, extraordinarily conspicuous. What they walked through wasn't the hospital's main entrance either. Instead, it was from the side parking lot, entering the elevator not far away. Just to the east of the parking lot, several people were also seen lying on the ground, speaking with an accent that was clearly not local. No need to think. Nine times out of ten, these people lying on the ground were outsiders. Brother Lu, my hand seems to be broken, and I don't know if I can get it back. The other factions, all of them have already left the hospital, so why do you think we are suffering? The leader, who was questioned, just lowered his face and didn't say anything. He didn't know how to answer either, but the eldest young master had said that their situation was very delicate. Unlike the other clans, and they were often ostracized amongst the northern faction. Even in the northern faction itself, they were forced into a corner. Nowadays, they had come to Shanghai City in order to fight for a chance of survival. But after all this time of fighting, under the wind and waves that covered the sky, they were as if they were riding on a rickety boat, and could die in the sea at any time. It was because of their difficult situation. The last old man of the Lu family also died, in the middle of the last struggle. It was only because of this that their Lu family's eldest young master had placed his treasure on Chen Zhe, and it was really a helpless move. Nowadays, the man of the hour amongst the northern faction, Duan Yulong, you guys should have heard about him, right? Two of his little disciples, they defected to Chen Zhe, and recently, I observed that those two guys have been mixing it up quite a bit, and in the west district of the city village, almost no one dares to mess with them. As long as we can hold on and confirm that those two siblings surnamed Duan, are safe and sound, then we can go and defect to them. Hearing these words, the few people lying on the ground could only sigh leisurely. They looked towards the direction of the elevator again. Those two men in loose martial arts uniforms didn't take the elevator, instead, they walked up, the unmonitored stairway. From the moment these two, individuals, as soon as they came over, they fought the outsiders guarding this place, to the death. The other party's purpose was already obvious. I am afraid that it is Chen Zhe's parents, as well as his sister. In this way, Chen Zhe also just hung his head down and touched the inside of his pocket, the cold scalpel. Without turning his head back, he headed in the direction where the stairway was. Walked over. When Chen Zhe arrived at the stairway, Gu Jiajia asked with a puzzled face. You just came down, why are you running up again? This sentence. Alarmed, the two people who were walking up the stairs. They stood on the platform in the middle of the stairs. Frowning, they looked at Chen Zhe in the back. The two looked at each other, and neither of them said anything. Each walked downwards. Chen Zhe similarly did not speak, only raising his head and fumbling out the silver-white scalpel from his pocket. The slightly blinding reflection of the scalpel. It shone on the eyes of the two men, and with just the gap of closing his eyes, Chen Zhe stepped on the first flight of stairs. Like a sturdy cheetah, he leapt up. The two who were heading down, one used his fists, and the other used his legs. Pincer attacking left and right, they did not hesitate to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chen Zhe. As they staggered past, a silver-white reflection fell. A drop of brightly colored blood dripped from the tip of the blade. Staggering with him, the two men standing behind him, opened their mouths, wanting to say something, but they who had their throats wiped. Instead, their lips only trembled slightly. Immediately after a stream of sweet blood, gushed out from their mouths. They covered their necks with their hands, trying to suppress the wound, but this approach, appeared pointless. Gu Jiajia, who had just walked in, stared with a pair of beautiful eyes, her breathing becoming a few moments harsher. The current Chen Zhe. Still wearing a mask, the figure of his white coat reflected his glorious and sacred profession, but the scalpel dripping with blood, as well as the two figures that slowly fell from the upper floor, but with the profession of healing the sick and saving lives. A stark contrast. When he slightly turned his body sideways, the light from above illuminated half of his face, icy cold gaze, as if a bloodthirsty devil. Only the white coat on his body was a bit sacrosanct and inviolable. 
Let people do not know how to evaluate, the person in front of them, in the end is a madman, or to save the life of the doctor. The Lu family, who heard the commotion, also rushed over from a distance, looking at the two people who had easily put them down just now, all of them died. Unconsciously, they swallowed their saliva. Their eyes landed on Chen Ze, and the grasp, which had been replaced in brand new scalpel, reminded them of something. Realizing Chen Ze's identity, they were respectful and stood aside. Bending down, they said, Greetings, Mr. Chun. Afterward, the leader, Lu Tao, even revealed the identities of the two dead men. The two of them, claiming to be Hall of Fame assassins, are not the first batch. Earlier, there were quite a few of them that came, originally, around the hospital, the outsider forces that were guarding, there were about a dozen factions left. But after those waves of massacre, scared off a big half, now stay, I'm afraid to count them on one hand. Counted on one hand. In other words, I'm afraid there are only about five factions guarding around the hospital today. These people are probably desperate. And see no hope. Only then would they put their treasure on a madman. As for the Hall of Fame, Ning Yashu seemed to have said, it was the five people who once ruled Shanghai City who personally established the power. It was only later that Mu Hongwang broke with them, and whether it was the Hall of Fame or the Tang family, they all ended up in Mu Hongwang's hands. Clean up the bodies, notify me immediately if there are any problems. By the way, do you guys know where the Hall of Fame has landed nowadays? Speaking of this, it was really a coincidence. Onlookers might not know. But their Lu family, by chance, had inquired about the gathering point of the Hall of Fame, a hall master, and more than 20 experts. It was near the hospital, a clubhouse called Watercolor Softness. Together with them, they had already had the idea of defecting to Chen Zhe. Without hesitation, they told each other everything they knew. After Chen Zhe heard it, he nodded silently. Looking to the side, Gu Jia, whose face was filled with stagnation and shock, he opened his mouth and said, I might not be available tonight, but after 10 o'clock, just follow that beat you said before, I'll be there. After saying that, Chen Zhe also didn't care whether Gu Jiajia reacted or not. He got up and left. Sitting in that black sedan, he sent a message to Tang Hao, asking about something about the Hall of Fame. Tang Zhao Yuan, the easternmost residence. Tang Hao was rubbing his eyebrows. He felt a burst of distraction. Although he had returned. With a stern means, he had reclaimed everything that should have belonged to the side branch, but he had never investigated the murderer of his wife but from the wisps of evidence. All point to the leader of the main house, Tang Yun. He even, tentatively, went to the old man of the Tang family. But the reply he received was a glib sentence. You and Lin Yu as you, it's just a family marriage, it shouldn't be mixed with other feelings. Since the Lin family doesn't care, you should also put it down. It was these words. Making Tang Hao, who originally still had some expectations for the family. The touch of pity in his heart was completely shattered. Although there's no direct evidence that shows that it was Tang Yun who sent someone to kill Yu Zhu, I'm sure that it's him 100%. But the current Tang Yun, with an additional martial arts expert by his side and not showing up for a week straight, I'm afraid that he knows that I'll never stop, and that's why he's hiding. If I want to help Yu Zhu take revenge in a short period of time, I'm afraid it's impossible. Since this was the case, then one could only think long term. Just as he, putting down the documents in his hand, the private cell phone next to him, however, vibrated at this moment. This call, only three people knew about it. One was the dead Lin Yuazhu, one was the leader of the side branch, Tang Bing, and the last, was Chen Ze. Before he left, he left his phone number for Chen Ze, and promised the other party. As long as there was something, he could call him anytime. Now, the phone rang. He guessed that it would never be Tang Bing, as the current Tang Bing was too busy. Then there was only one possibility. Tang Hao picked up his cell phone, and there was an extra text message inside. It was an unfamiliar number. Inside was a sentence. I want Mu Hongguang's address, as well as, everything there is about the Hall of Fame. Such a straightforward sentence. Even Tang Hao couldn't help but let out a bitter laugh. I do know something about the Hall of Fame, but Mu Hongguang's address, let alone me, I'm afraid the old man doesn't even know. In the entire Shanghai city, the only people who can clearly know Mu Hongguang's address are those other four legends. There was no choice. He could also only send the Hall of Fame's information. At the same time labeled a paragraph. After doing all this, Chen Ze, who was on his way to the Watercolor Softness Clubhouse, briefly glanced at it. Inside, there was information about the Hall of Fame from the beginning of its establishment to the present. Back then, the Hall of Fame was a tiger under the hands of those five legendary figures. In total, there were five halls. Corresponding to the five hall leaders, these five people all possessed a chilling strength. The leader of any one of the halls, in its heyday, would be able to overthrow a family that had practiced martial arts for generations. Although the five legends retired later, the Hall of Fame has since disappeared. The Hall of Fame has since disappeared. 
However, there are still many legends circulating on the road. More people found that the Hall of Fame from the former a tiger, metamorphosed into a snake hiding in the dark, specializing in the development of killers. To today's scale, it has reached a point where even the Tang family cannot be observed. Just as Chun Zhe was still watching those materials, Tang Hao sent another message once again. If, the next time Mu Hongguan, comes back to the Tang clan, I'll be the first to notify you. I'll think of a way to try to stall Mu Hongguan and buy you time. Saying these two words, almost all of Tang Hao's strength was used up. Don't look at it as if he was trying to help Chen Ze, but he was likewise trying to help himself. Tang Yun would not show up. The plan to avenge his wife's death could not be carried out. It was only possible, then, to force the other party to show up. As for how to force, of course is to let Mu Hongguan once again come to the Tang family, as long as Mu Hongguan came, all the Tang family must come to the manor to meet. At that time, Tang Yun wanted to hide, but he couldn't. If you want Mu Hongguan to show up, there's only one way to do it now, and that's to make a scene. Make a big mess, make the entire Shanghai city, never have any peace. Let Mu Hongguan no longer be able to sit still, let all the people who are involved with him, go and contact Mu Hongguan, only then will Mu Hongguan come to the Tang family again. Tang Hao spoke his thoughts. Next, he would do his best to find out everything there was about Mu Hongguan and send it to Chen Ze. As for how to make a mess, a madman would definitely know more than him. After sending it, Tang Hao never touched that cell phone again. Chen Ze also slipped the phone into his pocket. Nowadays, Tang Hao was in the Tang family. It was considered to have a hundred benefits and no harm. The other party had done everything to avenge Lin Yuizhu, and it was obvious that Tang Hao's feelings for his wife were very, very deep. It's just that lovers don't always make it to the end. Unconsciously, Chen Ze passed through the dark night, stopped at the clubhouse named Watercolor Softness. Looking out, in front of him, the lights were brightly lit, with people entering and exiting the building from time to time. He was silent and blended into the crowd. The deepest part of the fifth floor of the club, inside the hall that was so luxurious that it was the ultimate, the white light was illuminated by the crystal chandelier. It swayed and fell a little bit of halo. After an hour of fierce battle, Tiger Lee, holding a cigarette in his mouth, walked out from the center of the room. Inside, it was a pair of sisters who were already dressed. The blushing sisters, the two pairs of spring eyes, as if they could drip water. Master Tiger is really powerful today, the two of us sisters, tossing and turning. The two made up their makeup, and their clothes were neat. It was just that they walked out. Looked a little soft. The looks were good. Sort of two dainty beauties. Especially the twins, identical faces. Every time, it could make Master Tiger feel differently. Here is 200,000. What do you want to buy yourself? A few more days. I finished the business. Give you a call. From inside the drawer, Master Tiger took out a bank card and threw it over. The password is the same as always. There is no need for me to say more, right? The two sisters hurriedly nodded their heads and picked up the bank card, a smile unconsciously surfacing on their faces, and left the room. Master Tiger poured himself a glass of whiskey and gulped it down, feeling that life was already beautiful. Next, it's time to take a good rest before settling Master Mu's matter. Recently, after a few rounds of rushing and killing, those outsiders, most of them have been scared out of their wits. The ones left behind today are simply unbeatable. The Tang clan is really trash too, these outsiders are ridiculously weak, and they actually haven't been resolved for so long. I don't know Master Mu, what's the point of spending so much money to raise them? Tiger Lee viciously spat out a mouthful of saliva. Returning to his room, he fell back to sleep. In his dream, vaguely, he seemed to hear some noises and knocking on the door. Tiger Lee frowned suspiciously. Thinking to himself, could it be those two little sluts, who forgot to take something? Otherwise, those little brothers of his wouldn't dare to disturb him at this time, and only those two little sluts, would dare to knock on his door openly. When he got up, ready to go out to check, outside, but bang, there came a loud muffled sound, the door was smashed, a figure in a white coat, carrying a person inside his hand, his gaze coldly dropped, shedding blood all over the ground, he held a scalpel, his body covered in blood, and his gaze wandered inside the hall, eventually, fixed on, just walked out of the Lee Tiger body, seeing someone walk in, Tiger Lee just frowned, taking another look at the ground, the person who fell in a pool of blood, immediately afterward, his eyes narrowed, and there were a few coldness in his voice. You're the one who caused Shanghai City to turn the world upside down, Chin Ze. I'm sure there's some skill. My group of men are all well-trained experts, each possessing the ability to stand alone. Together, they're more than capable of assassinating a martial arts expert. As a result, they were all killed by you without a word. Tiger Lee's voice was cold and his gaze was grim as he stared at Chen Ze, then kicked the stool next to him. The stool violently flew towards Chen Ze under the huge force. The stool that was kicked with a kick broke with a sound. Tiger Lee even took advantage of the moment when the stool flew out, followed by 
flew and ran towards Chin Ze. His speed, fast and somewhat frightening, both hands presented an eagle claw shape, ruthlessly grabbing towards Chen Ze's neck, this time. With a stern killing opportunity, if caught, ordinary people instantly killed in one blow. Even some martial arts practitioners, only to hate on the spot, but is such a harsh claw. Chen Ze didn't even let his emotions change. His body, in a weird angle. Bend downward, avoiding the stool that smashed, in his hand, flashing cold light scalpel, stabbing the other party's armpit. Tiger Lee's pupils contracted, and he was about to raise his leg to slam into Chen Zhe's chest, forcing him back. However, he was again caught by Chen Zhe's other hand, deadlocked against his knee. In just an instant, the scalpel was stabbed into his armpit, and was twisted with force. Only a snorting sound was heard, and blood gushed out from the handle of the knife, spurting out. Tiger Lee let out a miserable scream. The hand gradually lost control. That scalpel just now, was almost from his joints, cutting off the muscle tissue inside. Don't look at his fingers now, they were vaguely still shaking, but that was just the last muscle reaction. Tiger Lee's gaze was previously cold. Now, it turned into a slight panic. He glanced at the window next to him, wanting to break out of the window. However, he was hit by Chin Zhe with a flying kick that crashed into the wall. Another shimmering silver-white luster landed on his neck stock. When he came back to his senses again, he was able to feel it. A stream of viscous liquid, gushing out crazily from his neck. He stared wide-eyed, his limbs gradually twitching a bit, all over his body, that inexhaustible strength. At this moment, it turned into weakness. Chen Zhe, however, just whispered in his ear, gently said, don't worry, dizziness is normal. After saying that the scalpel was pulled out, he got up and took a look at the brightly lit building. Again, he lit a fire at the curtains. Tiger Li, who hadn't yet broken, wanted to raise his own, unruined hand. But in the end, it was still hanging in midair. Pupils lost color. He fell heavily on the floor. The fire grew bigger and bigger. It ignited the entire clubhouse and engulfed many people. Watercolor softness, this place, used to be the property of Mu Hongwon, and then, those five people became legends in Shanghai City. Similar to this kind of industry, it was given to the people under the hand. Lee, Tiger accounted for 61% of the shares. Also by virtue of this club, lived a life of food and clothing, every day in the drunkenness and dreaming, free and easy. A flash is more than 10 years past. Whoever thought. Hall of Fame was recalled again. He who wanted to show off his fists and feet died in the place where the dream started at the very beginning. Back then, it was here that he followed Mu Hongwang, and it was also here that he settled down for 10 years. In the end, also died in the water-colored tenderness, this clubhouse. And he, before he died, the last thing he saw was just the fire that buried him. Water-colored tenderness, overnight, turned into ruins. Chen Zhe finished killing people and silently left the area. It was only the moment when water-colored softness was set ablaze. There were quite a few people who came here. Looking at the scene inside, their gazes were deep as water, hanging their heads low. Nor did they know what they were thinking. Soon, the news spread throughout the entire Shanghai city. Just the Hall of Fame, a single hall. It has beaten a dozen outsider forces. Do not dare to approach the second hospital again, but it is after the Hall of Fame sent the fourth wave of killers, one of the five hall masters, Tigerly. Buried in the Mu Hongwan once industry, watercolor tenderness clubhouse, accompanied by the death of the Li Tiger. There are also many killers that the Hall of Fame has carefully cultivated. In the face of these news sweeping through Shanghai City, Chen Zhe did not care. He arrived at the beach near the city center village. There was a reef area there, and several wooden chairs for tourists to rest could be seen behind it. Just this place that was usually incredibly lively. In the mountain and sea city is messed up, gradually cooled down a lot. Yet there was a young girl, holding a cake. Her eyebrows shone like a river of stars, as if she was quietly waiting for something. That white and red little face, in the week to the moonlight, extraordinarily playful, the expression also with a little expectation and worry. Until, the side seems to be covered by something. Sit down long wooden chair, sink a few points. Turned his head to look. It was Chen Zhe who was wearing a white coat. At the moment, he was covered in blood. Just by being close, the salty sea breeze, carrying the strong smell of blood, came to her nose. The young girl looked at the person who was like a demon, her expression froze in place, unable to speak for a long time. I do not know how long passed. The young girl held back the fear in her heart and did not look at the set of white coats with blood. Instead, she opened in front of her, two palm-sized cakes and lit a candle. I didn't make a wish last night when you didn't come, today, make up my birthday wish. The young girl took the lighter and struck it several times in succession. But because the wind on the beach was too strong, the candle was never lit. Chen Zhe glanced at the slightly anxious young girl next to him, and accelerated the frequency of striking the flame, sighing leisurely. Lifting up the white coat, he shielded himself from the sea breeze blowing around him. 
He wasn't sure why he did that. It just felt like every time he stayed around this young girl, it would always give him some unexpected reactions. Sometimes he didn't even understand that kind of emotion where it came from. But ghostly, in the underworld he went to do it again. With the white clothes covering the wind, the candle was successfully lit. The young girl's delicate features revealed a charming joy. Hands were joined and held together. I hope to be able to make a trip to Mo, and then to the best school in the north, to finish high school and college. She had already been online and passed her exams, and she was just old enough to go to high school. Although, she had, over the years, because of her family, dropped out of school in her first year, but never forgot her dream. In the midst of hard work, inside daily diligence, constantly learning, instead of falling behind, she was better than most people. At the end of the month, I'm going to leave, the medical bills you paid for my mom, when I finish college, I'll definitely pay you back. The young girl raised her head. She met the face that was cold to the extreme. There was no trace of emotional color. Inside those eyes, it was as if a wild beast was hidden. It would devour a person at any time. He was a doctor. Yet he was also a madman. Inside the hospital, he could cure the sick and save people. He is recognized by all the nurses in the brain department as the number one. Her mom was critically ill and sent there. Even the other doctors found it difficult to solve the problem. In the hands of this madman, all became easy to solve. But he was in the hospital, in the parking lot stairs, killing people, hand up and down, the same not half a bit of procrastination. Every cut, all precise to the extreme, skillfully sliced through the enemy's throat. Just by mistake, the black and white figures fell into a pool of blood, even those who appeared to be imposing. When they came to Chen Zhe's side, they all had to address him as Mr. Chen, appearing to be respectful. He went out for a trip. When he came back again, he was with her at the beach for an appointment. On his clothes, stained with red blood, but with a strange mysterious feeling, making the young girl somewhat unable to move her eyes. Even took the initiative to come up, cupping Chen Zhe's face with her hands, turning over her shimmering red lips, and coming over. Soft and boneless, it was also like that wave of seawater. It slammed into someone's heart. Chen Zhe frowned deeply. It felt strange. It was impossible to say what was going on, but his heart just beat violently a few times. When he was in the mental hospital, that gripping and suffocating feeling of not being able to find a clue, sweeping through his entire body, suddenly feeling his body itchy, when he looked at the young girl, even if his face was expressionless. But the shocking waves in his heart could not be calmed for a long time. With a red face, the young girl divided the cake into two halves. One of the parts handed it to Chin Zhe. The two just sat there. No one said a word. Each ate the cake inside their hands. Looking out. Wave after wave of waves. Until the cake was finished. The young girl took Chin Zhe's hand again, even though Chen Zhe appeared to be less than happy. She still did so. If the other forces in Shanghai City were to see it. Such a young girl, pulling that madman who was like a god of killing, walking on the beach, I don't know how many people's jaws would drop. This journey seemed to be very long, yet it was also very short, as if a person's life, with inexplicable feelings, from the heart of the young girl to breed. One is a madman who does not speak well. One was a young girl who hardly communicated with others. They walked side by side on the edge of the beach, leaving footprints behind, reflecting the bright moon in the sky. It was as if they were treading lightly in the depths of the river of stars. Time. It was also fixed at half past twelve. The young girl finally spoke. I should go back, the hospital, my mom is still waiting for me to take care of, but I have to go home first and get some change of clothes. Finished speaking, the young girl began to walk back alone. Chen Zhe then followed behind silently, coming to the street corner near the city center village, the usual location where Gu Jiajia set up her breakfast. She walked into the dimly lit alley. Chen Zhe stood in place for a few minutes. Originally, he thought that he had delivered it, and that he should go back. As a result, he heard inside, a crackling sound. As well as a man's angry roar, the door was slammed hard. The young girl's screams, all of a sudden, echoed in the middle of the alley. Many of the surrounding neighbors looked out from their windows, but quickly closed their windows again. For such things, they had long been accustomed to it. Chen Zhe, who was frowning, walked towards the inside step by step. Less time. The young girl screamed miserably, and the man cursed, even more loud and clear. At the door of that room, he reached out his hand and twisted it with force. The door did not open. It was unlocked from the inside. Unable to do anything else, Chen Zhe's shoulder exerted force and ruthlessly slammed into the side of the door handle. A huge force ran through that one small door that had been installed for an unknown number of years. Only a bang was heard. The door shattered. Into the eyes was a scene of a young girl holding her head, squatting on the ground, constantly begging for mercy. There were also several sets of scattered clothes on the ground. The styles were a bit old and had been washed white long ago. 
they should be good judges her mothers. As for the side of the sofa, there stood an old man with a wooden stick and alcoholism, cursing like crazy. It seemed to feel that the mother and daughter, traveling to the hospital, was purely a waste of money. Chen Zhe also recognized it at a glance. This man who wielded a stick and kept smashing at the young girl was actually the old gangster Wu Hai who had been scared by him twice in a row and fled. Wu Hai saw the door of his house, being smashed, plus he was known for his temper in this area. If the neighbors come to mind their family's business, he even beat up the neighbors. Over time, coupled with Wu Hai also has some relations, want to help the neighbors, ate a lot of dumb losses. No one dared to help Gu Jiajia anymore. With Wu Hai, raised his hand. Wooden stick aimed at Chen Zhe's head, about to smash over the moment. Chen Zhe also touched the scalpel inside his pocket. The silver white reflection, habitually flashed on Wu Hai's eyes. This was Chen Zhe's usual move. When the opponent, the moment his vision was obstructed. He will be like a tiger, pounce to kill, while the other party's throat slashed, and finally fell in a pool of blood. Wu Hai, who was already furious, hit Gu Jiajia on the ground, and a lot of bruises appeared on her body. If usual. If someone like this intruded into his home, he was afraid that he would have been with the other side, fight to the death. But it was that flash of silver light, and that cold scalpel, as well as the suffocating gaze, it was like a dark abyss that enveloped Wu Hai. His mouth moved and his body involuntarily trembled. Deep inside, some kind of the most horrifying memories, little by little lifted. The things that Chen Zhe had done, the many horrors circulating on the road, and even the death of his last boss, the tattooed man, were all related to Chen Zhe. In just a moment, he made his decision. With the flash of a silver white blade, the old gangster, Wu Hai, happened to flop down. Kneeled down on the ground. This kneeling dodged the knife. This kneeling also exchanged for a ray of life for him. If the speed of kneeling down a second later, I'm afraid that his throat has already seen blood. It was also because of the tangible, felt the horrible sense of crisis. Wu Hai began to kowtow uncontrollably. Big brother, I didn't know it was you, if I did, if I knew, give me ten guts, I wouldn't dare to raise the stick inside my hand. Wu Hai was so scared that he clunked his head and begged for mercy. Afraid that the figure in front of him would suddenly give him another stab. Just now, he narrowly dodged it because he knelt fast. He didn't think that it was because he was good with his hands that Chun Zhe couldn't kill him. Gu Jiajia, who was lying on the ground, was also dumbfounded. This stepfather of hers, on weekdays, in front of the neighbors, extremely arrogant, not moving, will have a conflict with people. In addition, Wu Hai was fooling around in a bar street. He was called Brother Wu, and had seven or eight young punks with him from time to time. He also has some weak connections, resulting in the surrounding neighborhood neighbors, are afraid of retaliation, so in the face of the surrounding neighbors. This stepfather of hers, brutal to the extreme. Recently, I don't know whose thighs he has embraced. Every time you come back, can bring a large sum of money, more arrogant. Under the hands of young gangsters, from the usual 7 or 8, soared to 20 or 30. Just like becoming the head of the gangsters look. Even the last time Wu Hai, accidentally beat someone half dead, we thought he would be locked up. Whoever thought, things were quickly set right. But this is the same, in the eyes of the neighbors, in the eyes of the street, very likely to be the big man in the road Wu Hai. Now it was like a humble wretch. Kneeling at Chen Zhe's feet, his forehead had been cracked. Blood stuck to the floor, but Wu Hai didn't dare to slow down, even for a single point. As a gangster leader who had been exposed to certain information, Wu Hai knew how terrifying this madman was. Please, I'm just a wretch who's making a living in front of those big shots. The two times I ran into you earlier were both accidents, I won't dare to do so in the future. As long as there is a place where you are, I will turn my head and leave. The old punk's voice was tinged with crying and pleading. He thought that it was the last time, that he was recognized by Chen Zhe, and purposely found his place. Little did he know. The reason why Chen Zhe came in was also just hearing Gu Jiajia's cries, and when he saw this, kneeling and begging old punk in front of him, he also just put the scalpel, handed to the side of the Gu Jiajia, quietly waiting for her to make a choice, but Gu Jiajia, opened her mouth, and with a bang, the scalpel fell to the ground. Her dream is to take a trip to Mo, to go to the north, to study in the best university. She wanted to change her fate, wanted to live like an ordinary person, and didn't want to take a human life because of it. Furthermore, although this stepfather was hateful, he was always someone her mother loved, and if he really died, her mother, who was in the hospital, didn't know how she was going to hold a grudge against her. Gu Jiajia raised her head, her delicate face with a few bruises, hung with crystal clear tears. She bit her red lips and couldn't stop shaking her head. Chen Zhe didn't say anything, bent down, picked up the scalpel and said icily, go out and come in half an hour later. No matter what noise there is in the middle, don't open the door. Gu Jiajia reached out and pulled, a corner of Chen Zhe's white coat, with a slight hint of supplication in her eyes. 
Chen Zhe, however, just pulled with a force, and that small, soft and feeble hand was disengaged from the corner of his coat. Since Gu Jiajia was unwilling to go out, he pulled Wu Hai, who was begging for mercy on the floor, and walked to the bedroom. With that silver white scalpel, little by little, it cut through Wu Hai's skin. Desperate fear. Heartbreaking pleas for mercy. The almost hoarse voice that resounded throughout the alley. Those who wanted to peek through the windows. Neighbors who had wanted to peek through the windows. Hid under the covers in fear. No one knew what had happened tonight. When it was almost dawn, Chen Zhe walked out of the room, using the white coat on his body, wiping the blood from his hands. Wu Hai lying inside the room, his fingers moved feebly, the wounds on his body were densely packed, just looking at it was daunting. Chen Zhe, who left, went to the beach, drove the black sedan over, and took out, from the back, the box for medical use. A bottle of medical alcohol, poured on the body of Wu Hai, Wu Hai wanted to scream, but has been about to mute the throat. The sound that came out was minimal. Gu Jiajia looked at the scene, was so frightened that she bit her red lips, tears like no money, one by one falling down. Waiting. Chen Zhe took the wounds on Wu Hai's body. Once again, it was stitched up. Wu Hai experienced a torture that was more horrible than death. After last night, the intermittent conversation. Wu Hai was also clear. Chen Zhe's arrival was not a result of two encounters, but instead, it was because of, this daughter of his wife. If there is a next time, I have even more wonderful means waiting to be used on you. Honestly, every time I do something like this, I feel, like I'm meticulously sculpting, a work of art that I feel is incomparably perfect. Chen Zhe closed his eyes, savoring, everything that he had laid down last night. The corners of his mouth slowly cracked open, with white teeth, as if it was a devil's smile. Frightened Wu Hai, shivering, he could no longer support himself and fainted. Gu Jiajia stepped forward and placed her finger under Wu Hai's nostrils, confirming that the other party was not dead. Only then did she let out a sigh of relief. Chen Zhe also began to pack his things, came to the door. Before leaving, he couldn't help but turn around and say, in the future, he should not even dare to hit you. After saying that, he returned to his black sedan. Preparing to return to the rental house and have a good rest, today's shift was a late shift, so he still had a lot of time to sleep. As a result, he had just returned. He saw Zhao Minor, holding a cell phone, excitedly saying to Chen Zhe, I contacted my dad, he said that he'll send someone over to pick me up later. Big brother Chen, Thank you for taking care of me during this period of time. In fact, Zhao Minor, the reason why she hadn't contacted her father for so long. It was entirely because, she was in terms of numbers. It was equivalent to being an idiot. When she was very young, it was because of her studies. Her parents had a big fight, and since then, her mother left the house and never came back. That day, what she was doing, happened to be a math problem, and no matter how she was taught, she just couldn't learn it. In the eyes of her parents, she could learn it by just wiggling her fingers, but for her at that time, she couldn't understand it at all. She thought that it was because she didn't learn math well that her mother left her. She wanted to work hard to improve her academic performance, but it was after that day that she had a stress reaction to numbers, and no matter how hard she tried, as long as it was math related, she couldn't seem to learn it. It was also hard to memorize, even after going to many psychiatrists, still no semblance of relief. Since the cell phone was lost, without the phone number marked on it, even if she wanted to contact her father, it also became difficult. Now can contact, or because the Zhao brothers, found Zhao Xiaoman home nanny, and using the nanny provided the phone number, contact Zhao Dongsheng. Otherwise, it was still unknown how long it would drag on. Brother Chen, my dad even said, let me ask you if there's anything you want or need help with, as long as you ask, he'll say yes. Zhao Minner looked at Chen Zhe expectantly, this period of time taking care of her made her vaguely understand. Chen Zhe's situation wasn't as simple as imagined. Her father had a lot of money, a lot, a lot, and might actually be able to help the teenager in front of him. But Chen Zhe, in the face of Zhao Miner's words, he only nodded. Opening the door to his room, he went in and fell asleep, leaving behind a bewildered Zhao Miner. Some did not know what to do. Chen Zhe went back to sleep. Zhao Miner, on the other hand, was somewhat at a loss for words. The remaining Ji family mother and daughter were a bit wary. After all, Chen Zhe had rented this house. It was only for Zhao Miner and now that Zhao Minner was going to be taken back, wouldn't they also be driven away? It was not easy to have a few days of peace and quiet. Now they are going to be driven away as well. It was false that they weren't worried. Only the Duan family siblings, who looked at each other, shrugged their shoulders. Although they were also very hopeful that Chen Zhe would get along with Zhao Dongsheng. Yet, they were also clear. It wasn't very realistic to expect a madman to go and make false pretenses with others. So they didn't say anything. The crowd just quietly waited until the afternoon. A knock sounded outside, and several burly figures in black suits. They bowed respectfully to the Zhao family siblings. Thank you all, for taking care of my young lady in recent days, our chairman, will never forget your kindness. 
Zhao Miner also recognized that the people standing outside were the bodyguards that had been following his old man for years. Surprised, she walked over. Is my dad back in Shanghai City now? The bodyguard standing at the door shook his head. On his way back, but he hasn't arrived yet, he should be able to come back at 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening. Hearing that she was able to see her old man at night, she was able to see her old man. Zhao Miner looked unusually excited. However, she took another look at Chen Zhe's tightly closed room door. She sighed quietly. Big brother Duan, sister Duan, and auntie Ji, sister Ji, I have to go back, in the future when I'm free, I'll come to see you often. Zhao Miner took one step and turned back three times, looking at them with a face full of reluctance. The bodyguard at the door nodded with a smile. Bringing Zhao Miner, he went downstairs to the black Mercedes Benz, and after getting into the car, in Zhao Miner's unwilling gaze, the black Mercedes Benz disappeared at the end of the street. Only the four people present were left with a somewhat emotional look. Another glance at Chen Zhe's room. I strange, after all, Zhao Miner left today, Chen Zhe did not even look at a glance, let them do not know how to think. Chen Zhe, who slept through the night, didn't think about it that much. When he woke up, Zhao Miner had long since left. Outside, the Ji family mother and daughter, slightly timidly looked at him, afraid that Chen Zhe, suddenly opened his mouth and drove them away. On the table, it was filled with a sumptuous dinner that was cooked. It was already 7 o'clock, but the mother and daughter did not dare to move their chopsticks. Until Chen Zhe came out, Ji Fumei worriedly smiled, Mr. Chen, the things seem to be a bit cold, I, I'll take them in and heat them up. During this time, the Duan family brother and sister duo added quite a few things to the house. There was a microwave, an oven, a new rice cooker, a hood. The large room was refreshed. They even found the original owner of the room in order to make it easier for Chen Zhe to live there. Spending more than $800,000, they bought the place. Because it was an urban village, the price was not as expensive as expected. The siblings were not half heartbroken. Until the meal was warmed up, Chen Zhe had a full meal. From the beginning to the end, for the mother and daughter who looked at him, Chen Zhe did not even show half a sign. After eating, he got up and left. Seeing that Chen Zhe did not have any thoughts of driving them away, the mother and daughter were relieved. The mother and daughter were relieved. They knew that they would not have to worry about this problem in the future. On the contrary, it was the Duan family siblings who watched the departing Chen Zhe and sent him all the way to the stairway, confirming that the mother and daughter duo did not come down. Only then did Duan Jingyi open his mouth and said, Mr. Chen, the western district of the city village is now under our control, and recently came a lot of other families, depressed sons and daughters, wanting to defect to us. So I wanted to ask Mr. Chen's opinion. The two of them, brother and sister, did not dare to make a private decision. Therefore, before responding, those who had come over to defect, Chen Zhe was even less inclined to care about this aspect. In fact, in the end, he preferred to do as he pleased, but right now, the outsiders that were guarding the perimeter of the hospital were getting fewer and fewer. He also needed a group of people to look after the hospital. Solely, letting go of this brother and sister duo. Receiving Chen Zhe's affirmative reply, the brother and sister duo revealed a smile. After all, everyone who came over to join Chen Zhe did so for the sake of profit, and they also hoped that Chen Zhe could grow bigger and stronger. The current him, his name resounded throughout the northern faction outsiders, even many of the Beijing faction, hearing that the western district was Chen Zhe's territory, did not dare to easily mess with him. The only thing they needed to worry about at the moment, it was only the Tang family. Since Mr. Chen is willing to let go and let our brother and sister duo do it, we promise not to disgrace our mission. After saying that, the brother and sister duo watched Chen Zhe leave. They were now, occupying the western district of the urban village. The buildings were densely packed and connected in all directions. From the old bridge at the back, one could even leave Shanghai City directly, it was simply the perfect place to station themselves. Even if the Tang family sent someone, they will also be able to retreat at any time. In this area, fighting a guerrilla war was simply too good to be true. Brother, there are quite a few people who have come to defect recently, I've taken a detailed count once, there are roughly two dozen of them, all of them are sons and daughters of unappreciated families in the northern faction, and they can fight a lot. If, all of them are recruited, our funds, will it be somewhat insufficient? Regarding the issue of funds, recently, it was the two of them, the siblings, who had been contributing the money. This was because everyone knew that although Chen Zhe's name was enough to hold up a big banner, but the aspect of money was a shortcoming that they had never been able to make up for. For them to come here, they must have already investigated clearly, Mr. Chen's current situation. Even if there are more people, it doesn't matter, when the time comes to discuss with them, we will all contribute some money together to get the industry up and running first, until we can make up for the expenses, and then we can return everyone's money back. Duan Jiaojiao nodded after careful consideration. They really should have some industries as well. 
Otherwise, if they kept sitting on their asses, sooner or later, something was going to go terribly wrong. Adding to that, last night, they had gotten the news that Chen Zhe had slaughtered one of the Hall of Fame's Hall Masters with his own hands. Even the clubhouse was burned down by a fire. It was also because of this incident that made the outsiders, for Chen Zhe's terror, deepen a lot. It was just the right time to take advantage of this wind and occupy a little more interest. Just as the brother and sister duo were still discussing. In the distance, a figure walked quickly, and after this person arrived, he clasped his fists heavily at the brother and sister duo. Both of you, I'm Zhao Dongsheng, sent here by General Manager Zhao. General Manager Zhao said that since Mr. Chen didn't make a request, he can't do nothing. Recently, Mr. Zhao wants to get some industries near the city village and will cede 40% of his shares. When the time comes, I hope that you two can take care of one or two. The brother and sister duo who were still worried that there wasn't enough money. Hearing the other party's words, they were also stunned. It was really a case of sending a pillow when they dozed off. Zhao Dongsheng had no reputation on the road, but in the shopping mall, he was a frightening presence. Zhao Dongsheng's business acumen alone. It could make countless business tycoons move. You go back and tell Mr. Zhao, at that time, as long as it's Mr. Zhao, who has an industry in the western part of our city village, the two of us, brother and sister, will do our best to help out. In that case, thank you both. After a brief exchange between the two sides, the man turned around and left. Only the two siblings remained, slowly revealing a smile. Starting to go in contact, the people who wanted to defect to them earlier. Arriving at the hospital. It was already very late. Just as he entered the office, he saw Su Yuan sitting paralyzed on a stool, with a bottle of finished glucose sitting next to him. Seeing Chen Zhe coming over, he slowly exhaled a breath. I'm exhausted today, I've done several surgeries in a row, and many of the patients from the brain department in Shanghai City have been transferred to our hospital. Su Yuan looked grumpy. The reason why this situation was caused. It was still because of Chen Zhe, who had done successive surgeries with a near 100% success rate. Even things that others found tricky. In Chen Zhe's hands, it became a breeze. They all, however, heard about your situation and came here on purpose. Those patients who were cured by you, didn't help you publicize, including the hospital, the other doctors and nurses, when mentioned to the outside world, they all said that our brain department, had come with a skillful doctor, whose strength was far above mine. Speaking of this, Su Yuan then rubbed his temples, his heart filled with emotion. As for Chen Zhe, who had come over, he was soon scheduled for a new surgery. It was the same as before. This type of surgery was no longer much of a challenge for Chen Zhe. He frowned, from inside the operating room, and walked out. After going back, he looked towards Su Yuan, who was not far away, recently, are there any harder surgeries, like the kind just now, but any new doctor who was a bit more normal should be able to do a good job. Chen Zhe felt a bit bored, the reason why he was doing surgeries here was to gain experience in some of the more difficult ones, if it was all these types of surgeries, it was meaningless to him. Su Yuan was speechless and said, other doctors are worried that the surgeries are too difficult for fear of accidents. Chen Zhe was good, smacking that the difficulty of the surgery was too low. There was no point in doing such a surgery. Thinking carefully, Su Yuan remembered a surgery that was extremely difficult. The patient is now in a private hospital and has been at a standstill for more than half a month. Because of the person's special identity, the people did not dare to start easily, and invited a dozen expert teams. The program given, are extraordinarily conservative. Success rate of less than 10%, even the patient's family, also afraid of accidents in the elderly. So far, the best way, but also just hanging the old man's breath. Thinking about this, Su Yuan cupped his chin and spoke. If you feel that this kind of surgery is too simple, I can help you contact a surgery that is extremely difficult. However, that family member's origins are rather mysterious, ordinary people don't dare to do it easily, plus the patient is an 80-year-old man, it's extremely involved. The slightest mishap that kills the person will most likely result in a thorough investigation, so it's just a matter of hanging on to the old man's breath, no one dares to get their hands on it. Hearing Su Yuan's words, Chen Zhe was obviously a bit impressed. Nowadays, there were a lot of patients in the brain department. But most of them, the surgery process was too monotonous. It did not meet his requirements. I'll contact it for you. Su Yuan took out his cell phone and made a call. A moment later, a sensual female voice came from over there. Dr. Su, didn't we just meet in the afternoon? Could it be that there is a better solution? If we can cure my old man, no matter what your demands are, we will agree. The woman's tone. Temperament carried a few moments of expectation. For an ordinary family, an old man who was old might be a burden. But for people of their status, such an old man, the things involved were just too great. The relationships behind them were intricate and deeply rooted, pulling one hair and affecting the whole body. 
Normally when the old man is still around, those relationships that still exist can still sell you a few points of thin face, but once the relationship is broken, in the future, want to find people to do things, can be difficult. Therefore, their family, for this old man, very important. As long as it can be cured, how much it costs, they are willing to bear. Me? I definitely don't have that ability, you guys have invited so many medical teams and given so many programs, and there hasn't been the slightest progress, not to mention, I'm just a chief doctor inside an ordinary hospital. Even though Su Yuan said this, the woman over there, still said solemnly, Dr. Su, please don't be presumptuous, nowadays in Shanghai City, the most famous brain specialist is you. If even you don't have a solution, I'm afraid that in the entire Shanghai City, the person who can cure my grandfather won't appear. M.S. And I is really joking, there are many capable people in Shanghai City, at least I know of one who might be able to cure your grandfather. Oh, that person's ability, is he more powerful than Dr. Su, this, M.S. And I, you should have heard recently that there is a new doctor in the brain department of our second hospital, and based on his ability alone, he is ten times better than me. After a slight pause, Su Yuan continued, if he is willing to help, the success rate should be able to be increased by about 10%. Such words of conviction. Even MS. And I over there couldn't help but fall into a brief daze, because so many teams of experts. The highest one of the programs given had a success rate of only about 15%. Otherwise, they would have already performed the surgery. Why bother dragging it out until now? If, indeed, someone was able to raise the success rate by another 10%, they would be able to give it a try. After all, a quarter of the success rate was already not low. If Miss N.I. trusts us, you can have the old man transferred to the second hospital, I'll first show the medical records to Dr. Chen, and you can just ask him personally how sure you are. Finished speaking. The other side of the phone fell into a long silence. Immediately after that, there was a series of miscellaneous conversations. Not knowing how long had passed, Miss N.I. spoke, we'll arrange for someone to go over with the old master, if that doctor is really as godly as you say, our N.I. family is grateful. With that, the phone hung up. Su Yuan shrugged his shoulders, the big families, always have many scruples, that old master of their family, his identity is very mysterious, back then, he had come to Shanghai City once, looking for me to check his brain, and it was also me who found out the corresponding disease, but at that time, my ability was limited, and I couldn't cure that old master. He then returned to Shanjing, and it wasn't until half a year ago that he returned to Shanghai City again. While speaking, Su Yuan rummaged through the drawer and quickly found a corresponding case and handed it over to Chen Zhe's hands. Chen Zhe carefully read it over, and on his face, unconsciously, he revealed a slight smile. It seemed that he was very satisfied with this kind of difficult surgery. How's that? If you were to do this surgery instead, roughly how much certainty would you have? Hearing this, Chen Zhe raised two fingers. Su Yuan froze, 20%? Sure enough, it was similar to what he had guessed, after all, the risks of this surgery, as well as the age of the patient, all affected the success rate of the other party. Coupled with the other party's identity background, extremely unusual, general doctors, also dare not use radical program. The entire treatment process is relatively moderate. Do not dare to have a little overstep. But even if dragged on, the old man's condition today, can live another month is already the limit. When the time comes, people still have to go. 10 o'clock at night. Outside the second hospital, all kinds of dark vehicles were parked, many figures with upright figures and sharp gazes surrounded the second hospital. Even the outsiders that were guarding the area around the second hospital were driven away. Even the eyes left behind by the Tang family. In a short period of time, they were also swept clean. The Tang family, who got the news, contracted all the manpower in the vicinity of the second hospital at the first opportunity. It seems that they are also afraid of inviting some people that they shouldn't. In addition, the alleyway entrance to the east of the hospital, a man with a feminine face, was leading a dozen killers, quietly watching the situation in the second hospital until the surgical stretcher, carrying an old man got off, followed by, a woman wearing glasses, with a delicate figure and a sense of intellectual beauty, coldly glanced at the crowd that was squatting at the entrance of the alley, the feminine man, looked up in shock and surprise, it's actually her, that old man who has been treated in Shanghai city, is this a change of hospital, if that's the case, I'm afraid it will be difficult to continue to make a move in the second hospital, the feminine man who spoke was none other than the fourth hall master of the hall of fame, Ma Jin, who had cultivated more than 40 assassins under his hand, and within the entire hall of fame, no matter if it was assassination or fighting, his strength could be ranked in the top three. In the past, he was arrogant and domineering, never put anyone in his eyes. Even the Tang family, in his eyes, is just a dog. In addition to Mu Hongguang, he even the hall of fame family members, do not put in the heart. Only. For that mysterious old man, he revealed a few scruples. 
It seems that tonight's action will have to be postponed. Leave a few people to guard here, in a few days, when that old master is transferred to the hospital, come over and inform me immediately. The words were finished. The feminine man, Majin, turned around and left without any half-hearted procrastination, and even the numerous killers who had followed just now, also quietly left at this moment. At the same time, M.S. Sue, who was not far from the hospital, received information from her men. When she saw the content on her cell phone, she was also caught in a brief moment of disorientation. Bewildered, she looked out the window, the old man of the N.I. family, actually transferred to the second hospital, this is a big deal. That old master has always been neutral, and although he resides in Shangjing, he never cares about what goes on outside. Normally, no one dares to mess with the old man, but the old man seems to be a bit out of it lately. Once that old master leaves, I'm afraid it will be a huge loss for the N.I. family. Without a new person who can support the N.I. family's banner, sooner or later, it will attract people's attention. The N.I. family, although not considered a transcendent existence, but it also possessed the ability to make the entire Shanghai city shake. On normal days, it was fine for the N.I. family not to intervene in the affairs of Shanghai city, but if the N.I. family made a move, it was feared that the Tang family would not be able to handle it. I'm afraid that the Tang family can't carry it for long. However, at this critical mouth, that mysterious old man, went to the second hospital. It always feels like it's permeated with some oddities, if I don't remember wrongly, that old man, previously invited numerous medical teams, all related to the brain department. Could it be? M.S. Sue's Mind, a figure, with an icy gaze and a duck-tongued hat from time to time, appeared. A moment later, she shook her head again. If it was Chen Zhe, then it would be too ridiculous. After all, Although Chen Zhe had also performed many surgeries, and in recent times, his reputation had risen. However, that old man had invited almost all the brain teams with strong credentials from Shanghai City and Shenzhen, and the result was that the success rate was still minuscule. Chen Zhe is alone, compared to those professional team, after all, is still too far away. The matter of the NI family's old man, transferred to the second hospital, spread out. Numerous people who wanted to lay hands on the second hospital, also at this moment, disappeared without a trace. The perimeter of the second courtyard became incomparably cold. There was no more of the hustle and bustle of the past. On the tenth floor of a specific luxury ward, a group of men in black suits, carefully, put the old man on the stretcher, placed on the bed. M.S. N.I., who was tall, wearing a black professional dress and glasses, dialed Su Yuan's phone number. A few moments later, Su Yuan brought Chen Zhe, to the tenth floor VIP luxury ward. The wards here, there were only ten. It covered a huge area and was luxuriously decorated. It was not open to the public at all on weekdays. Ordinary doctors were not even qualified to come up. The people who lived inside these wards, even the caretakers were all brought by themselves. Not to mention the nurses inside the hospital. The people who can live here, even their vice president wants to see once, have to go through layers of reporting. If it wasn't for MS, and I, who had arranged it in advance, I'm afraid it would be a problem if Su Yuan and Chen Zhe could come in. When they walked into the ward, the many figures outside dressed in black, with upright figures and sharp gazes, their gazes never left their bodies. On the contrary, it was M.S. N.I., who revealed a charming smile and extended her hand very politely. Greetings, D.R. Sue. She gently shook hands with Su Yuan. Stretching out her hand again, she looked at Chen Zhe who was next to her. You are, the Mr. Chen that D.R. Sue spoke of? It's really true that people can't look at each other, and seawater can't be measured. But in the face, M.S. N.I. raised her hand. Chen Zhe, however, did not even look at it. Instead, he glanced at the unconscious old man. When can we schedule the surgery? He came here. The purpose was simple, to experience this difficult surgery. Accumulating experience. As for what the other party's identity and origin was, were not within his consideration. There were indeed many bodyguards outside, and according to Chen Zhe's perception, the strength should be a few points stronger than those killers in the Hall of Fame. Yet it was only a few points. If he wanted to kill someone here, not to mention the small amount of manpower outside, even if there were twice as many, it would still be nothing more than a rabble. Facing Chun Zhe with a cold tone and calm gaze, Miss and I also froze. Then she cackled. Surgery is not something that can be done just because you say it can be done, can I ask Dr. Chen, this surgery, what is the success rate that can be achieved? It was the same as earlier when Su Yuan asked. Chen Zhe stretched out two fingers, seemingly a little impatient, wanting to hurry up and finish the surgery. Miss and I frowned her delicate willow leaf brows and sighed, only 20%? It's indeed quite high, even the many medical teams that we invited to the program gave the highest success rate of only 15%. Just when MS and I wanted to say something else, Chen Zhe, however, interrupted them. 
I'm talking about a two-thirds success rate, if you want to do the surgery, anesthetize it as soon as possible and send it to the operating room. If, you guys don't want to do it, then I'll go back. Two simple words, but like a thunderbolt, it made Miss N.I. freeze in place, unable to speak for half a second. Two out of three? Doesn't it mean that this surgery, the success rate is as high as 60% or more, even approaching 70%? If it was truly possible to achieve such a success rate, then how superior was this Mr. Chen, in terms of medical skills? Dr. Chen, I'm really sorry, I'll make a phone call first, will you wait for me for a few minutes? Don't worry, it definitely won't take much of your time. Miss Nee's tone, once again, was quite polite. She even bent down and revealed a light smile. Then she took her cell phone and walked out. Was a 60 to 70% success rate a lot? For others, it was more than enough. But in Chen Zhe's case, he didn't dare to easily use it on his sister. So, he needed to accumulate a lot of experience in difficult surgeries in other people's surgeries. Until the success rate was at its highest, he would not consider operating on his own sister. Miss and I, who had gone out, after about three minutes or so, once again, she walked back. Pulling Su Yuan again, she came to the corner. After some inquiries, it was learned that Chen Zhe was disliking the ordinary surgery, the difficulty was too low, and only then would he take on the old man as a patient. Couldn't help but make a mess. And I, for a moment, freeze. After all, four ordinary doctors. The safer, the more cautious, the less risky the surgery was, the best. But for Chen Zhe, it didn't seem to be the case. From Su Yuan's words, MS. And I also understood. Chen Zhe was different from ordinary doctors. He pursued difficulty even more, and barely considered the issue of risk, thereby also allowing Miss and I to have a little more confidence in Chen Zhe. But when the call was made just now, inside the family, there was no immediate agreement, the issue of the old master's surgery. After all, the current old master, even if he only had a month to live, it would still give them enough time to prepare. In case suddenly the person is gone, the NI family would not be able to prepare in time, and the consequences would be unimaginable. Dr. Chen, Su Yuan told me that you are looking for a difficult enough surgery. You've seen my old man's condition, and perhaps you're excited to see the hunt, but the old man is too important to our NI family. The family doesn't dare to take risks easily either, I believe in your strength. However, our NI family knows quite a few patients in this area, and the difficulty of the surgery is definitely not much lower than that of our old master. Since Chen Ze was into high difficulty surgeries, they could utilize the NI family's connections, contact a large number of patients in this area. Provide the medical fees and allow them to come to the second hospital to complete their surgeries. At the same time, it was also to see if Chen Zhe was, indeed, as powerful as he claimed. In the face of MS. Ni's proposal. Chen Zhe did not refuse, after all, he wanted to operate on this old man just because of the difficulty of the operation. As for whether it was their old man or not, Chen Zhe was not concerned at all. With MS. NI, one by one, the calls went out. Very quickly. The NI family's energy covered the entire Shanghai city. Adding to the fact that there was the clan's medical team, which conducted high-precision judgments, the success rate of these patients' surgeries, even with their medical team, would hardly exceed 10. A total of 11 surgeries were contacted, and they subsidized 11 patients, spending a total of nearly $10 million, transferring them all to the second hospital. Looking outside the surgical ward, there were more and more waiting patients. Chen Zhe also couldn't help but lick his lips. Following the nurses around him, he began to conduct one-by-one -one examinations and anesthesia, almost 3 o'clock in the morning. The first surgery began. The difficulty of this surgery was quite a bit higher than that of the NI family's old man. Their medical team, after judging it, had a success rate of less than 10%. If it was an ordinary doctor, the mortality rate would be as high as 100%. Even if Su Yuan personally, I'm afraid that it would be difficult to surpass the other party's medical team. Therefore, as the first surgery, MS. And I was also extraordinarily nervous, after all, it was about their old man, whether he could be cured. Solely. Arranged again, a person they trust. Together, they entered the operating room to watch Chen Zhe's surgical process. Inside the room, Chen Zhe also ignored the fact that there was one more person beside him. The nurses around him, as usual. Placing stents. Passing over the relevant items. Chen Zhe put on white gloves and sterilized. Picked up the scalpel. The hand was very steady. Although this surgery, in the mouths of onlookers, was difficult, almost unprecedented, the success rate was less than 10%. But in Chen Zhe's opinion, it was no more difficult than that old man. Opening the knife, drilling, cutting the bone, separating, removing the flap, all processes, all in one go, without a single pause. The paramedic who followed in, is also concentrated, watching the surgical process, couldn't help but be, somewhat surprised. 
because Chin Zhe's hands were simply too fast and too steady. According to the difficulty of this surgery, if they were to replace their medical team, any expert, I'm afraid that they would all have to be careful. But Chen Zhe gave him the feeling that it was like doing an extremely ordinary, stress-free surgery. The movements of his hands were fast and steady. Even the entire process of the surgery, which took only 40 minutes, began to sew up the wound. Looking at the wall clock on the wall, looking at the gradually recovering detection instrument, accompanied in the medical staff, couldn't help but swallow his saliva. With a face full of bewilderment, he asked, This, this is the end? With his question, the surrounding nurses couldn't help but roll their eyes. Dr. Chen's surgeries rarely last more than an hour, and every single one of them has been precise to the extreme, there has never been a mistake, the patient is out of life-threatening danger, and only needs a little bit of rest and recuperation, I believe that she will be able to recover in a few more months. Chen Zhe took off his gloves and walked outside with an expressionless face. The nurses around him perfected the follow-up. The patient was also pushed out. The people waiting outside gradually became a bit more numerous. These are the patient's family, they were not from a good background, the last time they had surgery, emptied the family. The doctor said the chances of survival, less than 1 in 10, let them not waste their efforts. I thought that the death sentence had been pronounced. Whoever thought that things got turned around? A person who claimed to be MS. And I contacted them and offered to pay for the surgery. The only condition was that they had to come to the second hospital for the operation. They came, holding on to the last glimmer of hope until they saw the patient being pushed out of the operating room. The crowd gathered around, asked in a chorus of voices. How's the doctor doing? Uhu, is my husband still alive? If he's gone, how am I going to bring up two children by myself? Don't ever, let us, the old couple, send our black hair away in vain. Some of the people here are his wife, some are his parents, with tears in their voices. The voices were trembling and slightly hoarse. Chen Zhe did not take off his mask, but instead walked towards, another sick person. During the entire process, there was no intention to talk back, and the family members who inquired about it, all avoided it. This kind of attitude. Let the people present, all fell into a long time lost in thought, but also have a bad feeling. Just wanted to say something. The nurse next to him couldn't help but interrupt. Alright, the person is out of life-threatening danger, the surgery was successful, as long as he stays in the hospital for another two months, he can almost recover. What's more, don't you have a miss? And I to help you guys with the money? By RDR. Chen, you guys can just steal a smile. Hearing that the patient was out of a life-threatening situation. The dozen or so family members of the patient present, no longer able to contain themselves, they began to fill with hot tears. Some even wanted to kneel down and thank Chen Zhe for saving their lives, their families. Parents have long been old, at home to help bring a child is okay, but can no longer support the expenses of the family. Weekdays. Although the wife also has three to five thousand dollars of salary, but in this kind of big city, can survive is good. All aspects of the expenses is even more astronomical. It is also her husband, a programmer the salary is relatively high, otherwise, this family would have collapsed. Nowadays, learned that her husband, in a few months will be able to recover. The wife, who was in her thirties, threw herself on her knees. Thank you dr. Shen, you saved our whole family. If it wasn't for you, our family of six, we still don't know how much we would have to suffer. After saying that clunk, his head smashed on the ground. In just half a year, they traveled to countless hospitals, emptying their family's money, just to save her husband. Every time they operated, they could only be in the aisle, hands folded, silently praying that the man would recover as before. But it didn't matter if they were praying to God, or humble and devout prayers, the end result was a loud sigh, and those repeated words. The patient's chances of recovery are slim to none. Whether or not to continue treatment, you guys go back and discuss it. They had heard such words too many times, so many that they felt despair. Nowadays, the person recovered. The wife's emotions, nearly uncontrollable. Later, it was the family members around her that pulled her up. Dr. Chen has to perform other surgeries, we'd better hurry up and take care of Zhang, and when Dr. Chen is free, then we'll express our gratitude. In this way, it was only then that the woman in front of her stopped her crying. Following the patient who pushed her away, she entered a hospital room. Miss and I, who was watching all of this, among those beautiful eyes, a few different colors inadvertently flowed out, and she asked to the medical staff next to her. Just now you also entered the operating room and watched the entire process, what do you think? The accompanying medical staff gave a dry laugh, not knowing how to answer, nor did they dare to immediately pack their bags. It's just an operation, can't see much, but this dr. Chen, throughout the entire surgery, his hands were steady and fast, unlike other doctors who have extreme concerns. Moreover, his style of surgery, it's very strange, it's extremely different from all of our previous programs. 
How can I put it, it's like, a madman walking on a tightrope, below is a 10,000 feet high building, a little careless, as long as there is a slight mistake in the process of surgery, it may cause the patient's death. On the contrary, this madman walking on a tightrope above a 10,000 foot high building, holding that scalpel, but the precision is like carving a perfect art, it's hard to describe. But I dare say that such a person is unique in the entire Shanghai city, including the Xia Kingdom. The four words absolutely unique were already the highest evaluation he could give. Next to him, Miss N.I. also narrowed her eyes. Beside herself. This paramedic beside herself. It was their N.I. family, personally trained up, medical genius Li Zhangwen, not very old, but wrote countless papers. He once participated in an international separation surgery of great difficulty. He has been highly praised by many top doctors in the world. But this is such an extremely conceited. And since childhood, he has been a genius. But made a unique judgment. I can't help but let him s. And I have a few moments of anticipation. Perhaps this person. He might be able to cure their old man. The old master is too important right now. Almost, closely related to the rise and fall of the entire N.I. family. If the old master can live for a few more years, you should know what it represents. With these few years, the N.I. family can be rearranged, allowing the new family elders to go to unprecedented heights. At that time, no one will be able to shake the N.I. family's position anymore. So you continue to follow, watch a few more surgeries, make sure there are no problems, and come back to report to me. Next to him, Li Zhangwen, nodded and followed. It was also the first time he had seen, Chen Zhe's style of surgery like this. It gave people a feeling that the sword was going off the edge, slightly extreme. However, it was this feeling that gave people an inexplicable confidence in his surgeries. He followed Chen Zhe and performed a series of anesthesia. Immediately afterward, he checked the second patient's condition. At about 4 o'clock, entered the second operating room. The nurses around him had already been prepared. The surgery began. Just like the first surgery, Chen Zhe's expression was devoid of any emotional coloring. From the beginning to the end, there was a very cold feeling. Only after seeing blood and opening the skull, will he reveal a little excitement. Li Zhangwen didn't know where exactly this excitement came from. But he was certain that Chen Zhe definitely had his own unique love for this aspect. This love, even if he was compared to it, there was more than enough. Of course. Li Zhangwen also did not guess wrong. Chen Zhe to this aspect, indeed has a unique enthusiasm. Only this kind of passion did not come from surgery. Rather, it came from that kind of inexplicable pleasure that could be generated by slicing open someone else's body at will. Even if it was only in surgery, even if it was to heal the sick and save lives. But every time he performed a surgery, it would give him a feeling of unrestrained pleasure. At the same time, it was also curbing, a certain terror that kept growing in his heart. It worked much better than the usual tranquilizers used inside the mental hospital. The second surgery reached its closing stage. Chen Zhe wiped his hands and left the room. Li Zhangwen, who followed him out, swallowed his saliva. Revealing a bit of bitterness, he had lived in the N.I. family since he was a child, and was adopted by the N.I. family from the orphanage. At the age of five. At the age of five, he demonstrated an astounding talent in medicine, and was valued by many of the N.I. family's older generation. Since then, he embarked on a medical path of continuous improvement. In the blink of an eye, almost 20 years had passed. He entered the N.I. family's top medical team, specializing in some major surgeries. He had also helped many of the dignitaries and nobles in Shangjing to get rid of their illnesses. He thought that at the same age, he had already reached an unrivaled level. But when he met Chen Zhe and saw the other party's surgical style, he suddenly realized that he was like a frog in the bottom of a well, adhering to the rules. Even if he were to strive for excellence, it would be impossible for him to reach Chen Zhe's kind of ground. M.S. N.I., the second surgery was successful again. The entire process, even faster than earlier, only took 35 minutes. His hands are very steady, every time he makes a cut, there is an inexplicable divine charm, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, he was born for surgery, in this field, I'm afraid that in my entire life, I won't be able to reach the heights like him. This time, his evaluation was even higher. So high that mess. And I, was somewhat unable to believe it. How arrogant was Li Zhenwen. Especially in the field of medicine, almost arrogant to the bone. But it was such a person who would actually say that he would not be able to catch up with the other party's footsteps in his entire life. And how could it make her not feel shocked? Then, then if, let him do the old man surgery, what do you think the success rate will be? Miss and I asked, the thing she was most concerned about, the life and death of the others. She didn't care, the only thing that would make waves in her heart was the old master's surgery. Li Zhangwen, who was in front of her, was silent for a long time. Opening his mouth, he said, Although he said it was a 60 to 70 percent success rate, I feel that with his ability, it's definitely more than that. If you don't even dare to bet on such a large success rate, then, 
Li Zhengwen opened his mouth and sighed. Then the old man's disease might as well not be treated. Silence. A long silence. The entire corridor of the hospital went, as if in an instant it was quiet. Even Chen Ze, who had already started his third surgery. None of them came back to their senses. Miss and I let out a long breath and spoke. Wait, wait some more, there are eleven patients in total. Wait until he's finished healing them all. With Miss Ni's words fall, Li Zhangwen also no longer say more, just in the surrounding cannot find Chen Ze's figure, after inquiring. After inquiring, he learned that the other party had already started the third surgery. Couldn't help but slap his thigh hard, because he felt that he had missed out on a hundred million dollars. Although he had only watched two of Chen Ze's surgeries, but it was these two surgeries that made him have a great feeling at this time. He also just wanted to, quietly, finish watching, Chen Ze's remaining seven or eight surgeries. The next time. Chen Ze also lived up to his expectations, before 7 o'clock on the next day. A total of four surgeries were performed. Without exception, all of them were successful. When Chen Ze walked out of the operating room, outside, a ray of sunlight, through the window glass, landed on his face with some sweat stains. Inexplicably, there were a few more, indefinable flavors. The group of nurses who followed him out couldn't help but be mesmerized, looking at the person in front of them. For a long time, they could not come back to their senses. The temperament that Chen Ze gave off was just too strange. Such a person, put in a movie, just a look, an action. I'm afraid that he could be recognized as a ten evil, murderous pervert. But on the contrary, in the hospital, he is a doctor who can save lives. Those, the diseases that made the top medical team all helpless, in DR. Chen's hands, but also became insignificant. That face that was cold to the bone. That ferocious to the extreme temperament. It was like a tiger that chose people to eat but also like a sacred and inviolable saint. No wonder, the onlookers will not be able to move their eyes. That ray of sunlight, however, only shone briefly. Chen Ze then walked over, he hung his head low, not saying a word, as if he had placed himself, again, into the shadows. A young and pretty little nurse, opened her mouth and said, Dr. Chen is good at everything, just too cold, usually when I see him, it's like he wants to eat people. But to be honest, inside the hospital, the most handsome one is Dr. Chen, I don't know what kind of girlfriend he will find in the future with this personality. The other nurses. They couldn't wait and joined in the discussion with their voices. Even Li Zhangwen stood dumbfounded in place. Li Zhangwen was also frozen in place. Yes. The feeling Chen Ze gave him was indeed too strange. If say he is a killer, Li Zhangwen believe, on the contrary, such a person, but in the hospital, save the dead and help the wounded. It was really too ridiculous. M.S. And I walked over and skimmed Li Zhangwen. Let's go, go out for breakfast, I heard about it, for surgeries, without exception, all successful, the difficulty of these surgeries, compared to the old man's illness, not even close. Being able to succeed in four surgeries in a row is proof of his strength. What about the seven surgeries in the back? Li Jingwen's heart tightened, he didn't want to miss such an opportunity. To him, following Chen Ze into the operating room was the greatest gift to him. Of course it's done, after all, I believed it, but the people inside the family won't agree so easily. Then, that's good. Li Zhangwen sighed in relief, following M.S. and I to have a breakfast. Chen Ze also went back to rest. For the next two days, Chen Ze either returned to his rented house or headed to the hospital to continue completing those 11 surgeries. The entire process. It was incomparably smooth, 11 surgeries, all successful. Also on the third day to the evening, the hospital came a lot of people, in their hands, each holding a piece of information, standing in the stairway aisle, with an incomparably grave expression. Because today, it was precisely the day that their old man was to undergo surgery. By Tao, those eleven surgeries, were they really all successful? In the middle of the way, didn't any other accidents happen? The person inquiring. It was none other than Miss Ni's father, N.I. Yangan. Miss Ni's original name was N.I. Bai Chao, and she was currently the N.I. family's most outstanding business elite. Controlling the entire N.I. family, business matters large and small. As for the rest, there are specialized N.I. family members to manage. But even if it's just a genius in business, M.S. N.I. is highly valued by the family. M.S. N.I. was just as heavily utilized by the family. During the entire process, there was Li Zhangwen watching from the sidelines, what he said, shouldn't be false. If it's true, this doctor, his skills are too strong, we have to get in touch more in the future. As you know, the situation in Shangjing now, most of the older generation, are getting older. They're all trying to do everything they can to renew the lives of those old people, going forward, when these people learn of DR. Chen's situation, they'll definitely come over and make contact. It won't be long before this DR. Chen will be a hot presence in the eyes of all the families. Once this network of relationships is established, the power that can be brewed from it will be incalculable. So, you should understand what I mean, pops. 
And I Bai Chao nodded. She was also a veteran who had been in the business world for many years. How could she not hear what Pops was saying? Don't worry about it, as long as he cures the old man, I'll agree to whatever request he makes. A flash of determination flashed through N.I. Baitao's eyes, making N.I. Yangan, who was next to him, feel a pang of emotion in his heart, feeling somewhat indebted to this daughter. Ever since N.I. Baitao understood things, almost all the decisions she made, she prioritized the interests of the family, rarely considering herself. Even within the family, the older elders, all hope that N.I. Baichao can take a good rest and live a little bit of the life they want. But N.I. Baichao, still for the sake of the family, devoted himself to everything. This led to the entire N.I. family having an inexplicable heartache for this daughter of his. There was even a saying circulating in Shangjing. Marrying N.I. Baichao is the same as marrying the entire N.I. family, although it is just a joke. But from the meaning of the words, one could imagine how intimidating N.I. Baichao's weight in Shangjing was. What's vital now is still grandpa's body, wait until the surgery is successful, then we'll talk about the rest. N.I. Bai Chao settled down and found a seat. The other N.I. family members, all did the same. If it was successful, this Dr. Chen, would be an existence that countless big families in Shangjing would rush to be close to. If he fails, all of the above was nothing more than a fantasy. Many members of the N.I. family have come. The aisles were full. Most of them were N.I. family figures in power. Also after these people, came to the second hospital. The entire brain department, from the doctors down to the nurses, were all kicked out and transferred to the seventh floor office. The vice president, the president, all rushed back to the hospital that night. The entire tenth floor, gave people the feeling of being slightly dull. Even the outside of the second hospital. All the watchers, all of them were cleaned up. On weekdays, the entire second hospital, I don't know how many people were planted, but today, not even a fly could be seen. Time passed bit by bit, and for the N.I. family on the 10th floor, it seemed incomparably torturous. If the old man had lived a few more years, or even a dozen more years of life, the N.I. family would reach unprecedented heights, reaching a point where many people could not hope to reach, to the point where all those competitors would be scared to death and retreat. But if the old man dies, the entire N.I. family, although not completely collapse, but will be out of the height of the top family, it is not impossible for them to fall into the dust. I don't know how many people are eyeing the N.I. family, waiting, on the body of this behemoth, to rip off a piece of meat. But it was under these circumstances. They should have had a month to prepare. After a meeting, they decided, to make a big bet. Winning. The N.I. family renews its life for more than 10 years, with a more adequate and broader future. Lose. Losing this month's preparation time, the N.I. clan would most likely be devastated. The future lifeblood of the entire family was at stake. How could they not be worried? Nice, the 11 surgeries he performed earlier, were they really as difficult as this one on the old man? Yes, white peach, I always feel, vaguely uneasy in my heart. Alas, a major event that concerns the rise and fall of the family, you shouldn't blame great aunt for asking more questions. More and more people around, gathered around N.I. Baichao's side, asking questions in a variety of ways, after receiving an affirmative answer. They were again in the corridor, walking back and forth, circle after circle. Those who were able to stay calm were few and far between. Until, a voice mixed with anger, majestic voice rang out, enough, all sit down for me, one by one, two by two, shaking here gives me a headache. The person who spoke, is the current head of the N.I. family, N.I. Chuancho, now the old master is sick in bed, the entire N.I. family, large and small decisions, all have to go through his hands. Although compared to the old master, is ultimately a lot worse. But now the N.I. family, the most capable person, according to the old master's plan, is to take advantage of these two years of time to push an Ichuinshu to an unprecedented peak. Whoever thought, the plan could not catch up with the changes. The old master suddenly fell ill. Once the NI family's medical team, it was predicted that the old master still has three years of life expectancy, the sudden critical illness. The NI family, pushed to the tip of the storm. With an Ichuinshu's opening, even if the crowd was no longer anxious, they could only sit down unwillingly. The aisle once again returned to silence. Everyone held their breath and looked towards the door of the operating room from time to time revealing a bitter expression. In addition to the N.I. family, quite a few capitalist forces, all of them were paying attention to, at the situation in the second hospital, even though all the probers in the neighborhood had been cleared out, but those who were arranged in the hospital, in a short period of time, they could not be completely removed. Therefore, every 10 minutes or so, there were always people who used various reasons to enter and exit the 10th floor in an attempt to probe for some news. Is the N.I. family powerful? Powerful. At least as far as Shangjing was concerned, the old man's legendary degree was no less than those five people behind Shanghai City. It can be said, back then, the NI family established the order of the old man. It made the whole of Shangjing shake. 
It was also the old master, with his own strength, who established the huge NI family. If the old master was still alive, everyone would give the NI family a few points, but if the old master was gone, some of the relationships that were once vital were thus severed, then their attitude towards the NI family would definitely change radically. Did you find out? Was the surgery successful? Is the NI family's old man still alive? Seventh floor. In a corner, a man in civilian clothes asked a nurse who had just come out. The nurse, in turn, shook her head. There's no news yet, the surgery hasn't ended so far. It's not over yet? It's been almost an hour, it shouldn't be, it looks like the chances of success are not as high as imagined. The man in civilian clothes is LV Xue, the current leader of the Beijing faction in Shanghai City. The status was similar to that of Duan Yulong, and at least on the surface, he possessed powers that were unimaginable to the onlookers. Although the NI family has always been neutral, but once the old man collapsed, NI family downfall, the interests inside, can be not the slightest bit weaker than the mountain and sea city, at that time. I don't know how many people will return to Shangjing to get a piece of the pie. Continue to probe, once there is news, immediately notify me, I am not convenient to stay in the hospital for a long time, otherwise the NI family found out, easy to cause misunderstanding. After saying that, Lu Xue, who was wearing civilian clothes, put on a mask, silently, and walked towards the outside. The nurse shook her head helplessly and entered another ward. The other forces were similarly waiting with news about Elder and I. Because once Elder and I died, Beijing faction will have some people withdraw to Beijing. At that time, Shanghai city lost balance will set off another wave of bloodshed. But it is in this kind of waiting when, an hour and twenty minutes later, Chen Zhe wiped the blood on his hands, took off the pair of white gloves, looking at the old man lying on the hospital bed, somewhat tiredly twisted his neck. Although the difficulty of this surgery Compared to the previous 11 surgeries, all looked quite a bit easier. But the patient's age was ultimately a bit old. There were far more things that needed to be taken care of than one could imagine. Even if Chen Zhe's entire process was quick. And, lowering the knife was as steady as before. But still, 20 more minutes were wasted. Next to him, Li Zhangwen, similarly in a state of shock, took off his gloves. Watching the entire surgical process, it could be described as thrilling. At least in his opinion, it was thrilling to the extreme. If this surgery is placed on the body of the next person, then it is also even if. 